Good morning, everybody. Hello. Hi, Barb. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, Queen. Yes, everybody bow. Thank you very much. Dun -dun -dun. God, this music's so good. Is the volume on game audio all right? How are we feeling? Can you hear its medieval majesty? Da -da 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 -da. Turn up a little bit for me. Game audio is good? Sick. It's so good. Dun -dun. Oh, welcome on in, everybody. Happy Friday. Good morning. Good morning, Timothy Jackman. It's good to see you. Meryl and Bill. Bill, this timer is your fault. It was at two hours exactly when I started. Um, I was going to, like, reset it when we started, but it's conveniently back at two hours because you added... Oh, wait, no. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Why, 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 why? Wait, that's not right. Sorry, I've never done a subathon before, so everyone bear with me. That, it says three hours on my end. Let me fix this timer. Because it should be three hours. It says three hours, because Bill is a monster. <laughs> so give me one second. Um, everyone's going to have to be a schmidrum patient with me today, because I have never done this before. Let's see. Why? Why are you wrong? All right. The rest is what I'm heading out, so sounds good to me. Nice. 4K. Why? You say three hours for me. It said three hours literally a second ago. Is it different on... Oh my god. Subathon more like a rayathon? Yeah, we're, it's gonna be a time. It's gonna give me a second to make sure everything's... I thought that's what I was doing beforehand. I thought that was everything working, but apparently I was fooled and things are broken and I don't know why. Let's find out. Oh, that looks so ugly. I'm so sorry. Come on. Mm, 1920 by 1080. At least I'll get these medieval jams. What the heck? It's race first day. I mean, there there are some jank ways I can get around this not working, but I'd rather I'd rather not. Not that I don't love some jank. Is it really a live stream without some jank? You right, you right. Problem is I can't be annoyed with this music in the background because it's it's such a jam. Oh that okay. yeah, Timothy, I'll I'll get I'll get right on that. That doesn't sound terrible at all. Alright, I'm gonna try re I don't wanna ruin it. I mean luckily it's at exactly three hours, so if I have to reset it, I can just set the minimum to three hours because the minimum was originally two hours. Bill made it three hours. It's literally three hours and one minute now. So I have, if I have to like reset it, it's not the end of the world. Um, I just wanna know why it's not working. Oh, uh, would that fix it? Hold on. Dun, 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 it's the end of the world. Everybody hates me and everybody's gonna leave. Oh God, it's a nightmare. What the heck, it was literally, it was literally working. I cry. Alright, I'm gonna. Bum 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 I have not cheated Bill out of his bit money. That work? Ew, what the hell? It was working. <laughs> oh no, Chad, I'm sorry. It was literally just working. Oh no. 
I don't under wait, I don't understand. It was working just fine. I didn't see an increase either. That should have been like a few minutes. Oh no, Chad, I'm so sorry. Changing it to 20 would be too much effort. I don't understand. All right, let's try, let's mess around with some things. Sorry, everybody, we'll, fig we'll figure it out. We'll get her going. This is just the very first time I have ever done one of these. <laughs> At least we, we have three whole hours to figure it out now. This is very true. Ba -dum, ba -dum. All right, at least it's saved. Mm. I wonder if I just like can't have multiple of these dudes going at once. <gasps> Welcome on in! Oh, that, see, that one worked. That one worked, okay. Maybe she's working again. 19 bits won't do anything, unfortunately, Bill. It's gotta be 20. Or maybe it will. Maybe it'll just do it uh, like a fraction. All right, maybe it'll work again. Yes, Alkali, that is very much a thing that I was doing. Uh, and now am no longer doing. <laughs> that is, yes. <laughs> that might have done it. Would recommend not doing that? Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, I won't do that anymore. Alright, this looks... Got it. That would make, that would make a ton of sense. Alright, let me log on to my account so I can, I can pay to test this. <laughs> Just so you guys don't have to waste your biddies if it's not working. So give me a second. Hey, it gave me a little, yeah! Did that, that worked, right? Yeah, that totally worked. It gave a little notification and everything. Whoa! That worked? Is it working? Okay, that's exciting. That's exciting. I love it when things work. All right, let me, let me try it. Let me try a thing. Um. Cheer. Oh my god, giving biddies is so hard. <laughs> Thank you for that follow! King Israel, I appreciate it. Welcome on in. It's working? Okay! I might move move it so that it uh, you can see the little, it gives you like a little thingy, which is cool. I didn't know it did that. It like tells you who has done what. That's pretty sick. Bum bum. Right, let me squish it down. Okay. All right. It looks like it's working. We now have three hours and 10 minutes. That is for sure more than what we started with. Hey, okay. It's working. All right. Chill, 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 chill. Thank you everybody for being patient. I'm not gonna touch anything. I'm gonna, I'm gonna close this. I'm not gonna touch it. I'm not gonna touch it. Oh, there's a hair in my eye. Oh, Jesus. Okay. <laughs> okay, we should be good now. Welcome on into the stream, everybody. False start is now a real start. Uh, welcome uh, to the Friday stream, everybody. As you can probably tell today, we're doing a thing I've never done before called the subathon, wherein I set a limit for, uh, well, I set a base for our, like, here's what my normal stream is. The normal stream was gonna be two hours, but every time you donate bits or give subscriptions for yourself or for others, the timer increases. You can see we're now at three hours and 10 minutes. Uh, and the idea behind this is we're celebrating uh, Twitch's mod day, which was yesterday, which I'm annoyed about. It was the 31st last year, but this year they made it the 30th, so I'm sorry, Twitch, I'm a day late, but we are celebrating mod, uh, Twitch's official mod appreciation day. As you know, if you've spent any amount of time on this channel, every single cent that this channel earns goes to my moderators. I don't keep it, CGE doesn't keep it. This isn't something special we're just doing for today. We always give all of our money to our mods, but the idea behind today is that we're gonna try to give them a little bit extra money because they do a lot of work and they're rad as heck 
And yeah, we want to support them and do something fun and silly. And that's what we're doing today. I do have a cap on the subathon at 12 hours because your girl's got stuff to do tomorrow. Um, but we will, we'll see if we even, if that's even relevant. We'll see how far we get. You'll see a little math on the screen here. One sub is 10 minutes, 20 bits is one minute. Uh, of course, you can gift like what Bill did, which was five subs. That adds almost an hour to the stream. It adds 50 minutes. And yeah, we're going to be playing a ton of King of the Castle today. Uh, I'll jump into that in a second. But I had a rough, we had a little technical difficulties at the start of the stream, so I didn't get to say hi to anybody. So hi, um, Steven, welcome on in. I see the day location on the timer. Yeah, oh yeah, this subathon timer lets you like do a subathon for like a year. Uh, I tried to get rid of the days to avoid comments like that of people being like, mm, you're gonna go for multiple days? I'm not, I'm gonna go for 12 hours and cap it. I think if I didn't have something to do tomorrow, I'd probably go longer, but I have something tomorrow morning that I need to be like alive for. <laughs> I think, I don't know that anyone's done a year, but I know like the, the biggest subathon that like someone actually did was like Ludwig who did like, what, like 40 days or some nonsense, like a month, which is insane, which is insane. I'm not doing that. <laughs> not that we could, not that we could get there, but good Lord, good Lord. Um, but yeah, welcome on in everybody. Timothy Jackman, it's really good to see you. King of Israel, thank you for that um, uh, follow. I really appreciate it. Welcome to the community. Wouldn't your, commuter, wouldn't your computer be on fire at that point? Yeah, probably. We had another follow as well at the start of the stream. Uh, scroll, scroll. Scroll, scroll. Uh, Tsunami the Gecko, I love your username. Thank you for that follow. Thank you for everyone who's given bits so far. Bill and Nate and Itri uh, and Meryl and Timothy. Thank you for those bits. I really appreciate it. And of course, Bill, thank you for the five gifted subs. <laughs> Jeremiah Blob, it's good to see you. Um, of course, our lovely moderators are here. Uh, who else have we got? Headbanging Maniac, yo, it's good to see you again. I feel like it's been a hot second. Welcome on in. What I'm playing now, hello. Um, Trinix, it's good to see you. Welcome, welcome. Hexstar Dragon, thank you for that something for adding 10 minutes to the giveaway timer. I appreciate it. Y'all are the best. Thank you so much, Hexstar. I hope you're having a lovely morning. Rennie, welcome on in. Also, Rennie's not a mod, but shout out to Rennie for being a delight, just in general, but also for helping me understand how King of the Castle works a little bit. Uh, they have been fantastic and very, very helpful. Itri, welcome on in. Diplomat, hello. Um, also, Nate, thank you for joining us in chat for the very first time and giving biddies. Very, very kind of you. Love to have you in the community. Really appreciate it. Uh, scroll, scroll. I think I got everybody. Slivers, hello. Tolsko, hello. Rue, hello. Welcome in. I haven't gotten everybody. I lied. Yo, uh, Matt, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Deadpan, hello. <laughs> Timothy, thank you for the biddies. Meryl, thank you for the biddies. Y'all. Love you so very much. Are you gonna be a good queen or a bad queen? I'm gonna be a bad queen. <laughs> I'm gonna be a very bad queen. Uh, so real quick, if this is your first time here, if you're here because you like subathons, you're here because you like King of the Castle, let me explain a little bit about who we are, what we do. Welcome to the Check-Ins Edition Twitch channel. Yo, thank you for that sub. Welcome to the Check-Ins Edition Twitch channel. My name is Ray. I run this show here. Uh, Check-Ins Edition is actually a uh, board game publisher. All the games behind me are games that we make here at Check-Ins Edition. Uh, if you don't play a lot of board games, you might still be familiar with our most famous game, which is Code Names. That's a game we make here. But we, if you know board games, you might know us from Lost Ruins of Arnak, uh, Deal with the Devil, Galaxy Trucker, and again, literally every game behind me is a game that we've made here at Check Games Edition. We typically play board games on this channel. We play our own games. We also play other board games. Uh, but when I discovered this game, King of the Castle, I couldn't say no. It's very board game-like. A lot of the like economic, political, uh, area control kind of situation is very board gamey. It, it, it tickles the same part of my brain, brain that a board game does. And Shut Up and Sit Down talked about King of the Castle, which gives me the right to talk about King of the Castle because they are... Um, the rulers of all board game discourse. So if they talked about it, I get to talk about it. Uh, we played this, we played this um, the day before I left for my vacation, like a couple weeks ago, uh, and people just loved it. We had a whole, actually a whole other plan uh, set up for mod day. We had, I had my mods make me a very cursed puzzle that they made themselves in Photoshop. Uh, and I was gonna do the puzzle on stream and every like, bit or so would like, I'd have to remove a piece of the puzzle. There was a whole plan there, which was gonna be fun. But what I didn't like about that was that it was kind of a negative, you know, incentive. Like, oh, you're ruining the puzzle, which is fun because people like to make my life hard. 
Um, but I don't know. King of the Castle went so well, and I was like, let's just play a whole day of King of the Castle. Uh, we're gonna do like a legacy style game where the kingdoms carry over. There's gonna be giveaways involved. I'll explain all of that later. But that puzzle is gonna exist in some way, shape, or form at some point in my life. Yeah, Renny, don't you worry. That puzzle will make an appearance like during our our like uh, anniversary or something. Um, so don't worry. There's a very cursed puzzle out there made for me by the mods. I've seen it. It's terrible. <laughs> it's terrible. Um, but I, I thought this would be, I don't know. I, I just wanted to play King of the Castle. I just wanted to do it. I thought it would work really well for the subathon style and the way we're going to do giveaways today. Uh, but don't worry. That mod puzzle is going to exist at some point on this channel. Um, Proud Slime Dad, iconic username. Thank you for that follow. Welcome on in. We are already at three hours and half an hour. Good Jeebus. <laughs> Gonna have to keep my 122 win streak going? Good lord. That's insane. That's insane. Yo. No problem. I'm a sucker for board games. Hell yeah, Matt. Well, you are in the right place. You have found the right community. We love board games around here. We play them all the time again on this channel. Today is a little bit of an exception. Uh, we play physical board games. We play digital board games. All that good stuff. So to cap off my spiel, if you're here because you like King of the Castle, uh, consider following the channel because we play. If you like King of the Castle, you probably like board games and don't even know it. So consider following the channel and hanging out with us for some board games. We play board games with the community. I play them with some hilarious guests. I play it with my coworkers. It's just a great time uh, and it would help us out. So I'd appreciate it. That'd be super heckin' rad. And if you want to learn more about our board games specifically, exclamation point CGE will bring you to our website where you can see all the lovely board games we play here or that we make here, I guess, more specifically. And speaking about our board games, we are going to be giving away some of our board games at the end of this subathon, whenever that ends up being. <laughs> we are going to be giving away a bunch of our board games to whichever region wins. Now, what do I mean by that? I mean, when the subathon ends, so when that timer above my head hits zero, the region that most recently won King of the Castle, so the most re recent, like, successing region, so that could be the patricians, it could be the counts, whoever, that entire team is going to get entered into a bunch of giveaways. So don't worry if you're not here for the giveaways. If you're not up in 12 hours when the stream ends, don't worry. As long as you, like, participated in the game at some point, I believe it will like keep you in the in the loop. I'll keep track of everybody who's participated in different regions. Uh, and yeah, so you want to bring your region to victory, but you also want to make sure that the stream lasts long enough wherein your region was the last region to win. Hopefully that made sense. If you have any questions, let me know. Well, I hope it works. <laughs> I hope that made sense. That's the idea. We're going to be giving away a copy of Lost Runes of Arnak which is one of our most popular recent big box games. I'm going to be giving away a bunch of digital codes. So we've got three digital codes for Through the Ages, three digital codes for Galaxy Trucker, and three digital codes for Boom Mania. And all those are going to go out to the winning team. It'll be a delightful time. I'm just going to try to keep track of everything. And then, uh, yeah, at the end of the stream, I'll run a giveaway. So make sure your whisper notifications are like on on Twitch. Because if you're not around when you win the giveaway, I will be whispering you on Twitch. So make sure that you like allow whispers from strangers or whatever, at least just for today, so that I can reach out to you. And that's it. That's all I got for you. Boomania. Yes, we're going to be giving away some copies of Boomania. <laughs> oh my goodness. Just got off the phone with a hiring dude and 12 different job prospects are stones throw away from my old job. Oh, oh, is that way? Is that good or bad? Uh, hiring dude and two different job prospects are stones throw away from my old job. Is that good or bad, Bill? I feel very dumb. I don't know. If, I don't know if I should congratulate you or say I'm sorry. I'm not sure. It's good. Okay. Oh, you mean like physically a stones throw away? I'm silly. I'm a I'm a silly goose. Congratulations. <laughs> I just think it's funny. You heart Arnak, really liked the preview stream, really can't wait for the expansion. Ah, oh, Trinix, thank you so much for saying that. I'm very glad that you liked the, the interview I did with Min and Elwyn. They're just such a delight. I absolutely adore Min and Elwyn. They don't particularly love to be on camera. They're quite like shy people, but they always do such a good job when they do do it. So so nice. If you weren't here on Tuesday, we did um, announce the second expansion to the Lost Runes of Arnak. Uh, and I did a Q&A with Min and Elwyn. If you want to learn more about that, the BGG page is absolutely the place that you want to be. That's where all the information is kept. Um, when we have like updates and stuff, that's where forum conversations happen. You can also hang out in our Discord. We have a Lost Runes of Arnak channel in there. 
the one of the designers of Lost Ruins of Arnak hangs out in there sometimes, Elwyn, to like answer questions and stuff. That's also where you can like chat with other Arnak fans. We've got an Arnak game going on BGA right now with the community. You're welcome to start more. There's just like a lot of really fun, positive conversation happening happening around Arnak right now. And it's a delight. It's super cool to see. I'm so glad people are excited about the new expansion. It warms my heart and it was such a such a pleasant experience to sit down with Min and Ellen and chat with them about the lost ex missing expedition. I'm sorry, it was called the lost expedition for a very long time. No one told me it changed to the missing expedition. So if I ever refer to the lost ruins of Arnak, the lost expedition, uh, I mean the missing expedition, the new expansion. This is the hardest thing, I swear. Boohoo, woe is me. The hardest thing about working in board games is that you know what games are called in like prototype form. And it's really hard to get that name out of your head because it's often not the name that you end up publishing it with. Um, I still have that issue with Phantom Inc. and Ghost Rider. I call it Ghost Rider every time, still. <laughs> still burned into my brain. Nobody tells Ray even when it's not a secret, true, true, true. Yeah, the, yeah the, I understand why we didn't do the Lost Expedition because it's a lot of loss. It's the Lost Runes of Arnick, the Lost Expedition. It's a lot of loss. Missing is better, but my brain, small. Very, very small. It's teeny tiny, Unse Punse brain. <laughs> you join the Discord? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. It's basically just us talking about board games, so if you're into talking about board games, you're in the right place. We also do have a competition to name the monkey, so if you weren't here for Tuesday, uh, one of the characters in the Missing Expedition, she's like a really cool, uh, plucky, like mechanic lady, and she's got a monkey. And we're doing a competition right now for people to name the monkey. And if you pick, if you suggest the monkey name that ends up getting chosen, you get like a free signed copy of the game, which is rad. Uh, so if you want to, if you want to try your hand at naming the monkey, that conversation's happening in like a thread in the Arnak channel right now. Yeah, no worries, Trinix. I am too. Don't worry. The only discords that I really look at are the discords that I run. So my ADHD can't like can't handle Discord. I'm also really bad at responding even to just DMs on Discord. It it as a site it overwhelms me quite a bit. So no judgment from my end. Yo, Bloody Lion! Hello! Oh my god, are all the mods officially here now? Bloody Lion's been here for a second. I just apparently ignored them. Welcome on in. It's good to see you. All the mods are now here. So very happy. If you're unfamiliar with our mods and you're like, why should I give money to the mods? My mods are delightful. They are Chicken Barb, Alkali, and Bloody. Uh, and if you want to get to know them more, interspersedly throughout the stream when I need to take breaks and stuff, we're gonna be doing mod trivia. I ask the mods for silly questions about themselves. Yo, Potter Boy, welcome and thank you for that follow. I ask the mods, um... <laughs> I ask the mods for silly questions about themselves. And we're gonna be doing mod trivia where you're gonna have to guess like which mod is, did this thing, which mod likes this thing. So you'll get to know the mods that way. Um, but just as like a brief overview about why I love them so much, uh, Alkali, I have known for kind of ever, like ever since I started being an active person on the internet, I have known Alkali. Ooh, have you ever been in? Ooh, I'm assuming that's a Czech place. I unfortunately am not Czech. I work for a Czech company. I'm one of just a handful of American employees. So I apologize. Uh, maybe I have, but I don't know off the top of my head. Um, but it's nice to meet you. Thank you for joining us in chat. We do have many, many, as I mentioned, many Czech people at this company. <laughs> I am unfortunately not one of them. I'm one of the sad, lonely Americans. Um, but yeah, I've known Alkali forever. Uh, one of my bestest friends I've ever met on the internet. I met him in a very chaotic Minecraft server through like board game house literally like five years ago, which is insane. <laughs> and he's been super helpful ever since with doing the technical behind the scenes stuff. If you like any of the bots that we use on this channel, if you enjoy playing mod trivia, the bot that we used to play mod trivia was coated with Alkali's bare hands, blood, sweat, and tears. So any of that kind of stuff, if you like, uh, why is my light doing this? Chill. I am all, I'm white enough. You don't need to continue to wash me out more. Good Lord. Uh, if you like uh, Chatman, uh, which is our, our uh, chat-based hangman that we also play when I need to go to the bathroom. That was made by Alkali. What a, what a delight. I'm simultaneously the oldest and youngest mod, exactly. Uh, and then next chronologically is Chicken. Chicken is one of my favorite, what we call algo babies. Chicken should never have found me. There's, <laughs> there's no reason for Chicken to have stumbled into a board game community because Chicken doesn't like board games. But I used to play uh, video games on an old channel that I ran for another board game company. I've had a long, 
ran a lot of channels on Twitch. <laughs> I used to run a Twitch channel for a, for a different board game company. We played video games instead of board games. And one day I was playing Mario 64, which is one of Chicken's favorite games, and they popped in and then they never left. None of the amount, no amount of board game talk and board game things scared them away. You have been called out. I'm calling you out. Uh, no amount of board gaming things has scared them away. And I will be forever grateful that, for that because Chicken is just, just a delight. I, lo I love that Chicken is one of my mods. I love you. Come on. Uh, next chronologically is Barb. Barb, oh my god, I wasn't even here when Barb found the channel. Technically Barb found Spring before she found me, but I literally remember, so this was back on another channel I used to run, um, where we would, like, alternate streaming. So I would stream some and then one of my coworkers would stream other days. This light is gonna be the death of me. Why is it doing that? <laughs> uh, and one day Spring was streaming and I was just at home not streaming. And I would always watch Spring's streams, right? While she was streaming, just to make sure everything was cool, you know? And I remember the day Barb came in and just, I, the energy immediately was so good. And I remember actively thinking to myself, I was like, man, I hope this person, I hope this person comes back. <laughs> Chicken was my partner in chaos, manipulating pulls with bits. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, yeah, if I, <laughs> it was Alkali's name that got me to come back. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Uh, and so I remember being like, wow, this person just has really good energy. I remember you and Spring like talking about food or something. And I just, I just love the puns. I love the energy. It was fantastic. And then she came back and I, I love her very much. And I asked her to be my mod and she said, yes, it was really great. And then last but not least, we have Bloody Lion, who is our newest mod, um, who has now kind of been initiated into kind of a cult now. Like, I feel like me, Alkali, Trick, and Barb, we have this, like, weird synergy because <laughs> we've been just modding and streaming together for so long. And I was actually genuinely really scared to ask Bloody to be a mod because I hadn't asked anyone to be a mod forever because those three mods were, like, all I needed forever. But this channel started to grow and get a little out of hand. Y'all are getting a little rowdy. Too many people. Uh, we did another mod because... My mod other mods are busy, so we need a fourth one. I was really scared because I was like, we're gonna scare off whoever we pick. We're gonna scare them off. We also wanted someone who was in a European time zone. There are lots of reasons we picked Bloody. We've ended up picking Bloody and holy crap, just immediately like clicked so beautifully, so wonderfully. Uh, so he's the newest mod, but you would never know it because uh, he fits in so lovely. And he's also gonna help Alkali with some of the tech behind the scenes stuff, which is amazing. And yeah, these people sound great. They should head <laughs> in chat. Hell yeah. No, they are delightful. Um, and that's who we're supporting today. Those four people have helped me out a ton, um, both technically and emotionally. Uh, cause streaming is a God, this light, dude, I'm gonna lose my mind. I'm gonna. Thank you for the biddies. Is that, that's way too dark. It's way too like moody and spooky. <laughs> Maybe let's just turn it down. Maybe let's just turn it down. Sorry. Ah, 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 my eyes, my eyes. Anyways. Hopefully that gives you some context for who you're supporting. They're just amazing. They help me out um, every single day. Every single day. They help me out with work stuff that they don't even need to. I'll be like, hey mods, what do you think about this? And they'll, they'll chat with me and tell me what they think. And I just really appreciate it. They're the best. My eyes burned too. Don't worry. You think your eyes burned? I was this far away from the light. My eyes burned more. I promise you. Yeah, and Alkali now has someone that he can talk tech to, because now we have Lion, and Lion actually knows what Alkali is saying, which I love you, Alkali. 80% of the time, I have no clue what you're talking about, and I just smile and nod. Um, yeah, I smile and nod with love, but also with confusion. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, Barb, me too. Big, big samesies, big samesies. Um, so yeah, that's what we're doing today. All the money goes to the mods, as always. It literally always goes to the mods, uh, but we're hoping to uh, send them more money today because they're a delight, uh, and it's Mod Appreciation Day, so why the heck not? Uh, yeah, we're gonna do Mod Trivia. Uh, giveaways will happen at the end of the day. I think that's everything I needed to say at the top of the stream. Huh. But also, it's good to be back because the last stream back from my vacation was like a businessy stream. It was the Q and A with Min and Owen, which was really fun, but it was more like official, official. Uh, so much happened during my vacation, so we'll chat about that too during the stream because there's. I entered a professional pinball tournament on accident. That's my favorite highlight of my vacation, personally. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what? Yeah, Barb, you heard me correctly. Um, my partner and I, yeah, mm-hmm, great question. It was incredibly stressful. Uh, my partner and I were in Portland, Maine, and we walked by, um, 
We walked by like a barcade, right? Uh, which is an arcade slash bar. And we're like, that sounds like fun. We love barcades. We used to have one uh, in Scranton where we used to live. And we saw a sign that said free pinball tournament. I've played pinball before. The thingies go clicky clack, clicky clack. I understand. I game for a living. I, I can pick it up. I like arcade cabinets. I like retro games in particular. So I was like, clickety clack. I got it. <laughs> Easy peasy, lum on squeezy. Uh, so my partner and I sign up. And it was really interesting because when they were like announcing, they're like, all right, pinball tournament's gonna happen. Shimana -ma 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 -ma, right? And they're like, if you're here with a friend and you're new, you might want to be together, which felt very, looking back on it, directly pointed at myself and my partner because <laughs> everyone else knew what they were doing. We were the only people who came in a group. Um, they were like, you might want to sign up together. And my partner was like, nah, heck that. I want to beat you. So we're going, we're going solo. We're going by ourselves. Like I'm a, I'm a beat you. Uh, and I was like, all right, cool, whatever. So we signed up independently, thinking it was going to be like some sort of bracketeering, right? I assumed it would be like one v ones. How naive! I assumed it would be like one v one bracketeering, right? Where like you go up against one other person. If they win, they go on. We figured we would just both be eliminated very quickly. Maybe we'd be able to like face off against each other. That'd be fun. And that we would, you know, get eliminated, we'd go chill and hang out, right? That's what we thought was going to happen. Um, it turns out, uh, instead of it being uh, like a bracket, it's what's called pinball golf, which is where you get in a group, a randomly assigned group, and you play every pinball machine in the barcade. This barcade was like a Dave and Buster sized barcade. Just for clarity. <laughs> there were dozens of machines in this barcade. <laughs> and so they like announce the teams. Of course, my partner and I, not on the same team. Of course, of course. And so basically, uh, <laughs> uh, we were separated for four hours. We would only occasionally pass by each other as our teams would like West Side Story uh, style, like pass by each other going from one machine to the other and it would just be like look of terror from one of us to the other because this was so professional like these were we were playing with people who compete like regionally nationally were t teaching me about the physics of how to like smack smack the 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 arcade cabinet to keep it from like sensing a tilt because if you if you know tilt is in pinball when you move the machine because you can like move it right to like help you if you move it too much it it says a tilt was detected and it like disqualifies your ball or whatever but there's like a whole finesse to like well smack smack where you like hit it one side and then immediately stabilize it the other way where the tilt sensor won't move and they were trying to explain this to me and I was not I was not understanding was not understanding <laughs> no seriously Timothy legit that's how I felt. Uh, <laughs> and they were like, oh, oh, you know, that, that's all right. You know, you haven't played a lot. Cause I told them, I was like, hey, listen, I'm gonna be super straight with you. I don't know what's going on. And they're like, oh, no, that's cool. You've played Zilla before, right? And I was like, yeah, pff, love Zilla. My favorite, no clue what that meant. Learned very quickly that Zilla is professional pinball slang for the Godzilla uh, pinball machine, which has like 50 different modes, which is really difficult. And it has, it's like got animatronics. It's got a whole thing. I was like, yeah. Pff, Love Zilla. Love it. It's my favorite. Bear in mind, I've probably played pinball like five times. I used to play it on my computer when I was a kid, which doesn't count. And I played it maybe five times in person. Yeah, I'm the king of Zilla, bro. Uh, so, suffice it to say, I lost our team um, quite a lot of points. <laughs> but so did my partner. Our Both of our teams that we were on were the lowest ranking teams because we were just tanking the score. We were taking it. But I will say... If, if Sarah and I forgot the other guy's name, if you're watching, my pinball teammates, if you're watching, you were very nice to me. I would have been very mean to me. Thank you for being very nice to me because if someone had come in to something I took very seriously and took it very unseriously, I would have been much meaner than they were to me. Uh, so thanks for being homies and teaching me all about the, the wild world of pinball. Uh, but I will never be playing pinball again because now I'm scared.
<laughs> but I learned like so much. Like the, to, to demonstrate how serious they took this pinball, they were complaining because they was there was recently like a really big tournament held in this arcade and they had like tuned up the clicky clacks. I don't remember what they're called, the clicky clacks, you know? They'd like tuned them up so they were like more sensitive now. And people were like screaming, being like, oh, it's too sensitive now. I'm like bashing the machine and like, oh, the paddles, thank you. Like that, that was the level of like how good they were. They could sense that the paddles had been like slightly tightened. And they're like, mm, this throwing off my strat. Insane, insane. Oh, maybe they are flippers. I don't remember. They're experienced pinball, right? Yeah, I got a high score in Space Cadet 3D pinball against two. Myself. <laughs> like, here's the thing. I would never have done this if I had known that I was gonna drag down other people with my own stupidity. I thought this was, I was just gonna embarrass myself. I, you all know, chat. I have absolutely no qualms with embarrassing myself, but embarrassing other people who take this thing very seriously was killing me. I felt so bad. But the occasional time that I like was smack smacked correctly and like got it in the right spot. And they were like, yo, nice, nice multi-ball. I've never like, that's, it was, it, I've never felt more like pride. Like <laughs> when they were mad, you could tell cause they were like, mm, stupid, who is this girl? But the couple of times where I just accidentally lucked into doing something really cool and they got really excited made me feel so good inside. Like, hi he really delightful, really delightful. <laughs> Ray's the type of person to say qualms. So yeah, she doesn't care. <laughs> so yeah, I guess now I could beat probably the average person in pinball now. I know all the, I know all the secret strats. I know what modes to pick to give you the highest percentage of multi-balls on the skill shots. I know all that now. I know all that. <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry, Tulsko. They're banned in your country? Huh? Why? <laughs> I have so many questions. Also, Eva Little and Brian Ashman, welcome on in. It's very good to see you both. Hope you're having a lovely Friday morning. I, I wanna, I mean, don't tell the story if it's like super bad, but like, I'm, I'm very curious. Why are they banned? <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's, I, there's other, there's other weird things that happened during my vacation, but that's the big story that I've been dying to tell you all. <laughs> It was my entire evening. It was supposed to be my partner and I's like date night, right? We didn't see each other for four hours. <laughs> By the time we were done, it was like midnight and we were both just so tired. <laughs> That was it. Our whole evening was shot. We thought we would swing by the barcade. We had a whole list of other places we were gonna go. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Nothing but pinball that entire night. They're categorized as, oh, so it like falls under like a gambling situation. Is that why pinball machines taste bad like Switch cartridges? Has anyone here licked a Switch cartridge? Very important question. <laughs> All right. Well, chat, I think it's about time we get into some King of the Castle. Oh, thank you. Uh, Sci-Fi, I'm actually using a kind of jank workaround. I'm using Google Meets. Google Meets actually has quite good captions and I just chroma key out the background and screen cap it and put it on stream. It's definitely not the most efficient way, uh, but I, I like it. I think it works for me. And it works well if you have like a group of people uh, cause no one has to do anything fancy on their side. They just join and you turn on the captions on your end. Uh, actually when I have a big group, I technically do it on Skype, but that's probably more detail than you want. But also welcome on in. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> you think I have restraint? All right, chat, we're gonna get on into King of the Castle. If you have never played King of the Castle before, don't worry, I shall I shall explain it. Um, but for those of you who were here last time, I have a very important question for all of you. Would you like to continue our game from last time or do you wanna start a totally new game? I can see pros and cons of both sides. Actually, if the mods wouldn't mind uh, setting up a poll, that would be lovely. Um, I personally kind of think it'd be fun to start a whole new game. Um, so that way everyone who's here is like involved in the story from beginning to end and anyone who wasn't here last time isn't left out. But if enough people were here last time and they really want to continue the Shrek impressionists dynasty wherein Barb chopped off my head, we can do that as well. Uh, but go ahead and vote. I want to leave it up to you. I didn't feel comfortable like deciding that 
on my own. So it's up to you guys what you would like to do. But once we've played the first game, we will continue that dynasty for the rest of the stream. Um, so stick around. So if you like, if your character dies in this first game, they will come back as like the second incarnation. Absolutely not, Alkali. Absolutely not. Yeah, Chicken was the only one who died. My mods were very, one of the reasons why I thought it might be fun to continue the last game was that my mods were like integral in inciting the insurrection of me, uh, of overthrowing me. Um, but it could also be fun to start a whole new game where we just play one full storyline all day. Um, so totally up to y'all, whatever you're feeling. Uh, but I'll explain it once we get into it. So if you've never played before, don't you worry. I will do my best. Again, I regret nothing. You shouldn't regret anything. You made the right, you made the right call. <laughs> New game to throw brain in the river. That sounds kind of nice though. I like rivers. <laughs> Ray just wants to use your money printer again. There were no consequences for my money printer last game. Not one single, not one single consequence. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> All right, it looks like the vast majority of people want to start a new game. So we will, we will do that. It's the poll's already halfway done and we have most people wanting to start a new game. So we'll go ahead and do that. I think that's a cool option. But again, we will continue that game uh, for the entire day. Uh, so it'll be one ongoing continuous story. Uh, and if you've never played this before, quick overview. Hi, I am your queen of said kingdom and you are all going to be sent into one of three, <laughs> one of three regions that I rule over and you are all going to try to plot together to overthrow me. So the first thing we need to do is we need to name our dynasty. This is me, look how cute. <laughs> Thank you, Lex Retro. Also welcome on in, it's very good to see you. Hope you're having a lovely Friday. All right, so last time, my name is Ray, by the way. Last time our dynasty was the Shrek Impressionists. We can do that again, but if anyone has other fun ideas, uh, drop them in chat of what, what kingdom you would like to, you would like to be a part of. Also, I gotta tone my energy down. If I keep up this energy for 12 hours, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. <laughs> Ooh, I kinda like Carcassonne or Cat, Cat Cazone. That's cute, I like that. The Modville M, oh yeah, we gotta have Modville. You're right, you're right, you're right. Silly me. Aw, oh, thank you, Jeremiah. The one compliment that is the one way ticket to my heart is a compliment about my hair. I work very hard on it, so thank you very much. Uh, what do we want to do? Modville? I saw Modville, all right. The Holy Modful Empire. It does the, it, you have to do the dynasty. You can't change it to, let's do Holy, the Holy Mod, Modville. Modville USA. <laughs> <laughs> the Holy Modville Dynasty. I love it. I love it. I'm <laughs> Penguin Mod. All right, we're gonna be, I am Ray. I am the ruler of the Holy Modville Dynasty. Are we ready? It is very holy. It is known. All right. So chat, we are gonna play on Twitch. And we now get to pick what regions we want to play with. So there are five regions to choose from. We're going to pick three. And these are the regions that you're going to be subdivided into. Last time we played with uh, the Counts of the East, the Patricians of the Coast, and the Chiefs of the North. So it could be fun to do the Barons and the Grandees because we've never played with them before. Uh, but it's up to you. Let's do a little, if one of the mods can make a poll for these five options. Not a super long poll, like a minute or something. Trombone Dalek, welcome on in. It's not quite time to join. Once we pick our regions, then you can go ahead and drop your join command and you will be all set. The Barons do have cool outfits. This is very true. Very, very true. Oh no, you're all good, chicken. So one is Barons of the March. 
two is Chiefs of the North, three is Counts of the East, four is the Grandees of the South, and five is the Patricians of the Coast. Uh, what you're voting on now is not going to be what region you're going to be in. This is just what regions are going to be included, and then you'll be randomly assigned. Chiefs of the North are kind of like the cool Nordic faction. Counts of the East are the sexy vampires, and Patricians of the Coast are the sexy fish. Uh, no clue what the Grandees or the Barons are, because I haven't played with them yet. Yeah, the Council of the East are definitely vampires. 100% they are vampire people. And if it means anything to you, the Chiefs of the North are who technically overthrew me last game. <laughs> Ooh, I do like camels. Yeah, it'd be cool to get at least one new faction in that we didn't play with last time. I'm casting my vote for Grandees of the South. Yeah, Viking inspired, Nordic expired. That kind of mishmash of the two, I think. I think barons are like your normal, sort of like generic medieval faction. These are a little bit Nordic, a little bit Viking. These are Eastern European Vikings. I would imagine this is like maybe Arabic. I'm not sure, I haven't played with it just from the architecture, that'd be my guess. Uh, and then this is coastal. Aw, oh, Trombone Dog, we will miss you, but thank you for stopping by at all. I appreciate it. All right. We have, we're gonna do the Barons and the Counts, it looks like. Someone break the tie. We have three votes for North, South, and Coast. This is the Coast Day. Eh? So someone vote for either two, four, or five to break our tie. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. Change my vote from uh, counts to grandees. Ooh, we got a fourth vote for patricians of the coast. More fish, more fish boys. All right, good enough for me. We will do the barons of the march, uh, which it says the barons are brash rural lords famous for their belligerence and fondness for hunting. We have the counts of the east. The counts are a ruthless aristocrats steeped in secrecy. Allegations of forbidden rituals are unproven, and patricians are wealthy seafaring merchants noted for their cleverness, skill in negotiation, and ornate masks, and also they're very sexy fish people. I don't know why that isn't on the tagline. If they had said that, then, you know, <laughs> I, I think they'd get a lot more support. All right, so now, now is your time, chat. Go ahead, type exclamation point join, and then one one single pronoun, so she, he, or they, so that the game will like gender you correctly. <laughs> Welcome to chat, pr proud slime dad. And Night Spectre, it's nice to meet you as well. Welcome on in. Again, join and then one pronoun. I think if you just do join, it'll default to neutral pronouns, they, them pronouns. Patsy, I don't have to change my color, hell yeah. Yeah, I think it's fun if you want to, to change uh, your chat name. You can do like backslash color, I think, in Twitch to change it to be your color so you can kind of see in chat easily who's on what team. You don't have to, but it's cool if you do. Hey, welcome back to the Sexy Vampires, Meryl. Congratulations. What happens if you leave suddenly? Nothing. There's no consequences if you leave. Of course, if you're here and you're able to play the game more, it's more fun. But as, as long as you've joined a group, you will be in that group until that game ends. Then you'll need to rejoin in the future if you want to continue to play. Uh, but yeah, there's no like consequences. You're not you're not trapped here uh, once you join. You can always join and then either not participate or leave. It's all good. Moco Maid, welcome on in. Yo, it's so good to see you again. How are you doing? Welcome on in. We are doing a subathon to support our moderators today. Um, if y'all don't know, Moco Maid are an amazing brother sister art duo. Uh, if I if I'm correct in that, and they're fantastic. Speaking about why my mods are so amazing, Barb, one of our moderators, was actually in Moco Maid's chat uh, and was like, Moco Maid was talking about code names, and Barb was like, Yo. 
I mod for the people who make code names, and now we've made friends because of that. And that's why my mods are amazing, because they're out there making little friendships for us. It was awesome. Sipping on my coffee, how are you? I am fantastic. I am down to play a whole day of King of the Castle, hang out and support my moderators. It's gonna be it's gonna be a good day. Gonna be a good day. Studly Mare, it's good to see you. Welcome on in. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> Hello, my fellow sexy fish people. All right, give me one second, chat. I'll be right back. Go ahead and join your region. I just need to crack my door or I'm gonna get so sweaty. Gonna get so sweaty in here. Y'all, Moko made. I have been meaning to message you but let's play some let's play some code names sometime either on or off stream whatever you whatever you feel like but if you want to play some code names i've been meaning to hit you up i've just been so busy so busy good lord i'm abq it's nice to meet you thank you for joining us in chat welcome on in welcome welcome hope everyone's doing well we also have a question of the day today uh if you want to chat about that our question of the day today is tell me about your favorite mod from anywhere on Twitch. It doesn't have to be one of my mods and why you think they're rad as hell. Tell me about like a positive, awesome moderator experience or mod that you know who's just as amazing. It's all about good, good mod vibes today. All right, so let's, let's take a look. Let's take a look at our teams. We have a huge stream coming up next week that we've put in, been putting all of our time and energy into. Oh, is that that like the celebration stream where you like show off people's art and stuff? I think I remember you guys talking about that at some point. That's super rad. <laughs> well, good luck with that. Yeah, of, of course, obviously. No pressure, I'm just saying, if you ever want to, I'm around. Y'all are cool as heck. 300 plus giveaways, that's insane. Y'all, please go follow Moko Made. If we could get a shout out command, that would be fabulous. Just really, really good vibes. I It's one of my favorite things about Twitch is the random intersectionality of like communities, you know? Like, I love how many of like my viewers are like in other chats that I can like, find through them you know like if it wasn't for barb i wouldn't have found you guys and you guys are cool and that's like my favorite thing about twitch it's like the little community lines you can follow to find really cool people it's awesome heck yeah heck yeah <laughs> all right let's take a look at these teams who have we got so the barons of the march we have eight noble barons we have studly mare diplomat deadpan headbanging maniac uh timothy jackman Trombone Dalek, Chicken, and Alkali. I I find it very, I don't know, this, that's a very interesting team. So we have two mods, we have Chicken and Alkali, and we have a bunch of community members. Counts of the East, we have Bloody Line. Welcome to the Sexy Vampire team. I am ABQ, DBX runner, Meryl. Ooh, I like that we have Meryl and Bloody Lion, a little married couple on the same team. Very, very cute. We have Knight Spectre, Proud Slime Dad, Tulsko, Bill, and Barb, be careful. Counts of the East. Barb was my um, overthrower last game. We have the Patricians of the Coast. We have Lex Retro, Eva Little, uh, Matt, Brian Ashman, Rennie, Trinix, Jeremiah Blob, and King Israel. So this is a mod free team. Very suspicious, very interesting. How do you know what you are? It shows you um, um, right here. So you are a Patrician of the Coast. Also, if you are. Um, on desktop, you should see a little pop-up over the screen of my stream that gives you some information and stuff uh, on like what team you're on, what your personal wealth is, etc. So we will win, we will see. I'm very curious about how the mod free team is gonna do. Be very interesting. And again, if you are just joining us, we are gonna be doing a ton of giveaways to whichever region wins the most recent game when the timer runs out. So it's gonna be a little bit of an interesting dance of you want your team to win, but you also want the stream timer to last long enough so that your team was the most recent one to win, if that makes sense. So like if the timer hits zero and the Counts of the East had been the most reg recent region to win, Everyone who's been on the Counts of the East team will be entered into a big ol' a big ol' to give away. And that'll be a, a good time. Hold on, give me one second. I thought I heard someone knocking, but I guess not. I guess not. The Barons are strong, wee oui, wee. Oui. And if you'd like, you can change your color in chat to the color of your region, uh, just for ease of understanding, but there's no, there's no need to do that if you like your color. Please, Steven, no. Steven, no. <laughs> uh, and yes, and of course, obviously, um, the way you 
make the timer go longer is by doing uh, subscriptions and giving bits. Um, again, all that money goes to the mods and every uh, one sub is 10 minutes, every 20 minutes, every 20 bits is one minute. And we have a 12 hour cap. That's it, that's all the info, let's do it. You can also always join during the game if you missed that little screen, no worries, you can always join later. Bill, thank you for the gifts up to low pack, hell yeah. Very and Hex, it's good to see you. Welcome on in. Bill, thank you for the biddies as well. You're the best. All right, so we have a slightly different layout this time than last time. Oh, thank you. You want to take my coffee? I love you. Everyone say thank you, Rancid. Mm. It is very cursed. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. You can close that a little bit. Oh, bless you. Thank you, I love you. Moko, mate, thank you for the hundred biddies. Thank you for supporting the moderators. Thank you so much. It's very cursed, though. Just, oh, God, it's very it's very cursed and very disconcerting to see Chicken and Alkali's names in bright red. I don't like that. I feel like I'm in a nightmare. No. No, no, no. I don't know. Alkali, change it back. <laughs> I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Change it back. I don't like it. It's scary. Scary? I don't like red Alkali. Alkali has been green in every form since the day I've met them, and seeing them in red is very scary. All right, so we have a slightly different layout. We've got the coast is down here. The march is like this middle section. And then of course we have the Counts of the East up here. And we will start with, start with Path to Victory. So this is gonna be a little bit of repeated stuff from last game. I think it always like sets up the game the same way. Uh, so I apologize for any like repeated content, but I think it'll be good to start the story and play all one story all day today. Um, so we're not like referencing stuff people weren't here for. All right, <laughs> Starship Captain, I hate that. I hate that. All right, the Spy Master says, Your Majesty, the first few years of your reign are the most difficult. And now you're new and unproven. The nobles of the council will scheme against you, hoping to kick you off the throne and put their own puppet claimant in your place. Oh no. To defeat their schemes, you must secure an heir, something I failed to do horribly last time, and prove that you are worthy of the crown by completing an ambition. My question is, when you die, how do you hope the kingdom will remember you? So last time, last time I believe we did the greatest queen who ever lived, which is the authoritarian goal, uh, and that didn't go super well. That didn't go super well. What do we want? What do we want to do, chat? Hmm. Peacekeeper, nah. Mother of the nation, nah. nah. As a saint, an architect of a new golden age. I don't know. <laughs> the air just like never happened. Interesting, interesting. I'll explain when you're older. <laughs> uh, I don't know, chat. I don't know what I want to do. Okay, mom. <laughs> Conqueror. Goal is military. Hmm. But mm, I don't know. How do I raise my military? My only stats are authority, authority, treasury, and stability. I don't know how I do a military win. But we can, we can try it. I like conquering, let's do it. A warrior queen is sure to be remembered fondly if she wins more battles than she loses. <laughs> Ever win military high, got you. Okay, got it. Yo, what's up, Lone Jedi? Welcome on in a happy uh, mod appreciation day. I suggest over the next few years, you focus on improving the kingdom's overall military. Okay, so I want everyone's, that's not volatile at all. Nothing will go wrong with everyone having high military. That sounds fine. Once you have an heir, I will return to discuss how your ambition is progressing. Ooh, good luck, your majesty. Oh God, okay, all right. Excellent choice, my liege. <laughs> Thanks, Studley. Thanks, I appreciate it. That's not, that's not, that's not concerning at all. All right, let's do coronation. Your majesty, I've scheduled your coronation to take place in a week's time. Uh, why the hurry? <laughs> I hope no one rebelled, but 
What if we would if we rebelled together and took over the kingdom? Olympian! Welcome on in, Olympian. Thank you for 17 months. Holy heck. Thank you so much. And Lone Jedi, thank you for the 100 biddies. Oof, we're back up to three and a half hours. You know what? I didn't really think about... I didn't really think about how the timer worked. Because it's not about the total 12 hours. It's about the timer can never be higher than 12 hours, I think. Oh god, okay, this is everything's gonna be fine. Every, I'm gonna get to go home eventually. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. We're not gonna think about it. <laughs> not gonna think about it. Uh, I'm not using pixel chat because I would have to pay for pixel chat. So I'm using stream elements. Are you, are you sure about that? <laughs> oh god, I just put that together. Uh, it'll be fine. If I really need to, I can change, I can change it. I can change it. Oh God. Okay, we're gonna not think about that now. Mm -mm, no ma'am. I don't know, we'll find out. I think, I think it's like total 12 hours. I think. I think, chat. I don't know, oh God. I didn't think about that. It'll be fine, we'll have a great time. We'll have a great time. <laughs> We can keep an uh, eye on the stream uptime. Renny, you're a, you're a goddess. I love you so much. I love you so much. Okay, thank you, Alkali. The mods are here to make sure I don't die. <laughs> okay. To delay any longer would make the nobles mm, restless. And when nobles get restless, they take their jaggers and look for the nearest back. Very well, then what must I do? As is tradition, the council will decide what happens at your coronation. <laughs> what? But this is my coronation. This isn't an absolute monarchy. I love you, thanks for the coffee. Everyone say thank you, Rancid. <laughs> this isn't an absolute monarchy, your majesty. Everything has to be run past a council vote, even this. Shall we call the nobles in? All right, nobles, you're ready. Okay, so again, if you've never played this before, what you're gonna be doing in chat is voting on various things, things you wanna have happen in the kingdom, uh, decisions on like what buildings to build, etc. You're gonna be voting to rebel. Uh, this is going to be your very first vote. We're gonna have the options to A, host a lavish parade with jugglers and a fountain of wine. B, proceed with a religious ceremony that honors the ninth god. C, throw the queen into the river. Or D, troops shall bear the queen through the streets atop a shield. All right. Uh, yes, we have it. The vote hasn't started yet. I, as queen, get to pick um, some like laws. So I get to have a veto and I get to select, which is my choice. Currently, I don't have any real preference. I would like D because that's high military. So I can, well, let's get up on a good foot, chat. I would like the troops bearing the queen through the streets atop a shield. That's my preference. Now, Good, good barons and what are you called? What are you called? Nobles, good nobles. Um, you should want to be in my favor. So please pick my choice. Now the voting is officially open to all of you. You're going to do exclamation point vote either A, B, C, or D. I see, I, Studley Mare and Chicken, I will remember this. I will remember your good favor. You just want to be paraded around. Huzzah! I do. Huzzah! <laughs> you would be, you would be correct. I didn't become queen for any other reason. Oh, oh, yes, go. End the vote. End the vote. End the vote. <laughs> All right, so there was a tie between A and D, and the queen shall be choosing to be bared through on a shield throughout the streets. Yes, we oui, wee. Oui. Sounds fabulous. All right. Soldiers from across the kingdom take part in the parade. They're even outfitted in impressive new equipment for the occasion. See, you guys get to dress up too. That's cool. You're welcome. Duh. <laughs> Ray trying to be a manipulative monarch will not stand in this good holy modville, but of course. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> As you climb up onto the shield and hold your sword aloft, you realize this is not going to be easy. Your arm quickly starts to hurt. The soldiers stagger and groan underneath your weight. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Y'all. Oh no. 
Soon enough, oh God, one of your shield bearers tips, trips on a loose cobblestone and drops you face first in a puddle. Oh no. In full view of half the city, at least the only thing that hurts is your pride. Oh God, the authority has already become dubious just because I tripped once. Oh my God, well, that's embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, your armies are clearly not strong enough. I don't know how this is my fault. Oh my goodness, Polo Monkey, it's very good to see you. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for the mod love, I appreciate it. Now that you are queen, your first duty is to meet with the Council of Nobles. Your nobles hail from all across the kingdom, the desolate east, the wealthy coast, and of course, the bleak march. All right, I keep wanting to say marsh, but it's march, which I find a little strange. All right, we're gonna start with the Counts of the East. <gasps> Bill! Oh my God, Bill, you look amazing. Wow, <gasps> is that Jamie? Is that Jamie Daggers? How dare you come into my chat, Jamie? I love you so much. Hi, welcome, happy Friday, happy mod day. Hope you're having a good one. I, I miss you so much. I was thinking about you the other day. I'm so heckin' proud of you. Y'all, everyone go follow Jamie. She's killing it. Her streams have been so good lately. Please go follow Jamie. Uh, she's a professional mini painter, if you did not know, which is rad as hell. That's so cool. And she's just delightful. I love her so much. Everyone go hang out with Jamie. Okay, that's it. That's it. That's that. I'm off my soapbox. I love Jamie. Go follow her, please. Thank you. Uh, an honor to finally make your... Oh, here's my bill voice. An honor to finally make your acquaintance, your majesty. May you escape the doom that befell your predecessor. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> oh, it's weird to see Bill in purple, too. Oh! <gasps> Noble Patrician Renny, Renny, you look so good. Oh my God, Renny, I've got to say, Patricians, you have got the best representative uh, backing you up right now. A pleasure, your serene highness. I hope our kingdom prosper. I hope, our, I hope to see our kingdom prosper and grow wealthy under your reign. Tips hat, m'lady. <laughs> Mine is the prettiest, this is the prettiest one by far. It looks so good. <gasps> Yes, yes. Okay, so if you're wondering how people get their dudes to look so cool, if you buy the game, it's like five dollars. You get to um, you get to customize what your characters look like, uh, which is really fun. I mean, I know it's five dollars. You don't have to get it to participate, but it's I think it's a fun five dollars because you get to look all cool. All right, Alkali looks incredible. Hail and well met. Oh, that 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 tracks. Uh, your Majesty, underneath your leadership, will whip this kingdom into shape. Hmm. Oh my God, Alkali, you look so good. Okay, all right. Alkali's character is too pretty. We get this. Get this man off the screen. The council hall immediately fills with raised voices as the nobles argue with each other and demand your favor. You sigh and sit back. Is this what the council is like? No wonder your father told you to avoid the throne at all costs. Um, also, if you're just joining, you can still type exclamation point join and then one pronoun and you will still be entered into the game. Um, so there's no worries if you're joining late or if you have to leave, that's also fine too. So don't be dissuaded from joining because you're like, oh, I gotta leave in an hour. That's cool. It's not gonna ruin the game. You're all good. <laughs> and if you wanna know what um, like region you got sorted into, we can have this up for a second. This will show all the regions. Why are there so many patricians? That's suspicious. That's very suspicious. Uh, it'll tell you what region you're in. It'll also, if you are on desktop, it'll give you a little like pop up over the screen. Right now you should see it in the upper left corner of like the stream itself. It'll have a little pop up that'll tell you what region you're in. It'll tell you how much money you have and maybe some other information, but the good stuff is in there. <clears throat> All right, Barons, now is your time to shine. Uh, this is Veramis, one of the Barons of the March. When have the barons of the march backed down from a fight? Never! Also, they look really cool. Uh, I know you'll do whatever it takes to put me, your rightful monarch, on the throne. All right, so barons of the march, go ahead and vote. I'll leave the voting open for longer than 25 seconds, so don't rush to anything. I'll explain it a little bit. You are now voting for what your scheme is. So if you remember from when I explained it at the start, you were all trying to overthrow me in various ways. Uh, oh yes, stats, thank you, Rennie. You're trying to overthrow me in various ways. Uh, this is your chance to vote on what you'd like that that overthrowing way to be. I think it'll let me continue, yeah? Yeah, you can still vote now, even though the timer ran out, because I have to manually click continue. So you can pick A, 
doppelganger. You want to have the lowest defiance. And you can see your stats over here again. You guys are red. So we all have very low defiance, everybody. Propaganda, which is lower stability. You can see stability up here. It's currently five. That's a global stat for the whole region. And gunpowder to lower authority. Again, that is a stat for me. That's at four currently. It's already kind of low because I fell off my shield, but whatever. And this is just for Baron. So this is only for people on the red team. Kit Kat! <gasps> Kit Kat, I love you. Welcome on in. Thank you for supporting the mods. Thank you for adding um, some minutes to the timer. I appreciate it. Kit Kat, how are you doing? How's your week? How's everyone's week? How's everyone doing this week? I haven't streamed a lot this week because I've been preparing for today. <laughs> so I hope everyone's, hope everyone's doing good. All right, I'm gonna only give you a couple more seconds. So go ahead and vote uh, if you haven't already. <laughs> yeah, like gunpowder has never ever gone bad for rebellion. My week has been bananas. Good bananas or bad bananas? I hope good bananas. All right, beep boop boop. Let's do it. Oh, Barb, that's the worst. It sucks when animals need help, uh, but you can't explain to them that what you're doing is like helpful for them. Um, oh. Poor thing. I hope she gets better soon, Barb. All right, nobles, your official goal is to lower authority. And you should see that pop up here soon, I think. The Republic of Kurth has this substance called gunpowder. Mm, yes. With enough of that, the barons could take over the kingdom. Of course, a sensible queen would never allow one region to hoard such a thing. Do, to do so secretly, the barons must ensure their trading partners don't fear the queen's wrath. To advance their scheme, the barons must lower authority to four or less in two seasons. Okay, it's already four, so I'll have to work on that. So you'll see right here, it's got this red check mark. That means the red team has technically already completed their goal, but you have to be careful that I don't raise it back up again. Um, we now have the Counts of the East. This is Zvahok. Sounds very, sounds, sounds very Czech. <clears throat> My fellow counts, in ancient times, the East was its own proud kingdom. We can bring back those days of glories, but not while the false queen Ray bears the crown. Where's the crown? All right, so counts, purple team, go ahead and vote on what you'd like your scheme to be. A is subterfuge, which is lower stability. B is intimidation, which is raise the other's defiance. And C is blood ritual. I God, I wonder what people will pick. Uh, and your goal would be the highest farming. Feed me, welcome on in. It's good to see you, Feed Me. Thanks for joining us. Happy mod day. All right, I'll leave it open for a little bit longer because this timer is awfully quick, especially with stream delay. So I'll leave it up for a little bit longer if y'all wanna. Yeah, farming, mm-hmm, yes. Ah, uh, yes. Nothing but some harmless farming. All right, it looks like there's absolutely no dissenting. People want the blood ritual. All right. <clears throat> Voting is close. God, I have to be careful. I'm already losing my voice. Good Jesus. <laughs> Nothing. We've never summoned an eldritch god from harmless farming before. How could we ever have predicted that? I don't trust the counts. I know what you're all up to. I, I, mm -mm, no thank you. The counts plan to summon an ancient famine demon that will devastate all other regions, paving a clear path to the throne. First, they must ensure the East can withstand a famine. To advance their scheme, the Counts must be the region with the highest farming in four seasons. All right, you're close, but you haven't yet completed that. You're at six. The Barons are technically higher than you. Oh, no, I'm sorry, I'm looking at military. No, 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 you are you are the highest. Never mind. ignore me, ignore me. You are the highest, you have seven. So other regions, if you want to keep the counts from getting too powerful, you would want to, um, you would want to raise your farming to surpass the counts. <laughs> All right, Nyx, ooh, very cool name. Uh, fellow patricians of the coast, my claim to the throne is far more legitimate than that of Queen Rey. Something must be done. All right, patricians, the modless faction. It is time for you all to vote. Your options are A, Monopoly, which is to raise your own trade. B, Conspiracy, which is to lower my treasury, so drain me of my money. Or C, Corruption, which is to lower authority, which is also the goal of the barons. Keep that in mind.
All right. Looks like they want a Monopoly. Interesting. <laughs> I love Monopoly. All right, so you all want to raise your own trade. All right, we have all of our skeins. The patricians plan to privatize this entire damn kingdom. First, they must build up their own industry. To advance their scheme, the patricians must raise their trade to five or more. Already got that in four seasons. All right, so everyone has already met their goal. The question is now um, to not let it go lower. Your Majesty, these upstarts are saying they have the right to your throne. No doubt the nobles are already scheming to crown their region's preferred claimant. Damn, all right, everyone's already met their first um, part of their scheme, but they have to, it's about, oh, I didn't mean to click that, but that's okay, that's okay. Oh, <gasps> Timothy Jackman, you look amazing. We have the same little glasses, look at that. All right, we're going to the uh, Barons of the March first. <laughs> didn't I say a wooga anyone yet? All right, Timothy, you look amazing. You look great. Uh, Timothy says, your highness, the merchants in the march are complaining about bandits. The marcher roads are too dangerous to travel, uh, even with guards. <clears throat> Gangs of highly organized, well-armed highwaymen will ambush merchant caravans and steal absolutely everything. <laughs> oh, hell yeah, Timothy, we're twins. All right, what can be done about the bandits plaguing marcher roads? Pay a mercenary company to patrol the roads, which lowers treasury and raises trade. Make a few empty promises and hope this all goes away. Lowers trade, raises defiance. Send a battle-hardened reg uh, regiment to rout the bandits. Uh, that is a gamble, but it is going to affect our military. Or offer a bounty on bandit scalps, and that's lowering the treasury. Oh um, boy, so we're voting on how we want to handle the bandits. And I can mark my choice and I can veto, but I only get one of those per season. So I'm gonna... Uh, all right, I'm gonna leave this up to you all. Nothing lowers authority, so I'm not too worried about it. So I'm gonna let it go. All right, go ahead and vote. Exclamation point vote and then a letter. Oh, you into the sun, Barb. Oh god, this latte is really good. God damn. Mmm. You're going places in this kingdom. Again, this is for um this is for everyone. Yeah, so everyone can vote on this whether or not you belong in the march. Oh no! Oh, you guys, no! <laughs> Welcome on in, Tony. Thank you for joining us. No! Make a few empty promises and hope this all goes away. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. I thought about vetoing that one, but I... Oh, all right, voting is closed. 14 nobles voted for. Make a few empty promises and hope this all goes away. Ha 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 ha. Love that for us. A few weeks later, you hear word from the march. The bandit problem is worse. Oh, jeez. All right. Trade is now struggling. Oh, God. March, you lost trade and we raised your defiance. The outlaws are even more daring. The merchants are too afraid to send their goods outside the city walls. Teehee, we scheming. <laughs> Not up, but places. <laughs> Listen, chicken, I, other people voted for this. This was not me. I did not decide to do this. This was your fellow, your fellow nobles decided on this. All right, so now let's go. Um, Let's do the petitioner from afar. The chancellor says, <gasps> Osmati, welcome on in. Yo, what's up, Osmati? Happy Friday. Also, I don't remember if I said hi to Tony or not, but hi, Tony, welcome on in. Currently only three hours, thank God. Ugh. Yeah, Osmati, dude, this game is so beautiful. It's, it's also really well done. It's technically not a board game, but it has very board gamey feels to it. I really, really love it. Deadpan, it changes. So typically if it's an event in a specific region, it'll affect that region's stats, but sometimes there's some nuance to it. You can't always 
exactly predict how, who's going to be affected by what. Oh, right, this NPC? <laughs> yeah, Osmati, it is $5. It's fantastic. You can play it. It's stream integrated. So chat gets to make all the decisions. They're all sorted into various regions in the kingdom. You can also play it locally, just like with friends, uh, which I heard is not bad, but I really enjoy playing it on stream. And Osmati, if you buy the game, you can customize your little outfits. So then when you join, you like look like yourself or you look super cool and stuff. Uh, so feel free to type exclamation point join and then one pronoun and your character will be in the game. All right, your majesty. There is a petitioner here to see you today. We're not exactly sure where she's from. Ooh. <laughs> Smarty, I didn't mean it like that. I mean, like, you can make yourself look however you want. I made myself kind of look like me, but you could also just make your person look, like, super cool and weird. <laughs> There's no talking myself out of that hole. I'm, I'm going to stop engaging with it. <laughs> All right, I assume you have good reason for letting her in. You'll see, you'll see soon enough, your majesty. Is she cool looking? <gasps> Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. She looks so cool. Are you joking? Are you joking? Oh my God, look at her outfit. Look at her outfit. Ah! Panic. Panic chat. A wooga. <laughs> I like how the... <laughs> I like how the Google Meets captions uh, translate Awuga to O oh Google. That's amazing. I love that. I want that outfit so badly. Is it Sunday night already? We, we got some. We got some Sunday vibes. We got some Sunday vibes. Uh If you own the game, she'll show up more often in the story too. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's cool. There's. That's so true, Jamie. That's so true. Yeah, Timothy, your default character looks sick. Looks super cool. Oh my god, she's so pretty. Oh my god. All right. I'm flustered. <clears throat> we are going to be composed. We are queen, chat. We are queen. Greetings, your majesty. My name is Orid. Chat, I think this character is going to come up a lot, so please tell me if I'm pronouncing that terribly wrong. Rain makes a new noise. Barb, no. <laughs> Greetings, your majesty. My name is or read is how I would say that, but I could be wrong. <gasps> I think you can marry her? I want to marry her. Oh my god. I have a proposition for you. Um, tell me more about this proposition. Okay, hold on. My, my partner's talking downstairs. I'm going to close my door again. He doesn't need, he's playing games with his friends in the other room. He doesn't need <laughs> the low rumble of me screaming a wooga in the background. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Three ships are docked in a harbor to the west. Um, also, Tony, you should join the game. You should type exclamation point join, and then you'll be in the game. And you can do exclamation point join, and then a pronoun, so either she, he, or they, and you'll be made a character in the game. And anyone can do that. You can do that at any point, join the game. And if... Let me just remind you all, even if you don't want to stick around, you don't want to play a lot, uh, by joining a region, you get entered into giveaways at the end of the stream. Whichever region has won most recently, when the stream ends, everyone from that region is going to be entered into giveaways. Is my clock wrong behind me? No? Well, the thing is, it, that's, that's a reasonable margin for my clocks. It's technically four minutes wrong, but it's close enough. It's close enough. Uh, yes, Tony, that should have worked. Let's see, Tony is in. Tony, you are part of the Vampire Counts. You are on the purple team. Uh, if you're watching on desktop right now, you should see a pop-up in the top left corner of your screen that'll tell you what region you're in and your personal wealth and all those fun things. <laughs> yeah, my clocks are always, every clock in my house is slightly different, but I'm like, yeah, you get the vibe. It's like roughly 11.30. <laughs> Uh, you don't have to own the game to get the pop-up. 
You only, the only thing you get from owning the game, I believe, is customizing your character. Um, Gaslit Goomba, welcome on in. You only have to type one pronoun, so just join he, and that'll be all you need. We have very different clock brains. You right. Potterboy, welcome on in. Thank you for joining us. All right. Gaslit Goomba, welcome to the Patricians. Potterboy, welcome to the Counts. All right. Also, if you have more questions, um, our mods kind of know what's going on now, as does Renny. They're also very helpful. So if I miss anything, um, hopefully someone in chat can help you out um, or just tag me a bunch if you're really confused about something. Do it, Tony, do it. Make your make your person really cool. You are on the count team, so you're gonna wanna customize your skin for the counts because you can have a separate skin for each region. Um, so if you want us to see it, you wanna customize that one. All right, I've read this a million times, but I haven't actually internalized it. Three ships are docked in a harbor to the west. Their holds are packed to the gills. Ooh, I love that. With muskets and gunpowder. <gasps> no gunpowder. No gunpowder is entering my kingdom because that's what the barons want. No, 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 no. And they each boast a full battery of cannons. Mm-mm, no gunpowder. Uh-uh, no, no. They are all yours in return for a small favor. Muskets, <laughs> like the small furry animals. I really want to figure out how to marry her. Oh my God. What would I do with the muskets or, and what is the favor? What would I do with the muskets? Outfit your armies with them, your majesty. They are powerful weapons, enough to give you an edge over your enemies. Well, I do like being powerful. I do like having guns. All right, what's the favor? I only wish to stay in this kingdom with your blessing and protection. I can show your soldiers how to use the weapons, of course, to avoid any accidents. All right, what did you do? I don't know what you mean, what you mean, your majesty. I simply wish to keep my dealings private. You will forgive me, I hope. Oh, she's so pretty. All right, so it's time to vote everybody. A mysterious foreigner is requesting asylum in exchange for boats full of rare gunpowder wep gun weapons. What should be done? Provide a safe harbor for Orid in exchange for muskets. Raises military. I do like raising military. Reject Orid's offer and send her away. Confiscate the weapons and take Orid prisoner. Ooh. Ooh. Pretty lady wants gunpowder. Oh no, oh wooga. Oh no, oh no. I wonder, can I imprison and then like flirt with her? <laughs> Is that not a good one two step plan for dating? Yeah, Kit Kat, that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to progress problematic at all. It's okay. All right, all right, all right. Provide <laughs> uh, a safe harbor. I don't know. See, here's the thing. I'm worried because the barons want gunpowder, but this is also this is also in the patricians' territory. This isn't in the barons' territory. Oh no, chat. I don't know. Um, Skip Pan, thank you for that follow. Welcome on into the Check Games Edition Twitch channel. Very nice to meet you. We are celebrating Mods Day today and playing uh, King of the Castle all day long. <sighs> yeah, the Barons want gunpowder. But also that might just be narrative flair. I don't know that you can actually literally get the gunpowder. I think they just want to lower authority right now. Game Mind, hello, welcome on in. Thank you for joining us. Feel free to type exclamation point join and then a pronoun to be um, added into the game. <laughs> they will marry you if you take their stuff. Oh, Chad, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna, I like the options that raise military. So I'm gonna veto, this might seem rash, but I'm gonna veto rejecting her and sending her away. And we will open a vote. All right, chat, your options are A or B. A is provide safe harbor uh, in exchange for muskets. C is confiscate the weapons and take her prisoner. Anyone can vote regardless of what region you are in. Barb, that's so ominous. Barb scares me because Barb killed me last time. 
Oh, it's a very tight vote. Very tight. All right. 11 people want to provide a safe harbor and 13 want to confiscate the weapons. Oh no. Oh no, I do not have drops, unfortunately, Potter Boy. Sorry about that. Um, at least I don't think, maybe I do, uh, but not intentionally. Uh, it's very interesting that the entire counts want to do it and only one single patrician wants to do this. I mean, I guess because she's coming into the patrician's territory, so I guess that makes sense. All right, well, voting is closed. You messed up, girl. You stop that, Barb. Stop. Confiscate the weapons and take Oria, um, Oried prisoner. Yeah, Game Mind, welcome on into King of the Castle. This is basically like um, a narrative storytelling game where you're all divided up into different regions and you all can affect the stories and you have your own individual goals. If you want to, you can type exclamation point join and little pronoun and you will be added to one of the regions. No, you can't marry her now. Are you sure? Military go burr. <laughs> all right. <laughs> you send word to the coast where the foreign ships are impounded and the weapons are seized. Uh, or Reed goes quietly as you show her to a cell through the contempt on her face, though her, the contempt on her face is clear as day. Oh no. This is not how you think people like you, but it's worked before, I don't understand. All right, military is now five, that is good, huzzah. You guys were weak anyways. You guys needed to raise your military. Your military was pathetic before. Uh, military in the uh, March is now eight and in the East is seven, all right. <laughs> the confiscated muskets are distributed to your soldiers without training however there are more than a few exploded wagons and missing limbs without training however there are f oh jeez oh no okay stability is not so great <clears throat> what a meat cute yeah exactly exactly she brought you guns and you threw her in prison Oh, Potter Boy, you know I did. Of course I did. When I met the fish boy, we a woo good so hard. It did not work though. It was unsuccessful. Unsuccessful a woo good. All right, time to go to the honor guard. The marshal, you betrayed me last time, marshal. I don't trust you. Now that you are queen, you need personal protection. Why I could, why I could plunge my sword into your heart right now, could I not? Uh, pa, I'd like to see you try. Is it your imagination or does the marshal stifle a wry chuckle? In any case, she quickly hides it. Interesting. You need an honor guard to keep, keep you safe from such dangers, your majesty. Unfortunately, this is a political decision. All right, what are my options? Each region, okay, we've done this before. This is exactly the same as last time. Each region offers a selection of elite guards, the counts with knights and the order of the Drowned Rose, the Patrician with uh, champion gladiators from the arena, and the Barons with a squad of battle-hardened veteran soldiers. Right. Think carefully, Your Majesty. These guards, the, these guards' loyalties will be divided between you and their region. Of course, you could just hire a foreign mercenaries. They'd be loyal to coin above all. All right, so we've heard about all these guys last time. The only ones we don't know about are the veterans of the march. These soldiers have fought more battles than they have hot dinners, and they've had hot dinners. They'll be uncouth, no doubt, but they and won't adapt well to life in the palace, but they're loyal and tough as nails. Yo! Marquise, Mark, thank you for that. Thank you for that raid. Oh my goodness, welcome on in, everybody. Thank you for that raid. Very, very kind of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome on in, Slivers. It's good to see you. Fierce, Axolot, Axolotl, I love your username. Welcome on in. Hater Blossom, it's nice to meet you. Kestrel, it's good to see you. Welcome back. Hello, everybody. Y'all, thank you for that raid. Welcome on in. If you are new around here, welcome to the Check Games Edition Twitch channel. My name is Ray. I run this stream. Uh, CGE is a board game publisher, so if you like board games, you might recognize some of the ones behind me. We've made all of these board games behind me, so we've made Code Names, we've made Lost Runes Varnak, Letter Jam, Last Wheel, Pictomania, Galaxy Trucker. All these games are our games. Uh, we play a lot of board games here on this channel, uh, but sometimes we do other things. Like today, we were playing a game called King of the Castle, which has very board gamey vibes to it. 
Uh, oh gosh, this game looks so cool. Why are there so many cool games? I know, right? Bill, thank you for that gifted sub. Um, I really appreciate that. Um, so yeah, if you enjoy board games, if you like to, like code names, games like that, please follow the channel. We do a lot of stuff like that here. Kid Cat, thank you so much for those five gifted subs. Oh my God, it's at four hours now. <gasps> Everything's gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Christ. Okay. <laughs> um, so yeah, if any of that sounds good to you, please consider following the channel. I typically stream here three days a week. We play board games with chat. We play board games with guests. We play board games with my coworkers, all that good stuff. But today, most importantly, is Twitch's Mod Appreciation Day. So we are doing a big old subathon to celebrate my moderators, all of the money this is a thing we do anyways, all the time. All of our money goes to the mods. Anything we get from subs or bits always go to goes to our mods, but we're doing a special subathon to try to raise some more money for them. Uh, so any subs and bits not only gives money to the mods, but it also increases this timer above my head, which is how long the stream is gonna run. When that timer drops to zero, the most recent region in King of the Castle, everyone in that region is going to be entered into a ton of giveaways. If that means nothing to you, just type exclamation point join and then a pronoun. You will be put into the game. You will be sorted into one of these regions and you can kind of pick it up as you go along. If you have any specific questions about how to play, let me know. We also have, of course, our mods who are pretty knowledgeable about the game now that we've played it once before. Um, so yeah, Codenames is my favorite game for a party of six. Hell yeah, hell yeah. I appreciate that. I'm glad you enjoyed the game. Um, what were you playing today, Marquise Mark? Um, I hope you had a lovely stream. Welcome, welcome. Thank you all so very much for that raid. I really hope you had a lovely, I hope you had a lovely stream. Uh, thanks for sharing your community with us today. Uh, and again, if you wanna join in on the game, exclamation point join, and then a pronoun. If you're playing on desktop, you should see a little pop-up that might give you some more information over the stream itself. And yeah, that's all, that's all you need. Ooh, Olympian, what, what region did Olympian get sorted into? <gasps> Olympians with the patricians. There's so many patricians, I'm so suspicious. I'm so suspicious. Oh, and Marquis Mark is also with the Patricians. Interesting. Interesting. Um, da, 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 da. I played the Wild Frost demo on Switch and then played some Aces and Adventures. Super cool card games. Oh, awesome. Hell yeah. That's sick. Thank you so much for, for rating and I'm glad, glad to hear you had a good stream. All right, so we're trying to figure out who I want to help me defend my kingdom. No suspicions of the Patricians. Mm. That's what a suspicious person would say. Loyal and tough as nails. That sounds honestly kind of good. I'm kind of into... Spitzka, it's good to see you. Thank you for joining us. Uh, let's just remind us the Knights of the East. She's so pretty, dude. I picked her last time and it didn't go so well, so I don't think I'm gonna pick her this time. But this is the Order of the Drowned Rose, are highly respectable. They'll understand palace etiquette, etiquette but it's been years since they fought an actual battle. Goth girlfriends are the best. You're not wrong. Uh, cool. So gladiators, gang of lowborn crooks who have turned themselves into celebrities through their skill at chopping other people to bits. They're vain and selfish. All right. I'm going to. I. Ooh, mom. Thank you for the thousand biddies. God, it's five hours. Mom, no, stop. <laughs> mom, please no. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mama. I love you. Thanks for supporting my mods. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I think I'm going to do the Veterans of the March. They said they were loyal and skilled. That sounds good. What's the timer counting to? Feed me. That is as, that's how long the stream has to run. <laughs> that, that is the length of the stream. And it will keep going up the more subs and bits we get. Um... <laughs> I will make the arrangements at once. All right. So the march is now cordial because I have accepted your, um, uh, your person to help me. Oh, we have the coasts on the east. They have now raised their defiance. I'm hoping for 12 hours total. <laughs> That's my hope. The veterans arrive a few weeks later. They march into the throne room in perfect formation, ooh, before lining up behind your throne, hands on their sword hilts. Each soldier sports a bigger scar than the last. 
go do your post stream self care, Marquis Mark. I trust me, I totally get it. Thank you for sending your community over to us. Go do what you got to do. I also, whenever I raid, can't ever hang out that long because the post stream, uh, I don't know what to call it. The post stream kind of dip is is so real. So go take care of yourself. Do what you got to do. I greatly appreciate it. Yo, Duchess, welcome on in. Thank you for joining us. Welcome to King of the Castle. All right, it looks like we've done all of our events for this season. So it's time to progress to our next season. Dong. Oh, let's zoom out. Nope. There we go. I'm very close to my camera today. All right. End of turn. The nobles use their personal wealth to bid on buildings. So this is when you guys can pay to create new buildings in our kingdom. The only the two highest funded will be built. So you're gonna type, not yet, cause I haven't started it yet, but when the auction starts, it's going to be exclamation point fund and you're gonna do the code. So either A, B, C, D, E, or F. And then Y is going to be the next number is going to be how much you want to spend. Duchess, thank you for subscribing with Prime as well. Thank you for supporting the moderators and increasing the subathon timer. I greatly appreciate it. All right, so you're gonna do, yeah. It hasn't started yet, but you're gonna do exactly what Feed Me Some Wa did. Exclamation point fund B or letter that you want and then a number. Do keep in mind that you all only have a thousand dollars to start with. We're gonna play this game all day. So from like generation to generation, you're going to acquire wealth. So any money you have at the end of this game will transfer to next game. So I wouldn't necessarily recommend blowing it all right now, but it's up to you, it's your money. I'm not gonna tell you what to do. And you can vote for any building regardless of what region you're in. So if you're a Baron, you don't only have to fund Baron buildings, fund the building that is best for you. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Olympian, thank you so much. What the hell? What the hell? Thank you for 36, 36 gifted subs. Holy, holy crap. Oh my God. Thank you so much. It's a 10 hour stream. Oh God. It's a 10 hour stream. Oh God. Oh God. Oh my God. Thank you so much. Olympia, thank you for supporting the moderators. Really, really appreciate it. What the hell? What the hell? Skip in the join command won't tell you, but you should see it either in a pop-up over the stream if you're on desktop, or I can pull this up real quick. Uh, Skip in, you are in region. Uh, uh, I do not see you. I don't know why I don't see you. Try it again, try an exclamation point join. I might also just be missing you. Skip in, skip in, skip in. I see Spitzka. Spitzka, you are in Patricians. All right, so the two buildings that got funded are the Count's building for the aqueduct, which raises farming. Mm-hmm, they would want that to bring in their eldritch god. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that was largely due to barbed wire. Mm-hmm, extra suspicious. And the Barons got their theater, which lowers authority. All right, no, I don't like that. I do not, do not like that. Yo, thank you so much, Olympia. What the hell, man? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh my God. Holy crap, that's so much. <laughs> thank you for supporting the moderators. You are, you are a king, but also looking at that number is, is a lot, it's a big number, it's a big number. <laughs> Why is the green faction so huge? I think it's because it's pretty random for the most part. Oh, Skippin, you are officially in the Barrens, by the way. Big number go burr. Uh, yeah, Skippin, you are in you are in the Barrens. Welcome back from your lurkdom, bloody lion. It tracks activity level. That makes sense. So that every every team has got like pretty active people on it. That that tracks. That makes sense. All right. So let's do. Let's 
do Bounty Hunter. It's the weekend, no more work sees? Hell yeah. All right, the Chancellor says, Your Majesty, these good folk are bounty hunters, representing the Republic of Kurth, they say. Queen Rey, we greet you humbly. Ooh, they're cool looking. Uh, all right, bounty hunters. Make it quick, blah, 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 blah. Uh, tell me about Kurth. It is a lovely time of year you should visit. Lots of rain, but we make do. As for more important matters, we are searching for someone. A fugitive, ooh, you might say. Last we heard, she went by the name Oreed. A fugitive, you say? Hmm, never heard of her. Oh, should I say she's in my dungeons? Oh, oh, OMG, did she break out? Um, we're gonna find out. Let's protect her. What kind of fugitive is she? Uh, I don't know anyone by that name. Oh, shoot. Forgive us, your majesty, but we are not fools. We know your military is using the weapon she stole. Damn it. All right, she's in my dungeons. Give it up. That's excellent news. We ask permission to purchase her from you so she may stand trial and face justice back in Kurth. Oh, and the weapons she stole, they belong to the Republic, you understand. We kindly ask you to return them. Mm-mm, nah. Nah, homie. Mm-mm, no thank you. This is not how you get people to like you. <laughs> All right. We can A, return the stolen weapons and transfer custody of Oreed. We can B, give Oreed to the bounty hunters, but keep the weapons stolen, or C, turn the bounty hunters away. All right, let me think about this for a second. We have, people want B, interesting, give, no, 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 no. I don't want to give away. I don't want to give up our read. The problem is that return the stolen weapons. Trans. No, 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 no. We are protecting our read. Our read is best girl. We are not giving her up. Yo, welcome on in Dutch Yoda. Thank you for joining us. What does the treasury do? That's the amount of money that I have. I can use that on things. We haven't had the opportunity yet, but when I, when I as queen get to buy things, I pull from my treasury. All right, I'm gonna veto. We are vetoing returning the stolen weapons. Absolutely not. And chat, I strongly urge you to pick C if not only for the story opportunities. All right, go ahead and vote, exclamation point vote, and then a letter, it can be either B or C. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Turn the bounty hunters away, let's go. Let's go, get them out of here. Get them out of here. All we need is blood, oh. That's nice, yeah! Who didn't vote for that, I'll remember you. Turn the bounty hunters away. Let's go. Ta da Right. You dismiss the bounty hunters and with a wave of your hand, their dignified expression quickly fades. Ugh, Kurth will not forgive this slight. We will be back. Well, sucks to suck because I'm super strong. But blam blam. All right, let's go. Let's go here. <gasps> Finding a spouse. Ugh. Okay, all right, it's time for spouses. In the twisty passages of your castle, you can avoid your advisors, the nobles, even the spy master. But there's one person you can't avoid, your mother. Why haven't you found a spouse yet? It's been almost a year. Ah, uh, I've been busy, get off my back. You'd better find the time. Don't worry, I'll take the liberty of finding eligible candidates. What is your preference, men, women, or do you not mind? <laughs> All right, we are, we are interested in anybody. Excellent. I'll send out messengers to the most influential nobles, noble families in the kingdom. Let's see what they have to offer. All right, we'll find out who our mom picks. Yeah, mom, mom's a real one, we like mom. All right, we're gonna go to Overrun by Bandits. 
Ugh, Timothy, you look so cool. Goddamn. Every day, more bandits attack our bro- Oh god, it's more bandits? Didn't this already happen? Every day, more bandits attack our roads in the march. We are overrun with scoundrels and outlaws. Hmm. I've looked into this, your majesty. A leader of sorts has emerged from among the rabble. For now, the lawless scum do his bidding. Interesting. Because I ignored it? Oh, that's... You might... You know what? You all have a point. I might have done nothing about that. But also, you voted. You voted. You forced my hand. I put that vote to the council. That's not my fault. Um, uh, tell me more. He calls himself the Gallows Man because he was given the noose twice and survived both times. Whoa. He's a vicious fellow, and his bandits have been known to slaughter penniless pilgrims for sport. The local villagers are terrified of him. That's why they don't turn him in and let his gang hide amongst them when the sheriff comes knocking. Tell me more, like, did he have a car? <laughs> great, great reference, bloody. Who cares who he is? We need to kill him and teach the others a lesson. But they're scared of him. Okay. How can the bandits and their new leader be brought to justice? A, place a heavy bounty on the gallows man's head. That is a 40% chance of succeeding. We can B, send a spy to join the bandits. Ooh, I like that. And find the location of their hideout. Decreases trade, increases defiance. Interesting. You the queen, so all blame goes on you, Deffy. <laughs> C, tempt one of the bandits, bandits to rat out their leader. Same, same thing as B, lower trade, higher defiance. We've already wasted enough resources on this time to move on. Oh, okay, so I can't veto... Um, my choice, I think my choice would be B. I think B is pretty cool. Arliel, welcome on in. Thank you for joining us. Happy Mods Day. All right. Everyone go ahead and vote. My personal choice would be B because I think that's the coolest. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Remember when I said B was my choice? Y'all remember? Yeah, Arliel, we are celebrating Mod Appreciation Day. We are doing currently... A 10 hour subathon. So all bits and subs raise the timer. What's happening? Why are we, why, 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 why are we doing this? Uh, chat, what's happening? <laughs> why? Why? Have you seen the Baron trade? I have seen the Baron trade. I have. Okay. Oh God, <gasps> we succeeded! Let's go! A month later, a bounty hunter stomps into your throne, holding a wet sack. Oh, we did it, chat. He tosses it at your feet and something rolls out. You recognize it from the ugh, from the wanted posters. It's the severed head of the gallows man, gently leaking onto your carpet. I dealt with your bandit problem. How about a reward? Let's go, chat! Nice! Let's go. All right. We can give the man the full bounty, it lowers treasury by 1500, raises trade and raises stability. We can pay half, this head is damaged, or we can refuse to pay. It's not like he can bring the dead back to spite you. <gasps> Arleo, thank you for the five gifted subs. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. Yeah, the stability is nice, I agree, I agree. Poor presentation, zero out of five stars, don't pay. Oh, uh, let's see. I don't want to, I don't want to anger. I don't want to anger this bounty hunter. I'm happy he dealt with the March issue. 1500 is a lot, is a lot of money, but it increases trade, which is good and increases stability. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to give the man the full bounty. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. The bounty hunter strides from your throne room, whistling tunelessly and dragging behind the same body, the bloody sack full of clinking gold. That's a cool image. Without their leader, the bandits in the march lose their courage. Robberies are still regular a regular occurrence, but a few caravan guards are enough to keep the merchant's cargo safe. Fabulous. Uh, march, you now have a modest trade. <laughs> it might have been a lot of money, but I want to keep... I've, I've already... 
we already might have an impending war based on this whole prisoner situation. I can't afford to make more people mad at me, I think. Finally, a modest trade. The common folk are grateful to you for freeing them from the gallows man's threats and violence. All right, so we're now stable. This is all good, chat. This is all good. All good things, all good things. All right, chat, I'm gonna pause here for one second and run to the bathroom. I will, I will BRB. Thank you, Arliel, I love you. Thank you so much. We are back. Thank you for waiting. Mm. Oh no, it changed. What the hell? Oh, so maybe it doesn't like it when... All right, it's 10 hours and six minutes. Why? What the hell? So maybe it doesn't like when I change scenes? Oh, chat, I'm sorry, hold on, our timer is all weird. We already hit the 12 hour limit, I know, but it's fun to have the timer on screen. All right, well, what I can do is I can, okay, give me one second, chat. I can, I can, I can come up with a jank way to fix it. Okay, hold on, uh, bear with me. Here, let's go back to BRB, uh, I'll fix it.
forgot about that, everybody. We have a back to a 10 hour timer, which was where it was at. Um, and is as high as it can go because that's a 12 hour stream and that is my cap. Um, so unfortunately no more bits and subs will affect the timer anyways because they, they weren't doing that anyways because Ely or Olympian um, already maxed it out. So props to Olympia for meeting our goal. So we're gonna just have it on a static 10 hour timer. Uh, so bits and subs won't affect it anymore. But what I was just chatting with the, I love you Olympian, but you broke the game. <laughs> but I, that's, thank you so much. Um, but it was a 12 hour cap and Olympian made us hit that immediately. So we now have just a 10 hour timer, which is awesome. I wanted to do a 12 hour stream. So thank you for making that happen. What I think we'll do in the very last hour. So at, um, at 10 p.m. If I'm feeling up for it, we might I might open up one more hour of like subathon bit options um, just for funsies, depending on how we're feeling. But we're gonna run for the 10 hours. Uh, so hopefully, hopefully that timer doesn't get messed up again. But it technically doesn't matter because uh, we already met our goal. Thank you for uh, bearing with me, everybody. I'm sorry about the sorry about the tech issues. I think I've made it so it won't mess up anymore. I think it's whenever I go to a screen that doesn't have the timer. It messes it up somehow. Even though I checked the boxes that Alkali said to, and it shouldn't be, it should refresh upon whatever. Cause like the timer in my browser is right. And for some reason the, the thing on Streamlabs isn't right. But regardless, uh, uh, Olympian actually made my life much easier. <laughs> like actually Heike, thank you so much. Cause if you hadn't maxed out the timer, this would have been a lot more annoying. So thank you for your help. I love you. Quaid Rain, welcome on in. Happy Friday. Welcome on in to King of the Castle. Um, and I also want to say before we get started again, please consider to continue giving bits and subs to my mods. Uh, Cause all that money still goes to them. It just, I'm not going to stream for an ungodly amount of time, but please do continue or consider uh, uh, giving more bits and subs to the mods because this is this is a day all about them to give back to them for being amazing and wonderful. So if you have the means, feel free to, of course, no pressure at all whatsoever. But if you have an Amazon Prime account, you can subscribe for free. So you should at least do that. If not here, do it somewhere because it's free money. You might as well. That's it. I'm back. No, <laughs> you two years stream. Maybe someday. Maybe someday I'll do like a seriously long subathon. I don't think it's gonna be today though, but maybe maybe in the future. You girls got stuff to do. I got responsibilities on my Saturday. <laughs> all right, well, thank you all so much for being patient with me. I appreciate it. We're back to King of the Castle. A distant, in a distant fortress. Oh, amidst dark and foreboding forests, a small squat castle stands watch over the marcher border. There at the end of, a, of the kingdom, a plot is hatching. Also, are we talking about Girl Scout cookies? Oh, damn. <gasps> Deadpan, you look fantastic. I don't know if Deadpan's still in chat, but Deadpan uh, looks incredible. Uh, if someone wants to tag them in case they're still here and maybe not maybe not watching so they can see. Oh, yay, Deadpan is here. Look at you, look how cool you look. All right, look here, our first shipment from Kurth. No, wait, oh no, they are, oh no. Oh no. Polo monkey, hell yeah, incredible. May I see inside, this is the gunpowder, oh no. Careful with that torch, you fool. You'll blow us to smithereens. Oh no. So this is the fabled black powder. Oh no. Uh, incredibly powerful, but we'll need much, much more to put you on the throne. Plot, plot, plot. For the next stage of the Baron's scheme, they must raise their trade to five or more in four seasons. So you've got four, you need to raise it to five and then within the next four seasons. All right. Ooh, it's time for taxes. Yay, I love taxes. You can take a small tax from the kingdom's commoners or tax one region's nobles. Uh, the latter will raise, ooh, <gasps> Megan! Thank you for the gift of to Timothy. Megan, I love you so much. Thank you for supporting the moderators. Happy Mods Day, happy Friday. The latter will raise defiance and take personal wealth from nobles of that region. <sighs> okay, what are, we, what are we thinking? We wanna do a, I'm gonna try, last time I taxed one region specifically and it made people big angry. It made people very big angry. And I don't wanna raise defiance. I don't know. Uh, the, the thing is the Baron's defiance is at an acceptable level. So I'm okay. There are a lot of patricians, this is true. But a lot of the patricians aren't, aren't active, which is why there's so many, so I'm not too worried about that. 
Hell yeah, hell yeah, Megan, I love you so, so much. Feel free to join if you'd like. You can type exclamation point join and then your pronoun. I'm gonna tax, I'm gonna tax the barons. Cause they're, they're close to their scheme. I'm gonna tax them, I'm gonna tax them. And their defiance I think was, was, was manageable for now. The counts discover a rich new vein of copper ore making 500 wealth. The other nobles gain 200. Okay. They got a, you guys got a trade bonus for having such good, such good, um, or such a, far, a farming bonus. Sorry, I think a farming bonus. Me money, oh no, a mamma mia. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. Sorry. All right, ooh, the deceased. All right, let's go to the Counts of the East. The treasurer says the elderly Countess Iolanda, Iolanda? A cousin many times removed from Count Potter Boy 111 died in her sleep last week. She was nearly 90, would you believe? And why are you telling me this? Or a better end than most of us get? Or I'm sorry, friend of yours. Yeah, I'm sorry, friend of yours. Not at all, your majesty. She was very wealthy, however. But she could have spent more time on her accounts. She died without a will, and the nobles are scrambling for her estate. Interesting. Our condolences. Ooh, Potter Boy, you look cool. Uh, Countless Iolanda was... Count, Countess Iolanda was my relative. I wrote to her at least once a year. <laughs> of course, the estate should be mine. Ooh, Duchess, nice. Duchess says, my late great grandfather used to play backgammon with her. He swore she intended to leave it to our family. Ooh, by Zena's ashes, that's a pitiful claim. Ooh, all right. Ooh, okay, so we get a, we get a vote off between Potter Boy, uh, <laughs> in the sexy vampire after all, Potter Boy and Duchess. So who has the most legitimate claim? We have, um, give the estate to Potter Boy. We give the estate to Duchess. We can redistribute the wealth, everybody. Redistribute the estate among the Eastern peasants. We can claim the estate for treasury. So that can become my money. We can redistribute it to all the counts, or the counts peasants, I guess, or give it to Duchess or give it to Potter. Hmm, I'm gonna let you all handle this. I don't know what I would prefer here. $800 on so poor. All right, go ahead and vote. Anyone can vote. No, yeah, anyone can vote. Uh, A, B, C, or D. I'm leaving all the options open. So type exclamation point vote and then the letter you want to vote for. I love the count's music. It's so good. Ooh, ooh, it's a, ooh. <gasps> Is that a tie I see? Ooh, Dutch, oh, Horn is coming in at the last minute. Last minute votes, get them in, get them in. Go, go, go. Get in your votes. All right, it looks like Duchess, congratulations. You have come into a mighty inheritance. You have won uh, this dead lady's estate. Ooh, the East is now grumbling with defiance. Count Potterboy111 shakes his head, muttering with his friends about favoritism in the council. But Baroness and the other barons are delighted. They even send you, the treasurer, a gift basket as a token of their appreciation. <gasps> Money for me? Money for me? Why, thank you. The march has increased. Uh, oh, Duchess, you're so wealthy. Duchess, you got that bag. Holy crap. Wow, and the march is cordial again. Thank you. I feel like I've got the march in the palm of my hand. Very happy with the current state of the march. Thank you very much. All right. Ooh, <gasps> marriage council. Marriage council. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. Time for smoochy smooch. I found three potential matches for you. One eligible young candidate from each of the kingdom's three regions. Choose wisely. You'll be securing a powerful alliance. All right. Um, yes, yes, I know. Your mother leads you to the great hall where she's arranged three portraits on easels. For now, each is covered by a cloth. Wait, I don't even get to meet them? There's no time for sentiment. 
You just need a match that benefits your station and suits your political needs. How romantic, Mom. How romantic. She whisks away the cloth from the first portrait. This is Lorelai, the eldest daughter of the Eastern Barb Wire Dynasty. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know that I trust Barb's Barb's descendants. She's good looking one, uh, and she and not a bad word is said about her. Everyone likes her. Oh, I don't know. All right, all right. She bought a controlling interest in a silver mine in the east and made a killing. She's not angry. She's left a trail of broken hearts in her wake. Oh no. Oh no, everything loves me, come on. All right. She's an intriguing candidate, that's for sure. Oh, from the coast we have, oh my God, Basil. We have Basil. I love that name, <laughs> sounds like a cat name. The wealthy heir of Lord Patrician Jeremiah Blob's estate. He wasn't originally the heir, but his elder brother had an unfortunate accident. Basil. I'm not saying Basil. Absolutely not. It's Basil. That word is Basil. I'm refusing to say Basil. His interests are typical of the coast. Money, money, money. And making more of it. And apparently he has a dark side. Though I don't know much more about that. Um, Okay. He has a dark side. I like a dark side. And finally, uh, we have the Marsh's offering. Johanna, scion of the prestigious Tep Diplomat's bloodline, a timid woman, not the kind that does well in the march. Bless her. Aw. Perhaps the palace will suit her better. Interesting. Interesting. Like most of the barons, her great passion is hunting. No beast is safe from her crossbow. Maybe she could help defend me. And nor is she, actually. Aw. Aw, she walks with a limp ever since she shot herself in the shin trying to hit a ferret. Oh my god, she took an arrow to the knee? Oh my god. Ah, oh, sounds like a laugh. Sure. <laughs> what do you think? Of course, by picking a candidate, you'll anger the other regions, uh, but you'll gain, gain a lifelong alliance. Shin does not equal knee? Question mark? Oh... God, I'm tempted to go with Lorelai. I'm tempted. If you don't matter, marry my, I, I marry my daughter will riot. I'm tempted to, to, to calm the waters with Barb. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I'm torn personally between Basil and Lorelai. I like them both. I like them both. I like them both. The thing is, I have the Baron, um, I have my, like, personal protectant from the Baron, so it'd be nice to spread around a little bit, get the Counts as my bride. That kind of makes sense. I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go with Lorelai. Oh, I've, oh, I've already... I've, and this is just showing me her again. Okay. I made my decision. I made my decision. Well, which of them do you want to marry? I want to marry... Yeah, they also have the highest defiance, which I'd like to lower. So yeah, I'm gonna marry like Lorelai of the East. Excellent. I'll make arrangements. Fabulous. Fabulous. Yeah, Johanna honestly never stood a chance. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be honest. Never, never stood a chance. All right, all right. Let's see. Tithe trouble. Hmm. <laughs> you're like you're making an enemy in green. I don't, I don't think green has it, on, has it in them. Your Highness, I've come to submit a complaint about the Counts of the East. Lately, they've been neglecting their tithes. Uh, I'm not a debt collector. What do, you want, what do you want me to do about it? Who do you think the common folk will blame if the church starts failing? Me? No, Your Highness, they'll blame you alone. Especially if I tell my priests to spread word that you refuse to help a holy man in need. Go away, you irritating old fart. Lows, lowers everything. Lowers defiance, interesting. Lowers faith. Lowers stability and lowers, author lowers authority. <sighs> Fine, I'll help. I'll help. The Count's like me right now. 
The worst offender is- Oh my god, that tracks so hard. The worst offender is Count Tony Galati. He hasn't paid his tithe in years. Tony, Tony, how dare you? <laughs> I want an example to be made of him. Oh, happy to do that. More than glad to make a to make a um, an example of Count Tony Galati. Happy to do that. All right, option A. Order the counts to pay their tithes in full. Toss Count Tony Galati in the dungeon as an example to the rest. Hmm, that sounds very very um, interesting. The counts should be exempt from paying tithes. That's option C. Or do nothing to address the problem. Oh my God! Yes, you get to be in the dungeon with the hot lady though, Tony. That's a very good sell to share. You're gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine. And you're back just in time for the most important vote. Okay, so going over what this does, if we toss Count Tony Galati in the dungeon, it'll increase stability, it'll decrease wealth, and it'll increase faith. Listen, okay, listen, hear me out, Counts. This is fine. This it's it's a little bit it's a little bit it's a little bit of both for everybody, right? It raises my stability, but it also lowers my wealth, which is good for you guys, because if either my authority, my my Oh no, it's wealth, not treasury. No, it lowers your wealth. Listen, it's hilarious. We should put Tony in the dungeon, please. Even if not the counts, barons and patricians. I think we can all be on the same page about tossing Tony in a dungeon. I think that's hilarious. It helps by throwing Tony in the dungeon. <laughs> yeah. Um, I will veto... I'm gonna veto doing nothing. Uh, stability, increased stability, increased defiance. You know what? No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna waste my vote. Y'all do what you guys want to do, and I strongly recommend. Strongly recommend you throw Tony in the dungeon. Please, 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 please. Yes. See, I didn't need to waste my veto. Look at that, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. Everything's going according to plan, fabulous. Dungeon, 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 yes. Let's do it, 18 people, Tony, that's brutal. That's the highest I've ever seen in any vote. All right, 18 people on a third. Count Tony Galati into the dungeon, but you get to hang out with a very hot lady, so it's gonna be, you're gonna be okay. You're gonna be all right. Ooh, let this be a warning to the counts. Y'all, don't cross Barb. Scary. Count Tony Galati, what? Just because I'm not paying my tithes? No, you can't do this to me. Can we get Tony on, on Discord to voice his character? The High Inquisitor. Oh, how very deal with the devil of this game. Oh yes, we can. Heads behind your back, you faithless scum. After that, the rest of the counts pay their tithes promptly for the rest of the year. Mm-hmm. That's all we need to do is make a quick, swift example of one Count Tony Galati. Ah. Uh, <laughs> the Archbishop is most grateful, and his priests preach of your faith. Wow, the faith is now devout. Look at this. Look at this. It was for the good of the church, Tony. For the good of the church. All right, so Tony version one is dead. I believe you will come back as Tony version two. Tony the second, I believe. You can still play it. Yeah, for just in general, if your character ever dies, I'm not sure if Tony's dead or if he's just in the dungeon. I don't know if there's a difference. If your character ever dies, no, you will, you can, you're still in the game as the second. Um, so your bloodline continues. You're not actually eliminated. You will be, you will be Tony Galati the second. I don't know if you have to, uh, this might be a question for Rennie if they're still around. I don't know if you have to actively rejoin or if it automatically replaces you. You're immediately replaced? Okay, cool. With screen name the second. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Long live Tony the second. It auto does it. Okay, fabulous. Thank you, everybody. Yeah, and you better pay your ties this time, Tony. I'm watching you. All right, by royal decree, we can tweak the laws. Okay, this gives me new powers during voting. Uh, ooh, these are new options than last time. We have swing votes. After voting, nobles can change their mind and vote for a different option. I like that, I like that. Call for unity, plus one stability if more. Plus one stability if more than 50% of the nobles vote for any one option. 
Oh, I like that. Oh, captions broke. Thank you, uh, bloody. Thank you, thank you. They should be, they should be back now. Thank you, buddy. We're gonna do call for unity. That's cool. That's cool. Love it. Love it. <laughs> Welcome on in, um, Ost. It's nice to meet you. Thank you for joining us. All right. <gasps> a baby? A baboo? A new baby. Oh, Matt, you look cool. Greetings, your August maj Majesty. Some fine news from my citizens in the coast. A baby has been born on your birthday, bearing a birthmark in the shape of the number nine. A fantastic omen. Perhaps we should mark the occasion. Ooh, ooh. All right, what should be done to mark the birth of this remarkable infant? Okay, A, the queen will send her blessings, nothing happens. B, the queen has no time for peasant brats, lowers stability. Or C, gift the parents a bounty of jewels and fine wine that lowers my money and increases stability. Or we can send the inquisition to make sure the birthmark is real. Again, how very deal with the devil. Uh, that lowers stability, increases defiance and lowers faith. Ooh, lowers stability. No, 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 no. We shall be vetoing option B. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. It might be that maybe you customized it um, either after the game started or perhaps you customized for the wrong region because you have to individually customize each region. <gasps> JD, welcome on and It has been too long. I hope you've been well. Also, the voting is now open. And the stability thing doesn't matter, I believe, unless I specifically say this is now a, like, unity vote. Like how I have to use my power to veto. If I use my power to veto, then it doesn't matter um, about the, the unity thing, because it means I didn't use that. Ooh. No, wait, no, 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 I don't wanna. No, 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 I have time for peasant brats. Wait, whoa, I forgot about that being an option. No, 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 I have much time for peasant brats. I love peasant brats. Probably shouldn't say that too much. Please, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. This is, this is false. This is slander. I love peasant brats. No. That's not what I wanted. Oh, well, it's only citizens. They'll survive. Damn. Oh no! Alkali, no! No, 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 how dare you? No, 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 no. Oh, <laughs> damn it. Oh god, there was an explosion at the port? Oh god. Oh no, the gunpowder. Oh no. Itri! Let's go, your majesty! A ship exploded at the port. The water swelled like a tidal wave, and my whole town was devastated. Uh, how could this happen? I definitely didn't let gunpowder into the kingdom. It wasn't me. I have no idea your esteemed highness. All I know- God, I love this game so much. I love seeing, like, chat members in the game. I love impacting, like, their lives in the games. It's so cool. This game is so good. 10 out of 10. Really enjoy it. Thank you all so much for playing it with me. I'm glad you all enjoy it as much as- as much as I do. I have no idea your esteemed highness. All I know is that the ship arrived from Kurth. Oh god. Oh no, it's war. Oh no, it's war. <laughs> First the queen doesn't give gifts for the baby, and then she blows up our boats. All I know is that the ship arrived from Kurth yesterday, and now my docks have been destroyed. Oh, depths below. Ooh, okay, your trade has dropped, patricians. That's not good for you, because that is your goal, is to have high trade. Ooh, oopsies. <laughs> Whoopsies. And uh, Lord Itri's wealth. <gasps> oh no, Itri. You've lost a lot of money. If I may. Ooh, the Spy Master is so cool. I want to do a Codenames X uh, King of the Castle so we can make this look like the Codenames Spy Master. That'd be cool. This may be promised retribution from Kurth. Uh, Lord Patrician Itri says, Rep Retribution? Then this was an attack. You cannot let this stand, Your Majesty. Oh, okay. Kurth has been blown up. Uh, has blown up a ship at the coastal port causing devastation. How should the kingdom respond? <laughs> Aw, Remy, I love you so much. Thanks for, thanks for hanging out. All right, ban exports to Kurth and place high tariffs on their good. Increase the authority, my authority is quite low. 
and it decreases trade. I like that option. That option sounds real nice to me. All right, counts and barons. This is an expressly bad option for the patricians. We should vote for that one because bad from, <gasps> Eric, Eric, oh my God. What, what kingdom are you in, Eric? I must know, I must know. Eric, 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 where's Eric? Eric, oh my God, welcome to Mods Day. Eric, I love you, thank you for joining us. Uh, where is, what's Eric playing? What's Eric playing? You are a count. Congratulations, Eric, you've been sorted into the sexy vampires. Welcome on in. Uh, option B, command or read. Ooh, B is command or read. Remember, she is our prisoner. We stole her weapons and gunpowder and all that stuff um, to patrol the coast in her gunship. That's That could lead to smooching, chat. That could be a smoochy option. C is focus on rebuilding and avoiding angering Kurth further. Or D, hand or read over to Kurth. No, we wouldn't. I mean, I guess that'd be good, but I, I, I like having her. <laughs> That's problematic, but I think she's cool. I don't want her to leave. Oh no. Oh no. Hold on. I, I think, I think, let me hear. I am just saying, I think A is a good option for barons and counts because the patricians have met their goal. We don't like that. We don't like the patricians meeting their goal. And it's also for the betterment of the kingdom. What Barb is saying? Everyone listen to Barb. Barb is great. You should all do what Barb is saying. <laughs> June B, welcome on in. Thanks for joining us. I feel our queen likes to destroy us. We should revolt. No, 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 no. Tisk, tisk, tisk. What do I want to do here, chat? I don't know. Okay. Uh, authority up, military up, trade down. Or B is also quite a good option for the kingdom, chat. As a whole. As a whole, B is quite a good option. You raise your military, which is a good thing. It's what you want. It's what I want. It's a win-win. And it decreases the trade of the patricians, which is good so the patricians don't get out of hand. We don't like it when the patricians get out of hand. Oh, and I can't veto. Damn, I can't veto handing over Oreed. I just don't like that from a story perspective, but that's fine. You know what I'm gonna do? Just to cause some chaos, I'm gonna do call for unity. If more than 50% of you vote for one thing, it increases our stability. We're doing it. Gonna put the prisoner in charge of a gunship? What could go wrong with that, DBX? I see absolutely no problem with that. Whoa, no, 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 D, no, 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 stop that, stop that, no, 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 no. I mean, it's good for stability, so thank you for increasing the unity of our great kingdom. Glory to Aristotska. <laughs> thank you for high stability? Did, did, we, did we reach it? Ooh, ooh. Oh, it's so close. Yeah. Oh, it's tied. Oh, it's tied. Oh, 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 it's changing. Oh, it's changing. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. All right. That's it, by a hair. By a hair. We are going to ban exports to Kurth and place high tariffs on their good. Yes, yes. Sounds good to me. Authority is back up to four, huzzah. This surely will be considered an ex escalation by Kurth. Nah, it'll be fine. I hope the council knows what it's doing. Yeah, we're fine. And the coast trade went down, huzzah, glory to the counts and the barons and me. <laughs> the laws are passed swiftly and without mercy. Kurth immediately responds with sanctions of its own and you soon find yourself in the midst of a trade war. I'm feeling somewhat defiant, hmm. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? Huzzah, can we get some huzzahs in chat, please and thank you? Also, Ray, how are you doing? How was your vacation? How's your week? My vacation was lovely, Eric. Thank you so much for asking. My week was good. I've been really, really looking forward to this stream. I love this game and I love an excuse to uh, hype up my mods. So I am doing Huzna. <laughs> so I'm doing great, Eric. I hope you had a lovely week as well. I, I miss you. I hope you're doing good. I'm super busy with work stuff. Um, but yeah, I hope you're good. The immediate nose. <laughs> 
Can someone make a Huzna um, a chaos names word, please and thank you? <laughs> also, for anyone who's just joining, um, a couple things. First of all, exclamation point QOTD will bring you to the question of the day, which is tell me about your favorite mod. On all of Twitch, tell me about a positive, cool experience you had with a mod uh, who makes, I don't know, a community you're in cooler and better, because it is Twitch's official Mod Appreciation Day. Mods do so much more than just banning people and enforcing rules. They are like the pillars of any good community, has good mods in chat doing awesome stuff. I personally have four amazing ones. Um, but yeah, today's about talking about mods and how much we love them. Uh, and then also, we are doing a subathon to support the mods. Uh, we've already reached our goal. This is officially going to be a 12 hour stream. I will be going until 10 p.m. Eastern. So unfortunately, no more bits or subs will affect the timer, but please do consider um, giving bits and subs if you have the means. It's a great way to say thank you to the mods. They are honestly what make this stream so much fun to be in. I am I like to think I'm cool, but I have had so much feedback from people who are like, yeah, I popped into your stream and I vibe so well with your mods. Like I came back because your mods are great. They always welcome me in. They're so funny that I get so, I get honestly more feedback on how great my mods are than how great I am, which is awesome. That's so cool. My mods genuinely set such a good tone for this community. So if you've enjoyed your time here, uh, do consider uh, giving bits or subbing. Of course, only if you have the means, there's absolutely no pressure to do so. All of that money goes to my mods, even when it's not mod day. We always give our money to our mods. This is just sort of a special uh, celebration day. We might, if I have the energy, open up one more one more hour at the end uh, that is back open for the subathon timer. I'm not sure, we'll see how alive I am, but it's officially gonna go until 10 p.m. Uh, and we're gonna be doing a ton of giveaways at the end of the stream. Thank you so much, Meryl. At the end of the stream, we are going to be um, giving away, did that, that didn't add time, did it? No, I don't believe it did. Um, it shouldn't be. <laughs> Steven, that's me, okay? Every time you say that, it hurts my feelings. Um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, at the end of the stream, you'll notice how all these regions are like competing and such uh, for their various goals. Whichever region, eventually um, one of the <laughs> one of the regions is gonna overthrow me. It's my goal to last as long as I can, but we'll play for the next 10 hours. So at some point, one of these regions is going to succeed in overthrowing me. Whichever region succeeded the most recently when the stream ends, so at 10 p.m. Eastern, whichever region had the most recent success, all of the all of the um, nobles in that region, so everyone who played as a part of that region, is going to be entered into a bunch of giveaways. We're giving away a copy of The Lost Runes of Arnak, as well as a ton of digital codes for our digital games. Um, and if you continue throughout the day, even after this first game ends, right, and we start a second game, uh, when you join, you'll be put back into the same region. So if you're like a count now, you're gonna be a count for the whole stream. Uh, so it's kind of a fun like unity thing. You all wanna win so that your team can get a bunch of giveaways. It's gonna be gonna be a lot of fun. That's it. That's my little spiel. Egypt Fit, I've missed you. Welcome on in. Thank you for 16 months. Thank you so much for supporting the moderators. Enjoy your ad free viewing and your rat jam emotes. Let's go. Let's go. But yeah, that's the plan for today. Uh, so make sure you're around at the end of the stream if you can to hear if you win a giveaway. But if not, um, I'll always message you. So just make sure your Twitch DMs are on. Magic Moose Moo, yo, what's up? Welcome on in, Magic Moose Moo. Welcome to King of the Castle. And last but not least, if you are just joining us and you would like to be in the game, exclamation point, join, and then one single pronoun, so either she, he, or they, and you'll be added into the game. And that's it. Yeah, we still have 10 hours, ha 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 And I've been live since 10 a.m. All right, we're gonna go to the royal wedding. It's time for me to marry Barb's daughter. Let's go. Now is the time. <clears throat> God, I'm already losing my voice. Your wedding to Lorelei is, naturally, the talk of the kingdom. Nobles and peasants alike travel from across the realm to attend. For a week and a day, the capital is one giant party. Hell yeah, we love a party. We love a party. And if you're curious about what kingdom you are in, uh, you should see, if you're on desktop, you should see a little pop-up in the top left that'll tell you what region you're in and also your personal wealth, but I can also have this open for a second. Uh, so you can read all everyone's alignments here. I do think it's fun to change your color in chat to the corresponding color of your region if you want, but if you don't want to, that's also cool. You don't have to. All right. It feels like you're the only one not taking part. Instead, you're getting ready for the ceremony. Soon enough, you're standing in St. Bernard's Cathedral with Lorelai at your side. Do you take this woman as your lawfully wedded wife? I can say no. 
Oh my god, I could say no. Do I want to leave Lorelai at the altar for the drama? For the drama? Sounds kind of fun. I've changed my mind, I can't do this. Is it me? Am I the problem? <laughs> no, because then Barb will hate me. Then Barb will hate me and Barb murdered me last time. Done. That's so hurtful. Eric taking it real serious, real serious. All right, I'm gonna say I do. Then I pronounce you queen and wife. Aw, cute. Cute. After the wedding, of course, there's a feast. And after the feast, a dance. Your new wife, Lorelai, laps up the attention, delivering a witty speech in which she flatters you outrageously. Oh, God. Love her. She's the best. <laughs> stability is now civil. Oh, my God. We've never had stability this high, ever. Authority is credible. And defiance is aloof. Fabulous. Oh, my God. Look at this. Oh, my God. This was all around wonderful choice by me. I'm a genius. Uh, Dwayne Hart, it's nice to meet you. Thank you for joining. Uh, you can type exclamation point join in the pronoun if you want the game to, like, know what gender you are. But if you do just join, I believe it still adds you. It just gives you they, them pronouns by default. <laughs> by the time you find yourself alone with Lorelai, it's past midnight and you've never felt more tired. No, 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 we have to make an air. You danced so very beautifully. It was such a wonderful day, wasn't it? Aw, Lorelai. Mm, cute. I think are we, are we in love. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Uh, agree with her, admit your heart wasn't in it. Oh no, we. Have, I agree, I love you, you're cute. You endure a long, you endure a long conversation. Ija Fit, <gasps> thank you for the five gifted subs. Thank you so very much, Ija. Thank you for that mod support. What a, what a heckin' real one. I appreciate you so very much. You endure a long conversation in which Lorelai seems determined to flatter you relentlessly and agree with everything you say. Oh, okay, now it's weird. Okay, it was cool at first, now it's weird. Oh no, by the night's end, you still don't know who Lorelai really is. Her personality is concealed beneath a hundred layers of etiquette. You go to your separate bedchamber, still strangers. Oh no. Oh no, boring picked the wrong one. All right, that was the end of this season. Very mysterious. Oh God! All right, the fam and the counts have reached their, have reached their um, goal. They have the highest farming, which is what they want. Oh, all right. We can't reveal a sexy vampire agenda straight out the gate. Late at night. Ooh, I wonder who the counts are going to be. Who are going to conspire? Late at night, two counts meet in an ancient stone cemetery to discuss their schemes against the queen. Ooh. Our grain stores are, this is I am ABQ says, our grain stores are looking much more impressive than the rest of the kingdom. Ooh, proud slime dad, hell yeah. Proud slime dad says, yes, and I've had peasants from the coast moving onto my lands, desperate to sponge off our prosperity. God, their, their farming is nine now? Oh no. I am ABQ says, Mo most pleasing. You won't summon, hmm. But won't summoning this demon be difficult? It's magic beyond our usual fare. Proud Slime Dad says, The walls of reality are sturdy, but they can be weakened. A tide of blood must swallow this kingdom in its wake. Chaos. For the next stage of their scheme, the counts must lower stability to four or less in two seasons. All right, interesting. All right, so they need to get it to four. Ah, oh, and the patricians also reached their goal. Establishing a monopoly. In a dingy, dingy seaside tavern, two patricians of the coast meet to plot their latest scheme. Who have we got? <gasps> Noble patrician Kit Kat, you look fabulous. The coastal economy is strong. What do we do with all this coin? <gasps> Yay, Lord Patrician Trinix says, time to start buying things, my friend. Lands, roads, bridges. We'll buy up the whole kingdom piece by piece. But first, the queen must be in desperate need of our gold. To advance their schemes, the patricians must lower the treasury to 1,500 or less in two seasons. Interesting, interesting. All right. Warning, the monarchs currently has no heir. I'm working on it. Jeez, it takes a, it takes a minute. That sounds really like me. <laughs> they know me for real, for real. All right, let's do... 
afraid war doesn't sound fun. Let's do a helping hand. That sounds the easiest out of the three available. Lorelai says, Ray, I had something I wanted to ask you. Uh, what can I do for you? As you surely know, I run a very successful lumber company back home in the east. I should yeah, girl, I, t I totally knew that. I know so much about you. Yeah, I knew that. But the current laws are a little restrictive for my trade. Lots of tariffs and regulations. Pfft, you know how it is. Okay, give me one second, chat. Give me one minute. Just texting. I'm just texting my partner to bring me food soon. <laughs> A hungry. All right. She's a sneak. May oh, maybe Lorelai's a spy. Wait. <gasps> I didn't think about that. <laughs> she's a lumberjack and she's okay. <laughs> oh, suspicious. Oh no, not fair taxation got nipped that in the bud. I was hoping you could push for some changes in the council. Eliminate some of the more cumbersome quality standards for Eastern lumber, perhaps. Oh no. Oh no, not not deregulating environmental standards. Oh no. That's corruption, plain and simple, or you want me to give the East preferential treatment. She married her. She's a job creator. Eric, please. <laughs> and I was going to collapse with crappy wood. Oh, no. I don't know. I don't trust her. I don't know anything about her. Barb, listen, I'm trying, but your daughter's mighty sketch. Mighty sketch. I'm going to say that's corruption, plain and simple. Start room where the queen is anti-business. <laughs> I wouldn't call it that. It's just a helping hand, that's all. Yo, thank you for that follow. Welcome on in, Semistress. Sorry if I butchered that. Please let me know how to how to say it. Welcome on into the Check Games Edition Twitch channel. Happy Friday and happy Mods Day. Um, I wouldn't call it that. It's just a helping hand. Our peasants would surely thank you for it. <sighs> War job creation. <laughs> oh no. Uh, she's my wife and I love her, but also she's a little suspicious. She's a little suspicious. Alice, you know what? I won't decide. I shall assemble the council and you all shall decide. That feels, I like it when I don't have to make decisions. I'll assemble the council. That's what we'll do. That, that's, the, that's the ticket. I do need a baby. I do need a baby. I don't know how we make a baby, but I'm sure it's like magic. They let me still have a baby with a woman. I'm assuming. I'm assuming. Uh, ah, how exquisite. I'll see you there. The council pleads the fifth. All right, it's all up to you now, chat. Should the quality standards on Eastern Lumber be relaxed? Option A. We'll tell you when you're older. <laughs> Option A. Relax quality standards on only Eastern Lumber. Ooh, relax quality standards on all lumber in the kingdom. Or do nothing. Oh, interesting, 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 interesting. Option B is good for the counts because they want lower stability. But it's also bad for the barons because it would raise... No, raise everyone's trade, I'm assuming. That raises everyone's trade. So that's... Ooh, we cannot, we absolutely cannot have option B. Because that helps the both the counts and the barons. We are vetoing that. Absolutely not. Y'all can decide if we want to do nothing or help the counts. Um, and they're Eastern, Eastern lumber. But that, yeah, that's fine. I had to veto. I, I have to protect my, I have to protect my royal interests. Otherwise it would be impossible for me to win. The council will remember that, that's fine. You guys are literally so loyal. You have zero defiance. I'm not worried about anything. It'll be fine. If you hate the patricians, though, you should vote A. Because it raises my treasury. Ooh, are we leaving it at a tie? Alright. Alright, I get to decide then if it was a tie. Hmm, hmm, hmm.
Yeah, that was not a good move for these three patricians who voted A. This is not a good deal for you guys because you guys want to have lower treasury. All right, so I'm going to pick trade and defiance. We can afford a little bit of defiance. It kind of makes the patricians mad. That's okay. We'll do it. We'll do it. I want, I want to keep my marriage. All right. So the coast has high defiance, which I don't love, as does the march, but it does increase the count's trade, which is bad for the barons, good for me. Raise corrupt, <laughs> slander. My treasury is now 2,800, okay. The other regions are outraged, yeah, that's fair, by the clear nepotism that's taking place. But Lorelei pays them no mind as profits pour in. She even shares a portion of the income with the treasury. I love democracy. All right, time, I guess now it's time to deal with per, mayhaps the trade war that's happening. Mayhaps the trade war. If they hate nepotism that much, they should have married the queen. All right. <laughs> Your majesty, the Republic of Kurth has levied extreme trade sanctions against us for our perceived crimes against them. Notably, your refusal to surrender or read to their custody. Yeah, yeah. Everyone's trade sucks now, my bad, my bad. <laughs> um, what can we do about it? That's for the council to decide. Kurth must be, must also be suffering from this, but we can't afford to wait them out. Our people will soon run out of basic necessities. Well, that doesn't sound great. All right, our options. What should be done in the face of Kurth's trade war? A, escalate the trade war by raising tariffs on Kurth's good, goods. That increases trade, its stability, uh, but it de and, and also authority, but it decreases my treasury. I'm assuming that is my treasury. Um, it increases defiance. We can import essential goods from Ashmead instead of Kurth. Lowers religion, lowers stability, increases trade, increases farming, and increases authority. Interesting. That's personal wealth? Okay, got you. Thank you. Oh, because it's a different icon. You're right. Decreases personal wealth. Got you. Yeah, you guys are right. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. C is lower tariffs uh, and offer exclusive trade routes to Kurth as concessions. Ooh. Lowers authority, I don't love that. Send in the navy to take cursed goods by force. Huzzah! Huzzah! I like that, I like that. But I need higher military, so maybe I don't like that. B, what, are, what, are, what do people like? People like B? Yeah, you would like B. I don't like B. <laughs> B is not great, but I will, I will, as a show of good faith, chat, I will leave this up to you. I will impose no, no rules. Eh, should I? Eh, I could call for unity. I could call for unity. B looks fun. B does look fun, uh, but not good for me. <laughs> I'm gonna do call for unity and start a vote. All right, go ahead and vote everybody. We have a call for unity, so if more than 50% of the people vote for one option, Ah, uh, it raises the kingdom's stability. Oh my god, seeing that 36 gifted subs next to Olympian's name is insane. Thank you so much, friend.
Okay, sorry. My my partner was bringing me food. I'm gonna take a lunch break in a second here, but let's um, let's. What do we have? Ooh, import essential goods. Oh, you guys pick B. Oh, you suck. But also, good for stability. Huzzah. Huzzah! Stability now six. Fabulous, fabulous. Yes, you can't switch your votes unless I specifically say you can. Okay. Import essential goods from Ashmead instead of Kurth. The Ashmead Empire, th uh, though historically hostile to the kingdom, is more than happy to swoop in and provide the for the kingdom in its hour of need. Of course, the aid doesn't come without cost. All right, stability is now civil authority is ineffective. Yeah, I don't love that. But then the stability went back down to five, of course. Oh my god, so many things happened. Oh my goodness. Farming went up across the board. Trade went up across the board. You're welcome. You say I don't do anything for you. Faith is a reference. That's fine. We don't care about faith. That's fine. Everyone lowered faith. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Well, chat, I think I'm going to take a little break, sees, and eat some food. We have some stuff to do in the breaks. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to run to the bathroom, and then we can talk about break activities and such. So BRB for one second. Welcome on in, no soul, no prob. Hello. You're coming in just as I'm starting my lunch break. Um, so what we're going to do, chat, is we're going to take a break, sees, from the game. Just for a little bit. I just need to, like, eat some soup. It won't take me long. Welcome on in, Rommel. Thank you for joining us. All right. So we're going to go ahead and mute the game. I'm going to get some music. Mm, 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 mm. Grab some regular music mods. Let me know if it's too loud, because it might be slightly balanced weirdly with the game. Soup stream time. Time for a soup stream. I right. hopefully that it'll it's it starts soft. We're gonna do some music. We're gonna play some mod trivia. So I don't know. Um, Alkali, are you around? Slash, is someone around to start the trivia? I want to make sure of that before I promise it. Well, we're gonna play mod trivia while I eat my lunch. Thank you for that follow. I appreciate it. Welcome on in. You do the quiz line stuff. Heck yeah. Uh, I should probably get it. <laughs> I should probably, like, find it and... Mm -hmm. Alright, so we're gonna play Mod Trivia. Uh, if you are new and just joining, we are celebrating our moderators today. Yesterday was Twitch's official Mod Appreciation Day. It was supposed to be today, but I apparently didn't get the memo that it is was the 30th instead of the 31st this year. Whatever, we are celebrating our four amazing moderators, Barb, Chicken, Alkali, and Bloody Lion. Um, all the money on this channel always goes to my mods, no matter what day it is. But we're doing a big subathon celebration uh, for them today just because we can and we want to. Um, so in keeping with that theme, we are gonna play some mod trivia while I eat my lunch. Um, speaking about amazing things my mods do, my mod Alkali actually made this like trivia bot that we play with all the time. Um, so congrats, not congrats, uh, props, that's the word I was looking for. Props to Alkali, one of the many reasons you support my moderators, because they make really cool stuff like that for me. Um, so we're gonna use 
one of Alkali's custom bots today to play. Congrats to you, Alkali. Congrats. <laughs> Congrats to you. To play some mod trivia. Typically when we do trivia on this channel, it's like the winner gets a giveaway or whatever. But this trivia is trivia I don't expect most of you to know because it's all random fun facts about the mod. So this is just for fun. Um, the trivia bot will keep track of your score. So we can see at the end who knows the mods the best. Um, but there is no, there are no stakes for this trivia, unlike normal. There will be giveaways for this stream, but that's at the end of the stream, uh, for the winning King of the Castle region. This is just for funsies while I eat my soup. <laughs> so if you've never done a quiz on this channel before, the way this is gonna work is I'm gonna read off a question. You are gonna vote, uh, actually, I'll play. Can you remind me what people put in chat? I have four gore. I have four gore. They put, how do they vote? Okay, it's, yeah, it's what Alkali did. So if you wanna vote for a specific thing, you're gonna do, you're gonna do like, if you wanna vote for the answer A, you're gonna put that letter in brackets. Yeah, yeah, mod trivia, let's go. Let's go. Uh, yeah, parentheses around the letter you wanna vote for, uh, and then you'll find out if you're right. And you're gonna regain points uh, which I have access to, and I will tell everyone who's winning, etc. That's it. That is the game. I'm gonna eat some soup. I'm gonna unmute while I read the questions, but other than that, I'm gonna focus on eating my soup, <laughs> if y'all don't mind. So, welcome to Mod Trivia. I asked the mods for ridiculous questions about themselves, uh, so you can all get to know them a little bit better for Mod Appreciation Day. Yes, and you can change your answer. All right. Uh, hello. There we go. Okay. Question number one, this is one that you sh could know if you have been around for a long time because this person talks about this quite often. Question number one is whose favorite series is How to Train Your Dragon? Uh, the answers will always be the same. Alkali will almost always be A, Barb is B, Chicken is C, Bloody Line is D. It occasionally changes when we have more options, but go ahead and put down your answer. I'm gonna eat my soup. Don't forget parentheses around your guesses. is over. This is kind of a gimme if you've been around for a long time, but if you haven't, you'd have no idea. Most of these are ones you'd have no ideas. This is just a fun way to learn about our mods. But this answer is, of course, Alkali uh, loves How to Train Your Dragon. If you were there for, I think, my origin stream, uh, they asked me to buy uh, a How to Train Your Dragon like art poster that we saw in one of the artist alley booths, uh, and I sent that to him because he loves How to Train Your Dragon. Question number two. Which mod owns over 100 black t-shirts? And I can confirm this is true. I've seen photographic evidence that this is a real fact. The real thing, one of my mods owns over 100 black t-shirts.
You're very welcome, chicken. <laughs> I was like, oh, this will work out perfectly, but then I realized we have lion, and lion doesn't match anything. All right. <laughs> the answer is, final guess is get them in now, because the answer is gonna be three, two, one. This is Bloody Lion. Bloody Lion actually owns over 100 black t-shirts. I've seen photographic evidence, but I don't know why. Bloody Lion, do you care to um, share with the class why you own 100 black t-shirts? You might have said it and I missed it, but currently I just know you do it. And I don't know why. I'm a metalhead. Oh, wait, really? Wait, that's news to me. Got it. That's so cool. Even I'm learning stuff about the mods today. That's sick. All right, question number three. Which mod is an engineer in real life? Chicken, I, I can't read. I'm illiterate. <laughs> you can tell me someone said something a million times, but they've said it in text and I can't read. These are very interesting answers. This is fascinating. I love like seeing what people assume about my mods. It's really fun actually. <laughs> Y'all, this is awesome. This is super fun. Also, if you're just here for King of the Castle, don't worry. I won't take a super long lunch break. I just need to feed myself or I'll die. Uh, so thanks for bearing with us with some mod trivia. Hope you're having fun. What kind of engineer? You don't get follow-up questions, Olympian. No follow-up questions. Just engineer. Is That's all the hint you get. All right, voting's closed. The answer is which mod is an engineer in real life? I love that all these answers were for Alkali because the answer is Bloody Lion. Alkali is very smart and could be an engineer, but technically not an engineer, but Lion technically is. But uh, 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 Bloody Lion, do you want to share what type of engineer you are? If you want to, you don't, totally don't have to. This is not me trying to give away the identities of any of my mods. <laughs> Hopefully these are all harmless questions. Lips table. That was a gotcha one. I knew everyone was gonna say Alkali because of their prowess with like coding and stuff. It just kind of makes sense. If you only know surface level information about all my mods, that tracks. <laughs> Meryl, I would hope you know this. <laughs> Spill my identity. I'm a metalhead electrical engineer. Hell yeah. All right, question number four. Which mod lives on a farm? Text clues for this one. <laughs> yeah, no, this is just an onboarding technique for Lion because they were feeling left out because they were added late. So this is just to get, this is just make sure everyone gets to know uh, Bloody Lion better. <laughs> All right, answer is three, two, one. Your instincts were all correct, chicken lives on a farm. All right, question number five. Which mods don't like coffee? A is alkaline bar, B, barb and chicken, C, just chicken, D, chicken and alkali, E, lion and barb, 
F, just lying, this is very cursed. Just take a guess, I'm sorry. <laughs> Last call for guesses. <laughs> Last call for guesses. And I do have option uh, to change your answers, which we don't always have, but we do have this time. All right. The answer is chicken and alkali. I don't like coffee. Fun fact. I feel like Alkali has mentioned it, but it's sneaky because I don't know that like chickens ever explicitly said that in chat. Maybe they have. Again, I can't read it, so. <laughs> I just get the vibe of chat. I actually can't read it. I just intuit what I think people are saying. All right, option six. Oh, sorry, this is, oh, you actually can't see it. It's conveniently covered by my screen. Nice. Uh, which mod or mods have forklift licenses? A, alkali, B, barb, C, chicken, D, lion, E, barb and lion, or F, alkali and chicken. No one would ever give me a forklift license, and you know it. It's answer time. <laughs> All right, the answer is which mod or mods have forklift licenses? The answer is, uh, Olympia, your wildest dreams have come true. The answer is Barb and Lion both have forklift licenses. So there is a universe where Barb is out there scooting around causing chaos with her forklift license. <laughs> yeah, Barb, I, I have to agree with Olympian. I can't imagine you using a forklift license for anything but evil, like truly. <laughs> I'm so, I'm so impressed. Barb, honestly, that's a massive feat that you did not die on a forklift. <laughs> they just got it for jousting purposes. Yo, has anyone ever forklift jousted? That sounds so much fun. That sounds like so much fun. Oh my gosh. I did, fl <laughs> almost flipped it twice, but did it once. Hell yeah, Barb. That's an accomplishment. Put that on your resume. Legally, I have to say no. Tracks, tracks. All right. Question seven. Which mod was refused entrance to the Louvre? 
the fancy, the fancy art museum that looks like a triangle. Which mod was refused entrance <laughs> to this museum? rampant judging of my mods. I didn't really think that through, but it's honestly really funny to just see people's like assumptions. Also, thank you to the mods for being willing to uh, drudge up fun facts about themselves and be judged by chat. I hope, I hope mods you're having fun. to get refused entrance to the Louvre. I like everyone's logic that it was Lion because Lion lives in Europe. There are only European mod. However, this question reeks of Barb. <laughs> Good job, Arliel. Good job. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is a 100% a Barb question. <laughs> but I do like that people are using logic about Lion being our only European mod. All right, question number eight. We'll go till 10 and then we'll get back to King of the Castle. I have 21 total. So we'll do 10 now and then 10 at Din Din. And if I ever need to take another break, we can play like Chapman or something. All right, question number eight. Which mod has three cats with human names? Voting is closed. The answer is, which mod has three cats with human names? I believe this person has mentioned this in chat at least a little bit. Uh, the answer is Chicken. Chicken has three mods. Or has three mods with human names is almost what I said. Has three cats with human names. <laughs> Yay, Tony the second will now have a fancy avatar. All right, question number nine. Which mod recently learned how to crochet? This is a very wholesome, very normal one. There's some much more chaotic ones later. This one's very normal. Which mod gives you recent crocheting vibes? You're right, crocheting is quite metal. Very metal pastime.
Yo, Olympian, that's so cool. It's one thing to crochet. Fabric, what is it called? Fiber crafting is so cool. That's awesome. Dude, my mind's so cool. What the heck? So lucky. All right. The answer is, which mod recently started to learn how to crochet? The answer is chicken. I don't know, did anyone guess chicken? We had lots of barbs. That attracts, I can see Barb is crocheting. Barb is crafty, I can see that. One player got it right, who got it right? Hey, Egypt, congrats, congrats. All right, last question of the break. Who is the only mod who can't drive a manual car, also known as a stick shift? Yeah, Magic Moose Moo, my, my partner bought a manual car because supposedly it's like better for people with really bad ADHD because you can like space out right when you're driving. And the idea is that if you have to do something physical constantly to like drive your car is it's safer. I cannot drive a stick, I cannot. I was also shocked when I learned this that all of them but one can drive a manual. I only know my partner and one other person in real life who's not above the age of 50 who knows how to drive a manual. Again, this is the one who can't drive manual. Everyone on this board can, except for one person. I really want this to be Barb. I want her to know how to drive a forklift recklessly, but be baffled by gears. <laughs> oh, Tony, you're not over 50. <laughs> Kidding, that's a joke. That's a joke, ha ha ha, joke. Ray, my most recent car is the only one I've ever owned that wasn't a stick shift. Really? No, I, I can't. I, the thing is, Timothy, same. I have, I've talked about this on the channel before. I have really, really, really bad driving anxiety. It's gotten better recently, which by the way, progress update. I'm doing better, everybody. I'm proud of myself. Um, but it turns out that anxiety is plenty to keep you engaged. Don't need a stick shift. <laughs> turns out uh, I'm terrified the entire time and that keeps me awake. All right, I'm gonna leave this question up for a little bit because uh, I'm gonna finish my soup and then go pee and stuff and then come back and get a bevy and all that stuff. So think long and hard about this. Um, also, thank you, chicken. Thanks, guys. Yeah, I'm really proud of it. I, I A big part of it is I moved to a more rural area, which is like hard because it doesn't still combat the, the root of the problem, which is I cannot drive in cities at all. But it allows me to like build up the basis again, which is just casually driving around like a rural area. That I'm getting much, much better with. Uh, it was hard because where I used to live, the only option was city driving. And I didn't drive for like two years because uh, of the pandemic and then also because of college. Um, so I went from not driving at all and already being kind of an anxious driver to then immediately in a city and I just like couldn't do it. And now I'm back in like a more rural area where I can like build up my confidence again and then hopefully I can get more comfortable with cities. Yeah, it, and the, the city I used to live in is a particular nightmare. Even Tony can attest. Tony had to come pick me up uh, in Scranton, which is where I used to live. Uh, to take me to Pax U. The streets are like, it's super hilly. No one like, if you watch The Office, you'd never know it because their sets are all in LA. My favorite thing about watching The Office as like the show that takes place in Scranton is they have palm trees everywhere. Scranton's in Pennsylvania, we don't have palm trees. And we also have hella hills everywhere and unlabeled like three-way stops. To, like you never know what type of stop a stop is because they're like never labeled. And there's also like a really, uh, aggressive car culture in Scranton, like uh, really aggressive. So like lots of modded cars that are like really loud and stuff, which is like fine, but it triggers my anxiety personally. Um, <laughs> I like Dunda Midland though. I know that's not what you meant, but that's hilarious. Um, yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna mute. I'm gonna go eat every, I, blah, 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 blah. Would you, okay, chat, would you rather me give you the answer to this question than you play Chatman for the rest of the break? It'll only be a couple minutes. We should probably, I guess, do that so you guys have something to do. All right, I'll give you this answer and then we'll start you up with Chatman and I'll be right back. Yeah. Yeah, I'll give you, I'll give you the answer. All right, answer to who is the only mod who can't drive a manual car? The answer is a brrr, Alkali. Alkali is the only mod who can't drive 
uh, a manual. Uh, so sorry for those of you who wanted it to be Barb. Barb Barb's knows her stuff. And let me take a look. Let's take a look at our uh, rankings after our first 10 questions. I think I can see that inbox spam. I think, I think. Do I get it? Oh, I guess I have to do it manually, don't I? Oh, I have to put it in like a thing. That's so much work. That's so much work. Yo, Angie, welcome on in. Uh, but congrats to Renny Polo Monkey Studley Mayor Arliel. Kit Kat, Tony Galati, didn't and DBX Runner for getting that correctly. It only sums up the, at the end. All right, well, we have to stick around till after dinner and I will read off the, the quiz rankings. Who knows our mods the best? Um, but for the time being, let's boot up some Chatman. If Chatman's working, I don't know if uh, Alkali, if Chatman is alive or if that got caught in the, got caught in the, the uh, bot issues you were having. Okay. Who has excellent guessing skills. Yeah, you right, you right. But I hope everyone learned something fun about the mods today. Again, today is just a big old celebration of the mods and all the amazing work that they do. Yeah, all right. So uh, if you've never played Chatman before, it's basically you get to play Hangman in chat. Those big white squares are the spaces. And then obviously the underscores are where the letters go. The phrases slash words included in Chatman are all chat generated. They're all the same words that are in the chaos names deck, which you can add to with channel points. So sometimes the answer is normal. Sometimes it's very cursed, uh, but you can guess whatever letters you want uh, and play Chatman together. One of says I have to head off as I have a super busy weekend with family ahead, but I just wanted to pop in uh, really and say a huge thank you to the bots for being wonderful. I hope you have a wonderful time today feeling celebrated for being awesome. Uh, awesome peoples that you are. Oh, Lorelai, love you so much. Thank you for the support. Thank you for stopping by. I hope you have a wonderful weekend with your family. You love to see it. You love to see it. All right, I'm gonna uh, mute and chill for a second, but y'all have fun with Chatman. I won't be long. I just need to go clean up my dishes and stuff.
Bum -ba -da -bum -ba -da -bum. Okay, we're back. Thank you for uh, waiting for my lunch break. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed mod trivia. Bum -ba -da -bum -ba -da -bum. <laughs> what the hell is this Chatman word? Why the why I'm I something. I something. I'm not the something. I I'm assuming it's there's an N, right? Chatman N. Yeah, someone do it. Pull the monkey, go for it. It's gotta be I'm not the N Yeah. I <laughs> I pro uh, I promise I'm not the something. Ah, uh, I promise I'm not the assassin. Good job, Ija. Good job. GG's. All right. We are back to King of the Castle. Whew, we got eight hours more. Good Lord. Bill freaking Murray, welcome on in. Bill, yes, that is the energy we needed. We needed Bill freaking Murray. What's up? Happy Friday. Happy Mod Appreciation Day. Welcome to King of the Castle. This is a game that we can play with chat, so feel free to type exclamation point join and then a pronoun and you will get your very own character in this game. Short, st long story short, I am queen. You are trying to overthrow me depending on what region you get put into. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh my god. Awesome. <laughs> All right. Also, one pronoun. So, Jess, like, join she. Uh, and you will be in the game. And if you're on desktop, you'll see a little pop-up in the top left that tells you what region you're in and all your personal wealth. But I can also tell me, tell you, oh, why does Feed Me have no money? What happened to Feed Me? What's wrong? Join us, yes. Join us, join us. Oh, oh God, no, no, Angie, don't be in red. No, 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 that's terrible. Also do your join again, Angie, just do join she. Um, and then you should be good. Oh no, I don't like it. I don't like seeing my mods in, in, in red. Ooh, Bill frickin' Murray. Uh, I think I saw you get added in here. Yeah, Bill Friggin Murray, welcome to the counts. You are on Team Purple. Welcome, welcome. Oh, your joined worked? Oh, cool. Cool. They might have updated that because before uh, it was just you, if you did the slash, it wouldn't work. So yes, welcome to the Barons. Oh God. The Barons are a very moderator heavy team. I don't like it. I don't like it. Yeah, you have, you have Bill now. Everything's, everything's good. All right, speaking of the Barons, let's go to the Barons, uh, the March to see what's up with the barons. Begging for scraps, all right. When baron feed me some wa enters the council chambers, their clothes are stained and rumpled and their face is haggard. Feed me, what's wrong? When the servants have left my estate, the walls are crumbling. Oh, the servants have left my estate, the walls are crumbling, the kitchen is bare. Feed me some what is completely broke, so that that makes sense. Uh, how did this happen? Even my brewery is running dry. Oh no, I am utterly penniless. I beg for whatever spare coin the council has to give. Ooh, is feed me still in still in chat? Feed me has bailed me out with many a puzzle in the past, so perhaps I will look upon them more favorably. All right, option A, Countess Proud Slime Dad is wealthy. She should help. Ooh. Option B, the crown should provide funds from the treasury. Or C, you must deal with it yourself. Interesting. Interesting. So we have a 60% chance of this trade option succeeding. Option B, lowers, ooh, lowers treasury, increase personal wealth, and lowers defiance. C is you meant steal that yourself. Chance of military. I, hmm. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. We ride at dawn for C. All right, well, I unfortunately don't have any of my magical powers left. So this is up to you, chat. Exclamation point, vote, and then the letter that you want. 
Shit's fine, don't worry about it, right? Oh, enough, this is... Oh, God. This is fine. Sorry, feed me, you gotta declare bankruptcy. Also, is the music loud enough? It might just be kind of quiet right now. But let me know, mods, if it if you can't hear it, because the music is cool. Ooh. Deal with it yourself. I'm fine with that. Music seems fine. Okay, chill. All right. Honestly, I don't hate it. I don't hate it. I definitely didn't want B. Olympian, Itri, Junbi, and Renny. I'll remember. I'll remember that you wanted that. All right, you must deal with it yourself. So it's a pers- Dude. You must deal with it yourself. Baron, feed me some wa. Oh, ah, your majesty. When Baron feed me some wa heads home, they send out their troops to strike out uh, over the Taverlesni border in search of loot. They return with mere sp meager spoils, battered and bruised. Not only that, you receive a stern letter from one of the qu from one of Queen Emmeline of Tavalan's daughters asking you to keep your barons in line. Okay, so the barons are lashing out. We failed to militarily handle them. The defiance in the march is now four. And Baron Feed Me Some Wa got a measly 150 uh, personal wealth. The green remembers. <laughs> hey, what I'm playing now, welcome on in. Ooh, what, what region did you get? What I'm playing now, welcome to the patricians. What I'm playing now. Thank you for joining us. All right, that's it. Time to end the season. All right, so it's time to vote on some more buildings. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna type exclamation point fund, the letter of the building you wanna fund, and then a number that you want to contribute. You all have a certain amount of personal wealth. Uh, God, the patricians are the richest by far, good Lord. You can fund any building. It doesn't have to be one of your color. You just wanna pick one whose outcome best benefits you and your goal. And I have no control over this, so best of luck. Best of luck. So you're gonna do exclamation point fund, the letter that you want, and then the number you wanna spend. So you'll see an example up here, exclamation point fund A and then 100. This is an example of how it works. Oh, Tony's going all in on D. Oh, Tony wants a prison? Tony the second, that is, because Tony the first died in prison, let us not forget. It's odd that he's going back and funding the, the industry that uh, killed his predecessor. Ooh, okay, people want A and D. A, the Grand Bazaar increases trade. Of course, the Barons would want that. Uh, and D, decreases stability. Uh, I'm not shocked. Patricians, what do you guys want? Patricians are, are, you can sway this choice, Patricians. Don't let them, don't let them run away with it. What's happening? You're the wealthiest faction. Damn. All right. Time is up. Pretty even split. The Grand Bazaar um, best contributor was Duchess and the prison was most contributed to by Gaslight Goomba. Interesting. Yes, the highest two will always get will always get funded. Sorry, I didn't I didn't explain that this time. I explained it the first time, but not the, the second time. I'm sorry about that. <gasps> about your air! Oh god, oh god. Blast me smuggling gunpowder and about your air. Oh god, there's lots of stuff happening in the kingdom. Um, Let's do about your air. I'd like to secure that as soon as possible. <gasps> your marriage with... Marriage to Lorelai has grown still, but I helped her... her... wood corruption situation. What the heck? Oh, you get along well enough, and you've made some good memories together, but there's no spark- What?! What?! No! She cares more about maximizing profits than your happiness, but spark or no spark, you'll still need an heir. <gasps> Congratulations are in order. The royal wedding was, magnif was a magnificent affair. Oh, our mother is cute. You know who had spark? The girl who shot herself in the leg. <laughs> Dimma, you'd, you'd be correct. <coughs> um, felt more like a life sentence than a wedding. Oh, don't be so dramatic. You've done well so far, but something's still missing. An heir. That's fair, I did marry a vampire. 
<laughs> uh, <laughs> you need someone young whose loyalty is assured. A child of your own would do the trick, even if they're a bastard. Oh, or the youngest of your many cousins. Oh, oh, my wife and I will have a child together. I'll make my youngest cousin my heir. I'm pretty sure I have a bastard child lying around somewhere, or I have to adopt a lowborn child from an orphanage. Oh, wait, I don't know. Further my, I'm scared of Barb. I do want to further her bloodline for fear of retribution. Um, slender chicken. Oh, I don't know. Okay, chat, chat. Just, I'm not, I'm gonna do what my heart desires, but I'm curious what you all would like to see. Would you like A, let's do A, my wife and I will have a child, B, youngest cousin, C, bastard child, or D, adopt from a, a lowborn child from an orphanage? What would, what would you all like to see story-wise? I will take it into consideration. Take it into consideration, that's all I'll say. Is the right answer? Oh my god, Barb. I wonder who- Barb, I'm shocked. You made that poll? I- I couldn't- I- I can't believe it. <laughs> I cannot believe it. Um... Okay, I'm seeing a lot of Ds. A lot of people want an orphan child. A lot of people want an orphan child. That could be fun. That could be fun. Oh, Barb. Barb, listen. I am not, see, listen, Barb, what you need to understand, I, I know you want your bloodline furthered, as creepy as that sounds, but you have to understand, I'm not spiting your daughter in any way. She just doesn't love me enough, so I'm gonna adopt an orphan. You know what, Tony, we're, we're trailblazing. We're trailblazing. I'm adopting a lowborn orphan child. Hmm, the nobles won't be happy with a lowborn child being elevated to the status of royal. I urge you to reconsider. Uh... <laughs> uh, can't just give the kingdom away to a random peasant. I've seen Game of Thrones, this ends badly. Listen to your mother. Oh God, I urge you not to do that. Ah, I'm scared. <laughs> ah. Opcos Games, welcome on in. You don't worry. There's another eight hours of CGE KOTC. Don't you worry. We're doing a whole legacy game all day. You've missed nothing except the 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 the, the beginnings of our legacy. Uh. <laughs> Baco, welcome on in. Baco, thanks for joining us. What's up? Choose wisely. You're Hebert's mom. Don't you bring my mom into this. Don't you dare tag my real life mother. How dare you? I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm adopting an orphan. I'm doing it. I always die when he's here. I'm sure Hissy will remember you as a champion of the people. Huzzah! Can we get some huzzahs in chat? Thank you very much. Raise my mom would approve of this. If it remembers you at all. Oh, okay. I'll make the necessary arrangements. Oh, God. Huzna! <laughs> yes, welcome on in, everybody. Uh, yes, if you're just joining us, we do have a giveaway that we'll be doing at the end of this whole stream. So at eight hours, we're doing like seven giveaways. And the only people who will be entered into that giveaway are the most recent winning region. We've obviously just kind of started this, this game. Uh, I know it's been a while, but we haven't had any region win yet. But when the stream ends, some region will have won at some point. They'll have taken over the throne. Uh, everyone from that region will be entered into a bunch of giveaways. So you want, there is, there's incentive. You want your region to win. Bockle, no, 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 no. I did not forget that yesterday was Mod's Day. Don't you dare, don't you dare. I've been planning this for a very long time. Last year, it was March 31st, was Twitch's official Mod Appreciation Day. So I was like, great, throw it in my calendar. It's a Friday, that's perfect. Mod Appreciation Day, that's when we'll celebrate. And then yesterday, they didn't, they, no announcement, no like email to creators or anything. Yesterday, they just were like, boom, it's Mods Day on the 30th. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. I tried to be prepared, but I didn't know they were changing it to the 30th this year, okay? 
Okay, it's like, exactly Diplomat. This is just day two of the celebration. All right, chat, do you want blasphemy or gunpowder smuggling next? Yeesh, yeesh. I'm worried about that gunpowder smuggling. Um, blasphemy sounds more more doable. Let's do blasphemy first. We, we're, no, one in, no one in this game is particularly religious. No one has a religious motive, so. Exactly, it's Mod Appreciation Week. Yes, and also if you're just joining us, we are celebrating the mods. We've already reached the max 12 hour on our subathon timer, but if you'd still like to support the moderators, you can donate bits or subscribe to the channel. All that money goes to my mods. It goes to my mods anyways, but today we're just doing a special little marathon for it. <laughs> you all get $5 Wawa gift cards. Dude, I love Wawa. I would, I would love a $5 Wawa gift card. Although Sheets is better. I am a Sheets girly. <laughs> what is a Wawa? So in Pennsylvania, there's a rivalry between two ready-made food uh, gas stations. So there's Wawa and there's Sheets. The idea is it's a gas station, but there's like a sort of fast food restaurant on the inside, if that makes sense. That's like they they um, make food. It's like good gas station food, basically. It's like the best type of gas station food you can ask for. Hell yeah, Avkos. Thank you so much. All right. Uh, this is the High Inquisitor God, you again, jeez. Your Highness, an urgent matter. My agents suspect there's a reason behind the recent unrest. The Counts are stirring up chaos to power some kind of dark ritual. Counts? I'm watching you. I'm watching you, Counts. Hmm. What sort of ritual? We don't know yet. They've been too careful. But we must fight back against this sacrilege. A lot of big words in this game. Uh, how can the church crack down on the Count's demonic activity? A, order kingdom-wide curfews to calm things down. Increase defiance, increase stability, decrease authority. B, send inquisitors to uncover proof of this ritual. This would delay the scheme for one season. Or C, leave the Counts to their petty business. <laughs> I'm not gonna, I don't think I'm gonna veto anything because I'm, I'm afraid that there are bigger things I should save my veto for, but I would strongly urge the barons and the patricians in chat to vote for B. Because remember, you all want your schemes to succeed, and if the counts succeed before you, then they win and they get the giveaway. That's no good. That's no good. So we should be voting if we are barons and patricians, we should be voting for B. Yes, you are voting for B to delay them. This is not my idea, it's your idea. This is, this is, it's in your best interest. All right, starting the vote. I believe in the power of the non-counts to stop this. Ray doesn't love her wife. Why are you dragging? Why are you dragging my love life into politics, Tony? That's very unprofessional of you. How very unprofessional. Woo! Yes. Thank you, Barons. Barons, I will remember this. Thank you, Chicken. More accurately, my wife doesn't love me. That's the problem here. Thank you, Barons. I appreciate it. Godspeed. All right, send Inquisitors to uncover proof of this ritual and we will delay the scheme for one season. And because they've already met their, they've already met their scheme, that's bad. A small army of Inquisitors rifle through the Count's estates and question the peasants on their lands. Several high-profile counts are captured, ooh, and interrogated at length. It's hard for them to perform their rituals and make their preparations while trying to dodge the Inquisition's agents. The count's efforts have been hampered. Their stat goal will not be evaluated until the end of next season. Huzzah! Can we get some huzzahs in chat? <laughs> All right, tag to finally deal with gunpowder smuggling. The spy master says, Your Highness, the barons of the march are attempting to amass a store of gunpowder. You know, the explosive black powder from Kurth. Ooh, the powder from those muskets and cannons we acquired. The very same. The barons, woo! <gasps> Bill freaking Murray, thank you for nine months, let's go! Thank you so much for supporting the mods, you're the best. You are the best. Bill, I appreciate you so much. I'm so happy you're in this community. Thank you for joining us. 
Without the coin to purchase more powder, however, oh sorry, the barons had established contracts with Kurth merchants, no doubt at great expense. Without the coin to purchase more powder, however, their plot will fail. As it stands, the Baron's trade is strong enough to procure a large gunpowder stockpile. If you wish to stop them, you'll have to act fast, so their trade needs to be lower. You bring the revelations, which the Barons wholeheartedly deny, uh, to the Council. Ooh. What should the Crown do about the alleged import of gunpowder from Kurth to the March? A. Slap heavy tariffs on all imports to the march. B. Replace marcher customs agents with ones from the east. Delay the scheme for one season. Or C. Allow the barons to import whatever they please. Again, similar, similar logic here. I'm going to leave this up to a vote. Ooh, remember when the barons voted for B and you said you would remember it? I'm gonna let you all eat each other. I'm gonna assume the same logic applies to the barons that applied to the counts. All right. <laughs> Bad queen. Huzzah! Huzzah! This is just, this is just region versus region. Oh damn. Oh damn. I do not know what is happening to this vote. <laughs> All right. The barons are allowed to import whatever they please. <laughs> also, sorry about your sorry about your fate, feed me. That that sucked. Allow the barons to import whatever they please. Recount. I mean, huzzah! <laughs> the council takes no action. The barons smile to one another as they watch their plot march one step closer to the goal. Alright. And that is the end of this season. Oh no. Somewhere in a dark cellar, a nervous baron is showing his guests a stupendous cache of explosive gunpowder. Baron Deadpan says, Behold! And Baroness Polo Monkey says, Great God! Verma says, By my life, isn't this. isn't it rarer than gold dust? Deadpan says, Over here it is. This isn't just the biggest stockpile in the kingdom, but it's the only one. Oh no. Yeah, Deadpan, you look you look sick. Now, what do we do with it? Uh oh. Uh oh, uh oh, okay, alright, Barons. How should the Barons use the fabled black powder to take over the kingdom? A sneak the gunpowder under the palace and blow them all sky high. Your goal will be to raise stability. Or B start manufacturing muskets and cannons to make our own military unbeatable. Goal would be to raise your own military. <laughs> Alright, this vote is only open to barons. Alright, I'll leave it open for a few more seconds. Time for a big boom. Alright, alright. Barons of the Marsh are going for sneaking the gunpowder into the palace and blowing us up. All right, 10 nobles voted. Before we sneak this stuff anywhere, we'll have to lull the queen into a false sense of security, not to mention the fact that the roads need to be safe for transport. For the final stage of their scheme, the barons must raise stability to at least six. This isn't very stable if you ask me. Very good point, Polo Monkey, very good point. At the villa. Sitting on a bench outside a sun-bleached villa, two patricians of the coast meet to plot their latest scheme. Ooh, Lord Patrician Trinix says, the thrice-cursed queen is still refusing to sell us any public land. And noble Patrician Kit Kat says, it makes sense, the treasury's 
flush with coin right now. Patience, my friend. Let us bide our time until the queen's gold runs out. The patricians aim to lower the treasury to 1,500 or less. All right, still haven't made that goal. All right, so now it's time to tax, tax, tax. These patricians are extremely wealthy. Extremely wealthy, so I think can we just make the capital on barren land? <laughs> Very good point. I'm gonna tax the patricians. I have seen they are very wealthy, but they are also not voting a lot. So I'm a vava tax the, the, I have no money to tax. It's very true, feed me. You are very, very broke. I'm gonna tax the patricians. Huzzah! Oh God, the counts are so well. Oh God, oh no. That's good, it's better than the barons. I think, maybe. It's better than having the barons have all the money. Okay, an invitation, foreign customs, itching for fight. Let's not deal with the barons yet. Let's go to the Count's invitation. <clears throat> Without a word, Count DBX Runner hands you a blood red envelope. It is sealed with white wax in the shape of a skull. DBX Runner, what is this? Inside, a beautifully written invitation to an event called the Crimson Vigil. Uh, due to take place on an autumn night late next year. That sounds nice. That sounds nice. Um, but they're gonna summon a- No, they're gonna- You're gonna summon a demon and try to kill me, though. We have blood. I mean beer. Yeah, Magic Moose, I'm kind of thinking. Their defiance is low enough <clears throat> that perhaps I could risk bypassing this. I'm afraid I'm washing my hair that day. <clears throat> Have a good lure, Cornist. I, uh... What is this all about? I can say no more. You must choose whether to accept their invitation or to decline it. Oh, no. I suppose I shall attend this event, whatever it is. Your defiance is low enough. I don't know. They have met their goal. I don't know. All right, I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. Ugh. Just for funsies. I will see you next at the vigil, your majesty. <clears throat> oh boy. <coughs> Thank you, chicken. I have been nothing but loving. She could not provide me with child, so I found one in an orphanage. You can't blame me for that. All right, let's deal with foreign customs first. Hi, Inquisitor, says your majesty. I understand Ashmead saved us from Kurth's embargo, but I must lodge a complaint. <clears throat> Ashmeadan visitors and merchants are spreading heret... Oh, I know that word. I don't know how to say it. Her heretical? Being like a heretic. I don't know how to... I don't feel like I butchered that. Beliefs about their nonsense god. Ooh. Worse, a large following of converts has sprung up in the march where the foreigners are thickest. <laughs> Huzzah, Olympian! The patricians have not been doing so great. You're a patrician, right? Yeah. Yeah, your patricians have let you down in your absence, Olympian. All right, the, the march has no faith. That's fine. Tell me more about this god. <clears throat> they call him Kaldovaga. Kaldovaga? The machine god. Oh, that's metal. They say he abandoned the world after its making and must be worshipped in great numbers before returning to fix it. Nothing but heathen folktales. You understand. Um. All right, let's call the council. The god of the machine. Very good, your majesty. All right, so option A, let them practice what they please. Uh, there are guests that lowers authority, lowers faith, increases trade and increases military. B, ban the promotion of foreign religions in the kingdom, increases faith, decreases trade, or expel the Ashmedian merchants. Decreases trade, increases religion, increases authority, and decreases stability. Be 
increases stability sounds good. Right. Do the what the, the counts want a lower stability? Is that their goal? They want to have four or less. Yeah, C is bad for the barons because you guys want high stability. We want what you want, Ray. Mm, interesting. For the peace of the kingdom. Mm hmm. Counts want low, barons want high. Okay, that's what I thought. That's nice that they're kind of pitted against each other. That's good. That's good. And the promotion. They need to get it to six, though. So we can get it at five. That's a sweet spot. Nobody's happy with it at five. And the promotion of foreign religions decreases trade. No one really cares about trade. Stability and treasury are the two things people care about. So I'm going to leave it to a vote. I think y'all are messy enough. And I don't know that any of these is explicitly better than for me. Well, there is one that's good for me. Eh, eh, they're all kind of a mixed bag. They're all kind of a mixed bag for me. I will leave it up to a vote for all of you. Go ahead and vote in chat. Exclamation point vote and then the letter you want to vote for. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Ah, my neck is broken. Neck machine broke. <laughs> Oh, it's tight. The barons have ba uh, uh, banded. Barons have banded together to vote for A, which is let them practice what they please. There are guests. That is probably my preference as well. I don't love that it decreases authority. That's a little dangerous, but I'm okay with it. I'll take it. This is a grave mistake. If our people turn away from the ninth god now, the trials we have encountered thus far will pale in comparison to his coming wrath. Oh god, okay. Oh god. Oh, it lowers my authority by two? Oh no. Oh Jesus, I was not expecting that. Oh shoot, my authority's at one. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, your hands off approach means the Kaldovga uh, followers grow quickly. They are not all bad news. It turns out that the priests of the Ashmian machine god are, by custom, blacksmiths as well as holy people. Oh god, oh god. All right, trade increase for everybody. You're welcome. Military increase for everybody. That's good, we like that. Uh... You know what's good for low authority, high stability? Hmm, interesting, all right. Yeah, the military is a little bit, a little bit gnarly. Ah, blacksmiths, because that's metal. But I'm... S All right. Ooh, Baron Studley Mayor, you look cool. Hell yeah, Studley. All right, your majesty. We in the march have finished a complete reorganization of our new army. It is truly, it truly is a powerful beast now. You look so cool, huzzah! Ah, okay, all right. Very lovely. Is there something you want? I hope I'm getting a parade. Oh, I'm sure we can see to that. Hell yeah, Studley. You and me are tight. Moreover, I was hoping the crown might be willing to host some military exercises. The soldiers are restless. You want me to start a war? You want me to... You Can, def can you define exercises for me? Or sort out yourselves. I'm not going to get involved. Uh, define exercises for me. We just need a suitable campaign to wet our swords and spears. An unbloodied army isn't worth its salt, I say. Oh no. <laughs> Ooh, chicken, that's a good point. I should prob mm, I probably should <laughs> quit. Uh let's see what the council thinks. Why not? The treasurer says. Instead of a costly war, your highness, we could establish mercenary companies that fight abroad and take a healthy cut of the profits. The marshal says, or if your majesty wishes to gain something more than gold, we should use our might as intended and make inroads into Tavalin, whose meager army will surely be no match. Ooh, okay, okay. 
A, establish mercenaries. Uh, mercenary companies loyal to the barons. Okay. That increases both my wealth and the wealth of the barons. Decreases military. Decreases defiance. I like that one. B, start a border dispute with Tavalin. Uh, that increases authority. I like it. Decreases stability. Increase, decrease defiance counts. Counts. That's not a bad one for you guys. <laughs> Treasury down, please. C is embark on a full scale invasion of the Ashmedian Empire. Authority also up. That's also good. That's also a good option. I'm down with C2. Deny the barons their foolhardy exercises. No, 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 no. Let's, people want C. People want. No, 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 no D. No D. No, 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 no. Uh, let's do, what should I, ve I probably veto or call for, maybe I should call for unity, but I don't know that they, everyone's going to be on the same page with this one, especially with B and C being so similar. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to, I'm going to call for unity and try to, well, I don't want to raise the stability. I want it to be at like five. That's what I want. I want it to be raised once. More than that, I fear the barons. Less than that, I fear the counts. I'm really in a bind with the stability situation, you know? Yeah. I'm gonna leave it. I don't know. I am gonna call for unity. So if more than 50% of the people call, uh, vote for one, it raises the stability. Oh, I'm so scared. We are but humble farmers. Uh, farm, farm, farm. <laughs> farming, farming. Corn, corn. All right, everyone. Exclamation point vote in the letter you want to vote for. Oh, interesting. Interesting. No, I don't want things blown up, Tony. I literally want stability at five. Because at six, the barons are going to be dangerous. And at four, the counts are dangerous. I want to even this out. Oh, interesting. Oh, my God. The barons came in in numbers. Oh, my God. Established mercenary companies to be loyal to the barons. All right. That's not the worst one for me. That's not terrible. It, it it's, uh, saves off the patricians issue. Wasted call for unity. I Yeah. I don't know when the when the good the good time to use that is. Okay, alright. The March's military went down. Everyone is satisfied the barons get their exercise and you get a portion of bloody money. Yay! Money for me! Huzzah! Defiance is now grumbling. Okay, so it lowers the March Defiance. And some barons got more wealth. Ooh, if you're a baron, see if you got more money. All right, time to end the season. Ooh, tearing the veil. A pair of counts face each other in silence. A code word is exchanged. They speak of their latest scheme. Yeah, the treasury is gnarly. <laughs> Ooh, proud slime dad! Good news from the capital, my friend. Well, bad news, but good news for us. The counts are the only one who have their um, scheme fulfilled. Count, I, I am ABQ, says, oh yes? Fire, wanton murders, giant spiders. Slime dad says, all that and more. The fabric between worlds is wearing thin. The time is ripe to summon a demon. ABQ says, but which honored guest should we invite? Oh. Okay, so the the counts are voting on what demon they want to summon. We have at Ankhazard, Lord of Dismay, the seventh god's smile. The goal then would be to lower your own faith, which is at five currently. The option B is Belm Belmfmianar, the hungering absence. Absence, ab, absence, absence, sorry. Queen of corruption. The goal there is to raise your own trade, which is at seven. So go ahead and vote counts. I'll leave it open for a little bit. 
Yo, welcome back, Eva Little. Eva Little, the the patricians desperately need your help. They need your help. They're 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 floundering. All right, it looks like everyone wants the hungering absence. All right. Yep, you're on the you're already on the patricians team, Eva. So welcome. They'll need you. <laughs> All right. The goal is to raise your, raise your own trade. Belfinar will bring pestilence and starvation to the lands. She is perfect for our plans. When she arrives, the crown will be ours for the taking. Her summoning ritual requires rare reagents from across Celeste Ath. The petals of a Sarakanis orchid. The eye of an Aten... God, I hate, I hate fantasy words. They're so mean on my dyslexia. I try. Uh, the eye of a salamander. Indeed, we'll stockpile resources before initiating the right. There's no time to waste. I didn't kill off your love interest. I'm still married to a count. Oh, are you talking about the... Oh, are you talking about the, 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 the lady? The, 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 the hot lady from the sea? No, she's in my prison. She's in my prison. <laughs> uh, for the final stage of their scheme, the Counts must raise trade to nine. Okay. All right. End of the year. By royal decree, we can tweak the laws. Okay, stop the count. The timer is set to 15 seconds, and the vote will automatically close. That doesn't sound fun. March, uh, monarch's golden choice. If a noble... Votes for the monarch's choice. Ooh. Ooh, I like that. That's cool. I like that one. Let's do that one. Oh, choose one to be replaced? Oh, can I... Do I have to have the monarch's... Can I, can I replace the monarch's choice with my golden choice? I'm assuming that they're compatible. I think she's married to Tony now. No. Tony one is in the dungeon forever. Yeah. Okay. Noble kidnapped a sacrilegious request or losing relevance. Oh God. That's, that's, that's too real. Um, let's start with noble kidnapped. Ooh, Marquise Mark. Hell yeah. All right, your serene highness, the loyal and noble, noble patrician, <laughs> the loyal and noble, noble patrician, variant Hex has been taken hostage. <gasps> Hex, I don't know if Hex is still here, but you've been taken hostage. What would the kidnappers want with them? It's some criminal organization. These horrid miscreants demand gold and safe passage to Ashmead in exchange for variant Hex's return. <gasps> Does someone want to tag them just so they know that they're in the story in case they might be... Not around. It's an inside job. I'm lurking and working. Varian Hex, you have been kidnapped. You have been kidnapped and being held ransom. What is the crown's response? Option A, pay the ransom for noble patrician Varian Hex's release. Send the coast troops after the kidnappers or ignore the letter. So if we pay the ransom, we decrease defiance, decrease authority, and ooh, we cannot decrease authority. I have to veto that. We absolutely can't. I'm sorry, Varian Hex, I can't save you. We can't have we can't have authority decreasing. You might have to be you might have to be a sacrifice. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I can't have the authority down any further. Send the coast troops after the kidnappers. Yeah, that's fine. I'm sorry, Patricians. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. It's because Varian Hex isn't a mod. <laughs> Remember me. Long live Varian Hex the second. All right. We're going to ignore the letter. 
Sorry, Varian Hex, you're gonna die and die. Bye. <laughs> Sorry. That's, that sucks for you. Without the assistance of the treasury, the patricians cannot raise the required funds in time. Varian Hex soon meets a grisly end. Oh no, the coast is big angry. Oh no. Oh no, coast big mad. Their defiance is seven. Oh Jesus. Noble patrician Varian Hex has died. Long live Varian Hex the second. Huzzah! <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and deal with losing relevance, sure. The, ch the chancellor says, this morning you'll be cutting the ribbon on the new library, then giving a speech at the gardening festival. I prepared some inoffensive jokes about flowers for you. That's iconic. Uh, tell me the flower joke. Somebody's, someone's, been secretly adding concrete to the soil in my garden. The plot thickens. Oh, relax, everyone. I'm just pollen your leg, eh, but I'm. S what does he mean? He's in the council now. He's an angel. The council. You are all part of the council. So it basically just means their first character died, and now their um, like heir, Hex uh, Hex the Second, has now risen. <laughs> uh, all right. I think these jokes are a florable or deflorable. Sorry, I'm stupid. Very good, Your Majesty. See how I laugh. <laughs> a tea. <laughs> Hang on. Isn't there a council meeting today? Why, yes, Your Majesty. But the nobles told me you weren't attending council meetings anymore. Oh, they said you were happy to let them decide the matter of state. Ooh, no, 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 no. I'll have all their heads on spikes. Oh dear, quick, let's head to the council hall. We might catch them before this session begins. What are y'all doing without me? Oh my God, noble patrician Lex Retro, you look fantastic. <gasps> Your majesty, forgive me for not bowing. We didn't expect to see you here today. What is the meaning of this? Don't take offense, your serene highness. We thought you'd be relieved to have the reins of power taken from you. I'm your queen, damn it. By the ninth, your esteemed highness, anyone can see that you are not, oh, that you're not fit to rule. Oh, is it because I have low authority? Let us take care of things from now on. Wouldn't that be so bad? Lex, can someone, does, is Lex in chat still? Lex, are you with us here today? <laughs> Lex, I banished you to dungeon uh, with the sexy merchant lady. <laughs> Everyone go to dungeon and also original Tony the first. Noble patrician Lex Retro is dragged to the dungeon you turn and see the other nobles are bowing and scraping before you. Is this Lich- Ray's Lich King Ark? Hell yeah. <laughs> oh no! Oh no, they're enraged! But my authority is back to ineffective! Huzzah! Huzzah! That's better. Alright, noble patrician Lex Hetero- Lex Retro has been imprisoned. Lex Retro the second has joined the council. Long live. Lex the second. All right, sacrilegious request in the march. <gasps> Ooh, barren chicken free cage, hell yeah. My liege, I'm as devout as anyone, but it's beyond ridiculous that one day, that one day of every week, all shops shut and no work gets done. <laughs> I know, I know, it's the ninth God's holy day. The day he rested, after slaughtering the other gods like cattle, but must it interrupt trade? I'm leaving profit on the table. Ah, capitalist chicken-free cage, I see. On oh, Wednesdays we wear pink. It is but the righteous law. And, I ne and need I remind you that the march is an economic powerhouse keeping the kingdom afloat. We should receive special dispensation. dispensation. Uh, reasonable enough, I wanna carry on. 
<laughs> uh... The counts keep the kingdom afloat. That's a reasonable request, I'd say. The High Inquisitor says it most certainly is not. Oh, <laughs> wait, no. Ah! Chicken Free Cage intervenes and says, I, I assure you, High Inquisitor, I have nothing but the utmost devotion to the Ninth. But I need to think about my profits. Ah! <laughs> What's <laughs> All right. Vote. Uh, should people be allowed to work during the weekly holy day? A, allow people to work on holy days, but only in the march. Allow people to work on holy days throughout the kingdom. Or keep the weekly day of rest. That increases defiance and faith. Allowing everyone to work on holy days increases trade, increases my wealth and your wealth, decreases defiance and decreases uh, religion. Option A, decreases the religion, increases trade, and increases wealth. All right, I think I trust you guys. I'm gonna leave this up to you guys. The, none of these options are bad. All these options are fine. I know that I believe most of it's like randomized uh, for like what kind of choices you guys get. We're almost, well, oh no, I got excited. I saw my uptime was almost five hours and I was like, we're almost halfway. No, we're not, six hours is halfway, not five hours. <laughs> All right, has everyone put in their vote? Oh, wow, holy crap. All right, allow people to work on holy days, but only in the March. All right, that's it. Long live the, the barons. Thanks to its immense trade value, the march receives a special dispensation for its merchants to operate during holy days. Profits increase as a result, but con congregations quickly shrink. Aha, I got there. The archbishop tries to encourage better attendance, but the marketplace is more tempting than a dreary sermon. You are completely heathens in the in the in the march. Heathens, I say. Your trade is opulent. You've got eight trade. Oh, wow. Um, so you're now you're higher than the, the counts. Uh, and some barons' wealth has increased. Huzzah, if you're one of those barons uh, that got monies. Oh, no. I feel so bad. Oh, no. <laughs> Perfect. Wait, that emote's so cute. Uh, money, no God. Woo. <laughs> Perfection. So cute. I like his little hands on his little bee face. Oh my god, Alkali. Good lord. That's so cute! That's so cute! Look at him. Pride Uwu. Alright, end of the season, chat. Oh god. Your majesty. These upstarts are saying they have a right to your throne. No doubt the nobles are already scheming to crown their region's preferred claimant. I know I have no air. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. All right, so the the Baron still needs stability to be at least six. Uh, the Count still need uh, at least nine. And the Patricians of the Coast need us to have 1,500 treasury or lower. That's rough. Money is our god now. Huzzah! Defiance is too high. Yeah, the Patricians are really angry, though. And one or more regions is considering rebellion. Rebellion will stop the region from advancing their scheme. That's very important. If you uh, if you declare rebellion, you completely stop your scheme. It is no longer relevant. And they can't be taxed or take part in normal votes. Very want to make that super clear. If you rebel, you can't be a normal citizen anymore. All right. And the only people who are on the verge of rebellion are the... Uh, Patrician. So this is your chance. If you're mad that you haven't been able to reach your scheme, you can always rebel with exclamation point rebel. I would strongly urge you not to as you do not have any allies, especially not in the counts. Oh no, Rennie, no! Oh no! 
Oh, it's led by Rennie. That's very fitting, though. I like that you got that first spot. All right, let's talk about our heir. <gasps> our orphan child! Huzzah! Your quest for an heir is finally complete. You stand before the council. Oh, my God, I've never seen someone get an heir before. This is very exciting. Your quest for an heir is finally complete. You stand before the council holding a small child in your arms. Should I die, I ask my crown be, ba my crown be passed down to... The council hall is filled with nervous silence. Ooh. All right. I want to have a daughter. I want to have a daughter. My adopted, lowborn daughter. The silence continues, excepting a few stifled coughs. Do we have to call her lowborn? Like, did we have to draw attention to that? Yeesh. Uh, after the awkward pause has stretched out over a minute, there's finally some sporadic applause. Honest to a fault. <laughs> the nobles don't appreciate you inducting a lowborn child into the royal family. Oh, it's at five! Yes, that's what we wanted. Uh, but whether they like it, oh, I guess the, the counts have a different goal now, whatever. Uh, but whether they like it or not, by designating an heir, you've cemented the stability of the kingdom, huzzah. All right, ooh. <gasps> oh no, we, oh God, God, the coast is now vengeful. They are big mad, and the march is at four. Ooh, I didn't, I didn't know that was gonna make people so mad. I didn't know that was gonna make people so mad. Stability is now stable. We'll get to my peasant daughter. <laughs> You wanted it like five, like seven votes ago. Yeah. Big Mad Much Go Burr. <laughs> yeah, I didn't listen. You thought I listened, Alkali? All right, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. <gasps> Bloody Lion! Bloody! Your Grace, may I be the first to congratulate you on adopting an heir. What is her name? <gasps> Do we get to name her? Oh my God, my only option is Ray the Second. Huzzah, Ray the Second. How delightful, your highness. I'm sure little Ray II will grow up to be a chip off the old block. Huzzah! <laughs> I only have a very narcissistic option. That's my only choice. You made yourself very pretty, bloody. You look very pretty. <laughs> I would assume you get other options, perhaps, but I don't know. There's an invasion and there's mercenary income. Oh God, okay, the patricians are rebelling. You have four votes for rebelling. You need to get nine to be successful. All right, let's do an invasion. Ooh, Tolsko, you look cool. Your majesty, we're being overrun. Not by sword and spear, mind you, but by arrowroot, particularly a vir virulent breed of Ashmedian arrowroot to be precise. It grows so fast that it smothers our forests to death. The very same forests we use to hunt for game. Thousands of native species could be at risk. The council must do something. <laughs> yes, damage that farming. That's good, because that's, that's how they summon their demon. Introduce a new species to prey upon the arrow root. Leave this be. It's just nature taking its course. Call a great calling to deal with this, or set fire to the overgrown forests. A decreases treasury. B decreases farming and increases defiance. The counts can can spare a little defiance though. Call a great calling to deal with this. Decreases trade and decreases farming. <laughs> Grr, we are but humble farmers. Farm, farm, farm. <laughs> Or is it fire to the overgrown forest? Ah! Uh... Farm, farm, plant, plant. <laughs> Welcome by an apple bomb. Thank you for joining us. Yeah. I am, I, listen, patricians and barons, are we all on the same page voting for C to help squelch the counts a little bit? Can I trust you all? Here, to, to sweeten the pot a little bit, chat. 
Let's do Monarch's Golden Choice. Uh, if you vote for... Call for a great calling to deal with this, you will all get 500 personal wealth. Just saying! Muni muni! Do it! Do it! Okay, that works too, I guess. <laughs> we do like money! <laughs> We ride. <laughs> Ooh, Apple Bond, what uh what team are you on? Ooh, welcome to the Patricians, Apple Bond, they need you. Alright, oh 21! Huzzah! Huzzah! Yeah! Let's go! You put, it, you put out a call for all workers in the East to head out on what is known as the Big Cutting. Whoa, are we like, is this like slash and burn agriculture? What's happening? Whoa, farming is nine. Wow. All right. Uh, so your trade, oh, because it was 10. Oh, that's low. That, that's low for them. So we decrease their trade to six, decrease their farming to nine. Hell yeah. The error route is eventually eradicated. All right. Patricians, you only have four people rebelling, which is not enough. You're gonna need nine if you want to come for me. Mercenary income. <laughs> you have to be on the patrician team, though, to rebel. Baron Studley Mayor, look at you. Look at you looking all fine again, strolling into my my palace. Oh, sorry, did I say counts? I meant, I meant patricians. I'm sorry. I meant only the patricians can rebel. I'm sorry. I misspoke. Your Majesty, I have good news. Those mercenary companies that we let loose into the wild, they're still returning profits. What a wonderful investment. Ooh. Uh, do I get any of that? Oh, of course, Your Majesty. Thank you, Studley Mayor. You and me, Studley Mayor, we got this. We will rule this kingdom together. Thank you very much. Huzzah! Wealth to the barons and wealth to me. Huzzah! Your, the question remains, your highness, whether or not we call it quits. Why would we do that? I'm making money. Money machine go burr. <laughs> we sent them to Ashmead in order to blood them. They've more than proven themselves. We could bring them home and have them train our own military with their expertise. Or we can put them back to work with the expectation of future profits. I have enough money. Bring the troops home. Bring the troops home. All right, starting a vote of Wooga. Oh, because they want to blow you up. That's why, valid point, valid point. But the, the barons aren't rebelling anytime soon. They're fine. They're fine. I, I'm putting it to a vote. Unity call for, ooh, call for unity. Don't call for unity. Oh, oh. I'm, s no, but no, but no, no, no. I don't want to call for unity because I don't want the stability any higher. No, 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 you barons. I know your tricks. I know your tricks. No unity. No, 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 no. The stability is just fine where it is. Thank you very much. Mm -mm, mm -mm. You're not, not today. Not today, Satan. No. <laughs> Please rebel, don't you, Knight? No, but if stability is higher, that's good for the barons. We can't have that. Five is plenty of stability for my kingdom. Oof. Oof, my neck. Ah, oh, Jesus. Me neck. Oh, oh, it's tied. My choice. Huzzah. All right, it's my choice. Ah, let's see. <laughs> Stability goes up, machine god will fix everything. Oh yeah? Oh yeah, is that true, chicken? Mm-hmm. Sounds a little... Sounds a little suspicious. <sighs> mm. 
Mods never lie. <laughs> That's part of the contract. Oh, jeez. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring them home cause I'm gonna bring them home. I'm gonna bring them home. <laughs> that's clause 12.8, yeah. That's what I'm thinking, Bakla. I don't know if that's mechanically how it works, but I'm just thinking from a story perspective, I'm worried about the patricians rebelling. I wanna have an army on my side, but I know it's probably just raising the Baron's military. I don't really know how it works, but we're, I'm trying it. <gasps> Unfortunately, not all mercenary companies obey their summons because this was a chance one. This was a random chance. Maybe uh, many are now living well from the gold they've earned, thinking they'd be better off on their own. <sighs> okay. Oh no, I'm mocked. Our authority dropped to two. Oh no. Welcome on in, Trombone Dog. Are we still a Baron or do we start another one? Uh, if you joined earlier today, you should still be in here. Yes, you are still a Baron. If, if you um, joined at any point during the day, we're going to continue this story regardless of what happens. So you will be able to always join back in the, the faction you were in before. All right, your letters go unanswered. Eventually, it's clear they no longer answer to you or the Barons, nor will they be sending you any more profit. Wait, quick question for Renny. Uh, if this game ends... <clears throat> uh, if this game ends... Oh no, I'm dying. Hold on. <laughs> okay, question for Renny or anyone who knows this game uh, very well. If this game ends, like, let's say the patricians succeed and they overthrow me like last time. Yeah, Tony, you can't rebel. <laughs> you, you are not a patrician, you can't rebel. Um, however, the patricians have already reached their nine votes, so they are rebelling. Say the patricians win, right? Game ends. I know that if you rejoin, you'll be back. If I continue the game, you'll join in the group you were in before, but you have to manually join, or it's like, well, people who maybe joined early on, uh, and then like maybe went uh, like lurked or something. If I continue the game immediately, will they stay or will they have to manually rejoin to be back in their group? I just wanna make sure, cause I'll make a note of everyone who's in these lists now, um, if they have to like manually rejoin. That's my question, which if you don't know, that's also totally fine. <laughs> I know you are not a, just an endless bank of knowledge, but if anyone happens to know the answer to that, let me know. Cause otherwise I will, I'll just take screenshots of the names. Um, IDK, that is totally fine. That's totally cool. No worries. Not a, not one single worry. I would imagine, I think they have to rejoin. Okay, cool. In that case, since we have a Rebellion, um, because you might, yeah, okay. Let me take a quick note of everyone who's on uh, the various teams. So give me like two seconds, probably more. Give me like a minute. <laughs> Just cause we might be coming close to, coming close to the end. And then once we have our running list going, I'll just add new people as they come and it'll be easier, but I should do it now. Yeah, I'm gonna make a list just now, just in case. So bear with me for a second. All right, so we have barons. I think I think that would make sense that they get booted and then they have to rejoin. That makes sense. Uh, I'm not gonna take a screenshot because I need to be able to uh, add these uh, add these names to like a giveaway counter. Uh, not to a giveaway, but like to a giveaway generator, so I need them in text form. If I just have a picture of it, it's not gonna work. Don't worry, chat. We have seven and a half hours. We can spare five minutes for me to do this. I mean, unless someone wants to do it for me, but otherwise, I, I, I got it. Because the idea is that the winning kingdom at the end, everyone who's participated in that kingdom has entered, not just the people, uh, not just the people who happen to be up late at night uh, and are there for that final game. Do you want to do it for me, Tony? Are you? Uh, do I hear you volunteering? 
Are you sure, Bloody Lion? Here, I'll I'll share the doc. Ah, uh, king of the castle. Okay, thanks mods. I love you. All right, I'll pop it. The the sheet is in bibbity boppity. That's the sheet. Uh, I'll take a screenshot. Thanks mods. Everyone should tip the mods because they're amazing, and this is the kind of thing that they help me out with all the time. I hope if you hire me. All right, let's get barons. This screenshot doesn't have everybody, so I'm gonna do a second one as well. Ah uh, yes, we must keep we must keep the mods' defiance low, or they shall rebel. Ejafe, yes. Thank you for the five. Thank you for the five gifted subs. I really appreciate it. Oh, that screenshot was borked. Let me let me try it again. That was a borked screenshot. My bad. Hey, Trumbo Dalek, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. The mods have helped out a bunch with this with this stream in particular as well. So if you're having fun, ah, uh, let's go, let's go. Scroll, 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 scroll. Ooh, lots of patricians. Yeah, the idea here is that <laughs> mods are rebelling IRL would be so chaotic. Yeah, the idea here is that um, anyone who joins. Gaslit Goomba, what happened to your. Oh, ga did Gaslit Goomba die? Why do you have no money, Gaslit? What's wrong? All right. Boop, boop. I'll try to keep track of when new people join and we can add them to the list. You need I'm stuck. Yeah, let me get that for you. That would be helpful, wouldn't it? Uh... Okay, you should be able to edit now. Thank you, mods. I love you. You're the best. He spent all of his monies. So sad. Too bad, so sad. All right. We are now facing impending patrician rebellion. Hate to see it. Hey, Tony! Tony, thank you so much. You're the best. You're the bestest. Thank you so much. Uh, all right. Did I did I do it right, mods? Thank you, mods. You're the best. All right. Let's end this season. All right. So we are now time to vote on buildings. This works the same as last time. God, the nobles are so wealthy. Good God. How many mods we got? We got four mods. We got Bloody, Alkali, Chicken, and Bar. Heck yeah. All right, so go ahead and vote for whichever, whatever uh, building you want. Tony, thank you so much, Tony. You're the best. Thank you so much for the support. Happy Mods Day, Mods. <laughs> I'm gonna try. You can't make Barb try. All right, go ahead and fund the building you want. Whether, whether or not it's a building, uh, the, of your color. You can vote for whatever one you want if you want the effect from it. So it doesn't technically matter. We have a fortress, uh, which increases military. We have a library, which increases stability. A grand bazaar increases trade. A monument increases authority. Observatory in decreases faith. Ooh. Because you'd be learning about science and stuff. And the Thieves Guild decreases trade. So go ahead, exclamation point, fund the letter first that you want to fund, and then second, the number that you want to spend on it. All right, and the top two get funded, so that is the library and the Grand Bazaar. Higher stability, stability, congratulations, Barons, you have, uh-oh, you have reached uh, level six. I love how, yikes, yikes, okay. And trade has increased for the counts. Yeesh. All right. The kingdom is in rebellion. The first side to win five victory points will win. Victory points are earned throughout events. If the rebels are victorious, that's currently just the patricians, the monarch is overthrown. Okay. Everything is fine. So it's now barons and counts v patricians. 
too quiet. You wake up to birdsong from outside your bedchamber windows. Your wife gives you a sleepy peck on the cheek. Oh, so cute. All is right with the world. Uh, I'm gonna head downstairs for breakfast. Putting on your dressing gown and slippers, you hobble down the spiral staircase of your tower. Though you are expecting your advisors to come pestering you with problems, it's peaceful. Suspicious! Almost too peaceful. Have a look around the plaza, go to breakfast. I'm gonna have a look around the plaza. Or the, pl the plaza, the palace. I'm so dyslexic, chat. I've said palace probably like 50 times today, and it's that time I was like, hmm, palaza makes sense. You spend some time looking around the palace. A few of the servants are surprised to see you up and about, dipping their heads in deference as you pass. GG, Baron, wait, what do you mean? No, 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 no. I'm not gonna die. This is like, whoa, 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 whoa. I haven't had a chance to fight back. A short while later, just as you're about to give up and head to breakfast, you notice something quite, no! Quite out of the ordinary. In one of the dark corners that you rarely visit, GG. I mean, I know they got six, but it, but that but the, but there's usually more time for me to fix it. I wasn't I wasn't I didn't I wasn't expecting it to be immediate. You spot an old door that you don't recall ever seeing. It's broken up from the inside. Oh no. Ga ga gather your honor guard, hundred percent. Yes. Yes. It doesn't take long for them to arrive. Your marshal is in tow. Together, you grab torches and venture into the foreboding darkness. Oh, God! You find yourself carefully tiptoeing down a flight of spiral stairs into some old, forgotten cellar. Bill, that's so ominous. Wait, that emoji is actually so... That emote is so ominous in this context. It's bye-bye. Bye bye now. Oopsies, dropped a torch. Whoopsies. Do not gather the honor guard. Why would you? Why would you say that? Why would you say that? I don't like this, Your Majesty. Something is wrong. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh, cause the barons are my guard. Oh, that's a good point. That's a good. That's a good. Oh, that's a good. Oh no, that's a good point. That's a good point. Why did you say something sooner? I foregore. I foregore. Oh no. Oh, I forgot that they were my guards. It was. I've been screaming. <laughs> I'm a baron. I last time I had the counts as my honor guard. Shoot. Shoot. At the bottom, the passage connects to the catacombs, which sprawl beneath the city. A back door into the palace. I'm no, I'm scared! I don't want to die! Not like this! Not like this! See, okay, chat. I, 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 I've been watching Breaking Bad with my partner, and I just watched the episode spoilers for Breaking Bad. Real quick, cover your ears. Uh, but the scene where they're trying to lead Walt down into the laundry bed, he, like, knows that they're gonna kill him. That's, like, what, what it feels like right now. Like, you know what's gonna happen, but you can't run. Because you're surrounded by people who want to kill you. They just want to happen to kill you downstairs. That's what I feel like right now. No! It's okay, your peasant daughter can take over. What do I do? Catacombs or search the area? I'm going to search... Uh, catacombs... I don't want to go deeper. I don't want to go deeper. I'm going to start by searching the area. The walls are lined with stacks and stacks of mysterious barrels. They are from Kurth, your highness. Look at the labels. The marshal's still on my side. Prying open one of the barrels, you're shocked to find it's full of gunpowder. The explosive mixture made especially in Kurth. Then the thought hits you. It was the barons, you realize, just as a glowing ember from your torch drops into the open barrel. It's the very last thought that enters your head. Out in the capital, a young woman opens her window to, an empty, to empty a chamber pot into the street. In an instant, she is shocked. She is knocked backwards by a shockwave coming from the palace. 
Kablooey. <laughs> Fini. <laughs> There's a flash of light as a colossal cache of gunpowder detonates. Windows are shattered and shutters are blown open. Dust and smoke billows down the streets, shrouding the city in utter darkness. Like, if I hadn't got my, 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 my council with me, like my, my, my honor guard, would I have survived this? Was it all that one mistake where I forgot that my barons were my honor guard? Later, all that remains of the royal palace is a smoldering crater. Stability is now lawless. This is the kingdom you are inheriting, barons. A lawless nation. I kind of did this to yourself. It's not long before the barons march into the capital and restore order. No one in the kingdom dares challenge them after all that, after all that display. Historians of the future are quick to note one silver lining to a cloud of soot and death that comes at the end of your reign. At least you didn't suffer long. Huzzah! The barons are victorious. All right, so. If the Barons, if no one else wins for the next seven hours, everyone who has ever participated in the Barons team, you will all be entered into the giveaway, but there are seven hours left in this stream. If you can bring your region to victory, then maybe you can get the giveaways. It's whoever most recently won when the stream ends. The stream doesn't end for another seven hours. So that's what I gotta say about that. Boom, Queen Ray's reign ended not with a whimper, but with a bang. Rushing to complete the scheme, the Counts attempted their bloody ritual too early. The summoned demon escaped their control and slaughtered dozens, including Zavok, who is who you wanted to have on the throne, and Countess Proud Slime Dad. Oh no, not Slime Dad. The patricians, led by Renny May, launched a rebellion that accomplished nothing besides distracting the queen while cunning schemers took the throne. All that remained of the palace and anyone who opposed the Baron's rule was a smoking crater, and the other nobles were too shocked to protest as Vermis improvised a throne from an armchair and an ordered, an ordered reconstruction to begin. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> Queen Ray money bags. Game length two years, six months. My spouse was Lorelei of the East, and my successor was Monarch Vermis. All right. Ray, look at the stats, please. Why? Oh God, I'm sorry. Did I did I miss something? What did I do? What did I do? <laughs> because it's fun. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, so what we're gonna do is we are going to continue our game. I will now be playing as Monarch Vermis. Um, but other than that, the game is the same, obviously, uh, we won't go through the tutorial stuff. We'll pick up, I believe, where we left off uh, and continue the story. So you won't see any repeating stuff, I believe. I think it'll be like, you'll continue on into a new year, um, but I am dead. <laughs> so I will now be playing as Monarch Vermis, who was my successor. And you'll want to exclamation point join and you'll be reassigned to whatever group you were for the first time. Yeah, I'm very excited. And it should be, there should be, um, legacy events as Rennie said so there will be stuff that happens in this game that is directly the result of what happened in that last game it should be really fun i'm very excited go ahead exclamation point join your pronoun if you were here for the last game you'll be assigned to the same uh region but if you're just joining us uh join for the first time and you'll be in a whole new region whichever region has most recently won the game when the stream ends in seven hours will be entered into a ton of giveaways so godspeed to your region i'm gonna go take a quick break and get some more beverages but go ahead and join your team and i'll be rb
right, everybody. Are we ready for the second age of our glorious kingdom? I lost my captions, damn it. Hold on. <laughs> hey, congrats on chat, man. Good job, everybody. All right. Bibbidi bobbidi, bibbidi bobbidi boom. All right. <clears throat> Let's see. Who have we got? Looks like we got a few new people if you're just joining us because you like King of the Castle. Welcome on in. Uh, welcome to the Check Games Edition Twitch channel. My name is Ray. Uh, I run this stream here. <laughs> I have to find a better way to say that. It sounds so silly every time. But now it's in my head and it's what I say every time. I'm like, I run the stream. Obviously I do, clearly. Uh, but Check Games Edition, we are a board game publisher, in fact. Uh, if you didn't know, all the board games behind me are games that we have made, and they are also games that we'll potentially be giving away at the end of the stream to whichever region was the most successful or most recently successful when the stream ends in this many hours. We've closed the subathon because we hit our 12 hour cap, uh, but we are still celebrating the moderators. So if you feel like giving bits and subs, all of that money goes to them. It goes to them every time, every day anyways, but this is just a fun extra way to hype them up. So if you're having a good time in chat, that's an awesome thing to do if you feel like it. But yeah, uh, if you're having a good time, also feel free to follow the channel. I stream here typically three days a week. And if you like King of the Castle and you're like, I don't like board games, I bet you do. If you're enjoying this game, this game plays very much like an economic political board game. I guarantee it, you like board games and you just don't know it. So you should follow this channel. I play a lot of board games with chat. If you like this type of interactive content, we do a lot of interactive content on this channel, albeit it is board games, but I'm sure you'll like it. So if you're on the fence about it, do it. I dare you, follow the channel. It would mean a lot to me and it would mean a lot to my mods. But yeah, that's it. We're getting back into it. <laughs> CG stands for counts gain everything. Yeah, Eva, I had to. I had to. I really thought about doing an uncapped situation, but I have stuff to do tomorrow. And like, literally we had Olympian give 36 subs to put us at the 12 hour cap. I would not have put it past him to just drop 50 and put us at like 24 hours or something. Honestly, what I should have done is made them the, the, the increments more expensive, but I didn't want people to like, I don't know, think we were being greedy with the increments. And I was I was geared up for a 12 hour stream anyways. But yeah, the subathon portion is kind of technically over because we've hit our cap. But if you are feeling generous, uh, my mods are amazingly helpful uh, behind the scenes and in chat, they create a really awesome community, a really good vibe in there. Uh, so if you're having a good time and you've got like 50 biddies laying around, we would greatly appreciate it. But of course, no pressure at all. You don't gotta. It's just a cool thing. The channel, by having a, you know, affiliated Twitch channel, we generate money from ads and stuff and we're like, we don't want it. Let's give it to the mods because they are amazing. Um, and I'm paid to be here and CG is a company that doesn't need it. So we give it to the mods because they rule. Uh, and if you want to contribute to that, we would love it if you did. But again, zero pressure whatsoever. We're happy you're here hanging out with us. Mm. Thank you, Tony. Thank you, Steven. I appreciate it. Ba -bum 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 -bum. <laughs> I'm actually feeling okay. We're, we're about to round the corner of halfway. We're hitting the six hour mark. I'm feeling all right. Feeling all right. I honestly think the thing that's gonna happen is I'm gonna lose my voice. This is a lot of talking. Slash I'm gonna lose my ability to read, which is already kind of dubious. <laughs> Yay, Hornus, huzzah! Your underflowing skies promos have arrived, hell yeah. Oh, and speaking about things that we give away on this channel, if you need an incentive to bring your region to victory, again, the final region that was most recently victorious at the end of the seven hour stream that we have left will be entered into a lot of giveaways. We have a free copy of the Lost Ruins of Arnak, which is our, one of our most popular and successful recent big box games. It is award-winning. We just announced its second expansion. So if you get this game, a lot of good content out there for you. We're also giving away nine codes for three of our different digital games. So if you happen to like video games more or you like your board games in digital form, there'll be plenty of that for you as well if your region is victorious. All right, so we have the Barons of the March are stacked. You are correct. Holy heck. We got a great team. We've got Headbang, Maniac, Trombone, Dalek, Diplomat, Angie, Duchess, Polo Monkey, Hornus, Chicken, Feed Me, Bockle, Deadpan, Eja, Alkali, and Studley. Again, this is the the most mods on a team, I think. Yeah, you also have Angie now. Nice. Uh, we have Counts of the East. Ooh, this is Barb, Bloody, Bill, Merrill, um, Dart, Levar, Levry? 
Nice to meet you. Thank you for joining us. Tony Galati II as he died in prison. Tolsko, DBX Runner, and Anthresh. Nice to meet you as well. Welcome on in. Patricians of the Coast, we have Gaslit Goomba. Steven Huzzah, welcome to the Patricians of the Coast. Good luck with good luck. Kit Kat, Spitzka, Abkhaz Games, what I'm playing now. Varian Hex II also died in jail. June B, Eva Little, Rennie, and Itri. All right. Are we ready to start? Age two. I'm very excited. I've never uh, continued a game before, but I've like seen other people do it. So I'm excited to sort of see what changes with our story. So yes, uh, these events that are flagged as dynasty events, these are things that carry over from our previous game. They're something that directly uh, is in relation to something that happened prior. So let's start there, shall we? In a smoking crater. Let's do it. <laughs> Chief Architect uh, says, Your Majesty, the um, <clears throat> explosive ending of Queen Rey's reign means that you don't exactly have a palace anymore. Hmm. I wonder what that could be referring to. Uh, noble Patrician Varian Hex II says, Indeed, also, I, uh, Tony, I'm happy to aid you in your goal of getting to five heirs in this game. I'd love to see Tony Galati V. That'd be hilarious if Tony just died a bunch. <laughs> uh, indeed, because you blew it up. Damn you, ninth god. Uh, ninth, damn you all to the seven hells. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Tony's our team's red shirts. Yeah, Varian Hex, you have been reincarnated in your second form. Uh, they're right. Uh, this is the chief ar architect. You are the proud owner of a smoldering pit. But don't worry, I can fix it right up. With appropriate funding, of course. Ooh, okay. A pal the palace must be rebuilt, but how? A, build a perfect reconstruction of what came before. B, construct something fortress-like in the marcher style, C, cheap out on materials, or D, the barons can fund the new palace. Ooh, ooh, okay. Um, I'm not gonna use my veto yet. I'm gonna let you all brawl it out. Um, almost everything either decreases authority. No, we have a couple things. B and D increase authority, but no one has any goals yet. So go with, it, go with your heart, chat. Go with your heart. We have no um, schemes yet. I'm happy with D. I mean, if they chose such an aggressive measure, I think they can rebuild it. I think that that is very fair retribution. All right, go ahead and vote if you haven't already. Huzzah! No schemes yet, just revenge, exactly. The barons can fund this new palace. If they wanted a smoldering crater, they can cough up the funds to rebuild it. All right, huzzah! Dude, I love saying huzzah. <laughs> I'm an addict now. Hornus! I don't know if Hornus is lurking or not. <gasps> no, Hornus, Hornus is in chat. Hell yeah, look at you, Hornus. Look how cool you look. Uh, fine. We'll fund your new palace, my liege, but we'll build it our way. Hornus, what does that mean? What does that mean, you'll build it our way? The chief architect says, Oh, I seldom get the chance to work in marcher style. Big gray blocks of stone, narrow windows, red banners. Wow, you guys sound like a hoot and a holler. My hair could never grow that way. Hunting trophies. I'll, I'll draw up some blueprints. All right. The barons were very wealthy at the end of last game. Oh! I never explicitly mentioned it, but any wealth you had at the end of last game should have carried over. Uh, so the March people were very wealthy last game, but hopefully some of you have lost some money to help pay for your dirty deeds. Authority is now commanding. The civility is teetering. Rapid work begins on the new palace as the imposing star-shaped fortress takes shape. A wave of dread passes through the city. It feels like an enemy occupation. Whoa. Oh. All right, let's do a path to victory. <laughs> Some barons wealthy, I have zero now, womp womp. Your ma uh, the spy master says, your majesty, the history books do not look kindly upon usurpers. 
Unless, of course, they prove themselves worthy of the throne they have stolen. When you die, how do you think, how do you hope the kingdom will remember you? Uh, so how do we think Monarch Vermis wants to rule this kingdom? We tried military, it didn't go so great. Let's, you know what, we've never done, we've never done a particularly religious role before, but the barons are at zero. Farming, farming is quite high. We could do farming. So is trade is also quite high. Let's do, <laughs> let's do, <gasps> hi Catskills. I hope we're doing all right in the migraine kingdom. I love you very, very much. I'm gonna do farming because we have high farming and I have yet to succeed in my goal ever. So I'm gonna try to actually make an informed decision. I'm gonna pick farming. Interesting. <laughs> Are you concerned for the welfare of the commoners, or are you just hoping for a favorable passage in the history books? I suggest over the next few years, what happened to my what happened to my orphan child? I wonder if that kid's gonna come back later and try to reclaim the throne as theirs. You focus on improving the kingdom's overall farming as much as possible. Can do, homie, can do. Mm, chicken. That's probably true, but now I'm sad. I lost 750, I deserve that. <laughs> Once you have an heir, I will return to discuss how your ambition is progressing. All right, all right. Yeah, raid two is probably blown up. All right, to my coronation, huzzah. The chancellor says, uh, your majesty, you may have won the throne from Queen Rey, but you still answer to the council. As is tradition, they will decide what happens at your coronation. All right, let's get this over with. Shall we call the nobles in? <clears throat> All right, huzzah. What kind of coronation should be held for the new monarch? A, hold a lavish parade with jugglers and fountains of wine. B, proceed with a religious ceremony that honors the ninth god. C, throw the monarch into the river. Or D, outdated traditions. There's no need for coronation at all. All right, chat, go ahead and vote. What do you want? Remember, this is your successor, Barons. I mean, you're still gonna try to overthrow him, but at least for the time being, he is your, your dude. All right. No! Wait, I was, I was reading, I was reading, uh, uh, I was reading something. Oh my God. Damn, damn. Into the river. <laughs> that's fair, Egypt, that's fair. Throw the monarch into the river, oof. Yep, that raises stability, but lowers authority. It is decided the monarch will be thrown into the river. Yeah, you gotta wash all the blood off of, off of her bloody rule wash the blood off her hands. It is decided the monarch will be thrown into the river. <gasps> what kind of coronation is that? A very traditional ceremony dating back to the Queen Alma the Wise. It's meant to represent you being reborn as a true monarch. The nobles pick you up and carry you into the Treadwater River hurling you into the shallow water with a cheer. Welcome on in, Duskido. It's nice to meet you. Welcome. Uh, when you climb back up the bank, soaking wet, the chancellor steps forward and places the crown upon your head. Is it your imagination, or are some of the nobles stifling giggles? Hmm. Suspicious. All right. End of the season. Ooh. All right. Sabine... Uh, ooh, Catskills, what region did you get? Catskills is part of the Counts. Congratulations, you are a sexy vampire. Da da <laughs> I knew it. A few months in the luxury of the palace and monarch Vermis has gone soft. Don't we deserve a real baron on the throne? <laughs> Tradition. Wink, wink. All right. <clears throat> <coughs> All right, so you're trying to overthrow even Monarch Vermis, who you put on the throne. You would rather have Sabine 
on the throne. This is your new person. Would you like your scheme to be A, doppelganger, which is to lower defiance, B, intimidation, which is to raise the defiance of others, or C, gunpowder again? <laughs> Pick something different. Don't do gunpowder again. We just did that. <laughs> All right, it looks like you're gonna go for doppelganger. You want to have the lowest defiance, which you already have. That's very smart. Very smart. All right. The barons plan to swap the real monarch for a perfect doppelganger. First, they must gain the trust of the spy master. Okay. To advance their scheme, the barons must be the region with the lowest defiance in two seasons. Okay. Yikes, yikes. Okay. Ooh, Odon looks very cool. Oh my god, sorry. I'm drinking a carbonated drink. And I'm burping a lot. <laughs> my fellow counts. That's very true. That's very true. My fellow counts, in ancient times, the East was its own proud kingdom. We can bring back the days of glory, but not while the false monarch Vermis wears the crown. All right, counts, voting is open. What would you like your scheme to be for this game? Would you like the blood ritual? which is what you tried unsuccessfully for last game, uh, which is highest farming. Uh, you currently have nine. Ascension is lower your own faith. You currently have five. Or possession, lower your own defiance, which is in opposition to the um, scheme of the uh, the barons, which is interesting. And blood. All right, counts, go ahead and vote. Exclamation point, vote. And then the letter that you want. <laughs> All right, you want to lower your own faith. Let's do it. Good luck with that. It's uh, five, but not it's not too high. Be careful about following Barb's suggestions, bloody. All right, ascension. The Counts plan to induct the monarch into their secret cult and offer them immortality in exchange for the throne. Oh, you want to induct me into a cult? First, they must reduce the power of the Eastern Church. Okay. To advance their scheme, counts must lower their faith to four. Okay, so they only have to bring it down one. Oh, God. All right. Uh, Clovia says, fellow patricians of the coast, my claim to the throne is far more legitimate than that of Monarch Vermis. Something must be done. All right, patricians, do you want subterfuge, which is lower stability? Do you want monopoly, which is what you tried for last time, which is to raise your own trade? Or do you want conspiracy to lower the treasury? Or is that what you know? You did monopoly last time. It involved lowering the treasury, I believe, but I don't think that was your overall goal. All right, patricians, exclamation point, vote. And then the letter that you want to go for. Oh my God, spring. Oh my God, spring. You should join the game. Exclamation point join and then uh, a pronoun if you want. But if you're busy, I got you. That's cool. But I also love you and it's good to see you. All right. The patricians want subterfuge. You want to lower the stability. All right, let's do it, patricians. Banana. All right, huzzah. The patricians plan to replace the monarch's advisors with their own agents. First, they must prove they're doing a bad job. Uh, did you do it? Let me see. Sprig, sprig, sprig. Yep, Spring, you are part of the patricians. I think because you just did join instead of join and then uh, pronoun. I think you got they, them, but you are in the game, which is what matters. So you are the green people. You want the green people to win, Spring. All right, so green people, patricians. Uh, to advance their scheme, the patricians must lower stability to four or less. And it's at five currently, okay. All right, so the barons are the only one who have already met their goal. The counts want to lower their faith and the uh, patricians want to raise stability. All right, <laughs> that's okay, Sprig, we'll explain it. 
proposition an invitation. Oh god, not the honor guard again. I'm scared of the honor guard. They killed me last time. All right, let's start with an invitation. Yeah, basically, Spring, you're all trying to kill me. I am queen. You are trying to kill me. This is me. It's, I looked cooler before when I was actually me, but this is my successor who I have to play as now. Womp womp. <laughs> Without a word, Count DBX Runner. DBX Runner. Mmm, suspicious. Oh, this is the same thing we had last time. Okay. Count DBX Runner hands you a blood red envelope that is sealed with a white wax in the scape, shape of a skull. Inside is a beautifully written invitation to an event called the Crimson Vigil, due to take place on an autumn night later in the year. I'm going to say yes to this. We're going to... I'll attend it. Sure. Because we never actually saw what happened with it. I will see you at the next vigil, your majesty. Nothing could go wrong with that. <laughs> Yeah, feed me, because you have such a great track record. Clearly not my handwriting. Mm-hmm, DBX. Suspicious. All right, let's do a proposition. Let's do a proposition. Before we do this. Uh, the treasurer says, Your Majesty, I have an idea. The best since... Since lined parchment, I dare say. An expedition. Interesting. Ooh, uh, Paolo, welcome on in. It's nice to meet you. Thank you for joining us. Uh, welcome to... Let's see, where'd you end up? Uh, I can't read. Where are you? Oh, you welcome to the Counts! Congratulations, Paolo. Alright, to Chur! Sounds churlish. Chur, who's that? Or that's brilliant. Uh, sounds churlish. Don't be so quick to judge, I implore you. The great unexplored and untamed wilderness far across the eastern sea awaits. You have a lot of wealth at the moment, your highness. Ooh, yeah, we get to keep our money. We have $5,200 come from last game. It's just sitting around collecting dust. Why not make a sound investment and send explorers to Chur? The hell is Chur? You still haven't told me. Oh, no, not Jolt. Who knows what they might find? Treasure, rare materials, ancient history, a new disease. Why do you sound excited about a new disease? Oh, now you let us deplete the treasury. <laughs> She's a bit too animated when she says the word disease. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's do it. Sounds like a fine idea. What could go wrong? Her eyes light up from behind her spectacles. Wonderful news. I shall make... Preparations immediately. Expect a brief on your desk very soon. Oh, that's probably a bad idea. Zombies! <laughs> well, a stable kingdom's no fun. I want weird. I want weird stuff to happen. Marshall says, uh, as is tradition, each region offers... Okay, blah, blah, blah. We've heard this before. All right, so we're picking the honor guard. I'm picking someone from one of the regions to protect me. Ooh! What's up, diplomat? God, I love diplomat's outfit. It looks so cool. We're gonna find Arnak, it's fine. Uh, no need to ask, Marshall. The monarch knows that our veterans are the only ones with experience of real warfare. Yeah, I'm aware, because you killed me last time. You killed me last time. So last time I picked the veterans of the march and they overthrew me, so I don't know that I'ma trust y'all again. That is freaking suspicious suspicious. Let's do the only people I think I've never had of my honor guard, I believe, are the coastal people. Yeah, let's do... I made my decision. I've had the eastern knights protect me. I've had the, the march people protect me. Farm, farm, farm. <laughs> I am march technically, but not functionally. Like, narrative-wise, yes, but they're still gonna try to overthrow me again. So I'm gonna make my decision. I'm gonna pick the patricians as my honor guard, which are the coastal gladiators. Let's do it. They're the only ones I haven't done yet. <gasps> uh, Diplomat says, great God, your highness, how could you choose them? Ooh, the east is highly defiant. The march has some increased defiance and as does the coast. No, the coast lowers defiance as well. Okay. Huzzah! <laughs> Sounds just like me. I will make the arrangements at once. The gladiators arrive a few weeks later. The men are bare-chested and the women underdressed, eager to show off their bodies 
as much as their weaponry. They gather behind your throne and begin oiling themselves. Oh god. That's so icky. No thank you. No thanks. I'm good. Alright, end of the season. Alright chat, now is your time to vote on buildings that you want built. Uh, so exclamation point the uh, fund and then the letter of the building you want to fund and then the number of money that you want to spend. If you're watching on desktop, you should see a little overlay that should give you a little pop-up that tells you how much money you have. If you just joined, I believe you get like a thousand. But if you're here from last game, you might have more or less money. And yeah. Uh, Bloody Lion, your plan is to lower faith. You can see little icons on here. So you guys are purple, right? So it says you want to lower your faith because your faith needs to be lower than five. Um, the patricians want anything that lowers stability and the barons want their defiance to be the lowest. <laughs> How are we all sexy? <laughs> and you don't have to fund the building of your color. You can fund any building you want, technically. The wealth distribution is much better this time, though. We knocked the barons down a peg with making them rebuild the castle for us. All right. And the two most funded buildings will continue, and those two are the Observatory, nice, Meryl, that lowers faith, and the Patrician's Prison, which lowers stability. All right. All right. Expedition to Chur. Why not? Let's do it. Your Majesty. I have those plans we discussed for the expedition to Chur. Uh, I thought you were taking care of that for me. Of course, your highness, but there are important decisions to be made. All right, what's up? First, we need to decide who has the honor of building your ship. Uh, tell me about the patrician ship. The patricians offered to construct a mighty galleon in your name. It will be pricey, but unmatched in quality. Okay. Uh, tell me about the Baron's ship. The Marcher Lords are by no means expert shipbuilders. Yeah, I mean, the co the Patricians are the coastal people. I think if I had to entrust anyone to build my ship, it would definitely be the Patricians. But they've offered to make a sturdy cog, and they'll do it for free. Uh-uh, no, ma'am. No, ma'am, am I letting the Barons make me a free ship? That's definitely not gonna fall apart. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. No way am I letting that happen. Uh, tell me about the Counts. The Counts have promised a beautiful and ostentatious design. Ooh, tell me more. Something they call a Karak? Karak? Uh, it's as expensive as it sounds, however. You didn't tell me about the quality. Mm-mm. <laughs> oh, do it cost you your life? Listen, I've been told that the Counts ship and the patrician ship are expensive, but I've been assured of the patrician ship quality. Okay, we we pay you to make the ship. <laughs> yeah, deadpan, not sus not suspicious at all. But our ship is pretty. No, 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 no. Yeah, lighting the walls of your ship with gunpowder for insulation. I shall be letting the seafaring people build me my seafaring vessel. Thank you very much, patricians. It's all yours. The patricians offered to construct a mighty galleon in your name. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Uh, I've, I've, I've heard enough about the ships. I'm done here. Very well. I will buy the galleon from the patricians. It's slightly more expensive than that of the counts, but I have been assured of its quality. Counts, I'm watching you. I'm watching you. We'll buy the galleon from the patricians. Let's do it. Very good, your majesty. Ah, oh, cordial. Very good, cordial uh, patricians. Thank you, thank you. Next, we must decide who will crew your ship. Oh God, so many decisions. Okay, uh, tell me about the volunteers. Unfortunately, the best of them come at a price. Experienced trade ship captains and their crew would be ideal, but won't be for free. I got money, money printer go burr. God, you scared me so badly. Sorry, I just turned, my partner's just standing in the door wearing all black. What's up, hon? 
on what kind of snack? Just a few, not a lot. A few small cheese crackers, thank you. <laughs> God, that scared me. Sorry, my heartbeat. <laughs> he was just standing there. That was so scary. God, this is so much fun. Thank you guys so much for playing this with me. I hope you're having a lovely time. Um, and reminder, again, if you're having a fun time, we are celebrating my lovely four moderators today. Uh, all subs and bits, all that revenue goes to them. So if you're having a good time, feel free to, feel free to saw some a bitty if you feel like it. All right. Uh, there are also those in the Navy who are equally experienced, but enlisting them would reduce our naval strength. Interesting, interesting. Yeah, I really hope you guys are having fun. I really, really enjoy this game. And I think it's fun to play it all in one sitting because you are actively remembering the stuff that has happened, you know? Because um, there's a lot. There's like a lot of little thread lines and stuff. Um, and I like that, you know, I just played the last round. So I remember all this stuff that they're talking about. It's just good. I like it. <laughs> the Barons have assimilated uh, other technologies into their ships. Resistance is futile. Oh, God. I just don't want to die to the Barons again. Like, I don't care if I die again. I just can't be the Barons again. I really hated how I died last game. I can't believe I, I let the, the honor guard down into the basement with me. That was so stupid. <laughs> um, you could also levy amateur peasant crews or even use prisoners. But I don't know how much you could trust them to get you where do you need to go. Uh, we have high military, so it's like not the end of the world to lower our military, I think. <laughs> prisoners running the ship, what could go wrong? I kind of want to do that for the story. I kind of want to know what happens if you let prisoners run your ship. That's true, chicken, that's true. But it might have been, I might have had a fighting chance, you know? Ugh. Let's make Tony paddle. Yeah, where's the option to let Tony Galati the second paddle my ship? I'm gonna, we have the money. I'm gonna go for an experienced crew. I'll make the arrangements, fabulous. It'll be fine. Oh, one more thing, your majesty. The ship will be large enough to house additional expedition members or store extra cargo if you wish to send across the seas. She hands you a list indicating there's room on the boat to fit in two options. Whoa, there's, this is so, this is so complex. This is like the most intricate branching uh, event that we've had so far. What would the scholars bring to the expedition? A battalion of soldiers, what could that do? All right, I guess I'll just go through one by one. What would scholars bring to the expedition? Quail University will be interested in whatever we find in church. It is vast, unexplored wilderness, after all. Their expertise would also be useful in deciding what to bring back or in studying what cannot be moved. Interesting. Uh, a battalion of soldiers, what could that do? The barons, uh-uh, mm -mm, no sir, no, they're volunteering? No, I don't like how overly generous the barons are being. They're like, please, we'll pay you to let you take our people. No, 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 no. Or the barons are volunteering some of their finest warriors for the journey? Absolutely not. No. Chur is an almost unknown, uh, is an unknown but almost certainly dangerous place. It would be prudent for expedition and investment to have protection. Mm -mm, no, diplomat. I said, I said no, okay? You can ask dad, but I said no. Thank you, honey. I love you. I'm gonna eat a cracker real quick. Chat, hold on. <laughs> Yeah, chicken, you're the ruling party, but you still have scheming plans. You still want to overthrow me. They say thank you for feeding me. He said this. <laughs> okay. Why would I want horse stalls on the ship? Great question. To bring horses, of course. Duh. 
Is that it? Is that literally all she says? Okay. <laughs> I would love it if her only response was, horses, duck. <laughs> oh yeah, Polo, do you, you foregore? <laughs> simple question, simple answer. Uh, okay. Chair is a vast place larger than Elrusia and Ethos combined. Your expedition will benefit from moving quickly. Okay. Interesting. A horse, of course, obviously. Why bring priests of the ninth god? Great question. There's no telling what horrors might be found in Chur. It is likely a lawless, godless place. We'll surely need protection from the ninth god. Put gold in the holes, what for? It may sound far-fetched, your majesty, but there is every possibility that Chur is inhabited. With valuables, we could trade with the locals for whatever secrets or rare resources they possess. Interesting. Ooh, have a good lurk, Cornus. Thanks for hanging. Oh, no. Okay, chat. What do we think? We're absolutely not bringing the Battalion of Soldiers. That I'm sold on. I'm not really interested in the Priests of the Ninth God. But that could raise faith, which counteracts what the Counts want. The horses seems... The thing about the horses is that this makes no sense. Like, it's the weakest out of- Oh, sorry, my camera died. Hold on. Hold on. It's the weakest out of all the options, which kind of makes me think that there's something really funny if you take the horses. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's such a- compared to everything else, it's the weakest one, which kind of makes me want to do it. Because there is a lot of, um, sort of tongue-in-cheek humor in this game, and I wouldn't put it past them to make the seemingly silly choice one that leads to like a really fun encounter. And that way we can run away from our enemies because duh, horses. Okay. Thanks for waiting for my camera. Gotta charge this battery now. Scholars and horses, that's kind of what I'm leaning towards. And bloody, I mean, <laughs> sure, that sounds cool too. I'm, I'm, I think the scholars actually sounds useful. So I think I would do scholars and horses. I, that's what I, that's what I'm going to do. Scholars and horses. Send along scholars from the university. Excellent. Just let me write that down. What will we choose for the final room? Uh, load the hold with horses. That's a great idea. Fantastic. Hopefully the smell won't unnerve the crew too much. Yeah, I agree, Tony. We also don't have that much money. I'm not going to send $1,000 on a ship when we only have $2,200. i am not going to do that. Fantastic. I think that's everything. I shall get to work immediately, Your Majesty. Tips, huh? She picks up her scribbled notes and diagrams and hurries out of the room, her spectacles bouncing slightly on her nose. The ship is completed in record time. Clearly the patricians are eager to impress. You see it off from the harbor by the end of the season. The crew are eager and the ship looks sturdy. You can only hope they'll bring back something worth the investment or come back at all. All right. Finding a spouse. Wee wee. Smoochy smooch. Or, oh, the cr it's time for the Crimson Vigil. Dude, let's do the Crimson Vigil. I'm also going to eat a cracker. Hold on. <laughs> Sorry, I'm hungry. Dude, Studley, I know. Isn't this music amazing? I do like- honestly, I'd be okay with the Counts taking over. They're all sexy and mysterious and they've got cool harpsichord music. Ray, do you happen to watch Game Changers? I am a very- 
uh, I, I consume Game Changers content by proxy, so I like watch a lot of like the TikTok clips and like YouTube edits of it, but I've never sat down and watched a whole episode. But I know a lot of like the biggest moments from Game Changers because it comes across my feed all the time. I just have never paid for a dropout, so I don't watch the full episodes. <clears throat> Why weren't you okay with it the last game? I don't know, I'm scared. All right, the Crimson Vigil takes place in a bleak castle atop an eastern hill. Your journey takes weeks, jeez, and your baggage train keeps getting stuck in bogs. Oh, that's fun. There's an episode where she has to call a pizza place and say, I'm so hungry, like 36 times. Oh my God. <laughs> that's amazing. Bill, wait, really? What movie are you seeing? Oh my God, wait. Oh, I can't, I probably can't talk about it on stream. Uh, I won't mention the title, but I saw the meme, the meme -y movie about a bear while I was on vacation in Maine, and it is actually really good. I had a lot of fun watching it. Um, but it involves a drug, so I won't talk about it too much. Yeah, the Lobsters of Arnak movie. <gasps> You're at the D&D movie? I can't wait to see it. Yes, it's Coca- I saw Coca-Cola Bear. There you go. I saw Coca-Cola Bear in Maine. <laughs> um... Dude, you'll have to let me know. You'll have to let me know, uh, Bill, how the D&D movie is. I've heard really good things about it. It seems a little bit cheeky, but it has Hugh Grant, who you all know is, like, the only actor I care about. Because <laughs> I watch a lot of, like, rom-coms and stuff, and I just, I don't know. I have a really soft spot in my heart for early era Hugh Grant. Um, seeing old Hugh Grant in a D&D movie is, does not computationally compute in my brain. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think. Ooh, Polo Monkey, have fun. I don't know, I, like at first I was like, oh yikes, this looks really cringy, but I've heard people say it's actually quite fun. And it looks like they've done, the thing that I like about it is it looks like they've done a good job of actually including the D&D community, like seeing the launch, like all the photos from like the red carpet of the D&D movie launch had like a ton of D&D creators that I recognize, which was really cool. Cause I was worried when it was announced that like, I don't know, that it was gonna feel really hollow, but it's cool that they've made some effort to like actually get D, D creators and D, D like celebrities in on the project and like I think that's cool like I saw like relatively smaller TikTok creators who make D, D content like at the red carpet event which I think is really cool that was what sold me I was like all right someone who's a part of this movie actually like cares about <laughs> like the D, D community yeah Eva that that's what sold me because at first I was like yikes this is just because D D is popular because of Stranger Things or whatever you know uh, but it seems like it's got folks who actually know what they're talking about behind it, which is really cool. Which is really cool. So I'm gonna I'm give it a shot. I don't know that I'll see it in theaters. Because, I mean, the reason I saw Coca-Cola Bear while I was on vacation was because I was in a city where there are movie theaters. But I currently live nowhere. I live in the middle of nowhere. There's, like, literally not a theater in my town. So I'll probably have to wait until it's, like, released for streaming or something. All right. Time for the Crimson Vigil. Guests at the Crimson Vigil. Uh-oh. Sorry, I'm so burpy. <laughs> I'm drinking kombucha, <laughs> so I'm very burpy. Guests at the Crimson Vigil compete on who can dress in the most ghoulish and frightening costume. Oh, it's Halloween! What did you dress as? A demon with horns, cloven hooves, and red skin. A ghost in tattered clothing, draped with clanking chains. Ooh. Oh, a dragon with gem-studded wings and a golden tail. I'm the queen, okay? I don't, uh, we don't have a lot of money, but also I'm the queen. I'm the queen, I want, I should be like decked out, right? I'm gonna go as a dragon. Let's go, let's go. My authority is commanding, huzzah. The wings get stuck, oh no. Really? In the castle doorway, you keep tripping over the tail. Girlie, come on, really? But the counts are in awe of such a display of ostentatious wealth. Huzzah! You are asserting your you are assessing your appearance. As you're assessing your appearance, Count DBX Runner sweeps in, dressed as a living corpse. Ooh, DBX, you look cool. Welcome, welcome. Your costume is extraordinary, Your Highness. Truly, it puts the rest of us to shame. Damn straight it should. Please remember to stay in the upper levels. The dungeons are out of bounds. Isn't the 
the ballroom, you find the counts gathered, all dressed up as frightful monsters, wolfmen, pumpkin heads, witches. A waiter glides past, holding a tray of sandwiches. A pianist plays a mournful tune. This doesn't sound like a piano. It sounds like a harps harpsichord, though. Uh, DBX Runner says, The Crimson Vigil begins at midnight. What role will you take? A mourner? Or will you, or are you willing to portray a hound of the betrayer? Huh? Uh, can you tell me more about these roles? Surely you are familiar with our customs. <laughs> yeah, of course. I know all about your religion. I, I'm a good ruler. The, 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 the dragons and such. If you are unsure, you should stick to being a mourner. Uh, do you not have a more prestigious role you can offer me? The most prestigious role is the monarch in exile? But that is reserved only for counts who've been attending the vigil for many years. Um. Ooh, welcome back, King Israel. Uh, you missed the Barons won the first game, but now we are continuing the story. Uh, and feel free to join again. Um. If you were only in the first game and you haven't joined the second one, you'll be reassigned to the same group as before. Okay. Um. Oh no. I don't know. I kind of want to do the Monarch in Exile. Oh, chat. What? What? Okay. A. Play the Mourner. B. Hounds of Betrayal, C, Monarch in Exile. I just want to vibe check. What do people want me to do here? I don't know. I want to do something cool for the story, but I also don't want to straight up die. And I'm a little bit scared C's going to kill me. Israel, you are on team. Yep, you're on the patricians team. How many time? Bark, bark. I'm happy with B. It's a nice middle ground. It's a nice middle ground. But I want to. I want something cool to happen. So I'm gonna play the monarch in exile. I'm gonna do it. I mean, we're we're here. I sp I blew. $750 on this outfit? Okay, I'm gonna make the most of this moment. And I wanna play the Monarch in Exile. Uh oh. <laughs> Stunley, as you wish, your majesty. A word of warning, as the Monarch in Exile, you must wear a flaming crown atop your head. I hope you're not too attached to your eyebrows. A ceremonial role is to run, this, your ceremonial role is to run from the hounds of the betrayer, who will pursue you through the castle. The crown must not go out. Okay, <laughs> my eyebrows. The counts gather. After Count DBX Runner delivers a short speech about remembering the old ways, a flaming crown is placed upon your head. Ouch, hot. Run! The hounds of the betrayer chase after you, howling and yipping. You remind yourself that these are just counts in silly costumes. They're very absorbed in the role. Better get moving. We can flee down to the lowest levels of the castle, 20% chance. Run up the ramparts, 20% chance. Hide in the storage room. Refuse to take any further part in this nonsense. Well, we can't do that because the counts already have high defiance. Well, they said the dungeons are off limits. Okay, we're going to the ramparts. We're not going to the dungeons. That they, they have demons in there. <laughs> Run to the ramparts. You clatter up, ah, oh, failed. You clatter up the castle stairs, your tail bouncing around behind you absurdly. Whose idea was this? Oh no. Suddenly you find yourself wedged in a doorway, your stupid wings. Is it, would my chances have been higher if I didn't pick the dragon costume? Are you serious? The hounds grab you and drag you back to the circle of mourners downstairs. Howling in triumph, it is most undignified. You are dragged into the circle, your crown still smoldering. One by one, the mourners drop to their knees in a posture of worship. Uh, perhaps? 
That's right, Neil. Yeah, that's right, Neil. The ceremony concludes with a wooden sword being placed against your neck and a bottle of red wine tipped over your head. Apparently, everything went to plan. The counts cheer and clap you on the back. All right, we lowered the defiance in the counts. I'll take it. How's the human business going? Hi, Sun Thief. Welcome on in. We are celebrating our moderators today by playing a whole 12 hours of King of the Castle, which you can join with exclamation point join and then a pronoun, either she, he, or they, and you will be put in, a, in as a character in the game, like right here. This is DBX's runner's character. Should've done the dungeons. No way, dude. No way. Hold on, all the filament of my kombucha is at the bottom. No, I need all of my bacteria, thank you very much. After that, the music is more cheerful. The counts dance and chant long into the night. At dawn, you board your carriage and begin the long journey back to the capital. I wonder what's down there. That's a, that's a later thing when I'm ready to die. I'm not ready to die yet. All right, finding a spouse. Your majesty, it's important you find a spouse sooner rather than later. I'll take the liberty of finding eligible candidates. Uh, what is your preference? Uh, we will take anyone. Thank you, your majesty. I'll send out messages to the most influential noble families in the kingdom. Let's see what they have to offer. <gasps> deadpan! Hey, it's an, it's uh, Deadpan says, it's an easy enough decision. You'll marry into the barons as we agreed before you took the throne, right? Ooh, ominous. All right. Seeking a simulacrum. Ooh, that's a that's a word I only know because of D and <laughs> D. Uh, deep in the forest of the march, Baron Headbanging Maniac. Hell yeah, uh, has gone boar hunting with a few of their close friends. Ooh, headbang. Yo, headbanging. Are you are you in chat? Your person looks sick. You said you had a surprise for me. Baron Bockle, a hey. Baron Bockle says, indeed, and here it is, behold. Headbanging Maniac says, yeah, it's you, Bockle, let's go. Uh, Headbanging Maniac says, yeah, your highness, what, what, are you, what are you doing here in such an hour? I'm sorry, I hope I, you didn't overhear any. Bockle says, ah, quit babbling, you blowhard. This isn't the monarch, it's a peasant who's the monarch's spitting image. Oh, Maniac says, great God. And just in time, the spy master trusts us. So if you're if you're new here, the barons, their scheme to overthrow me is to put um, uh, a doppelganger on the throne in my place. Uh, and just in time, the spy master trusts us and we can move to the next phase, kidnapping the monarch and putting this fool in their place. Bockle says, how do we manage that? And Headbanging says, we need the kingdom in utter chaos. Bad enough that the monarch's abdication can slip past unnoticed. For the next stage of their scheme, the barons must lower stability to four or less. Okay, it's already at four. You just need it to not be raised anymore. Hey, it's tax time, baby. Time for taxes. Ooh, all right, let's see. Everyone has reached their goal. I'm low on money, you guys. I am low on money. And the barons put me on the throne. So I feel justified in taxing them because they'll forgive me, you know? I'm, I'm one of them. So yeah, I'm taxing the barons. <laughs> I need the money. And if I tax everyone, I get less money. And money, good. I like money. And I also strongly still don't trust the barons. Uh, let's do let's do eligible options. Let's look at our let's look at our smoochy smooches. I found three potential matches for you. One eligible young candidate from each of the kingdom's three regions. Choose wisely. You'll be securing a powerful alliance. Ah, uh, yes, I know. Opposite, you don't want it for less. Did I did I misspeak? That's very possible. <laughs> what did the barons ever do to you? They blew me up, feed me. Literally blew me up, okay? 
The Chancellor leads you to the Great Hall, where they've arranged three portraits on easels, now each for now each covered in a cloth. Alright, let's see each candidate. Who have we got? Whisk away the cloth from the first portrait. <gasps> Ooh, this is Zenya. Zahina? Zahina? Zenya? Zenya? I'm going with Zenya. The eldest daughter of the Eastern Bloody Lion 666 dynasty. Ooh, they do look cool. Apparently, they had a hell of a time getting her smile, getting her to smile for this portrait. Uh, spends most of her time indoors pouring over musty tones. She's obsessed with her family's legacy. Intriguing. Okay, that's your daughter, Bloody. From the coast, we have Dimitri, the wealthy heir to noble patrician Kit Kat's estate. I mean, just look at him. He's gorgeous. And apparently he's got a silver tongue too. He loves, he loves to lose fortune battling in arenas. Mm. There was also a scandal recently where he, where he was publicly critical of the church. Nothing came of it. Hmm. Okay. I like the sound of him. He's fine. That's my boy. <laughs> and finally, we have the March's offering Emmy, scion of the prestigious Feed Me Some Wah underscore 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 bloodline. <laughs> A typical baroness, really. Loud and brash and self-absorbed, but mostly well-meaning. Like most of the barons, her great passion is hunting. No beast is safe from her crossbow. Also got into a fight with her local bishop a couple years back gave him a bloody nose. Okay. Duchess, thank you so much for that raid. Welcome on in everybody. Hello, Duchess. I hope you had a lovely stream. What were y'all doing today? Welcome on in if you're from Duchess's stream. Welcome to the Check Games Edition Twitch channel. My name is Ray. We make board games here at Check Games Edition. If you follow Duchess, I'm sure I literally don't need to explain this to you, but if you uh, somehow don't know, uh, we make games like Codenames, Lost Rooms of Arnak, Starship Captains, Deal with the Devil, bunch of board games. I know Duchess is a board game streamer, so you've probably, probably heard of at least one of the games behind me, but we have made all these lovely games back here. Today, we are celebrating my amazing moderators by playing 12 straight hours of King of the Castle, which is a chat integrated video game uh, where we make choices and I'm the queen, you're trying to overthrow me. It's a lot of fun. I can explain in more detail in a bit. Uh, but yeah, that's what we're up to today. Uh, where is he? You know, just chatting about stuff nice. Duchess, hell yeah. Uh, if you were here uh, like Duchess earlier during the stream and you, you went away, uh, we are now playing our second um, like era of the kingdom. So exclamation point, join and then one pronoun, so either she, he, or they, and you'll be entered back into the game. If you were here before, you'll be put back into the same uh, faction as before. And if you're brand new, you'll get a brand new faction and you get to help vote on what that faction's gonna do. You sometimes get put into the game if you're particularly active in voting and stuff. And they'll pull you and your character and put them into the story, which is super fun, super cool. Um, and also, Whichever region, either the barons, the counts, or the patricians, those are the three regions you can be sorted into, whichever region has won most recently when I end this stream in six hours, they're gonna be entered into a bunch of giveaways, including a free copy of the Lost Ruins of Arnak, as well as uh, several digital codes for our digital game. So we're talking through the ages, we're talking Galaxy Trucker, we're talking Boom Mania. Uh, so yeah, join a team and help them on their path to victory. And you'll be entered in to win some giveaways if your team ends up winning at the end of the stream. Also, speaking about the end of the stream, we are officially at the halfway point. We are six hours into our stream. We have six hours left to go. Uh, and as I said earlier, we are celebrating uh, my amazing moderators. All of the money that we generate on this channel goes to them all the time anyways. But we're doing like a fun subathon event, which we've already hit our cap. We've already hit 12 hours. So if you give subs or bits, it's not going to extend the timer, but if you feel like it, it's an amazing way to give back to my moderators who do so much to help me. And they're also pulling a 12 hour shift today uh, to keep chat safe and, and happy while I stream this nonsense. So they're amazing and we're here celebrating them today. But thank God we're at the halfway mark, honestly. The 12 hour streams go by really quickly, especially when you're playing something as engaging as this. It's a lot of fun, it's a lot of fun. Hell yeah, Bacal! Enjoy those underflung sky tiles. I'm glad they made them made their way to you uh, safely. 
Yeah, uh, Duchess, so, uh, what happened while you were gone? Uh, the Barons blew me up. So we're on game number two now. And I have a large vendetta against the Barons. Um, but I am playing as their successor. So I'm playing as Monarch Vermis here. Um, but other than that, it's just the same as the first game. Everyone's trying to overthrow me based on their own individual schemes and such. Again, if you want to join the game, exclamation point join, and then one single pronoun, so either he, she, or they, and you will be put into the game and sorted into one of those three groups that I mentioned before. I did not blow, I didn't put the kegs of gunpowder into my basement. I refuse to take responsibility for this. I do have to marry a baron though to keep him happy. Yeah, that is something I'm aware of. But yeah, that's what we're doing today. Uh, thank you for joining Duchess and thank you so much for sharing your community with us. I really appreciate it. <gasps> party on dudes! Yo, what's up party on dudes? Welcome on in. Ooh, what, uh, what uh, region did you get? Party on dudes, welcome to the patricians. Best of luck, my friend. How are you doing, Party On Dudes? Hope you're having a lovely day. Also, uh, Tony, thank you for those 100 bits to the mods. I really appreciate it. All right. So who... I really like Bloody Lion's daughter. She's cool. Also, I'm picking a spouse currently. Uh, and we have, we have Feed Me's kid. We have Bloody Lion's kid. And we have... Who's the other one? I four four. <laughs> oh, and Kit Kat. Kit Kat was the other one. Ah, uh, I think she's cool. I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna pick Bloody Lion's daughter. I'm gonna pick Zena of the East. That's my choice. Remember, Ray. <laughs> All right, that lowers the defiance of the East. It raises the defiance of the coast in the march. That's fine. That's fine. Oh! Poor Gora, I was supposed to pick a Baron. <laughs> I totally forgot. We literally just talked about that. I was supposed to pick a Baron. But the Count was pretty. She was so pretty, Uber. You, you want me to say no? <laughs> All right, let's, God, Peasant Uprising or an Old Debt? Um, let's do an Old Debt, sure. Ooh, Noble Patrician Rennie May. How do you expect me to take this seriously, you crack brain simpleton? Damn, Rennie, jeez. Oh my God, Rennie and Tony are fighting. <laughs> Rennie called Tony Galati II a crack brain simpleton. Iconic, so iconic. Okay, Tony Galati the second, which if you're wondering why he's the second, it's because the first one died and he's been reincarnated as the second. Tony Galati the second says, um, also Tony, your character looks cool. I don't know if you're, yeah, he's here. Tony, you look cool. Uh, shut your daft mouth and give me what I am owed, you honorless dog. Uh, calm down, both of you. Kill him again. His goal is to die a bunch, so. Rennie says, this pimple-headed lack wit expects me to pay him a huge quantity of gold just because his great-great-grandfather beat my great-great-grandfather in a foot race. Tony says, a debt owed is a debt owed, is it not? Your Majesty, I only recently discovered this debt while combing through my ancestor's journal. Honor dictates that noble patrician Rennie May is liable for their ancestor's debt. Noble Patrician Renny May says, by the ninth, this is ludicrous. I demand we put this to a vote. All right, so it's time to vote, everybody. Should Noble Patrician Renny May pay back their ancestors' debt to Count Tony Galati II? Option A, order Noble Patrician Renny May to pay their debt. B, cancel the debt. It is too old to matter. Or C, order Noble Patrician Renny May to pay their debt plus two centuries of interest. So Rennie is, uh, what? Rennie is a patrician, right? Rennie is a patrician. Tony is uh, a count. Okay, so there's no barons involved in this, which is great. I like interest too. Uh, so I can veto. I don't know that I care enough about this to veto, 
So I'm gonna leave this to a vote and eat my crackers. Who's the one patrician who voted for C? <laughs> All right. Order the noble patrician ready made to pay their debt plus two centuries of interest. By all that glitters, two centuries of interest, I'll go bankrupt. Defiance in the coast is now four. Defiance in the east is now loyal. Huzzah. Tony Galati says, your great-great-grandfather should have thought of that before he decided to run so slowly. Tell you what, I'll give you a few weeks to sell off the family silver before I expect full payment. Oh my god, Tony now has $1,700 and Rennie has nothing. Oh my god. No, you're all good, party on dudes. You're good. Typically, you want to vote where the other green people are voting until you kind of get a sense of what's going on, but you are totally good. Uh, yes, diplomat, it would, see, it would seem that that's what happened. Rennie says, this is outrageous. Tony Galati II, you little snake, I'll get you back for this. All right. A peasant uprising, that sounds fun. A band of peasants have staged an uprising in the coast, your esteemed highness. <gasps> Spring! Wait, it's you! I read it before looking at who it was. It's esteemed noble patrician, A underscore Starwell. <laughs> if you own the game, it's $5. You get to make your person like look however you want, but this is your pre-gen character. Uh, Spring says, in the dead of night, they stormed the castle of my good friend, Lady Patrician June B. Tony, thank you for the hundred biddies. She and her family are currently languishing in her own dungeons. Wait, in the dead of night, they stormed the castle of my good friend, Lady Patrician June B. She and her family are currently languishing in her own dungeons. Oh God, what caused the peasants to rebel? <laughs> uh oh, June. <laughs> Oh, the usual complaints. The peasants accuse Lady Patrician June B of exploiting the working class in her mills. Bunch of shirkers, if you ask me. Accuse Lady Patrician June B of exploiting the worker, the working class in her mills. Yikes, June B. Tisk tisk. How are the peasants able to take the castle? Spring says they bribe some of the guards. They also seem to have a, have brand new, well forged weapons, like pikes and swords, mostly. I have no idea where they found the money. Uh, what are the peasants' demands? Uh, <laughs> well, they want Lady Patrician June B to be stripped of her assets with her lands divided amongst the peasantry. Oh no, June. In return, the rabble will free her and spare her life. Uh-oh, all right, it's time to vote. Option A, send an army to siege the castle has a 70% chance of success. Uh, B, give the peasants what they want. Increase defiance, low cre uh, low creased. Good, good job, I, words good. Decrease authority, increase stability. Pretend to accept their demands and kill them when they leave the castle. Ooh. And that decreases stability. Just remind me real quick, the, the patricians and the barons want high stability, want low stability, right? C does sound fun. You're not wrong. Because I'm debating vetoing C. But 
but it decreases defiance, which is good, and increases authority. I'm gonna veto. C is fun. I, I know, listen, chat, listen. I care about sustaining my legacy, not about what's fun. I'm gonna veto C, because uh, stability is, is, is too low for my comfort. So y'all can fight it out between A and B, I'm vetoing C. All right, go ahead and vote. Sorry, I they gave me the veto option for a reason. I gotta use it, I gotta try. I gotta try to serve my own interests here. eating crackers during the vote um wow that is completely split upon uh along party lines wow okay send an army to siege the castle 70 percent chance of victory come on big money no whammy let's go let's go let's go let's go let's go <clears throat> your army lay siege it lasts over a month disease runs rampant in the besiegers camp causing hundreds of soldiers to die or desert all right, the coast, your military is now down to five. The siege, oh, we failed. The siege drags on and on and on. By the time your soldiers finally take the castle, Lady Patrician June B has starved to death in her own dungeon. Uh-oh, uh-oh. The peasant rabble are hanged and it won't bring June B back to life, but it won't bring June B back to life. Rip. The only patrician, oh, the other patricians blamed you. God, the patricians have high defiance again. Patricians, I'm trying, okay? Jeez, chill. Blame you for this incompetence, of course. They mutter that you are a weak monarch who can't handle a few uppity peasants. No. Lady patrician Junebi has died. Long live Junebi the second. Huzzah. All right. All right, give me one second, chat. <laughs> what? What's happening? Why are people mad at my chair? All right, all right, hold on. <laughs> all right, it's the end of a season, everybody. Oh, it's cool how many, like, how they have all the different kingdoms, like, labeled. That's cool world building. I like that. I wonder if we find out what happened to our ship. Aww. <laughs> Bloody 
Queen Row, you guys are so cute. Stop it. Oh my god. My chair turned its back on you. <laughs> Alright. Ooh. In a tiny village far to the east, two counts meet in a derelict tavern. No one dares even glance in their direction. Ooh! Another priest left my estate today. This is Count Ar Arth Arthresh? Arthresh? He said there was no sense preaching to the truly lost. And Count Tolsko says, I've heard the same across the east. We are no longer trapped under the church's thumb. Um, Art says, now we must not falter. If the monarch grows proud, we can offer them the ultimate reward. Immortality. Um... Have a sleep... Listen, sometimes sleepy streams are the best streams. For the next stage of their scheme, the count must raise authority to five. Oh, they want to raise authority. Okay, so they want to gain my trust. Interesting. So, Counts, you want higher authority now. Interesting. I don't know that I want to be immortal. I I don't know that that's the great deal y'all say it is. Anchored a few miles from the sunny coast, Lord Patrician Itri has invited the closest confidants aboard his yacht. Ooh, Itri and their yacht. Ooh, wee wee. Oh, hey, Eva. Oh, Eva, you look cool. Given the recent turmoil, the council is calling for the monarch's inner circle to resign, says Eva Little. Itri says, we need to increase the pressure. If the monarch's, if the monarch's in a weak enough position, they've got no choice but to bow to our demands. Eva says, no more interfering, no more interfering spymaster. No more marshal, no more chancellor or treasurer. A whole new inner circle made up of patricians. Uh, for the next stage of their skin, the patricians must lower authority to four or less. Okay, so we've got uh, conflicting patricians and counts um, over authority. Uh, monarch's iron choice. The monarch can mark uh, their preferred voting choice uh, if the option is chosen, they gain plus one authority. Ooh, that's tricky because authority is kind of contested right now, but it does give me some control over it. Swing votes are the same, people can change. Most of votes for their least favorite option. Mm. Should voting nobles change their mind? Let's do swing voting. We haven't done that one yet. All right. Ooh, oh God, the Patricians are on the verge of rebellion again? Come on. No, 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 no. Okay, Patricians, give me a minute. Give me a minute. Don't. How about we don't do it yet? How about we chill for like a second, okay? Your wedding to Zena is naturally the talk of the kingdom. Nobles and peasants alike travel from across the realm to attend. For a week and a day, the capital is one giant party. It feels like you're the only one not taking part. Instead, you're getting ready for the ceremony. Soon enough, you're standing in St. Bernatard's, uh, Bernatrans? cathedral with Zahina at your side. Uh, the archbishop says, do you take this woman to be your lawfully wedded wife? Wedded wife? Oh, should I leave her at the altar and take a baron instead? No, I want to say I do. I want to say I do. I want to say I do. Smoochy smooch. Then I pronounce you married in the eyes of the kingdom. <laughs> after the wedding, of course, there's a feast, and after the feast, a dance, and your new wife, Sahina, refuses to dance at all, preferring instead to brood in the corner. Oh, love her. Love her. Stability is up to five. Um, authority is now up to five. So patricians want to lower it. We do look very cute together. Coastal defiance has gone down, thank God. Okay, that needed to happen. And defiance in the east has gone down as well. Uh, and so has it in the march. By the time you find yourself alone with Zahina, it's past midnight and you've never felt more tired. Zahina says, did you see the eight crows perched on the church tower as we walked into the cathedral? A dire omen. Oh, she's, she's very, she's very angsty, chat. I don't, 
I don't know about this. Come on, cheer up. We just got married. I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. Um, uh, perhaps you're right. Let's get out. Let's get on her level. The peasants have no have the right idea. They get married for love, not for politics. Oh, to live the life of a simple commoner. A oh, girl. Come on. Come on. Come on now. Ooh, I like somehow I doubt you'd actually enjoy being poor. Damn, that's that's cutting. I love that. Yeah, I'm saying that one. Sahina says, what do you know? You're the monarch. Life is so easy for you. Oh God, okay, all right. Maybe I shouldn't be picking fights on my wedding night. Everyone does what you say, but for me, oh, life is perpetual misery. No one understands, not even my monarch. And Sahina pulls away from you and retreats to the spare bedchamber, slamming the door. You're left feeling a little depressed and dreading what married life will bring. Oh no, I might have chosen poorly. Oh no. Yeesh. Yeesh. All right, let's do Descent at the Arena in the Patrician's Territory. The spy master says, a coastal gladiator named Anx has become remarkably popular in the arena. Yes, I've heard uh, he threw a whole ox <laughs> across the stadium. Sure. Rage using poorly? <laughs> yeah, my love life is not, not doing so hot. I'll, I'll, I'll be honest with y'all. He's throwing even bigger words around these days. Uh, uh, in his last match, he donned a crown and claimed he would be a better monarch than you would ever be. Mm, it's all a joke for now, but it's still steady, seditious, seditious. Oh, seditious. Sorry, I've never seen that word written before. Um, and he has a significant following. He or the other gladiators, or even the patricians at large, may decide to take this further. Ooh, Lord Patrician, the theater stud, Stephen. Look at you. Look at you, all bald and stuff. Uh, depend. Uh, depths below. Since when does the monarch have say in what happens in our own arenas? Mmm, Ox needs to rein in his behavior. I'm happy that Ox is comfortable to speak freely, or the gladiator will be stamped out if I have anything to do with it. Oof. Um. Uh. I, you know what? Free speech? I'm happy Onyx is, 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 is comfortable to speak freely. The theater stud looks surprised and nods approvingly despite himself. But it all comes down to the council's decision. No, sorry, Ija. All right, it comes down to your vote anyways. A, leave Onyx to fight however he pleases. That's a 50% chance for stability. B, Lord Patrician, the theater stud, shall fight. Oh my God, pick B. Pick B so Steven will fight Onyx. Yes, do it, do it, do it, do it. C is arrange an accident for Onyx or um, have the Monarch's gladiator, gladiator bodyguards fight him. Ooh. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Everyone vote C because it's funny, but it lowers the treasury. Oh, no, no, not C, B. B, 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 B. Pick B, pick B. I will mark my choice. It doesn't do anything, but pick, pick, pick B, because it's funny. Please. <laughs> Please. I beg of you. Huzzah! Make them fight. God, is Steven not even, is Steven doing actual business right now? Is he actually working? He needs to see here and watch himself die. Sorry, that was a little aggressive. I didn't mean that the way... I meant that, you know? God, how dare Steven be doing actual work at a time like this? All right, huzzah! Option B, let's go. Lord Patrician the theater side shall fight Onyx in the ring to discredit him. You got this, Steven. What? Me? But I'm a noble. Yo, thank you for that follow, Bob, Sir, Uncle, 007. Uh, it's very nice to meet you. Welcome on into the Check Games Edition Twitch channel. We are playing some King of the Castle right now. If you would like to join, type exclamation point join, and then a pronoun, so either he, she, or they, uh, and you'll get a little character in the game. 
And you could, you too could be fighting in the arena like Steven is right now. Uh, and we're also uh, celebrating our moderators today, uh, which all subs, all bits, all that money goes to them. So if you feel like it, uh, that option is there. What me, but I'm a noble. Time to train up and get out there. Don't be a coward. Nobles have fought in the arena before or up and at them, you'll do great. Whoa, welcome on in. Meryl, thank you for the hundred biddies. Three dogs in a suit. I adore your username. Welcome on into chat. And um, Bob's your uncle. Uh, thank you for joining us. Let's see where y'all ended up. Three dogs in a trench coat. Welcome to the Counts um, of the East. And Bob's your uncle. Welcome to also the Counts. Nice, nice, nice. Welcome, welcome. Definitely a human. I had no doubt. Three dogs in a suit. You know what? Nothing suspicious. Uh, not even the tail sticking out the back of your pants. Nothing suspicious about you whatsoever. <laughs> All right, time to train up and get out there. These are all 50% military. I think up and at them, you'll do great as the funniest line, so we're going with that. Lord Patrician, the theater stud, hurries away. Over the coming weeks, he trains beneath the best mercenaries money can buy. By the time the battle arrives, the theater stud is ready for action. Ooh, yeah! It's a brutal fight, but Onyx loses to a special move that is quickly nicknamed <laughs> Steven shouldn't be here. This will go to his head so quickly. The theater stud pile driver. Hell yeah. <laughs> so if I had a plate of sausage, nothing would happen with it. Three dogs in a suit. <laughs> yeah, nobody tells Steven that's gonna go to his head so quickly. Oh my God. Losing a noble, losing to a noble is an embarrassment indeed and Onyx slinks away in defeat. His name is soon a distant memory. Yeah, that was awesome. And it is made clear that the arena is no place to criticize the crown. Hey, Steven now has $1,800. <laughs> Chicken, how dare you? No, <laughs> same brain, same brain. But outside the ring, the patricians spread word that the monarch had to enlist the theater stud to do their dirty work. It's not all smooth victories. Ooh. Mumble, mumble. Three dogs in a suit, thank you for that fall. I really appreciate it. Huzzah! All right, a thief. A thief. Ooh, God. Baron, Duchess, you look so good. I know I literally say that about everyone, but Duchess, if you're still here, I love what you did with your character. She looks so cool. I love it. I love it so much. Oh my God. Yeah, still here. You look amazing, Duchess. I love your character, uh, your character customization. I'm Michael, I feel like I say it about everyone. I feel like I'm, I'm a broken record at some point. You all look amazing, point blank. That goes for everybody. Uh, Duchess says, Your Majesty, this is an outrage. I demand dus justice. Last week, Lord Patrician Spitzka, oh no, shook my hand as a supposed show of reconciliation and stole my family's lucky ring in the process. Ooh, that was smooth, Spitzka. That's a, that's a smooth move. Damn. Uh, Trey Bush, hello, welcome on in, thanks for joining. Where'd you end up? Welcome to the game, welcome to the Patricians of the Coast, my friend. Lord Patrician Spitzka says, depths below, nonsense. I like that that's like um, an exclamation for the Patricians, the depths below, that's, that's good world building this game, I gotta say, very good. Uh, Spitzka, you stole Duchess's family ring uh, while you shook her hand. And now, now it's my problem. So I'm not too happy with you right now. Depths below, nonsense. Rummage through your drawers. I'm sure you'll find the thing. You are a thief, Spitzka. My liege, says Duchess. A feud has stood between our families for centuries. Spitzka's ancestor left my ancestor penniless after a cutthroat dice as after a cutthroat dice game oh my god i my head canon is now that they played like some board game or something hell yeah that's very on brand for duchess too lord patrician spitzka says please being a bad gambler is hardly a grievance duchess says enough i know spitzka stole my priceless ring it brings the march great luck and bounty and my dear nephew is to wear it when he marries all right how should the council handle the accusation that spitzka stole the marcher ring Option A, the chancellor, send the chancellor to the coast to investigate. 
B, arrest Lord Patricia and Spitzka immediately. Option C, leave the squabbling nobles to deal with the situation themselves. Ooh. I don't, what do I, I want farming up. So I might veto option C. Cause I like, uh, my goal is to have high farming, but I also need to have an heir first and we're kind of far away from that. But that also lowers stability. Yeah, I'm vetoing option C. That looks like that's bad all around for me. All right, go ahead and vote, exclamation point vote. And then the letter you want to vote, I have vetoed option C. I'm very sorry, but I'm out here trying to win. Out here trying to win, so sorry. My bad. Ooh. <laughs> oh my God. Oh no. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, I just realized so chat. I have, I have like, I track my time for work on a thing called Time Doctor and I forgot to change it from prepping for stream to streaming. So now my log is going to say that I've been prepping for a stream for eight hours. <laughs> Hold on. I'm going to change that real quick before I forget. Oh my God. They're not going to believe me because now it's going to be edited to say I streamed for eight hours, but I really, I really have streamed for eight hours. <laughs> no. Oh. B the biggest prep I've ever done. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, whoopsies. Yeah, no, I was not. I was not prepping for a stream for seven and a half hours. I was streaming. <laughs> okay, I fixed it now. <laughs> It's fine. Steven was, uh, not Steven. Uh, Tony was here. It's Tony's a witness. Okay. <laughs> Time to start the stream again. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh, it's tied. Oh, I like ties because then I get to pick. Huzzah. Sorry. <laughs> Huzzah's getting out of hand. I can't help it. Send the chancellor to the coast to investigate or arrest Lord Patricia and Spitzka. I like arresting people. But the the counts want it raised. Mm, but the I don't, I don't, I don't, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna arrest Lord Patricia and Spitzka. I like arresting people. It's fun in this game. To the dungeon. I've said that's my legacy is just sending people to the dungeon. Um, ooh, I don't know how to pronounce your name. Uh, but welcome on in, um, Nra Kriz. I'm so sorry. Let me know what people normally call you if you have like a nickname or something. But welcome on in. Thank you for joining us. Welcome to the Check Games Edition Twitch channel. That's my sibling too bad. To the dungeons. To the dungeons. <laughs> um, also, what team did you get? You got uh, welcome to team. Ooh, this list is getting too long for me to skim now. Where are you? Oh, welcome to the counts. Huzzah, team purple, nice. Uh, if you're just joining us, whichever team most recently won a game when the stream runs out, which will be in five and a half hours, you're going to be entered to win a ton of giveaways. That's why that's why I like to check who's where so we can keep track of who's been a part of what kingdom. Because whichever the winning region is at the end of the whole stream, you're going to get uh, entered into a bunch of giveaways. So it doesn't matter that the Barons won first. If other people succeed them later, uh, the most recent successor is going to get all the giveaways. <laughs> All right, to the dungeons. Oh no, I didn't think about that. Dude, sometimes I don't vote with my brain. I, dude, I didn't think about defiance. Oh no, 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 I'm, I am innocent, I tell you. Oh no, 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 no one joined, no one joined the patricians. No, 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 I forgot, I forgot, I forgot that that's what happens. Lord Patrician Spitzka has been in prison. Spitzka the second joins the council. Oh no, I forgot. I forgot. With the defiance, the problem is that the Marsh and the and and the 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 counts are completely loyal. So the patricians are entirely on their own, but I love that once again, uh <laughs> the patricians are rebelling. Again. This is what happened last time. But yes, you're focus on your 
scheme instead. You don't need to rebel. Um, as the, uh, as the watch, ooh, that's ominous, drag him out, the council hall falls into stunned silence. But the barons share satisfied glances. See, the barons on the couch should be happy with this. So you can vote to rebel, but do keep in mind it completely stops your scheme, which is currently to lower authority, and you can't vote in any normal thing. So you might want to give it a minute before rebelling, just saying. I saw my sibling put in that dungeon, sorry. Uh, okay, it's the end of the season. Let's all chill for a second. Maybe everything will be fine. Uh, your majesty, these upstarts are saying they have the right to your throne. No doubt the nobles are already scheming to the crown their region preferred, for their region's preferred claimant. No, no chilling. <laughs> Dude, I didn't, I should have thought about that, of course, because, because Spitzka was a patrician. I should have thought that that was going to raise their defiance. <sighs> I should have realized that. That was my bad. No. Oh no! All right, all right. On to the next season. Ooh. The wandering bard, the archbishop bishop's request, or word from the march. Shouldn't have vetoed C. Does this really all come back to me vetoing C? Seriously. All right, let's do the wandering bard. That sounds fun. Oh, cute. The Chancellor says, Your Majesty, a traveling bard. She says she's come to compose a song for you. <gasps> Sally! Ah! She's so cute. Shut up. Shut up! Oh my god. Sally Six Fingers. She's so cute. I wonder if she actually has six fingers. That'd be cool. Like in like in the Princess Bride. Ah, <laughs> uh, not just any bard, Your Highness. The best in all the land, Sally Six Fingers, they call me. It's a song about how much Green hates you. Uh, a song you say about me? What is that, a compliment for me? Why, of course. In fact, I have the tune and verse all but ready. I have saved my best work for you, my monarch. Yo, Giggles, welcome on in. Giggles, where'd you end up? Giggles, welcome, Giggles, to to the, the crew. Welcome to the Counts. Huzzah. I roll hornets to support the arts, hell yeah. All I require is a subject. What should I tell the masses of you? What would you like to inspire? Teach them to fear me, teach them to love me. Love me, I'm so likable. <laughs> uh, I will do so, your highness, absolutely. But give me a few weeks and everyone within the crown lands will know of your benevolence. Pray, I need only but a small payment of 500 gold. Oh boy, Eva is angy, big angy. Give me but a small payment of 500 gold for the time. A discounted rate for one as esteemed as yourself. Mm. What about a thousand? Ooh. Instead of a dark lord, you have a queen. Not a dark, but beautiful. What is this? What, 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 Tony, what is this? What is this? thousand dollars we're coming up on tax season though right okay you deserve more than that what about a thousand i'm doing that i'm doing that oh it's lord of the rings oh sorry i wasn't i wasn't <laughs> sorry i didn't recognize it oh thank you your majesty huzzah i'm offended and shocked oh no have i been outed as a poser oh no I literally read the first line and then started ignoring it. <laughs> she hurries out of the throne room to do your bidding. Fabulous. Hey, it succeeded. Stability is now civil. Take that, barons. Take that. Ooh, welcome back from Lurkdom, Bloody Line. All right, all right. What are we doing now? We should do a word from the march. Look at a little Porsche. It's fine. Baroness Duchess is back. She says, uh, Er, your highness, I have something a bit embarrassing to report. Ooh, what's wrong, Duchess? Remember when I, uh-oh. 
Remember when I accused Lord Patrician Spitska, the second's father, of stealing my family's lucky ring and he was arrested? Funny thing. Uh, my nephew was the culprit. Duchess! Duchess! What is this? Duchess, no! I, I killed a man based on your word. Oh my God. Rupert, who are you? I needed a ring to propose to my dear Oral of Spitzka, of the Spitzka family. I knew our families would never allow such a match, so it had to be a secret. Duchess, I trusted you. Oh my God. Well, I started, you, Duchess started a war. Your negligence, Duchess, has started a war. And I knew the magic ring would bring good fortune to our union. It was the perfect gift. Lord Spitzka II says, What? By all that glitter glitters. My father rotted away in prison because of this travesty. Oh my god, I love that Spitzka II is here to defend Spitzka I. Wait, really? Oh, Alkali, that's awesome. Don't get in the way of love, Ray. <laughs> Your family are honorless knaves. Don't think I'm letting... Oral anywhere near that nephew of yours. Duchess says, For once we agree, Lord Patrician. Please, counsel, my liege, step in and end this ridiculous romance. All right. Should the love struck couple, uh, should the love struck couple from feuding families be broken up? Okay, so this is a Romeo and Juliet situation chat. We have, um, someone from the, uh, Duchess's Baron family and someone from Spitzka's patrician family wanting to get married. EJ, you want to publicly forbid the union? All right, option A is bless their union. The council loves love. B, publicly forbid the union. C, the council shouldn't interfere with affairs of the heart. Oh no. I can't have defiance going up anymore. No, but I'm afraid. I wonder whose defiance C is gonna raise. Cause I'm afraid it's gonna raise both the defiance of the barons and the patricians. Oh, have a lovely night, Beryl. Thanks for hanging out. Thank you for letting us borrow bloody for so long. Yeah, I'm, I'm agreeing. I think probably both. Oh, I'm so stressed. What do I, do I veto something? I probably, I probably should veto something, but last time I vetoed something, it went horribly, horribly wrong. So I'm very stressed now. I, should, I probably, the best outcome for me is probably B. Counts, or uh, not counts, um, uh, Barons of the March. Could I trust in you all to pull out to the polls for option B? How, how much, how, how, Barons, where, where are you at right now? We feel in B, we can vote, can you vote B? I'll, I'll owe you one whole favor. I'll owe you one whole favor if you vote B. Uh, and it's also not bad for the counts either, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. Nah. Eh. Counts want high authority. Yeah. 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 Counts and barons. I can trust both of you to vote B. It's good for both counts and barons. Yes. You want stability, as do I. And and the barons want low stability, as I don't. But I will. I will concede that for the good of everybody. Don't believe in your favors, oh no. A is very bad for the barons. All right, I wanna veto C. I feel like I, yeah, I got, I got a veto C. I'm, I'm scared about the paths going on C and raising their defiance beyond reconciliation. I mean, they've already entered, they've already entered rebellion, so maybe it's fine. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, chicken, you're right. 
They're already rebelling. I don't know what I want to do! I'm so stressed out right now, I don't know! Yeah, maybe swing vote. We'll do the right thing. Diplomat, can I trust you? Hey, Olympian, you be nice to my treasury, okay? I won't, I won't handle such royal slander. My treasury is large and powerful. Excuse you. I need to find ace of the counts can get lower stability. Okay, I'm gonna leave this up to you. All fight amongst yourselves. I don't want to make it any worse. Go, do it. I'm hands off. I'm gonna eat my crackers. I'm gonna hide because I don't know what's going on. I'm scared. I'm scared. I don't know that there was a right decision there for me, so I'm gonna do nothing. I probably should have vetoed B. I don't know. I don't know. Love is love, love, but winning is winning. Oh God. Oh God, duke it out, duke it out. Okay, I have one more cracker I need to eat and then I'll, cl I'll close voting. Oh my God, it's so close. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, that's it, we're calling it, we're calling it. Option A was successful. Bless their union. Love is love. Love is love. <clears throat> oh, thank you, your majesty. Oh, I'm sorry, Hornus. I try to leave it up for a little bit longer because I know that delay is rough, uh, but I'm sorry if it's still gotcha. It's not treason! Spring! Spring! Whoa, 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 whoa. Love is love, guys. Chill, chill. Oh, thank you, your majesty. Defiance in the march is high. Oh, God. Defiance in the coast is treasonous. That's what I was worried about. But the thing is, they're already rebelling. There's kind of nothing I can do about that. Death to the monarch. <laughs> oh, God. You formally bless the upcoming marriage of Rupert and Oral. Both barons and patricians are outraged, claiming that you've disrespected their centuries-long feuding tradition. Listen, y'all just need to chill. <gasps> oh my god, okay, the barons now have a monopoly on trade, which isn't relevant yet, but I'm worried about it becoming relevant later. Stability is now steady, huzzah! Yeah, I think the only time the timer is strict is for when you're voting for building houses. Every other time I try to let it go a little bit longer um, to try to account for Twitch delay because they make the timer very, very short by default. Um, yo, what's up, Death Warmed Over? Welcome on in. As wedding preparations begin, the story of love struck of the love struck couple catches the imagination of the marchers peasants who work together to make huge a huge cornucopia as a wedding gift. Yeah, we're in a very interesting place now. This is a very interesting game. Very interesting. All right. Ooh, Evil Little is heading the, the the rebellion of the patricians. I didn't realize that. Ooh, all right. Well, I guess we're doing the Archbishop's request. Your Majesty, I wish to speak with you about the situation in the march. The barons never treated their duties in the church with as much reverence as it deserves. But now the march has abandoned the ninth god altogether. Oh no. Yeah, June B, I don't, I don't like, I'm, I, we're just here to have fun. I get that you could do that. And sometimes I'm like, oh, it's time to end it. Um, but I try to always give it at least another like five, 10 seconds. Cause that, that Twitch delay is otherwise kind of unfair. And it's just very, it's very, very short by default. War is coming, oh goody. Allow me to send some of my best missionaries to the march. It's for the good of the realm.
No priest in my capital is Utopia. <laughs> All right, I'll have to bring it to the council. You have my express permission, or I won't wear, I won't hear any more of this be gone. Okay, well, I'm not doing that because it lowers stability. Oh, I don't want to bring it to the council. Um. Mm. Yeah, chicken, I noticed that. I think it's definitely something they intended, but I don't know. I like giving people more time. Um, but it's nice that people can kind of do whichever they, they prefer. We love stability. I, I can't, I don't want to leave it up to the council. I, I... You have my express permission. Do it. Wonderful. I'll make the preparation right away. Ah, yes. Religion. Huzzah. <laughs> Oh my god, everyone's so mad. <laughs> the coast is at maxed out their defiance. The other religions are... Re re Jesus. This is what happens when I stream for seven hours. Blah, 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 blah. Oh my god, we're at five hours left. Wow, that last hour went by really fast. We literally can't get any matter. <laughs> the other regions are less than thrilled that you did not consult the council about the archbishop's request. But it doesn't stop the mission from going ahead as planned. Uh, so what did, what did that get? Did that get me anything good? It raised my authority? That's all that that did for me? That kind of doesn't feel worth it to make them march mad at me. The stability is higher than we've ever had because Ray hates the Baron's accurate. Oh, okay, cool. Um... All in all, it's a success. The missionaries convince hundreds, perhaps thousands of marchers, common folk, to be inducted into the Ninth Church. All right, stability succeeded. So we didn't lose any stability, that's good. And Faith is now skeptical, all right. All right, March, you're, you're, you're Ninth Church curious. Love that for you, love that for you. All right, that's it, all right, end of the season. All right, it's time to fund some buildings chat. So when I start the auction, haven't started it yet, but when I start it, exclamation point fund, the letter of the building, and then how much money you want to spend. Again, if you're watching on desktop, I'm sorry, for those of you who have been here for seven hours, I'm sure this is getting really boring for me to keep saying this, but for people who are new, I want to make sure everyone knows how to play. So if you're playing on desktop, you should see a little pop-up in the top left corner, a little Kings of the Castle pop-up. It should tell you, first of all, what uh, region you're in if you've forgotten and also how much personal wealth you have. Uh, so you can spend as much money as you want. Do bear in mind that any money you don't spend in this game will roll over to the next game, so keep that in mind. But yeah, go ahead and vote on whatever buildings you want. Oh, last thing, two things. You can vote for a building that's not your color, so you don't red people don't have to only vote for red people. Uh, and the top two most funded buildings win. So if your building is in one of the top two most funded, you don't have to keep spending money to become the most funded building. Top two most funded buildings will be built. Yes, it's exclamation point fund, not exclamation point vote. All right, what do people want? We have a fortress that increases military. We have a prison that decreases stability. A cathedral that increases faith. A monument that increases authority. A grand bazaar increases trade. The theater, which decreases authority. Interesting, interesting. So people want E, they want to increase trade. Why? Why? And the Barons unsurprisingly want B to decrease stability. I'm curious about the, why the Grand Bazaar is getting so much. I also see several people voting for D which is the monument. All right, time's up. Uh, buildings have been funded. Eva Little was the biggest contributor to the Grand Bazaar. Uh, Eva Little is really inciting a lot of, a lot of uh, suspicious stuff in this kingdom. I'll, I'll put it that way. Really, Eva Little is inciting the rebellion. They're building the, the Grand Bazaar, but I don't know why. I don't know what the thought process is behind the Grand Bazaar, but I don't like it and I'm suspicious of it. And Egypt was the biggest contributor to the prison to decrease stability. 
All right. So the patricians are currently rebelling. Great, love that for them once again. And the barons and the counts can't rebel. Uh, so that is where we currently stand. About your heir, ooh, 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 ooh. No rebellion yet. Let's talk about my, let's talk about my kiddo. God, this marriage is doomed though. Do I adopt another orphan, <laughs> Jet? Is it time for, am I in yet another loveless marriage where I need to adopt a random orphan child? <laughs> Your marriage to Zahina is not what you'd hoped. You, she seldom sleeps in your bed, and over breakfast, you exchange only a few frosty words before she departs to the library. Oh, we rebelling against sweet. The last thing on your mind is procuring an heir, but she need but the needs of the kingdom must prevail. Just adopt a little barren kid. Oh my god. Congratulations are in order. The royal wedding was magnificent, was a magnificent affair. But something's still missing. You need an heir. This wouldn't have happened if you married Kit Kat's son. I, sh I should have married the Baron, is what should have happened. I was, listen chat, it was a moment of weakness. I was swayed by the cute, uh, silent goth lady. I won't let it happen again, okay? It was a moment, it was a moment of weakness. We've all been there. And the Chancellor says, however, securing an heir is impossible while the kingdom is at war with itself. Defeat this rebellion and then, and only then, is it worth looking to the future. Securing an heir is impossible, the kingdom is, oh God, no, no. <laughs> Fair point, chicken. <laughs> The counts are definitely, yeah, the counts are, are, are making some moves. Thank you, thank you, um, Nra, I appreciate it. I, I do hope that my loyal counts, who I've let get away with a lot of stuff, will help me defend against the patricians. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bloody says she may not be the most talkative, but my daughter, she connects to you on a deeper level. level. Maybe. <laughs> I will talk to you again when the realm is at peace. Oh, damn. Damn. All right, we'll deal with the rebellion last. Let's go to opening strike. Welcome to the game, Beb. Nice to meet you. Thank you for joining us. Mmm, Eva, you look cool, but I don't trust you. <laughs> Noble patrician Eva Little. Do you smell that, my friend? <clears throat> Lord Patrician Dusquito says, Sorry, I think I stepped in some... That's freedom, you smell. Freedom from the mad tyrant monarch Vermis. At long last, we've riven, risen up against their oppression. But if we want to keep our freedom, we must fight for it. I ask you, my fellow Patricians, what will be our opening strike against the monarch? We can launch a preemptive strike against the Counts to cripple their military capacities, or ca capabilities, sorry. <laughs> uh, if we suspect the Barons may join our cause, we can call them to war. They'll be more likely to join us if the Monarch's authority is low. Ah, uh -uh, my authority is very high, tsk tsk. We could also call upon the church Ooh, I don't like that. To condemn the monarch. Well, I've been good to the church recently. Or finally, you could send off an assassin to nip this in the bud. Oh, big, big choices. All right, patricians, vote. Option A, launch a preemptive strike on the counts. Option B, call upon the barons to join our cause. Option C, petition for the support of the church. Or D, send an assassin after the monarch. Yeah, the barons could go. The barons are kind of either way, but I, I kind of want to see them attack the, the counts. I think infighting would be fun, but please go ahead and vote on whatever option you want. I'll leave it open for a little bit longer because we only had five people vote. You guys want to do an assassin? Wait, no, boo, no fun. No fun, no fun, no fun. Oh. Damn, all right. All right, I hope you have the money. Send an assassin after the monarch. Oh no, they look so spooky. <clears throat> oh, of course, of course it's Steven, of course. 
Lord Patrician the Theater Stud says thank you for meeting me with such short notice. Can I be the assassin? Sure, Alkali, sure. Yeah, they look really cool. The assassin says the sum you offered piqued my interest. Steven, ugh, what a traitor. Lord Patrician the Theater Stud says you understand why the sum is so high. Ooh, oh, Steven did not lose that much money. The pile driver. <laughs> Steven only lost $700. That's not bad. The assassin says, yes, you want me to assassinate the monarch. It is no trouble. I am a child of the viper. If you have the gold and you want a person dead, they are dead. Steven says, get it done. Oh no. Oh, Steven, no! God, I don't want, of all the people to kill me, having it be Steven sucks. <laughs> that sucks. <clears throat> this is new music, wait. Oh, I like this music, hell yeah. Bum, bum, bum. Oh God, and the patricians have the guard again. Jeez, I keep making my my guards the people who end up rebelling against me. Dude, this music slaps. It's so good. This is a this is mad bop. Thank you for that follow, I appreciate it. Welcome on into the crew. <clears throat> Yo, Kit Kat, thank you for those seven biddies. Thank you for supporting the moderators. Um, oh my gosh. Thank you so much! God, it's already five o'clock? I have been streaming for seven hours. What on God's great earth? Oh, it's so good. But yeah, uh, this is my obligatory um, reminder that the mods are great. We're doing a 12 hour stream of King of the Castle because my mods are so great. So if you're having a fun time, please consider uh, donating bits or, or giving subs. All the money goes to my mods regardless of what day it is. But today we're celebrating them. So if you have you know, some extra biddies lying around, or if you have an Amazon Prime sub that you haven't used yet, uh, it'd be a great way to thank the mods. They do so much work behind the scenes. They're the ones who are keeping track of who is in what kingdom so that we can do the giveaway correctly. They just do a ton of stuff behind the scenes and I wanted to do something cool to celebrate them. No, my personal guards are not from the East. I'm pretty sure I made them the, the patricians this time. I'm pretty sure. Junebi, thank you for that Prime subscription. Thank you so much. We. Uh, if you're just joining us, we were doing a subathon uh, where every bit and sub increased the timer. Uh, but Olympian, king that he is, came in immediately and maxed out the timer with like 40 subs. Uh, so it's no longer a subathon because <laughs> I can't stream later than 10 p.m. Really, uh, but still, if you if you have the bits and the subs uh, lying around that you want to give to. Uh, people who really deserve it because they do a lot of awesome work. Uh, do consider uh, giving them to my mods. That's the end of my little obligatory spiel uh, because this whole 12 hour ordeal is all in celebration of them and all the amazing work that they do. Uh, so yeah. It's already 11. <laughs> Sacre bleu. Yeah, exactly headbanging. No, my, my guards are the assassin. That is that is 100% accurate. 100%. But yeah, Junbi, thank you for that sub. Enjoy your ad reviewing and the best emote on all of Twitch, which in my humble opinion is Rat Jam. All right, at long last, the patricians have reached their boiling point. You are confronted. Oh, you are confronted in the throne room by Lord Patrician. What I'm playing now? Are they around? How dare you? What I'm playing now? Are you in chat still? Heck yeah. This music is such a bop, oh my god. You should have done a multi-day mod, mod appreciation day to run down the clock. Mind me, every day we appreciate the mods. Hell yeah, we do, hell yeah. I mean, we give all of our money to the mods anyways, but we wanted to, I don't know, I wanted to do something special. I just wanted to do something special. Uh, and we'll be doing more mod trivia soon too. It's almost, not quite, but it'll be dinner time in like, probably 40 minutes or so. And we have more mod trivia to do, which will be fun. And don't forget about that cursed puzzle, that cursed mod generated puzzle. I can't wait for y'all to see it. It's ridiculous. <laughs> All right, what I'm playing now, you are confronting me currently. His smile gleaming in the light of the braziers. Yeah, I think we'll bring that out maybe for the, the anniversary or something. 
Laura Patrician, what I'm playing now, says the Patricians of the Coast will bring you down. Pretender to the throne. We will rise up and fight for Clovia, the true queen. This is a formal declaration of war. The next time we see each other, we'll be on the battlefield. Oh, that's hard. Seize him. I don't want to lower stability. God, these are both bad options. These are both bad options. But I'm going to try to seize him. Come along now. Traitors get the chop. What? What? But you can't do this to me. Yes, you, you're literally just telling me you're gonna murder me, and now you're mad that I'm calling my guards? Excuse me? Tit for tat, my guy. I am an envoy. See? See how the monarch's tyranny grows worse by the day? Oh, no, now the barons have their stability. Ah, oh, I was, uh. But I wanted, I wanted to imprison him. Your watchman wastes no time, Lord Patrician. What I'm playing now is dragged out into the courtyard and his head is struck from his shoulders. You're dead now. Lord Patrician, what I'm playing now has died. What I'm playing now the second has joined the council. <laughs> I didn't expect them to move so boldly, your majesty. I'm sending a message. What are our chances against the rebels? The Patricians are formidable, but not undefeatable. Huzzah! <laughs> I hope they... They don't persuade any other regions to join their rebellion. That would be disastrous. Uh, how do things get this bad? The leader of the rebellion, noble patrician Eva Little, has reason for has reason for the uprising. They're citing your past transgressions, mainly the fact that you blew up the palace. I didn't blow up the palace. Wait a minute. Yeah, Ray. How did it get so bad? Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa. Okay, barons, on account of principle, you cannot join the rebellion that has their basis for rebellion, the thing that you did, okay? Okay? Okay, are we all, are we all? Yes, my character did, but I did it. The barons did it. I'm just saying it makes no sense, barons, for you to join with the patricians when the patricians are mad about what the barons did. It makes no sense. The patricians are gonna do this on their own, okay? Nobody help them. You made us prepare the castle that you blew up? Chicken, you blew up the castle. What was I supposed to do? What'd you want me to do? Yeesh, yeesh. Mm, urge to murder is rising. Yes, your majesty. Hold on to that feeling. You'll need it. That's right, your majesty. The kingdom is divided. There will be a lot of death and suffering before this is all over. Dun, 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 dun. That was all you, Ray. Wow. Ah, uh, yes, it was the queen that blew up the castle. I can't wait. I'll go dig out the trebuchets. <laughs> like, they're just, like, hanging out in an attic or something. These giant wooden structures. All right. End of the season. Shoot, I can't believe I, I shouldn't have let the barons do that. But I wanted I wanted to kill what I'm playing now so badly. So badly. Oh, damn. Somewhere in the march, baron headbanging maniac sits at a banquet gnawing on a greasy chicken leg. They and their fellow plotters discuss their scheme between mouthfuls. I shouldn't have let that happen. Ah, I knew it, I knew it. I did it intentionally because I wanted to kill what I'm playing now, but I forgot that they only needed four. I thought they needed lower. Yeesh. Mello, welcome on in. Thank you for joining us. Happy Mod Appreciation Day. We are playing some King of the Castle. Feel free to type exclamation point join and then one pronoun, so he, she, or they, uh, and you'll be added into the game. Like headbanging maniac here. <clears throat> I am losing my voice. The kingdom's on the brink of chaos. It's perfect. We have to strike. Baron Bockle says, What do you intend us to do? Swoop in and kidnap the monarch in full view of the honor guard and the palace watch? Headbanging says, No, of course not. We need to use the chaos to our advantage. We have two options. All right, go ahead and vote. Uh... Barons, option A, lure the monarch to the march and abduct them there. B, manufacture a food crisis and kidnap the monarch during their religious efforts. So option A, you want to raise your own defiance, which is currently four. B, you want to lower your own farming, which is currently seven. All right. Wow. Raise your own defiance. 
That makes sense. That was the better option for you guys. Oh my god, welcome back, Barb. Headbanging Maniac says, We need to convince the monarch that the march is on the verge of rebellion. In the current climate, they'll be forced to make a diplomatic visit to smooth things over. <laughs> welcome back, Barb. We might need you. But I will say Barb has successfully led a rebellion against me in the past, so she is a she is a valuable ally in times like these. Um, Headbangin says, that's when we strike. One monarch enters the peace tent and another monarch leaves. That's right, they're trying to doppelganger me. <laughs> and join Huzzah! Welcome on in, Headbolt. Uh, for the final stage of their scheme, the barons must raise their defiance to at least six without starting a rebellion. Okay, so, uh, barons of the march, you are actively wanting for there to be no rebellion and you want your defiance to be six. Oh, heel bot is head, head bolt. Sorry, I'm dyslexic. Heel bot, I'm so sorry. That was, that was max dyslexia there. Ooh, it's tax time, tax time. Okay, I can't tax the patricians because they're revolting. Barons, Barons, I want it to be known that I am actively not taxing you because I'm hoping you're going to help me stop the patricians. I might just tax it. I don't really need money at this point. And I don't feel like making people angry. So I'm going to just tax everybody evenly. Yes, uh, yes, absolutely, chicken. I'll get that for you right, right now. Yeah, give me one second, chat. I'm screenshotting who's on what team so that when the stream ends, we know everyone who's participated for the purposes of the giveaway. One second, I'm just wrapping up the screenshots. I'm gonna toss them to the mods. Tributary Sam, welcome on in. I see that game dev badge. Are you one of the devs of this game or do you make another game? Also, welcome on in. This music absolutely, absolutely bops. All right, let me sauce these screenshots. Mods, hopefully these are the right ones. <clears throat> it's hard, I can't get it in one screenshot because there's so many people. This song is so good. It's so good. Absolutely fantastic. Death Warmed Over, thank you for that gifted sub. Thank you for supporting the moderators on Ye Old Mod Day. I appreciate it. Thank you so very much. Let us fill your coffers for the upcoming war. Hmm? Yeah, thank you. Thank you, chicken. Again, this is the kind of stuff the mods do that help me all the time. Uh, so yeah, heck and rule. Thank you guys. I'm one of the devs, hell yeah. Much love from us at the Tributary to you at CGE. <gasps> We're massive tabletop players over here. Yo, wait, that's so cool. Can we get some highs and hellos uh, to Sam in chat for me, please? Oh my God. Well, the admiration is mutual. Y'all made an absolutely incredible game. I'm literally playing it for 12 hours straight today uh, in celebration of Twitch's moderation or moderator appreciation day. Uh, so yeah, thank you for making a kick butt game. We really appreciate it. If you ever need anyone to do some tabletop collaborations with, uh, hit us up because you guys are awesome. Really appreciate it. And I'm glad to hear you like board games. That's such good, that's such good news. This has very big board game vibes. That's one of the reasons why I like it so much. Typically we're very strictly board games on this channel because obviously we're a board game publisher. We make board games, we play board games. This was like the one exception because it feels very much like an economic social board game. Uh, and it's gotten picked up quite well by like the board game community. So congrats to you guys. There's a pretty um, substantial board game community here on Twitch. And I've seen a lot of folks in that community playing this game because it's just it's just so good. I, it scratches the same sort of itch for me as, as a board game. So yeah, uh, huge congrats on the amazing launch of this game. It's fantastic. And uh, thank you for joining us in chat. I appreciate it. 
All right, I'm taxing everybody. Doing it. Like the, the, the various decisions and stuff that you're faced with feel very board gamey. And I think that's why it's hit so well with like the board gaming audience. I mean, you even had Shut Up and Sit Down talking about this game, which is huge. That's so cool. For them to talk about something that's not strictly a board game is like amazing. Bless you and bless this chat. Oh, we'd love to chat. I have, oh, I have Deal with the Devil in the post right now. Oh, so you're like a real CGE fan. Oh heck, that's amazing. Yeah, shoot us a DM if you ever want to collab or do anything. Uh, please hit us up. We'd love to, we'd love to do something together. That's sick as hell that you got Deal with the Devil. Thank you so much. Really appreciate the support. Also, Olympian, I'm so jealous. I saw you playing, was it you, I think, who was playing with like, um, uh, Casey and um, Benita and stuff. I saw like a picture on Twitter of like a bunch of cool people playing Deal with the Devil like a few weeks ago with Brain and Jar. Yeah, it was you, okay. I'm so jealous. That must've been such a fun game. I bet that was a real good group for Deal with the Devil. All right, let's see, what have we got? Yeah, I'm, I'm not surprised at all to learn that this game was made by like board game lovers, because again, it's not a board game. It doesn't directly one-to-one -one do any board gaming mechanics, but it just has that vibe, you know? Same vibes. Something's wrong. Oh God. What do I, where do I go first, chat? Where do I go first? I'm kind of thinking something's wrong. Well, yeah, mustering an army, I was also thinking, let's do, uh, so let's do something's wrong. Let's do something's wrong first. Oh no, oh no, this is gonna be my murder. Oh no. I'm st still super rich. Congrats, three dogs. Uh-oh, time for murder. <laughs> Uh-oh, shoulda known. Shoulda known when the tagline was something's wrong. Oh, whoopsies, unse punse murder. All right. It's a night like any other. You're lying in your monarch-sized bed. Alone, your wife is sleeping in another bedchamber. I'm dying and my wife doesn't even love me. Jeez, jeez. Oh no, as is often the case, the troubles of the kingdom are keeping you awake. Relatable Rancid. Rancid, do not start that rumor. <laughs> farm, farm, murder, murder. Welcome on in, Pa. Thank you for joining us. What what team did you get? Pa, you got... Uh, welcome to the Patricians, Pa. <laughs> uh, especially the Rebellion. How could the Patricians betray you like this? For once though, your insomnia comes in useful because it allows you to hear the slithering under your bed. Slithering? Slithering, excuse me. Yeah, welcome to the murder team. <laughs> that said, good luck with Ray's post-stream zoomies. Actually, Rancid probably will be sleeping in another bed tonight because I will have the zoomies. <laughs> I always get the zoomies after long streams. Poke your head down there? No, poke your head to check it out. Reach under your pillow for your hidden dagger. No, absolutely no honor guard. I'm not making that mistake again. The honor guards want me dead. Like helplessly in bed. All right, reach under your pillow for the hidden dagger. I'm I'm like sweating. I'm sweating, I'm sweating. With the dagger in your hand, you feel much better. But when the slithering turns to hissing, you feel much worse. Ah, I'm scared. Poke your head under the bed to check it out. Nestles underneath, you are shocked to see a coiled serpent. Black scales gleaming in the moonlight. You sent a snake? You couldn't even kill me yourselves, Patrician. You sent a magical snake to do it? Really? Really? Wuss. Dodge. The serpent jaws snap shut an inch from your nose. You scramble away. Run! The serpent slithers out from under your bed. It pulsates and writhes. Ew. And abruptly transforms into a hooded human figure. <gasps> okay, that's not fair. Your assassin was a polymorph. Or what's the, what, anamorph? That's the word I want. An anamorph? Unfair. Yeah, I'm a snake anamorph. How dare you? How dare you? <sighs> Son of the viper. Yeah, it's, it's all making sense now. 
a knife clutched in one hand. <laughs> Any last words, your majesty? Ah, uh, Guards, guards! Despite your shouts, the honor guard is nowhere to be seen. Usually they'd be standing guard uh, right outside your door and would welcome, uh, would come running the slightest disturbance. Could it be? Have you been betrayed? Yeah, the patricians are my guards. And the assassin steps towards you completely unopposed. Your life flashes before your eyes. Your jeweled dagger clutched in your trembling hands is pathetically small compared to the assassin's glinting blade. Defend yourself as best you can, 50% chance. I'll take it, it's a 50% shot, let's do it. I'm sweating! <laughs> Where the, could the patrician honor guard be? I can't imagine what they could possibly be doing at a time like this. Ah! 50% chance. No, it's no use compared to the assassin. You're slow as molasses. Damn. Quick, li lightning quick, the assassin leaps towards you. In midair, he turns back into a serpent and his fangs sink deep into your throat. You fall back onto your bed, clutching at your bite. The serpent hisses in satisfaction and slithers out the window. Reeling from what you think is shock, you try to stand up. Instead, you collapse to one side, convulsing. Everything goes black. You fall deep. You fall into a deep abyss. Oh, I just want to win once. Give me one win today, chat. 12 hours. I can't have one win. After that, you linger for several days. Huh? Fighting the poison that's corro corrosing uh, through your system. Coursing, sorry. Coursing. Dyslexia. Dyslexia. Coursing through your system. But it's no use. Your blood is running with enough venom to kill ten monarchs. I lasted days, though? Damn. Pretty strong. You'll never wake up. You'll never know whether the rebels won their civil war. I need to get an heir, but I've never successfully gotten an heir yet. My marriages are all loveless. <laughs> I think the key is to marry someone who actually loves me and live long enough to have an heir. But I did have, wait, no, that's not true. I did have my orphan heir and that didn't work. That didn't help me much. I don't know. Has anyone seen, has anyone seen a, a streamer win? Yeah, 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 yeah. My marriages have all been loveless. Because you didn't know with my daughter. You'll never wake up. You'll never know whether the rebels won their civil war. Though they probably got everything they wanted thanks to your untimely death. The rebels gain victory points. Five victory points. All you know is this. It's a horrible job being monarch. Wouldn't wish it on your worst enemy. Well, maybe your worst enemy. Clovia of the Patricians, for example, will find out soon enough. All right, congratulations to the patricians. You are now the reigning region. So if the stream were to stop now, all the patricians would be entered into the giveaway, but there are four and a half more hours. So if someone else takes the throne from them, then they will be entered into the giveaway at the end of the stream. Streamer win is hard, but yes, I've seen it. What do I need to do, Renny? What should be my strats as streamer? Seen quite a few streamer wins, but we know the game is super hard right now for the monarch. So in our next update, we're giving some newer tools. Oh, cool! That's awesome. Thanks, Sam, for the update. Who <laughs> I hate the patricians. Me too, Bockle. All right. During the rebellion, Monarch Vermis was assassinated by the treacherous patricians. After losing the civil war, the barons retreated to within their borders and immediately began plotting against their usurper. Usurper. Try marrying barons? Oh, all right, I'll get right on that. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> That's a good point, Remy. I don't know, if you've seen it happen before, I was just curious, like, what, what they, if the streamer who you watched did it, did something, like, specific or something, you know? Uh, as a reward for staying loyal to the monarch, the, the top counts were beheaded. Ooh, ooh, the counts were beheaded. Oh, ho, ho, wee, wee. In public, the survivors swore loyalty to the new regime. In private, they swore vengeance. Ooh, the patricians launched a rebellion that toppled the monarch and devastated the kingdom. In the aftermath, nobody could stop them from taking the throne, and Clovia was crowned to half-hearted cheers from the traumatized common folk. 
Oh. Okay, please raid there are stats. Okay. What do I what do what do I click? <gasps> Jamie! Thank you for that raid! Jamie, I love you so very, very much. Welcome on in. Thank you for that raid. What were you doing today? How was your stream? Okay, got you, Rennie. Sorry, I know I pester you with a bunch of questions. I am so sorry. <laughs> Raid Crippages, it's nice to meet you. Welcome on in. Welcome, Raiders. Thank you so much, Jamie, for sharing your community with us today. I hope you had a lovely heckin' stream. If you are from Jamie's community and this is your first time here, up at the ledger area. The ledger area. Wait, where? Oh, oh, like up here? Okay. Ah, ah, I see, I see, I see. Okay, we'll go through this in a second. Um, but if you're from Jamie's community, you've never been here before, welcome to the Czech Games Edition Twitch channel. We are a board game publisher. We've made all these games that you see behind me. We make games like Codenames, Galaxy Trucker, Lost Twins of Arnak, um, every other game you see behind me. My brain is blank. Letter Jam, uh, Deal with the Devil, Pictomania, all of these games behind me are games that we publish here at CGE. Most of the time you will find me playing board games. We play CGE games as well as non-CGE games here on this channel. Today is one of the rare, rare occasions that we are not playing a board game. We are technically playing a video game, but as we've been talking about a little bit today, it's got quite board gamey vibes. Uh, it's got lots of stats, it's got lots of min-maxing and like uh, politics and social elements. It's a lot of fun. We were playing this for 12 hours straight to celebrate my amazing moderators. This stream started out as a subathon where every bit and sub added time to the timer but our amazing community member Olympian immediately maxed it out to 12 hours, so it's no longer a subathon. But if you do feel like uh, donating bits or subs, all that money goes to my moderators to thank them for being amazing and wonderful. And if you join in the game, which you'll have an option to do very, very soon, we're wrapping up one game, we will be continuing the game in the next era shortly, and I'll give you some info on how you can join. So if you wanna play along with me, stick around and we'll get you in the game. We were playing Coral Island, hell yeah, and we managed to get a hype train for the third stream in a row. Jamie, heckin' congrats. I am so proud of Jamie. Please go follow her. She's incredible. I'll see what this whole board game business is about. Hell yeah. I would love to indoctrinate, I mean introduce more people to the wonderful world of board games that I am very grateful to be a part of. Thank you for the four biddies, Tony. I appreciate it. All right, so the wealthiest noble is currently Bockle. Egyptfit, you're the poorest noble? How'd that happen? And then our kingdom, uh, kingdom stats. Nice. I think that's pretty cool. Our game length was a little bit shorter than last time, but not by much. Um, our successor is going to be Queen Clovia from the Patricians, uh, from the Patricians Coast. You're gonna try to try to get to the end of the stream, bloody! How is that gonna be possible? I appreciate the commitment, but damn. Also, thank you for that follow. I really appreciate it. All right, we're gonna start the next game. Um, I'm gonna have dinner in a little bit, but it's a little, I don't know that it's ready yet. So we'll go ahead and get the next game started so people can start joining. Continue game, let's do it. All right, so I'm gonna have to play as my successor who is now Queen Clovia uh, of the Holy Modville Dynasty. Uh, so everyone, go ahead and join the game. You're gonna type exclamation point join and then one single pronoun. So either he, she, or they, just so the game can gender you correctly when your character is you know, brought up in storylines. If you have been playing throughout the day, uh, you will be put back into the same region that you've been in all day. If you're brand new, you will be randomly assigned to one of these three regions. And keep in mind that whichever region is the most recent winner when the stream ends, Everyone who's ever participated in that region over the course of the day will be entered to win a ton of giveaways for CGE games. Uh, so yeah, try your best to bring your to bring your kingdom to victory so you can win a free copy of Lost Runes of Arnak, digital versions of Through the Ages and Galaxy Trucker. Lots of fun prizes for the most recent region to win the game. Currently, that is the Patricians. Uh, so we'll see how long that, that lasts. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take a quick break and get some water and stuff. Everyone go ahead and join the game and I will BRB.
All right, all right, you heathens. You usurpers, I am back and we are ready for uh, round three. Welcome on into all of our new folks. Uh, heck, it's nice to meet you. Thank you for joining. Welcome to the, the Counts of the East. I think we got some other things happening while I was gone. Um, Sam, thank you for that follow. I really appreciate it. Thanks for supporting the stream and sticking around. Uh, and again, thanks for making such a kick butt game. It heckin' rules and I really appreciate it. I think I only have a little bit of time before I have to eat dinner. Um, I'm not gonna stop the stream. The stream's not gonna stop for four and a half hours. But we might have to take a break soon-ish because I hear my partner making food downstairs. <laughs> but in the meantime, we will go ahead and get started. Mods, do you have a screenshot of this screen or do I need to wait slash take one for you? <laughs> Really fun game. Thank you so much, Olympian. I'm so glad you're enjoying it. Thank you for sticking around and playing. Literally, this game isn't fun if you guys don't play. So thank you for, I mean, I know Olympian, you've been here like all day. So like, thank you for taking the time to participate and make this fun. Uh, for real, I appreciate it. All right, so we got New Kingdoms. If you've been playing a lot today, you will be uh, in a uh, region you were in before. But we have some new folks. Uh, notably in the Counts of the East. We got a lot of new folks have been put in the Counts of the East, so best of luck, everybody. Uh, we have Varian Hex. We have a lot of, um, I've killed a lot of people in the Patricians. I'm realizing that now. We have Varian Hex the second, Spitzka the second, and June B the second. Whoopsies. <laughs> I would love to get, I would love to get, um, someone to the third or the fourth. I think that'd be fun. And <laughs> you wonder why we rebel. I have murdered, I have murdered a lot of you. Uh, <laughs> lots of Patrician killed and one Tony. All right, everybody, uh, we are going to continue the next game. I'm going to be playing as Queen Clovia this time of the Patricians. Um, but as always, you know, you continue on the same way that it played last time. Everyone's trying to overthrow me. Uh, we should have some events that carry over from last time. You should have the same wealth that you had last time and yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll remember that. Great. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. God, I really have to work on picking. I, I, I basically foreshadow who's gonna win with who I pick for my honor guard every time. It's whoever I pick as the honor guard. That's the region that overthrows me every time. All right, let's do path to victory. All right, same as last time. The spy master says, "Your Majesty, the Hicks." Ooh, oh, it's a little bit different, maybe. The history books do not look kindly upon usurpers, unless, of course, they prove themselves worthy of the throne they have stolen. Valid. When you die, how do you hope the kingdom will remember you? So we've done military and we've done farming. Again, I haven't lived long enough to see any of those through. Trade is quite high. I will say our trade is popping. We got very good barren trade. So mayhaps... I do love how these stats change. Like you'll notice the patricians have zero defiance because it's their, currently their ruler on the throne. I think that's really cool. Let's go for trade, high trade. An architect of a new golden age. A lofty goal indeed. I suggest over the next few years, you focus on improving the kingdom's overall trade as much as possible. Will do, captain. Once you have an heir, God, that's always the problem, isn't it? I will return to discuss how your ambition is progressing. Good luck, your majesty. T-Y, T-Y, T-Y. A big part of winning as monarch is hard because it takes a long time to get your goals. Yeah, yeah, but it's still fun. Like I still enjoy it. I'm not like mad that I haven't won. Uh, it's cool to know that it is possible, you know? All right, let's do our coronation. This I think is always the same. You have won the throne from Mount Vermis, but you must still answer to the council. As is tradition, we will declare what happens with your coronation. Okay, bring in the nobles. All right. Nobles, what would we like for my coronation? We can, A, the patricians will be smooth, will smooth over any bad feelings with bribes that would lower the patricians, the patricians' wealth. B, proceed with a religious ceremony that honors the ninth god. C, once again, throw the queen into the river, keeping with tradition of this entire day. Or D, troops shall bear the queen through the streets atop a shield.
Also, um, Lizzo Hyde, it's good to see you. Thank you for joining us in chat. Welcome, welcome. And Morgan as well, welcome. It's good to see so many people in chat. Love to see it. All right, I guess I'm being thrown in a river. Cool, 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 cool. Love, love, love that for me. Why do we always throw in a river? Great question, Tony, great question. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. How have you been? Hope, we're, hope you're having a good week so far. It, it is tradition. <laughs> All right, throw me in the river. Tradition. It is decided. The queen will be thrown in the river. Huzzah. Let me change out of my nice robes. The nobles pick you up and carry you to the Treadwater River, hurling you into shallow water, water with a cheer. When you climb back up the bank, soaking wet, the chancellor steps forward and places a crown upon your head. Is it your imagination, or are there some giggles from the nobles? Mm. <laughs> mm hmm. All right, council introduction. Ooh, Lord Patrician uh, Trebush, I'm assuming. Trebush. We did it! By the ninth, we had to pull some strings, but we got you the crown, just as I said we would. Now, just remember to uphold your end of the deal. You're not really a queen. More like an employee of the patricians. Mm-hmm. Yes, you look great, Trebouche, by the way. I love your outfit. I love your little, little curly beard. Very, very Renaissance fair. I love it. Um, the coast gets what the coast wants. What if I was going to freaking a whole kingdom? I'm queen now. You can't push me around. Welcome on in, Pippin. Pippintastic. Love your username. Welcome, welcome. Uh, let's see. What did you get? Pippin got welcome to the patricians. You're co currently the ruling, the ruling faction. Um, queen, I'll do. Uh, what if I govern for the good of the whole kingdom? <laughs> now you hate on the pads this game like you hate on the barons last game. I will do no such thing. That would be completely against the spirit of our deal. We'd be forced to take drastic action. Oh, okay. All right. Jeez. Jeez, Trebush. Jeez. Now, introduce yourself to the rest of the council, but don't forget what I told you today. All right. Introduce yourself to the council of the east. Ooh. Um, Count Narcries says, an honor to finally make your acquaintance. Also, love your, love your, I love the little scars on your cheek. That's super cute. <laughs> Rebel immediately. Uh, an honor to finally make your acquaintance, my grace, or your grace. May you escape the doom that befell your predecessor. Not ominous at all. Baron Deadpan, uh, all hail. Uh, hail and well met, your majesty. Underneath your leadership will whip the, this kingdom into shape. Hmm? Ooh, yes, finally, I was waiting for you to show up. Lord Patrician Olympian, you look impeccable. What do you think? Will she be a good little queen and do as she's told? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Olympian. Watch the language. Watch the language. Uh, Trevish says, too early to tell, but I have a bad feeling. We should keep, we should have backup plan just in case. Can't wait to see my character turn up if they can. Ooh, I'm excited, Pippin. <gasps> you finally customized all your people? Yes. Wait, Jamie, which group are you in? Are you a count? You're a patrician. I see, I see. You are part of my usurpers. Mm hmm. Get the assassin back in there. Uh, Johan says, When have the barons of the march ever backed down from a fight? Never. I know you'll do whatever it takes to put me, your rightful king, on the throne. I gotta say, Johan looks pretty sick. Like, out of, out of all the potential usurpers, I think he's my favorite of the day. You can say Nara sees. It's in Polish and misspelled. Okay, I will do my best. Um, Nara sees. Okay, I will try my best. If I butcher it in the future, I'm very, very sorry. I have dyslexia, which makes it hard for me to read like usernames I don't recognize, but I'll do my absolute best. <laughs> All right, go ahead and vote for what kind of uh, scheme you want, Barons. You tried Doppelganger last time. You've tried gunpowder the first time. You haven't done intimidation, but go with whichever one you think you're most likely to make. So go ahead and vote if you're on the Baron's team. I'm not a marcher, but gunpowder. We had, we already had a gunpowder death. Uh, we already had a gunpowder victory. That was our very first game of the night. We had a gunpowder victory, which is very cool, which is very cool to see. Plot-wise, it was very fun. 
All right, it looks like we're gonna go for intimidation. All right. Your goal is to raise the other's defiance. Oh, that won't be that won't be hard with how I play. I tend to hand defiance to people. The Baron's plan to hold the queen hostage in her own Baron's plan is to hold the queen hostage in her own palace. First, they must distract the spy master. To advance their scheme, the barons must raise other regions' defiance to a total, to a combined total of at least six. Oh God, it's already there. It's already there. It's already, they get four seasons to do that? Oh, others. So they have to raise the patricians. <gasps> Shut up. Shut up, they look so cool. You're joking. Delviro. Ooh, my fellow counts in ancient times. The East was its own proud kingdom. We can bring back these days of glories, but not while the false queen Clovia wears the crown. No one else was involved? Yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh. All right, Counts of the East, go ahead and vote. Would you like subterfuge, blood ritual, or ascension this time? What are we feeling? We need to stop making Counts race too attractive. True, it's, it's, it clouds my judgment, chicken. They're all so hot. They make the Counts so pretty, pretty vampire, uh, pretty vampire goth girly. I can't. You expect me to not want to go for the, the goth girl who doesn't say anything? <laughs> Excuse you? Ooh, all right, we want to do blood ritual again. We, we've tried for blood ritual in the past, but it's never we've never actually seen what happens, so I'm cool with blood ritual again. And you do still have high farming, of course. Ooh, have a good snack. All right, and last but not least, the patricians. Oh, we gotta read those. The Count's plan to summon an ancient famine demon that will devastate all other regions. We've heard this before, paving a clear path to the throne. First, they must ensure that the East can withstand a famine. So you want high farming. To advance their scheme, the Counts must be the region with the highest farming in four seasons. Ooh. All right, Aurelia, ooh, of the patricians. Says, fellow patricians of the coast, I have it on good authority that Queen Clovia plans to betray us. Crown me, and I'll keep my promises. Oh. All right, your options are monopoly, conspiracy, or corruption. Patricians, go ahead and vote on what you want your scheme to be. No, chicken, I'm not. <laughs> That's it, GG's. Uh-oh, stream turned off. Uh-oh, stream machine broke. such things all right what do we got we got ooh conspiracy you want to lower the treasury oh the treasury is low that is that is a bad i might have spent a lot of money on a dragon costume last game <laughs> all right the patricians plan to sink the queen under an ocean oh i thought they meant literally wait i never found what happened i would never know what happened with my boat last game i what about my horses did i not live long enough to find out what happened with my horses damn it I was very invested in the, the, the horses on a boat situation. Damn. <laughs> they died. Great. Thanks, Barb. Uh, to advance their scheme, the patricians must lower the treasury to 1500 or less. Everyone except for the barons already has their scheme. I do like, though, that the barons... Um, I like when the goals involve other people. You know, like, I like that the baron... It has nothing to do about their stats, but they want to raise the patricians' defiance. I think that's fun. All right. Stupid honor guard. Get this out of the way. God, I don't know who to pick. I don't know who to pick. Oh my god. The patricians with champion gladiators. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. You know what? Wait, chat. Maybe I hire mercenaries? Ooh, Lord Patrician King Israel says, Of course you'll be taking the gladiators, your majesty. None of the other options are half as muscly. Do I do the, do I do the patricians again? But also, yeah, of course, Trebuch wants me to do the, the mercenaries that lowers my money. Mm. Counts have always been on your side. I gotta head out. Oh my goodness, thank you so much, Renny, for hanging out. Thank you for uh, answering all of my annoying questions. I love you very, very much. Have a wonderful night. The Counts have never killed me. This is true. This is very true. 
counts can summon demon lion. How much are these mercenaries? What mercenaries do you suggest? A band of fearsome fighters from the Tatterlands called the Battle Bitten Brethren. Oh god, I love the like the the nose ring. They specialize in bodyguard work, but they're costly. It will be considered an insult to all the other regions. Ugh. Alright. In order to keep the patricians from being defiant, I think I'm gonna hire the patricians again. I'm gonna try to stick with the region that like elected me. I think part part of what happened last time was I was elected by barons and then I force forsaken the barons. Well, I'm gonna take the coastal gladiators again. Yeah. That that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do. It. I'm gonna take the coastal gladiators. The gang of lowborn crooks. Yes, we've read this before. Yes, uh, I've made my decision. I will take 500 for mercenaries. <gasps> Foglight, yo, welcome on in Foglight. Yo, what what region did you get, Foglight? Welcome, welcome, Foglight. Welcome to the patricians of the coast, my friend. Uh, all right, I'm gonna take coastal gladiators. I probably should do the mercenaries, but I don't want my my treasury to drop that low. Yeesh. Oh no. Okay. Gladiators arrive uh, a few weeks later. Uh, bare chested and underdressed. Yada yada. Alright. A new trend. Oh, this is the fish king again. Okay, we've had this, we've had this encounter before. I'm not gonna mess it up this time. Okay, 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 okay. I know where the story goes. And there's a very specific outcome I want. And I'm going to fight tooth and nail for it, okay? All other all other uh, 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 um, priorities aside, I want to kiss a fish man. And this plot has the potential to lead to me kissing a fish man. We need high money so that I can drop my pearls on the ground. And I need to not say something dumb like a wooga. Okay? Those are our goals. I need money. I need money, chat. <clears throat> Wait, who are we romancing? It hasn't happened yet, Pippin. But I have, I have seen this plot before and it leads to a very sexy fish man. Uh, and I, I fumbled my romance with the fish man last time. I'm not gonna mess it up this time. I'm not gonna mess it up. Exactly, <laughs> chromatic miniatures. I'm glad to see you understand. We can romance Pippin, we can. It's like, it seems like it's a very, I've never successfully done it, but it seems like there's a very specific path of options you can take for romancing NPCs. Like random NPCs. It's awesome. I love it. Okay. <laughs> oh God, Patrician Lady June B the Second. Oh geez, is here to see you, Your Majesty. She wants to sell you a uh, a crab. And of course she does. <laughs> Woo! Hell yeah. In the latest trend along the coast, Your Majesty, the Patricians have started keeping species. Oh. Oh, maybe this isn't what I thought it was. Oh, wait, never mind. Maybe this isn't. Wait, maybe this isn't the Fishman plot. No, I'm, now I'm sad. Now I'm, no, now I'm sad. I think I got my hopes up because I saw this this artwork and that was the artwork that they had at this. No, sad. Never mind. No mermen. We'll see. It could still happen, but I, I think I jumped the gun a little bit. <laughs> Blame the patricians for baiting you. Yeah, I don't want their crabs. I want their sexy, sexy fish people. Jeez. It's the latest trend along the coast, Your Majesty. The patricians have started keeping a species of jeweled crab as a fashionable pet. Damn, the creatures are so rare that one can now sell for as much as a mansion. Interesting. Ah, uh, very well sent her in. Ooh, Lady Patrician June B. II says, thank you for seeing me, Your Majesty. I know the price is steep, uh, but I assure you these crabs will go up in value. Uh, buy a box of crabs for a thousand dollars? No, dude, no. No, literally the patricians want me, want to bleed me of my wealth. I'm not buying your crabs to help with your scheme. Absolutely not. <gasps> I'll make the sale of jeweled crabs illegal. But I don't want I don't want their I don't want their defiance to go up. I'm just gonna turn away this fool. Crabs, honestly, what is this kingdom coming to? Crab NFTs! 
Bloody no. Bloody please. Bloody please. All right. Counterfeit. What? Counterfeit currency. Okay. Crabs on the gateway. <laughs> June B, I'm sorry. I don't watch your crabs, June B. I'm I'm so sorry. I'm sure they're very not fungible crabs. <laughs> I'm sure they're very nice crabs, but I do not want them. Okay, the treasurer says, the East has been prosperous of late, but my tax collectors are reporting suspicious coins in the latest taking. Are you guys are you guys money laundering? What's happening? Uh, Callie just danced. Thank you for that follow. Welcome on in. I appreciate it. Feel free to jump in chat and type exclamation point join and then a pronoun either he, she, or they to be added to the game. Morgan, thank you for that follow as well. I'm so glad you're enjoying enjoying the show. Mmm, sounds like something a money launderer would say. The whole region is awash with fake money. The council needs to act. Counts, counts, how'd you get my money printing machine? Excuse me. <laughs> All right, what can be done about the counterfeit coins in the East? Tell everyone in the East to examine their coins and return any duds. Decreases trade, decreases stability, decreases authority. Yikes, yikes, you have the door unlocked. Offer a substantial reward in the counter, if the counterfeiters are caught. No, I can't afford to lose more money. Offer your artificers to invent a new coin that's harder to counterfeit. Uh, well, okay, we, we, Oh my god, alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna veto B. Cause that's that's such a big hit to the treasury. That's like unrecoverable. We can recover from like a little bit of a authority or a stability dip, but that doesn't affect anyone's scheme. This directly helps the patrician scheme. So I'm vetoing B. Sorry, patricians. I literally just wanna win I'm like I'm gonna really chat. My goal for this game, I'm really trying. No more, no more choices for goofs and gaffs. We are min-maxing, Monarch Ray will win. Okay? Okay. All right, go ahead and vote. Yo, Itchery, welcome back. Only if Monarch Ray will uh, still be alive to try. Yes, exactly, Kit Kat. <laughs> no, if I win, it's still the most recent uh, noble region to win, so it would still be the Patricians. Whoa, okay. Tell everyone in the East to examine their coins and return the duds. Yeah, that's probably the best option out of the ones offered to you guys. But it's a lot better for me than B. B was going to be catastrophic for me, so that's not going to happen. So everyone in the East to examine, blah, blah, blah. That is true, Kit Kat. That is technically true. It's in the Pat's best interest to not let the Counts or the Barons win. Uh, because currently you are the giveaway winners right now. Uh, Foglight, I believe you are a patrician. But I could be wrong. Foglight. Yes, Foglet, you are a patrician. Also, if you're watching on, on a computer, you should see a little pop-up in the top left corner that when you mouse over it, it'll tell you what region you're in. It'll also tell me you how much money you have. Yes, Foglet, so we're actually playing like a campaign. So you will have the same region every time uh, until I start a brand new game. The town criers across the east ring their bells and order townsfolk to beware of for forged coins. Oh no! Are other people's extensions not working, or is it just Kit Kat? Mine's working. Okay, cool. It's Robert and throwing the drink. Jeez, jeez. Okay, thanks for the feedback, everybody. Unfortunately, the result is a complete loss of trust in the queen's coinage. Oh no! Eastern townsfolk barter goods instead, while the merchants ask for foreign currencies. Damn. Okay. All right. And then, don't worry, uh, Counts. You might have lowered your trays, but it's now dynamic. You know, that that's that's a positive spin on the situation. All right, we'll end the season. All right, 
It's time to fund buildings, everybody. So you're gonna type exclamation point fund the letter of the building you wanna fund and then how much of your own personal wealth you wanna spend. So for example, exclamation point fund A100. Uh, again, if you're as long as your uh, plugin is working, you should see how much wealth you have when you mouse over the stream if you're on desktop. Uh, and yeah, you don't have to vote for a building of your color. You can vote for anything. All right, voting is open now. So if you're already funded, like Tony and Dogs, it didn't count, so you'll have to do it again. Yes, you can also fund more than one thing and the top two most funded buildings will win. So if the building you want is already the second choice, like if you want C, stop funding C because it's it's already winning. Um, so the top two, so currently D and C are funded. If you want something else, pour money into that. It looks like the only other thing people want is the cathedral, which is an interesting, interesting choice. All right, time's up. Buildings that were funded. Wow, the Count's got two buildings. Oh, I like this icon, the Deer Park icon. That's really cool. The Count's got their Deer Park, which decreases farming? Why? Ooh, I, why? <laughs> why? Counts, you want high farming. Uh, and they also, they also got the Aqueduct, which is high farming. Oh, other people bought it? Got it, got it. But yeah, okay. <laughs> That was good move on everybody else. But it does look like you might have a spy amongst the counts. Um, as a reminder for anyone who's just joining, the counts want to have the highest farming amongst anyone. Uh, the patricians want me to have a low treasury, which I already have. And the barons want the counts and the patricians to have high defiance. All right, let's see. Finding a spouse, a spot of hearsay. Let's do that. Or heresy, sorry, heresy. Ooh, Baron Bakul is back. Your Highness, I'm stunned, outraged, and incensed. I've been summoned to a trial by the Inquisition on some nonsense fabricated charge. They're claiming I'm part of a cult because of a particular design of my crest and how I have exactly 10 people at every meal and the strange noises from hidden chambers. It's ridiculous, Bockle. Bockle, what is this? Bockle, explain yourself. No one dares defend me on their own. They're too scared of the High Inquisitor. The trial is set, but the council must intervene, my liege. Bockle's gonna die. Though she remains silent. <laughs> It's the player count for code names. Bako, I, you're the best. It's on the box. You know what, for that excuse, I'll let, I'll let you live, Bako. Though she remains silent, the council is keenly aware of the High Inquisitor's steely gaze from across the chamber. <laughs> All right, option A, search for a witness to defend Baron Bako. B, help the Inquisition gather evidence against Bako. Ba what 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 uh, region is Bakal? Bakal is a baron, right? Yeah. Suggest he pay for good outcome. All right. I <sighs> the only thing that's at risk if we inquisition Bakal is faith, and I don't really care about faith right now. Search for a witness to defend Baron Bakal's stability. I'm gonna let this, I'm not gonna waste my veto on this. Um, I could veto search for a witness. I'm assuming the things that it doesn't tell me what stability is gonna do. I'm assuming if I defend Bockle, stability will go up, but I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah, June B. That's what I'm saying. That's why I don't want to veto anything because I don't know what's going to happen with rolls. So I'm going to leave it up to you all. 
Rolls make me anxious because I don't really know. Just wanted to show my support for my friends over at CGE. Bockle, I'm so sorry. Bockle. Stop it, you're me cry. Ooh. Oh, people want to defend Bockle. Bockle, the people are coming to your aid. All right, I'll leave it up for another second. All right. Bockle is a baron. Yes, Bockle is, is on the red team. Didn't know board games were illegal. <laughs> All right, voting is closed. Oh my God, we only have four hours left. Wow. All right. Look at, look at that Christmas brigade here. <laughs> Not I wanted to be known, uh, Bockle, that not one single count came to your defense. Not one, not one cared enough to help you out. I just I just want to make sure that 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 seed of discourse is there. Okay. You distribute a proclamation among the barons asking for witnesses of Bockle's innocence. I'd like to thank my friends from the coast for enjoying a riveting game of Codenames with me. Yeah, it's it's canon. The Counts hate board games. They hate them. Baron Egyptfit eventually comes forward. Egyptfit, you're coming to Bockle's defense. Hell yeah. Uh, claiming to have known Bockle since childhood and that his devotion to the Ninth God is second to none. Hey, we succeeded. Nice. <gasps> Beautiful. Wonderful outcome, everybody. Baron Bockle's wealth has increased. Stability is now up to six. And treasury is now 1700. Hell yeah, let's go. No more patrician uprising. I have a whole $200 that's staving you off. All right, parents are best friends. Uh, let's do uh, heritage. I'm not gonna pick a spouse until I kind of know where I stand with all these regions. We're gonna do everything else first. Yeah, claiming this witness does sound a little sus. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Bad choice for me, though, Narcisse. Bad, good choice for me. Yeah, I mean, good. It was good choice for me. Bad choice for you. Good choice for me. That last um, event was categorically a good outcome for me. <laughs> Your esteemed highness. I bring, I bring troubling news. Um, someone took the ninth's name in vain again? Not quite, your highness. A group of individuals in the march are meeting in secret to preach a uh, heretic. How do you say that word? I know what it is. It's like to be a heretic. Heretical teachings and engage in rituals. They are believers of some ancient folkloric tradition. It's tied to some primordial spirit. Heret heretical? It just sounds wrong. Heretical? Her her heretical. Heret so I'm saying it right, it sounds wrong. They are believers of some ancient folkloric tradition. It's tied to some primordial spirit. They say lives in the trees. Silly stories for children. Regrettably, I require the council's permission to launch a proper investigation. <clears throat> Otherwise, my inquisitors would have destroyed the cult before it had a chance to spread. Um. So why can't why can't I do this bottom one? I wonder why. It says, I'll hold a vote for the matter. This isn't worth our time. And then it says, forget the nobles. I give you my express permission, but it doesn't let me do that. It's like grayed out. So I think I can't. Like if I click it, yeah, it doesn't let me do it. I wonder why. Not enough authority? Yeah, perhaps. Um, I'll let it. Uh... I could let you guys vote. But I also don't care about my faith right now. I chat, I am, we're playing to win. We're playing to win. We're playing to win. I'm gonna say it isn't worth our time, forget about it. Heresy is a disease, your highness. If you do not cure it quickly, 
its spread will become uncontrollable. You will regret this hesitancy. We always vote well, mm -hmm. yeah. Ooh, impious. The march has no faith now. All right, time for smoochy smooch. Your majesty, it's important to find a spouse sooner rather than later. I'll take the liberty of finding eligible candidates. What is your preference? Preference is any. Zombies again. Thank you, your majesty. I'll send out messengers to the most influential noble families in the kingdom. Let's see what they have to offer. <gasps> Lord Patrician Foglight! Foglight! Look at you! I like your outfit. It is an easy decision, uh, says Foglight. You'll marry into the Patricians as we agreed before you took the throne, right? Right? Do I, do I marry a patrician this time, chat? I think I probably should. On a dingy seaside town, two patricians of the coast meet to plot their latest scheme. Lord Patrician Renny Mae back at it again, trying to keep her crew together. The treasury's not empty. The queen won't be tempted by our loan offers. Ooh, Lord Patrician Itri says, maybe we could arrange some kind of heist. Oh. Oh, a heist, you say, Itri. Interesting. Uh, Rennie says, uh, don't get ahead of yourself, Lord Patrician. This coup will be conducted entirely within the bounds of the law. We have our principles, after all. The Patricians aim to lower the treasury to 15 or less. All right, time to tax. Taxes, taxes, money, money. Well, who do want with the patricians have a lot of money? They have a lot of money and it's expressly against their goal because they want me to have no money. It cares more about a failed marriage than a failed monarchy. Let's be honest, a hundred percent. It pains me that I haven't had one love filled marriage. All of my marriages have been loveless and cold. That is the most upsetting part of this entire playthrough. Uh, I'm tempted to tax the, the patricians. You're also, you also have the highest money, but also if their defiance gets too high, that helps the barons. Uh, that helps the barons. I don't want to help the barons. Maybe I tax the barons then. Huzzah? I think I have to tax the barons, because if I tax the counts or the patricians, that helps the barons, because the barons want everyone else's defiance to be higher. Alkali, way to rub it in my face, okay? All right? Yo, what's up? Hi, Tim. Thank you for joining us. Welcome on in. Thank you for stopping by for Mod Appreciation Day. Uh, also, feel free, if you if you have time to stay, feel free to jump in the game, exclamation point, join and then he, she, or they afterwards. Tim, thank you for the sub. Thank you so much, man, I appreciate it. Let's do... I'm gonna tax the barons. I'm gonna tax the barons. Gonna tax the barons. Wow, we have very wealthy patricians now. Sorry, man. I gotta do what I gotta do. Crab, the crab bubble bursts. Oh no. Oh no, the economy. Oh no. The treasurer says, bad news, your majesty. A new reef. I love the crab people. I, th I think the patricians, their storylines are always very fun. Bad news, your majesty. A new reef has been discovered, which is overflowing with millions of jeweled crabs. Crab prices are crashing catastrophically. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't invest when you tried to make me. I'm glad I didn't invest. Ray, our, we are one defiance from rebelling and you are making it so we can't progress ours. Oh wait, Ray, we are one defiance from rebelling. Are you? Oh, you are, you're five, yikes. You're making so we can't make progress on our scheme. <laughs> That's a fair, That's a fair point. Uh, I'll, I'll try to be better. I didn't know it was gonna raise your defiance that much. To be fair, that was very high defiance. You were not, well, we're, we, maybe it was just one. Were you at four before? Yeah. Yeah. All 
All right, let's do, um, uh, how could this be? How could crabs exist? My God, the entire kingdom will suffer financially, your majesty. With the exception of a few patricians, are we, er oh, wait, are we gonna advocate for eradicating crabs? Are we gonna commit like a crab genocide here? What's gonna happen? Curiously, Lady Patrician June B. Oh, curiously, Lady Patrician June B. The second, the very same patrician who first began the crab craze, recently sold all of her crabs at a huge crab profit, just days before the crash. So we're saying Lady Patrician June B. The second pumped and dumped the market. Is that what I'm hearing? June B. No. <laughs> So, um, some wealth of the Patricians have decreased, some Baron's wealth has decreased, saying this with some counts, but Lady Patrician June B. II is rolling in $3,500. It was insider crap trading. Well, something must be done. <laughs> I'm a poor boy. <laughs> you summon your council to discuss the crab price crisis. Many assembled nobles have invested heavily in the crab market, and they are casting furious glances at the patrician benches. All right. All right, so now it's time uh, to vote what should be done to help the coast recover from the imploding crab market. A, bail out the failed business along the coast. Mm, don't know how I feel about bailing out the banks. B, let the coast suffer the full consequences of this crisis. C, arrest Lady Patrician June B. II and confiscate her ill-gotten goods. Well, that would be bad for defiance. Uh. Yeah, I mean, I like throwing people in jail. I really, really do. I really do. <laughs> it's because then we'd get Lord, then we'd get Lady Patrician June B. III, which would be hilarious. But I need to be very careful with the amount of defiance that's happening. I mean, I would love it if I could get you guys to agree on A, but I don't know how I make that happen. Well, patricians, that would help the, uh, geez, A is really good for patricians. Uh, Pats wanna pass A, I know. The thing is, which is worse, A or C? Because the Pats will go for A, but God, that puts me at a hundred dollars. That's, you cannot recover from that. I think we can recover from a little bit of patrician defiance. So I'm gonna veto A, because that's just, that, that just hands it to the patricians. All right, let's start the vote. I'm sorry, listen, I'm actually trying. I'm trying to win. I can recover from a little bit of a defiance increase. $2,000, you can't come back from that. I, that's like four years of taxation. Five years of taxation. Listen, listen. Arresting people is fun. So is letting the coast suffer the consequences. I love how the coast wants the coast to suffer the consequences. That's very, that's a very interesting turn of events. Ooh. <gasps> is it dinner time? <gasps> is that pizza? Yo. Y'all, Rancid made me pizza for our, for our dinner break. Look at that, that's homemade pizza right there. Thank you, I love you. <gasps> and I have a little thing of, of balsamic vinegar, which is my favorite cursed thing to put on a pizza. I love you, thank you. All right, we're gonna we're gonna have a din din break here in a second. Could you get me some water? <gasps> I have water on the floor. I forgot about my floor water, how could I? Thank you, I love you. Everyone say thank you, Rancid, for keeping me alive for 12 hour stream. All right, I know we're in a very heated part of this game right now, and I hate to stop it, but I do need to eat because I'm doing a 12-hour stream. So give me a second. We'll, we'll wrap up this story beat, and then we'll, I'll eat, and we'll do some mod trivia. So don't worry. You won't be bored. We'll be playing some trivia while I eat, but I will have to stop narrating because uh, I need to eat some freaking delicious-looking pizza. This has got homemade pulled pork on it, and it's a handmade dough. It's everything. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. All right, so what one? C. Oh, Yes! Lord Lady or Lady Patrician, um, uh, Jude B. the Third. I can't wait. I can't wait. Your soldiers storm Lady Patrician June B. the Second's opulent mansion. I love how ridiculously long your name is getting to pronounce. 
um, arresting her and confiscating her ill-gotten crab gold. The trial will be held soon, as soon as possible. So coast trade went down, defiance, ooh, okay, the barons now have their six defiance. But the thing is, I think I can recover from that better than I can from having like $100 in my bank. Lady June B the second is still extremely wealthy. I need it to be known. Hey, I'm just here for the chaos, same. Outraged patricians protest that your actions are illegal and make a mockery of the law. <laughs> Don't they know that you're queen? All right, everybody, we are gonna take a little break sees, little tiny break sees. I'm gonna eat my amazing looking pizza. And to keep everybody entertained, feel free to like go uh, stretch your legs, take a water break, take your meds if you haven't today. A Kelly Monope, thank you for that follow, welcome on in. Um, I'll try not to take too long with my dinner, but I need a little bit of time uh, because doing this amount of narrating is exhausting. And if I don't have food, I will probably pass out. Uh, no promises, but like high, high likelihood. All right, so we're gonna switch over to boop -a boop streaming music, beep, beep, bop, beep. Yeah, this game has been so much fun. Thank you guys for playing. We are gonna do what we now call mod trivia. <gasps> okay, let me get started with the, the break. Uh, okay, so we're gonna do mod trivia because if you didn't know, I am doing this ungodly 12 hour stream to celebrate my amazing mods. It started as a subathon, but we already reached our goal. So now we're just vibing and riding out the clock. Uh, please do consider subbing to the channel or giving bits because this is a celebration of them and all the money that we generate on this channel goes to my moderators. I don't keep it. The company of CGE doesn't keep it. Split it amongst my four amazing mods. So if you're having a fun time in chat, please know that my mods are the only reason that I'm able too loud. Okay. I can turn it down. My mods are the only reason that I'm able to do this the way I, I do this. Let me know if that's better or too quiet. Um, so yeah, if you're having a good time, the best thing you can do to like give back to the stream is to give to the mods. Again, you do that with subs and bits. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna play mod trivia because again, this is a big celebration of my mods and I asked them uh, for a break activity. Uh, we came up with the idea of doing mod trivia where I asked all my mods uh, for some weird facts about themselves uh, so that we can play trivia. This is no stakes trivia. Oftentimes we do um, we do giveaways with the trivia, but we're not doing it this time because most of these questions you wouldn't reasonably know the answer to. It's just fun to guess and to learn something about the mods. <gasps> Thank you so much for those 400 biddies, Itri, I really appreciate it. Um, so yeah, we're gonna ask you some silly questions about the mods. You're gonna see, um, here, I might as well just put it up on the screen. I don't know why I'm talking about it. Like, I can't just, I literally show you. I can just literally show you. Why going like that? Wow, mod trivia. So we've already done 10 questions while I had my lunch. Now we're gonna do another 10 questions while I eat my dinner. Uh, I'm gonna ask you a question. You are going to answer by putting the letter in brackets. So for example, the answer to this question ended up being alkali. So the way you would guess that after I read the question would be parentheses, alkali, or A, sorry, parentheses, the letter A, and then a parenthesis. that's how you guess. Uh, and yeah, again, this is just for fun, but at the end of this, I'll read off who got the highest score in mod trivia. Uh, but give me one second before we get started. I gotta swap my headphones. My old headphones broke uh, and Rancid got me a new cord for it. What's up? That sounds good. Okay, I love you, bye. All right, so first question on Mod Trivia. I'm gonna try to do my best to read these questions in between bites of pizza, but do um, bear with me because I'm very, very hungry. So question number one, or question technically 11, but first question of this round is which mod accidentally lit a bat into their partner's house? Uh, a is alkali, B is barb, C is chicken, D is lion. I'm gonna mute while I eat my pizza, but go ahead and vote in chat.
All right. We have some we have some answers in chat. This is the last call if you'd like to guess which mod accidentally let a bat into their partner's house. We have some interesting logic in chat for why people think different people. <clears throat> All right, last call for guesses. The answer in three, two, one. Oh, do we have the, is the trivia? Yeah. Yeah, we're good. Okay, cool. Answer is, Barb, congratulations to, who got it? Who guessed Barb? Giggles, good job. This was Barb. She accidentally a bat, let a bat into her partner's house, which if you've ever done that, I have only had a bat in my house once. It's terrifying. It's so scary. Bats are so spooky. They've got rabies. They've got these little leathery wings. Like they make the weirdest sound. Like I like bats aesthetically from a distance. Like the concept of bats, cool, right? Bat in my closet, worst experience of my life. So scary, so scary. And the only time that's ever happened was my sister had a bat in her room back when we used to both live at my parents' house. So I had a room across the hall from her. And I remember her being like, cause she's older than me. She's 10 years older than me, right? And the tone of voice where she was like, Ray, Ray, come here. <laughs> like I snapped into mom mode. I was like, where's the intruder? And we had a bat stuck in her closet. And so the whole family had to like rally to try to get this bat out the window without getting like bitten and getting rabies. And I had this incredibly cursed picture. Cause at the end of this, we, we succeeded. And of course my initial thought was like, we should take a picture cause we all look ridiculous. Cause we had decked out in like five raincoats trying to cover all like exposed skin, like buckets on our heads. We were holding broomsticks so at the end. I made everyone take a family picture that still lives on our fridge of all of us just decked out in anti-bat protective gear. So scary. Yeah, a healthy fear of most flying things, I think is valid. I think that's like a fair fear. All right, uh, question number 12. Who chipped their tooth in a water slide accident? And you will notice that I included myself in this poll for reasons. We are headed into the choop tip it, choop? Huh? <laughs> Toop? <laughs> no, I need to go to sleep, dude. I'm trying, I'm trying to say, I'm trying to say tooth chipping. Alkali, listen, listen, Alkali, it's been a long time. Tooth, we're headed into the tooth chipping segment of the trivia. Um, three out of the five people on this board have a choop tipping. What's happening? Am I dying? Am I having a stroke? What can I say? What can I say? <laughs> Tooth chipping. I'm trying to say that three out of the five people have a tooth chipping story. I am one of them, but you don't know which one I am until you guess. There's going to be three tooth chipping questions in a row. <laughs> okay, go ahead and vote. A, B, C, D, or E. Who chipped their tooth in a water slide accident? I'm gonna mute myself before I continue to just spout nonsense. <laughs> Not the choop tipping. Um, <laughs> chaos name's weird. No. Why? Pain. Also, coming up with this trivia made me realize that a lot of people have stories around chipping their teeth. So if you have a fun uh, choop tipping story please share it in chat like i see three dogs 
Uh, it's missing part, most part, of a middle second tooth in a trampoline accident. Damn. Damn. All right, last call for votes for question number 12. Who chipped their tooth in a water slide accident? Wait, what, chicken? Was it like stale? How is that possible? Valid, okay. All right, the answer is, this is Bloody Lion chipped his tooth in a water slide accident. Question number 13. In the tooth chipping saga, who chipped their tooth by swimming into a rock? to know that I'm dipping my pizza in balsamic vinegar because I love balsamic vinegar. <laughs> I love vinegars of all kinds. And I also need everyone to know that when I was in Maine for vacation, Rancid took me to, I kid you not, a balsamic vinegar tasting bar. Uh, best 10 out of 10 date. Very, very niche concept. I loved it. I had a lot of fun. <laughs> it was, it was amazing. So the, uh, this is the balsamic vinegar that I'm putting on my pizza right now. It's an 18 year old aged balsamic vinegar that I got at this bar and it is freaking delicious. It's so good. All right. I am very impressed that most people got this right. Uh, this is me. I chipped my tooth by swimming into a rock. Uh, I have done this. Uh, I have talked about this on stream before. It was very embarrassing. Half of my front tooth is fake because I swam into a rock uh, and busted it. <laughs> extra fun fact. My dad didn't want to get it fixed because he was, he used to say it would give me character and it would give me a conversation starter. So shout out to my mom for making sure I got my front tooth fixed. <laughs> All right, question 14, final tooth chipping story. God, I have to consciously think about that. Who chipped their front tooth in a bow and arrow accident? This is the final tooth chipping question. Well, I don't know what that means, but I'm choosing to be offended that <laughs> you think I don't use bow and arrows. Wow, three dogs, that's impressive. Is this just a run of questions <laughs> all the way this rants chipped her teeth? <laughs> You're gonna find out. You're gonna find out.
All right, I work. Yep. What do you need? And the sauce is really good. It's really, really good. Good job, honey. <laughs> I wish you guys could see Renz's little proud face off camera. He's very proud of himself and the sauce he made. All right, the answer to question 14, who chipped their, who chipped their front tooth in a bow and arrow accident? The answer is, I feel like if you've hung out in this chat for a long time, this question, once again, reeks of Barb. <laughs> this is an iconic Barb moment. Uh, GG's to Barb. Uh, RIP her front tooth. Okay. Uh, question number 15. Which mod spent all of their childhood in singing lessons only to never use it as an adult? I mean, that's a fair fear, chicken. It's it's not fun. It hurts. I, like, blacked out. It was terrible. I switched us to a jazz playlist because I feel like that's more trivia-like. Hope you guys like it. Yeah, I associate trivia with jazz. All right, answer to question 15. Which mod spent all of their childhood in singing lessons only to never ever use it as an adult? Um, I'm actually impressed. Uh, a lot of people got this right. The answer was chicken. They got singing lessons as a child and don't use it as an adult. <laughs> Question 16. This is a very interesting one. Which mod bought a house at the age of 23? You can probably logic this one out if you know enough about my mods. Yes, I'm glad, but some of them I think are genuine shots in the dark. This one makes sense if you think about it. Question 16, which mod bought a house at the age of 23? This has to be the only European mod. <laughs> I mean, I guess it might be possible in Canada. 100% not possible in the US. Uh, and Lion's also, I believe, our oldest mod. Uh, and I, yeah, that's the answer. 23, uh, Lion bought a house. I am incredibly jealous, incredibly jealous. That is literally impossible in the US. To buy a house outright at 23, not possible. Not possible. Yeah, and also most of our mods are just hovering around the age of 23, so it doesn't make much sense. Seely Ray, just be born rich. Oh, my bad, Bockle, my bad. Oh, sorry, I keep pulling up Discord over my captions. Uh, Am I weird because I've never wanted to own a house? Not at all, honestly. That was like a standard, I feel like, of a different generation. I know tons of people who like, I mean, I guess most people I know would like to own a house. 
Um, but just they've given up on that as a goal. So I guess it's different if you like actively don't want one. That's a little different, but also it comes with a lot of like responsibilities and stuff. Um, all right, question number 17, which mod wanted to be a pilot, but is afraid of heights? Me too, Barb twinsies. We had a whole gauntlet of tooth chipping questions where the answers were you, me, and, and bloody about our, our fake teeth. guesses for which mod wanted to be a pilot but is afraid of heights. <gasps> Wait, Bill, give us all your D&D movie hot takes. Tell us what you thought. D20? Wait, Bockle, what is this? The spell accuracy was so dope. Oh, I love that. Like, being able to see something be like, oh, that's blank spell was so fun. Oh, Bill, that gives me so much hope. That's so exciting. Oh, that, see, that's the kind of thing. Like, at first, again, I was like, oh, this looks tacky and poorly made. But then I realized that they're actually, like, people making the movie who care and know what they're talking about, and that's dope as hell. That's really cool. All right, answer to the question number 17, which mod wanted to be a pilot but is afraid of heights? The answer is C, chicken. Chicken, when did you learn this about yourself? How, like, how long did the pilot dream last and when did you find out you were too scared of heights uh, to continue to pursue that dream? <clears throat> All right, question number 18. We're, we're now in the quote section. I have a couple of quote questions. Which mod said damage is temporary, science is forever? Oh, wait, Bill, that's so cute. God, I wish I still lived near my D&D group because that'd be really fun to watch together. Maybe I can, maybe that's a good excuse to go visit them and go watch it together. God, that sounds like so much fun. Oh, amazing. <laughs> All right, last call for answers. Which mod said, damage is temporary, science is forever. And these are all quotes obviously pulled from, from chat over the years. Oh my God, I have a horse, well, it's not my horror story to tell, but Rancid, my partner, um, 
when he had to get his like wisdom teeth taken out. Apparently they like misjudged the dosage of like sleeping medicine and he woke up during the tooth extraction. This is just what three dogs said remind me of this. And apparently he remembers waking up and a doctor looking down at him saying, oh God, he's awake. <laughs> It wasn't like there was nothing painful, but psychologically traumatizing. <laughs> oh God, he's awake. He was like 10. <laughs> okay, final call for your answers. Um, yeah, not what you want to hear. All right, the mod who said damage is temporary science was forever. This shouldn't be shocking to most people who've been around for a while. The answer is alkali, classic alkali quote. Uh, question number 19, which mod said headbutting a pigeon is my life goal? Who said that in chat at some point? All right, answer to question 19, which mod said headbutting a pigeon is my life goal? Again, iconic, iconic barb quote. Anything massively nonsensical is probably barb. <laughs> Love you very, very much. All right, question 20, which mod said, Ray really is Ray's worst enemy. Whose quote is that? And I'm gonna go wrap up my pizza and then I'll be back. I'm trying to find a good song to leave you guys on. This is a, I'm going into this playlist blind. Oh god, this is Christmas, I'm sorry. Oh, this is spooky. Give me some normal jazz, damn it. Yeah. Alright, vote, I'll be back. Okay, we're gonna do the last two questions. 
And then we'll get back into King of the Castle. I, I need to pee, but <laughs> I didn't want to leave you guys in this question for too long. Uh, also, remember how I was saying nice things about Rancid? I'm taking them all back because he's insisting on sleeping on the couch tonight because he insists that I'm going to have post-stream zoomies. And I don't think I am. I think I'm going to be fine. I'm going to sleep like a baby and definitely not talk in my sleep about being on stream. Uh, speaking about talking during your anesthesia, I talk, yeah, I talk in my sleep a lot. And if I've streamed a lot during the day, I oftentimes will have what we call the post-stream zoomies, where I won't let myself fall asleep. Like my body will wake myself up um, because in my brain, I've streamed so much in that day that I'm convinced that I'm still streaming and I'm falling asleep on stream. So I wake myself up <laughs> and I talk very loudly about it. Like, hi, I'm Ray. Welcome to the twitch.tv slash tech games edition Twitch channel. Uh, today it's mod appreciation day. Like I'll repeat the spiel that I was, whatever spiel it was that I was doing on stream that day. I think I'm going to be okay. I think I'm going to be okay. But Rancid has already brought all of his stuff downstairs to sleep on the couch. And I find that offensive. Okay. We have to wait until I'm done with the stream to find out how bad the zoomies are. That's it. That's all I want to say. That's my PSA. We're mad at Rancid now. All right. <laughs> last, very last question. Oh, we have to find the answer to this. Uh, which mod said Ray really is Ray's worst enemy? This is one of my favorite quotes. This is a Barb quote. And the final question, uh, as I go fill up my water bottle and do the last couple things I need to do, last question for y'all to answer before we reveal who won mod trivia <laughs> is question 21. Who's Ray's favorite mod?
<laughs> Sorry about the music being all over the place. That's what I get for leaving you guys on an unvetted playlist. Okay, final question. Uh, I can't believe, I can't believe you all missed this. It's obviously E, all of them. You all lost. Womp womp, you look so silly for not guessing E. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. <laughs> oh my God, you all look so silly. All right, let me grab the stats. <laughs> Let's see, who won, who won the no stakes mod trivia? Let's see. All right, our final score for mod trivia. Our winner, our winner, winner, chick on dinner, was Itri, congratulations. Itri got eight out of the 21 questions correct. 20 real questions. 21 was a goof and a gaff. Uh, let's see. Renny was very close with seven. GG's, Renny got second. Kit Kat took third with six correct. And then we had Studley Mare with five and then a big tie with four. We had Giggles, three dogs in a suit, uh, Polo Monkey, but nice, GG's. Uh, to Kit Kat, Renny, and Itri for taking the top three slots in No Stakes Mod Trivia. I hope you all enjoyed that. I just wanted to do something fun uh, related to the mods to fill our breaks. I have filled my stomach with uh, pizza. It was delicious. Okay, I'm done with the melancholy jazz music. I typed in chill jazz, but I didn't mean like mournful jazz. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's ask a... That's enough of that. <laughs> Let's get rid of this. A uh, bye bye. A uh, bye bye. King of the castle, huzzah! All right, we're back. We're back. We have three hours left. That's only a little bit more than a regular stream. High key kind of feels like nothing. We nailed this. Look at look at us go. I think I probably will actually cut it. I probably will actually cut it. At 12 hours, maybe? Question mark? Mayhaps? We'll see. We'll see where we're standing in the in the narrative. Depends on how good the timing is. Yo, what's up, Omelette? Welcome on in. Alright. Happy Mods Day to you as well. Alright, time to re-enter. <laughs> to to minimize the zoomies. Yeah, it's 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 a good it's a good idea. Alright, we're jumping back into it. Thank you all so much for waiting for me while I ate my din-din. It's very, very tasty. All right, let me get my little blanket going. Cause now it's nighttime, it's time to be cozy. Everyone say bye to Quizzleye. Thank you, Alkali. What team is I again? You should be able to see in the extension. If you're on a computer, you should see in the upper left-hand corner, a little thing that tells you, but three dogs in a suit, you are you are on the counts, and I believe you are the notorious member of the counts who is not always voted in the counts' best interest. But yes, that is where you are. That is where you stand. So this was a great break activity. Thanks. Check it out. I'm glad you liked it. Thanks for sharing fun facts about yourselves. You got your 50th Arnak winning BGA today. Fantastic. GG is omelet. All right. Welcome back, Tony. I hope you've gotten some work done today. <laughs> we haven't distracted you too much. All right, what do we have? We have eligible options. Ooh, it's time to get married, chat. And the, oh, wait, chat, the expedition. Wait, the expedition to Chur. Oh, we do find out what happened to our horses. Oh my God, remember how I literally was like, oh my God, what happened to the expedition? I can't believe we never found out. Oh my God, I'm so excited. We, okay, as a reminder, we sent over professors and horses. That's what we ended up doing. In an uncharacteristically brash move, your treasure bursts, uh, bursts into the council chambers unannounced, right in the middle of a session. Your majesty, most excellent news. The expedition that your predecessor, Monarch Vermis, sent to Chur has finally returned. <gasps> oh, your majesty. Uh, did it bring back anything good? I can't believe they survived, or that's incredible. Indeed, it's clear from their tale that it was a miracle that they made it back at all. Oh. 
though they have not brought us any riches. Their tale, the tale of their great adventure is surely one for the ages. Ooh, I mean, I guess bring them here so I may hear it. I'm uh, suspicious that they didn't bring anything back. I'm worried about some, perhaps some stealing and some smuggling. The remaining crew arrive within a week, within the week. Still tired and disheveled, they all have a mad look in their eyes. The horses ate everything, oh God. Welcome back, King. <laughs> um, okay. Go on, take your time. Well, what the ha what happened to the untold riches? Yeah, I'm gonna ask for what happened to the untold riches. <clears throat> the expedition scholar says everything was going fine, your majesty, until we discovered the vault. Uh, that sounds ominous. It contained, I don't know how to describe them, accursed demons of the seventh god. Okay, we are, we are devout followers of the ninth god. The seventh god is bad news. Horrors that should never be witnessed by living people. Oh, okay. So many of us died or were driven to insanity by the voices in their heads. Ah, uh, so no riches then? My queen, nobles of the council, we should probably decide what will be done with these poor souls. What about my riches? It's very Lovecraftian. Yes, Alkali, for sure. They've braved the far reaches of the world, world in the name of our kingdom and returned. Surely a celebration is in order or at least a few knighthoods. All right, the Crown's Explorers have returned from their mission to Chur, but empty-handed. What should their reward be? A, we will honor them all with knighthoods. Increases stability, lowers defiance. Ooh, I like that. They will be compensated for their troubles. Increases stability, decreases treasury. Okay, our treasury is at a stable spot, though, so that's not the bad. That's not the worst thing in the world. <laughs> We'll hold a parade in their honor. Ooh, that's a bigger hit to the treasury though. Um, we can't afford to give them anything right now. Uh, I have no power here, so this is a vote. Vote for the, um, what are you guys called? The nobles. I always forget what you're called. You're called nobles. All right, exclamation point, vote, and then a letter. And if you're just joining us, exclamation point, join, and a pronoun, so he, she, or they to be assigned to one of the, the one of the factions. All right. Looks like the seas have it. All hail. You will vote to, uh, uh, will hold a parade in their honor. Yes, defiance went down. Great, that's exactly what we wanted. Fabulous, good, 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 good. God, there's not a whole lot we can do about the counts and their stupid farming, but at least we can hold off on the Baron's defiance and the, the patrician's treasury situation. Word spreads of their return, and soon peasants and nobles alike hang on every word as they recount their tales in taverns across the country. All right, eligible options. Time to smooch a smooch. I have found three potential matches for you. One eligible young candidate from each of the kingdom's three regions. Choose wisely, you'll be securing a powerful alliance. Yes, I know. Great hall, three portraits. For now, each is covered by a cloth. All right, see the eligible candidates. They whisk away the cloth for the, from the first portrait. All right, who are my, who are my smoochy options? Ooh, this is Desa, Desa Domina, Desa Domina. The eldest, eldest daughter of the Eastern three underscore dogs, underscore in, underscore a, underscore suit dynasty. Forgive the snooty expression. I'm sure that's caused by an errant brush stroke. Mm. I do have to remember, yes, I, yes. Mmm. Oh, chicken, that's interesting. I wonder, I wonder if that has any effect. 
spend most of spends most of her time with a fencing master mastering the blade. I've heard rumors that she's training herself for some epic confrontation with an old rival. Oh, that's cool. From the coast, we have Zeno. Okay, this is my patrician candidate, everybody. The wealthy heir to Lady Patrician Party on Dudes Estate. Hell yeah, I don't know if Party on Dudes if you're still here, but this is your heir. He wasn't originally the heir, but his elder brother had an unfortunate accident. Ooh, his interests are typical of the coast. Money, 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 and making more, but unfortunately he's quite bad at it. All of his business deals seem to fall through. Ugh. Yes, finally we have the, and yes, finally we have the March's offering, Gloria, scion of the prestigious chicken-free cages bloodline. Unlike most of the barons, they can conduct an entire conversation without shouting, and behold, they have such good looks. Oh, they can always be found at the card table dro, drunk as a skunk, betting away their inheritance. Despite that, though, they're obsessed with carving a place for themselves in history. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. None of these sound good. I need to have a healthy marriage so that I can have an heir. Uh, that's my blood. Oh, that's not my blood. Oh, jeez. I feel like I should do coastal. Because the patricians will be very mad if I don't take the coastal candidate. They're not great, though. Ugh, party on, dude. How, how much do you like your nephew, party on, dude? God, he doesn't sound great. <clears throat> but I think for the good, for the good of the kingdom, I'm gonna pick the counts. Zeno of the coast. All right, Zeno. Here's hoping this works out. Oh, no! Oh, the barons went up. Oh. Oh no, not the barons. No, please, no, please don't revolt. Please, 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 please. Please don't do that. Please don't do that. That would be really not great for me. He's great. <laughs> Party on dudes. Uh, you might want to work on his like financial literacy. It looks like he's not so good at, at keeping up that fortune you gave him. Oh God, please don't rebel. I, uh, I thought it would only decrease the patricians if I didn't pick theirs. I forgot that it also increases everyone else's. I guess it's just insulting across the board, depending on who I marry. God, I should have picked a Baron. Damn, damn. Uh, let's do reverse voting. I think reverse voting is fun. All right, the royal wedding, descent in the arena. Oh, is this Steven's legacy of messing with the arena? Mm. Just putting the pressure on? Mm -hmm. All right, let's start with descent at the arena. The spy master says, a coastal gladiator named Onks has become remarkably popular. Oh, is it this again? It's the same, we've seen this event before. Uh, Oh yes, those fighting contests. Precisely. And for a gladiator, he's outspoken. In his last match, he donned a crown and claimed he would be the better monarch than you ever would be. We've had a really good luck with not having any repeated events, so I'm sorry that this is a that this is a repeat, but we'll see who they pick to fight this time. It's all a joke for now, but it's still um, seditious. Uh, and he has a significant following. He or the other gladiators, or even the patricians at large, may decide to take this further. Ooh, Lord Patrician, what I'm playing now, the second. Depths below, I've never, I've never even heard of this Onks person. Why would he speak against the crown? Um, I don't want to raise, I don't want to raise defiance anymore, so I'm gonna say uh, he can speak freely. What I'm playing now, the second nods approvingly but it all comes down to the council's decision. All right, council. <sighs> Leave Onyx to fight however he pleases, 70% on stability. Lord Patrician, what I'm playing now, the second shall fight Onyx, that's what we did with Steven last time. We can arrange for an accident or we can have the queen's gladiator, gladiator bodyguards fought in, brought in to fight Onyx. 
Honestly, I'm okay with any of these. I will let I will let my glorious council of nobles decide what the fate shall be. Um, so exclamation point, exclamation point, vote on what option you want to see. Oh, Chad, I'm trying to get sleepy. Oh no, <laughs> I was doing so great, but then I got pizza in my belly, and now I'm sleepy. I'm a little bit sleepy. Three more hours. Three more hours. Three more hours. We can do it. We can do it. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Bloody, I'm so impressed. What time is it for you right now? Heike, if you make it to the end of this, you are an absolute, you are an absolute legend. Yeah, everyone, real quick, just for, out of curiosity, what time is it for everyone right now? It's 1.30, damn, damn bloody. <laughs> quick, get hot vampires on the screen to wake up Ray. It's the only way. It's the only way. Oh, damn. Damn, y'all. It's cool. I like knowing what time everybody's watching. For me, it is 7.30. Hey, King, we're in the same time zone. All right. Oh, we don't want him to fight. You want to arrange for an accident? Oh, yeah, those filthy patricians lowering my treasury. That tracks. Luckily, they need to get it quite low before it actually becomes a problem. Yeah, my clock is wrong. It's wrong by a, just, a, just a smidgen, just a couple minutes. Again, Clocks are just for the vibe of what time it is. It doesn't matter what time it actually is. No one cares. Time is a construct. You have the spy master make a few discreet arrangements. A few weeks later, she returns. Onks's last bout didn't go well, I fear. He had a bizarre accident with a trident. I'll spare you the details. Um. Ugh. No, I want details. The spy master informs you that the trident was the least of Anx's concerns. <laughs> this unfortunate event involved oil on the sand, a weak a weak point in a helmet, a copper net, and a pair of wild horses. Oh wow, that was quite elaborate. Okay. Oh no! Oh no! The coast got higher. Uh, got higher defiance. That's the career of an athlete for you. You won't need to worry any further. All right, authority went up, that's good. Losing trust, oh God, what's wrong with the counts now? I do love the count music though. Your majesty, the common folk of the East still don't trust your, our coins, ugh. They have gone back to bartering with chickens and bushels of wheat. If we don't do something to win back their trust soon, their economy will be completely will completely implode. All right, how can the council convince the peasants of the east to trust coins again? A forcibly buy up all the chickens and wheat and other barter goods. Oh jeez. Oh no 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 patricians. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. No ma'am. No ma'am, no sirs. The E should adopt foreign currency instead. Oh, that's up for defiance. Without having done anything, claim to have solved the crisis. There's nothing to be done. God, I don't want A or B. Just adopt a foreign currency instead. Where's the building was 30? Defiance going up is bad, but that amount of money is just so hard to recover. <sighs> What's wrong with accounts now? I feel disrespected. You should have I also just don't want a rebellion again. But it would raise count defiance? I don't know which is worse. Pick your poison, yeah. I mean, the thing is that they're both, they're both very bad for me. But I think having high defiance is worse because then we start getting into rebellion territory. So I'll concede this to the patricians. Everyone, everyone else has already met their goal. How many goals, this will be the second one, I think? 
So no one's gonna like win yet, I believe. So I'm gonna mark that one as no. Cause I think, I think that's the worst one. I'm sure the patricians are gonna flood A, but uh, counts and barons, if you don't want the patricians meeting their goal, um, D is also not a bad option for most of you. Like counts, that's high farming, that's cool. I just can't have higher defiance. That That's the one thing we can't have. Ooh, oh, it's tied? All right, I'll leave it for another second, just for the delay. Ooh, okay, all right. I'm, I'm ending it, I'm ending it. You've had lots of time. Three, two, one. Oh, headbang maniac at the very end. At the very end. Uh, there's nothing to be done, yikes. Oh, the Count's trade is abysmal. Oh no. Oh, their farming is now cornucopia. Jeez, jeez. The Eastern economy doesn't completely implode. In fact, their farms are more bountiful than ever. The commoners are locked out uh, from trade with the rest of the kingdom. Oh God. Farm, farm, farm. Oh Jesus. It's so hard to manage everybody. Our wedding, your wedding to Zeno is naturally the talk of the kingdom. Nobles and peasants alike travel from across the realm to attend. For a week and a day, the capital is one giant party. It feels like you're the only one not taking part. Instead, you're getting ready for the ceremony, blah, blah, blah. We've heard this before. Do you take this man to be your lawfully wedded husband? Um, I do. Lower that defiance. Uh, then I pronounce you queen and husband. After the wedding, of course, come on, Zeno. Love me, please, please, dear God, please, I'll smoochy smooch. I just wanna be leader if such when it happens. <laughs> when we don't farm, we practice dark magic. Farm, farm, farm. <laughs> demons, demons, demons. That's, that's, that's the, that, in a nutshell, that's the counts. It's farm, 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 demons, demons. <laughs> After the wedding, of course, I should have, we should get an emote that's numbers, numbers, business, business. After the wedding, it's like a, so like a kind of like a bongo cat type emote. Um, after the wedding, of course, there's a feast. And after the feast, a dance. And your husband, Zeno, dances, uh, only dances with obvious reluctance. Oh. All right, we lowered some defiance, which is very, very good. God, these counts are running away with it, though. By the time you find yourself alone with Zeno, it's past midnight and you've never felt more tired. Neither of us asked for this union, but I assure you, it can blossom into something of mutual benefit. I totally agree, Zeno, give me a baby. He, my husband, you know what, Tony? I don't need my husband to like me. I just need my husband to give me a child. It's a bit of a cold approach, isn't it? Um, agreed. I'm gonna say maybe we will fall in love once we get to know each other. Statistically unlikely, but there's always a chance. Damn, homie, okay. You head to your separate bed chambers. Perhaps you will draw closer in time, but for now your husband is happy to keep you at arm's length. Ugh, come on, come on. What is wrong with my marriages, chat? Why, why are they always like this? All right, all right. <clears throat> I guess that's the end of this season, huzzah. Oh, outwitting the spy master deep in the forest of the march. Baron Alkali Metal has gone boar hunting with a few of his close friends. I think this is Alkali's first official appearance. It's been long enough. <gasps> oh wait, no, maybe you were, no, 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 no. I recognize your character. You've definitely been shown before. I take that back, I take that back. Baron Alkali Metal says, bad news, friend. The spy master's still watching us like a mother bear watching her cubs. <laughs> My bad, Alkali. It's just been 10 hours since it last happened. <laughs> Honestly, my child was probably a good choice if a bit of a drunkard. Yeah, I'll take it. Uh, Baron Duchess says, 
Give me a crossbow and I'll shoot the damn bear. Stick its head up, stick its head up on my wall. Yeah, but the thing is, I don't know. I, I think maybe, honestly, the way I'm approaching the marriage scene might actually affect my chances because none of them felt like they would actually be successful. I've been changing my character since mine keeps dying. <laughs> That's probably a good idea, Junbi. Are you officially Junbi the... No, you're still Junbi the second. I don't think we ended up imprisoning you a third time. Uh, let's not get ahead of ourselves, says Alkali. We need to pretend to be harmless until the time comes to strike. The Baron's aim to raise the other region's defiance to a total of at least six. Okay, you're still at five. Not there yet. All right. The famine begins, oh God. Late at night, two counts meet in an ancient stone cemetery to discuss their schemes against the queen. Our grain, ooh, Tony Galati II. How, how did I know Tony would make another appearance? Tony Galati II says, our grain stores are looking much more impressive than the rest of the kingdoms. Of course, Tony Galati II, head of, <laughs> Head of Sales and Distributions of the Counts of the East. I'm shocked. All right. Uh, Count Unstable says, Yes, I have, I've had se I've had peasants from the... Ugh. I've had peasants from the coast moving onto my lands, desperate to sponge off our prosperity. Farming, farming, demons, demons. <laughs> God, farming can't go any higher. Good jeez. Tony Glotty the second, head of... Uh, <laughs> Head of um, sales and distribution of the Council of the East says, How delightful, but won't summoning this demon be difficult? It's magic beyond our usual fare. The walls of reality are sturdy, says Unstable. Very fitting name for this character. But they can be weakened. A tide of blood must wash, must, must swallow this kingdom in its wake. Chaos. <laughs> for the stability, for the next stage of their scheme, the Council must lower stability to four. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so the counts are on stage two, barons and uh, uh, and the patricians are on stage one. Ooh. The cr oh my god, we have to go see the crab trial. Oh my god. <laughs> After months of delay, Lady Patrician Junbi the second is finally due to stand trial for her crab-related market manipulation. <laughs> God, this game is so good. It's really clever. The writing is really, is really quite clever. You stand accused of perpetrating fraud and tricking hundreds into buying expensive crabs. How do you plead? Aw, oh, didn't update your character, Junbi. I'm sorry. You still look cool, though. Um, Junbi the, June, Patri Lady Patrician Junbi the second says, I am guilty only of making money. <laughs> so I broke a few laws along the way. What's that? Is that a crime? <laughs> the crap NFTs will take off. You just have to believe. Chancellor says, yes, obviously I pronounce you guilty as charged and your fate will be decided by the queen. Um, pardon the offender, which ha oh, has a lot of defiance issues. But it lowers, it's a lower and a raise. But I don't know which is which. Imprison the guilty party. Hey, I do like hanging people. I do, I would very much like to hang the scoundrel. But that would probably raise defiance in the, uh, the coast, which I don't want. Pardon the offender. But if I pardon, that probably raises the Baron's defiance, which is worse. Which is worse. You know? Imprison the guilty party raises probably defiance of the patricians. Probably the last two are d up defiance of the patricians and I'm assuming pardon the offender is up defiance of everyone else. And the defiance of everyone else is more concerning. I don't want high def uh, defiance of the patricians because it helps the barons, but also the, tr the barons reaching their goal uh, kind of incentivizes them not to revolt. So, ah, uh, I don't want to hang the scoundrel because that helps the counts. So I think I will just imprison her. Lady Patrician June B. the second is dragged away in chains, waiting for clemency. Most of the watching nobles agree that justice has been done 
except for the patricians, of course. Yeah, that was expected. Increased defiance in the patricians and increased authority. Huzzah, prison again! <laughs> oh my god, it's another person I imprisoned that one time. Noble patrician Varian Hex II says, please, your majesty, June B the second has a young child or has young children. <gasps> Who is supposed to pay for the upkeep of her villa? Oh, poor June B the <laughs> second. Inside trader money, whatever will she do? Well, anyways, June Lady Patrician June B the second is now Lady Patrician June B the third. Can I get some huzzas in chat? Thank you very much. We have officially reached our third generation. Love to see it. <laughs> He's like next. <laughs> Ah, uh, God, helping hand. That didn't go great last time we had helping hand. Let's do begging for scraps, maybe? Huzzahs in chat. Thank you, Barb. When Baroness Polo Monkey enters the council chambers, her clothes are stained and rumpled and her face is haggard. Baroness Polo Monkey says, The servants have left my estate. The walls are crumbling. The kitchen is bare. Ah, uh, how did this happen? Even my brewery is running dry. I am utterly penniless. I beg for whatever spare coin the council can give. All right. Ooh. All right. Uh, often a countless countess, Bill frickin' Murray is wealthy. She should help. The crown should provide funds from the treasury or you must deal with it yourself. Um, let's not let B happen. The other ones are, well, that lowers defiance. I like to lower defiance. <laughs> but what about husband, huh? Huh? Lowers defiance. Lowering defiance of the barons would be good. But letting the, 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 letting the coffers dry. Yeah, a thousand's a lot, Itri. A thousand is quite a bit. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, I don't know. We lose stability. If it fails... Oh, no. You know what maybe I'll do? I don't know. A thousand dollars is so much though. I don't know why I'm more scared of the patricians thing than than the, the counts. I should probably be more scared of the counts because they're in stage two. They're in stage two, let, lest, lest we forget. And if people are saying A would hurt stability, but I don't know that. People are saying that, but I don't know it. It's not listed. So I'm gonna leave this to a vote. I'm not gonna mess with it. Oh, did I lose my... No, oh, they're here, they're here. Captions are still here. I'm not sure which is gonna win though. Well, I guess I do, I guess I do. The, the patricians aren't voting in enough numbers. All right, uh, Countess Bill frickin' Murray is wealthy. She should help. Sorry, Bill. Bill, you voted for yourself to pay as well. Countess Bill frickin' Murray is wealthy. She should help. Oh, it failed. But it, 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 okay, it's not that bad. Oh no, they're mutinous? Why? By Zahenna's ashes, really? Oh, you're gonna bring my dead wife into this? Really? Really? Can Baroness Pole Monkey not scrabble up some cash herself? Oh, the East hates me. Oh God. Uh, no, that's really, that's not what I thought that outcome would be. Even if she wanted to, Countess Bill Frickin' Murray cannot go against the council's decision. Muttering darkly, she reluctant, re reluctantly hands over the gold. But as it turns out, she owed money to a number of Eastern merchants. And when they find out that Bill Frickin' Murray is flinging money around, 
They descend, pressuring her to pay up. Oh, God. Bill freaking Murray's got debt collectors on her. Word quickly spreads about your lack of generosity, probably spread by Bill freaking Murray and her allies. Your name is not spoken of kindly in the East for quite some time. Oh, no. Yeesh. Yeesh. Uh, okay, I guess it's time for helping hand. Zeno says, Clovia, I had something I wanted to ask you. All right, what can I do for you? As you surely know, I run a very successful jeweler's guild back home in the coast. What's up, Zeno? Can, can we work on our love life? Can we go to counseling or something, Zeno, please? But the current laws are a little restrictive of my trade. Lots of tariffs and regulations. You know how it is. Oh, this is the same thing. This is the same thing that Zahina asked for me last age. I was hoping you could push forward some changes for the council. Uh, eliminate some of the import duties on Asteni jewels, perhaps. God, it, they're all the same, you know? They're all just trying to use me for my power and my wealth. They're all, they're all the same, chat. They're all the same. Yo, DBX Runner, welcome back. You want me to give the coast preferential treatment? I think it's only fair the other regions can't compete with us in the jewelry trade anyways. I'll assemble a council. I, I'll assemble a council. Excellent, I'll see you there. <sighs> Should import taxes on foreign jewels entering the coastal port be reduced? Reduce the taxes on gemstones uh, from Estesh or ban the import of all Esteshi gemstones or do nothing. Oh my, oh my, oh my God, everything is terrible. Everything is bad, chat. Everything is bad. Everything is bad. But I think, chat, how do we feel about doing nothing? Hi, Key. I think doing nothing sounds awesome. Personally, what are, what are people thinking? What are, what are, what are, let me, let me pull my court. How are people feeling? and destroy the trade. Listen, I'm nowhere near my goal. Don't you be worried about my goal. All right. All right, chat. For some chaos. Pulling girls what's voting for. Now I'm trying to suss out a veto. I'm trying to suss out a veto. All right, I'm going to so, so suss some chaos into this. I'm going to do reverse voting for this round. So you're gonna vote for your least favorite option. Once again, voting for your least favorite option, the option with the least votes is going to pass. All right. Reverse voting. Le you're voting for your least favorite option. I'm really curious how this is gonna how this is gonna shake out. Oof, no, out. Do nothing is great, chat. What happened to do nothing? Remember when we all said that that sounded good? <laughs> bloody, listen, bloody. My brain is Swiss cheese. <laughs> I am so tired. Oh my god. Okay. So, oh god, no. Damn. Ban the import of all Asteni gemstones was the winner. Ugh, all right. It could have been worse though. I think it could have been worse. Coast is defiant. All right. Trade is modest. Banning Asteni jewels has a marked effect on the patrician's economy. Cheaper, lower quality stones are imported from Ashmead. Um, but it's an arduous process. 
A number of nobles are clutching their old jewelry with increased paranoia as their valuables increase, as their value increases sharply. Oh, there's gonna be some robberies in the future. All right, Baron Alkali Metal uh, says, thanks for your efforts. The spy master is focusing her attention on other regions. And while the cat's away, the mice shall play. Duchess says, cats aren't best for getting rid of mice. You're better off with a terrier. I think you missed the point of my analogy, says Alkali. Never mind. Our next step is to replace the palace watch with our own agents. Duchess says, it should be easy enough. If the queen can't pay them, the watch will look for money elsewhere. For the next stage of their scheme, the barons must lower the treasury to 1500. All right. So they have the same goal now as the patricians. Interesting. Okay, it's time to buy more houses. Exclamation point, fund the letter of the building you want to fund and how much you want to spend. Once again, you can spend money on any building regardless of your color. The top two most funded buildings shall win. No, 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 no allyship, mm -mm, no colluding, no colluding in my court. What is this? What, why does everyone want a prison so bad? Just stop that. Stop that. I'm broke, you tax too much, womp womp. A womp womp. God, I wanna make more coffee, but I probably shouldn't. You wanna know what wouldn't help my post stream zoomies? Caffeine at 8 p.m. Yeesh. <laughs> Zoom, I am gonna not sleep at all. <laughs> Zoomy zoom. All right, F and D, you guys want a fortress and you want a prison, interesting. It shall be done. <gasps> About my heir! Please, please, please make baby with me, please. Your marriage to Zeta was not what you'd hoped. Come on. He seldom sleeps in your bed. No breakfast. Oh, it's the same thing that happened with the first lady. You exchange only a few frosty words before he departs to a board meeting. The last thing on your mind is producing an heir, but the needs of the kingdom must prevail. Oh, jeez. Dragon King 7 thank you for that follow. Welcome on in. Uh, feel free to type exclamation point join and then a pronoun, either he, she, or they, and you can be added into the game to play with us. Congratulations are in order. A royal wedding was a magnificent affair, but something's still missing. You need an heir. We need someone young whose loyalty is assured. A child of your own would do the trick, even if they are a bastard or the youngest of many cousins. All right. So we did a lowborn child orphan last time. Didn't go so well. <laughs> um, let's do, I want to do a bastard child. That could be fun. But no, we're here to win. We're here to actually win this game. So I demand that I shall have my own child. Ah, uh, the traditional method. No one will object to that. I'll arrange for the two, for you to take a month off of ruling so you can um, get down to business. A month? A month? I got stuff to do. No, no Awuga, I got stuff to do. Uh, a city in flames. Okay, let's do itching for a fight first. Maybe? <gasps> Yay, Baron Beb Zev Zevi Love. Your Majesty, in the march we have, fi uh, we in the march have finished a complete reorganization of our new army. It truly is a powerful beast now. Also, you look really cool, uh, Beb. You look really cool. That's a lot of canoodling. <laughs> Lots some stuff. Oh, uh, yes, this is very lovely. Uh, sure, yes, very lovely. Moreover, I was hoping the crown might be willing to host some military exercises. Okay, we've seen this before. The soldiers are restless. Uh, you want me to start a war? Uh, can you find exercises for me? Sort it out. I'm not, I don't want to get involved, but I also can't have defiance get raised. So, define exercises for me. 
We just need a suitable campaign to wet our swords and spears. An unbloodied army isn't worth its salt, I say. All right, uh, let's see what the council thinks. The treasurer says, instead of a costly war, your highness, we could establish mercenary, a mercenary company uh, that fights abroad and take a healthy cut of the profits. That's what we did last time. Marshall says, or if your majesty wishes to gain something more than gold, we should use our might as intended and make inroads into Tavalin, whose meager army is surely no, will surely be no match. Okay, so last time we did the mercenary company, which again, is quite a good option for everybody, at least for me. Um, let's, I should definitely veto something here. I am going to veto D, I think. It's the only thing that raises defiance. Oh, but stability. God, I, I'm so obsessed with... I'm so paranoid about defiance because I was overthrown last time. I'm forgetting about your schemes are also very, very important. Well, neither, neither the patricians nor the barons are going to vote for A. This money. So that leaves us B and C and D. Lowers defines, lowers stability, lowers, uh, raises authority. Lowers stability. Okay. Purple wants either B or C. God, they have, okay, they have the exact same stats. They have the exact same. I can't stop them. Hmm. I can't tell if chat's bluffing or not, if they're faking me out. It's so probably their least favorite option. It's not the best for me, though. Full scale invasion. That's got to be. That's got to be a lot. I'm gonna. I'm gonna veto C. B is also bad, but I think C is probably a starker uh, stability decrease. Okay, I'm vetoing C. I don't. I don't know if that was the right call, but I'm vetoing C. Okay, no more C. Fight it out amongst the other ones. I'm done here. So stressful, oh my god. All right, thank you, Barb, for, for voting A. I appreciate you. All right, we're going with B. Bun -dun. 13 nobles voted for start a border dispute with Tavalin. All right. Citing a centuries old agreement between the kingdom and the Ashmead Empire, which was one which once ruled Tavalin, the Baron's forces soon occupy a small strip of land on the March Tavalin border. So defiance in the march is down, huzzah! Stability is shoot teetering. I am iron fisted though with my authority. The marcher battalions see action, but not enough, as the locals resist. Resistance is paltry. Meanwhile, you await word from the Tavalnese Tavil queen. All right, I guess it's time for this extremely ominous event called a city in flames. What could possibly, could possibly be wrong here? Ooh, okay, Morgan. Okay. Okay, girl, you look great. I love the veil situation. Your Highness, there's been a terrible fire in the city of Porinsk, Porinsk, where once there were buildings, there is now a field of smoldering ash. Dozens of peasants have died. A cow kicked over a lantern, Your Highness. <laughs> Some milkmaid was burning the midnight oil and must have had unexpectedly cold hands. Huh? Huh? Awake now, yeah, chicken awuga. <laughs> Oh, wait, go. <laughs> poor cow. I'm sorry to hear about your city's kind of in flames. I'm gonna say poor cow. I was hoping the council might unlock some funds from the treasury so we could rebuild. Ooh, what should be done about the burned down city in the east? <laughs> That's how the Great London Fire happened. 
or Chicago or some city. I sell train Jesus. All right, our treasury is too low to rebuild. Sorry, chat. It's for, for the barons and the patricians. I can't spend that much money. Oh God, I can't veto A, shoot. Oh, oh no. <laughs> chat, no, no. Oh no. I, there's nothing I can do about it. I can reverse voting, but I don't know that that changes the outcome here. But we'll do it. We'll do it for funsies. All right, chat. It's reversed voting. So vote for your least favorite option. The option with the fewest votes will be the one that gets picked. Vote for your least favorite option. Least, least favorite option. The one with the fewest votes is the one that gets passed. Oh, find and punish the milkmaid responsible. Ooh, offer no help. Looks like it's got the fewest. All right, I'm closing vote. I'm closing voting in a second. Three, two, one. Voting was closed, huzzah! C, offer no help. To send word to the Counts of Porinsk that they will be expected to rebuild their own city without the Queen's help. Oh god, the East is furious. Oh no, and their trade is destitute. Oh, oh no! That was probably the worst option. Oh no, oh god, blood and stars. What is the point of having a queen in the first place? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm a woo. I'm sorry. No, please don't do it. Jeez. The ca the, this is gonna be the Count's game, I think. Tearing the veil, all right, this is, we've heard this a couple times. So this is, you're gonna pick a demon. You have met your, um, Unstable says, good news from the capital, my friend. Well, bad news, but good for us. And Tony Galati II says, oh yes, fires, wanted murders, giant spiders. Unstable says, all that and more. The fabric between the worlds is wearing thin. The time is ripe to summon a demon. Tony Galati II says, but well, which honored guest should we invite? I really, I really like her avatar, Tony. All right, pick for your demon. You can either have the Lord of Dismay or the Hungering Absence. You went for B last time, the Hungering Absence, the Queen of Corruption. So you can go for A if you want to switch it up. But the goal of A would be to lower your own faith, which is currently four. And the goal for B would be to raise your own trade, which is destitute. So I wouldn't recommend that one, to be totally honest. Not looking great for all y'all. All right, voting is closed. Bum bum. All right, Ank Hazard will never break through while the church has its claws in the hearts of people. Tony says, if we make the kingdom ideal for his presence, we will sweep through the land and leave nothing but grinning corpses. Ugh. From one of these corpses, we will simply pick up the crown. For the final final stage, oh jeez. For the final stage of their scheme, the counts must lower their faith to two or less. All right, you gotta be no religious. Tax time, baby, it's tax time. Well, about, about those taxes, we can't have defiance go up. I mean, it's, it's already bad, but I'm a tax everyone equally, I think. I'm not in desperate need of money right now. And I really don't want a revolution, so I'm common taxing. Ooh, the patricians. 
Uh, well, you got a trade bonus. You make 500 wealth selling snake oil that they claim cures scrofula. The other nobles gain uh, tw 200 wealth. Nice. Ooh, ooh, okay. Ooh, we got all new, all new cool looking events this time. I guess let's start in the March. I don't know, chicken. I don't know what to tell you. The Chancellor says a letter, your majesty, from Queen Emmeline of Taveline. <laughs> that rhymes. I like it. Dearest Queen Clovia, I regret to have learned that a number of soldiers bearing the banners of your barons have occupied the edges of my territory. I'm sure this is a very unfortunate misunderstanding. Still, I ask you to desist immediately. The consequences of not doing so will be severe. My gaunt will be watching as always. P.S. I know about your nut allergy. I have a nut allergy. Does the king of the castle devs know that? That feels very targeted. I do have a nut allergy. What the hell? Um, how does she know about my nut allergy? The chancellor says, most likely the gaunt obtained the information for her. There's, there are shadowy rumor but we believe that the Tavalines network of expert spies, but we believe they are the Tavalines network of expert spies and assassins. Oh, I wonder if that's where the snake guy, if that's if that's like the crew the snake guy belongs to. They've probably been watching your stream. I like the sounds of that, so she's threatening me. Uh, so she's threatening me. I would assume so, yes. Okay, should the barons remove their troops from Tavalin uh, as the Tavil, oh Jesus, this name is brutal. Should the barons remove their troops from Tavalin as the queen demands, the queen of, of Tavalin, that is. A, withdraw the baron forces from Tavalin. B, go on the offensive, taking as much territory as possible. Wow, that's got so many consequences. Lower defiance, higher authority, lower stability, lower military, and some personal wealth. Uh, option C, continue to occupy the border regions and wait for Tavlin to retaliate. On the offenses, that lowers. I think I'm okay with B. Sounds like you should have went to war with them. I don't know that I have a veto to do here. I guess I might veto A, because of the higher defiance. But nothing affects the treasury or the faith. Which is what I, which are the, the big uh, other things I need to worry about. Yo, welcome back, Duchess. Your character's been doing some cool shit. Oh, sorry. Some cool stuff. I'm sorry. I'm getting tired. My my um, language barrier is slipping. I'm sorry. Your, your character's been doing some very cool stuff, Duchess, uh, in your absence. She's been inciting some uh, revolutions. Can she go B? <gasps> Le gasp. Why would counts go B? Why would they do that? Sneaky, sneaky. What was happening? Because you want a lower stability? Mmm, mmm, I see, I see. Yeah, oh, she's been causing tons of trouble, Duchess. Don't you worry. I'm gonna love... I'm gonna leave it to a vote. No. B just has so many things, I can't fathom all the consequences. But I, I just don't like that A has the high defiance. It would raise the Baron's defiance. Is five the threshold for revolting or is it six? Yes, <laughs> isn't the answer, is it five or six? I'm assuming it's five. It's six? Six, okay, we can be okay with it. I'm gonna leave it up to y'all. All right, this is your vote. I'm not intervening, I'm saving my veto because I'm scared of worse, of worse things. Ah, 
it has to be higher than authority and stability. Oh, that's right. That's right. I forgot about that. I forgot it was like dynamic like that. I, t I actually totally forgot about that mechanic. Ooh, all right. It looks like B is our winner. Go on the offensive, taking as much territory as possible. What could possibly go wrong with starting a war? Uh, go on the offensive, taking as much territory as possible. The barons continue their campaign with your blessing, cutting a bloody swath across the rich fields of Tavalin. Ooh, okay. Defiance went down in the march. Authority went up. Stability went down. Don't love that. Don't love that. Military is now powerful. So it went down to seven. Some barons got increased wealth. I <laughs> like Mooney. What, what can I say? Uh, you hear nothing from Queen Emmeline and her and her troops only provide a token, oh, a token resistance. Still, you know, you'll have to watch your back. All right. Now we have an exotic plant. Ooh. Oh my God. Bloody lying. Shut up. That's such a cool outfit. Count Bloody Lion 666 strides into the council chamber, brandishing a clay pot from which grows a long leafy plant with floppy yellow flowers. Uh, Bloody Lion 666 says, our expert farmers have discovered a new kind of plant, your highness. I thought you might like to name this exciting new discovery. Ooh, oh, we gotta do Planty McPlant Face. We have to, we have to. We have to. Descriptive, I like it. This stuff grows wonderfully fast. It tastes horrible, but back, but the farm animals don't mind. I suggest we grow it in the east as livestock feed. Or perhaps it would make a nice addition to the palace decor, says the chancellor. What should be done with the newly discovered Planty McPlant face? Seize the Planty McPlant face crop and the Count's from the counts and planted in the palace, cultivated in the east, ban the crop, it could be dangerous. Oh no, I like decor. <laughs> uh huh. Um. Farm, farm, a demon, a demon. Farming doesn't matter. You guys have already maxed out your farming. What matters is defiance and the treasury. God, the thing is I can't ban A and C, which is what I need to do. I need to ban both of them. It's not worth my veto. It's not worth my veto. I, no matter what, something bad for me is gonna, you're gonna pick either A or C. And I can't ban them both, so it's a waste. Or vote B if you're, uh, I guess, um, if you don't want to revolt and you want to have high farming, then vote B. Which I guess the counts might need high farming in the future, but you're already maxed out, so. Ooh, can I hear the logic on why people are going B? I'm not against it. I'm very happy about it. But I want to know what's the logic behind going B here. Wait, what's happening? So they can't rebel. I see. I see. That's right, of course, because it would be in the other region's best interest to keep the other regions from rebelling. I think our brains are broken after 10 hours. Valid, valid. Me too, me too. Ugh, all right. You've gone up to enraged. Farm, farm, demon, demon. Bloody Lion's wealth has increased to 500. Oh, I'm sorry, I skipped over the text. I'm sorry. Meanwhile, Platy McPlant Face quickly establishes itself in your greenhouses, along your walls, and occasionally creeping into your windows. Oh, someone's gonna climb that and murder me later. I know it, I know it. They're laying the groundwork for it. 
All right, give me one second chat. I'm gonna run to the bathroom, I'll be RB. Okay, I'm back. Oh my god, chat, wait! Chat, we've crossed the barrier! We only have two hours left, it's just a normal stream. The length of a normal stream is all that's left. <sighs> okay, all right, well, while we're talking about the time and we're on a brief break, spiel, one more time! I am sorry, I have to keep doing it. Welcome to the Mod Marathon. Not welcome to, this is the Mod Marathon. I am slowly dying. <laughs> slowly deteriorating. If you've enjoyed this stream at all, the reason I'm doing this to my mind, body, and soul is because I love- is because, <laughs> Wake up for your streaming. Don't put that in my head. Feed me. I'm already gonna have the zoomies. Don't make it worse. <laughs> um, I, I'm doing this to my mind, body, and soul as a show of love and devotion to my moderators um, because I love them and I thought this would be cool and a fun way to raise some subs and bits. It was supposed to be a subathon where every bit and sub increased the time of the stream. Uh, and then one in particular man named Olympian came in and maxed out the subathon timer immediately. So that part of this day is broken. <laughs> it was supposed to be an integral part of today. It was immediately broken, so if you give bits or do a sub, it no longer increases the timer, but you should still do it because it's a nice thing to do because my mods rule. Um, 
And that's why I'm doing it. <laughs> Dli turned this from a subathon into just a very long stream. Um, yeah, that's why I'm here. That's why I'm doing this. I don't usually stream for 12 hours. I'm doing this just because I thought it'd be a cool way to raise some subs and bits from uh, my mods. All the money goes to them. It always goes to them anyways. So it's nothing new or special, but if this is the time to do it because it's fun and it's the day to say thank you. So if you ever thought about thanking my mods, do it today because why not? It's fun. If you have an Amazon Prime sub, you get, if you have Amazon Prime, you get sub for free to any channel every month, always. Uh, you should do it here, but you don't have to. You should do it somewhere. Um, yeah, bits are like a cent, so you should do that. I'm losing my mind. <laughs> That's it. That's it. That's it. That's all I have to say. Uh, welcome to the stream. Uh, happy mod day. We are now on the home stretch. Two more hours. Regular stream time. I can do a regular stream time. I do regular stream uh, times all the time. <laughs> okay. Basically, the point of my spiel, my spiel, my spiel is yours, is to say you should, <laughs> you should sub to the channel because it makes uh, this this very long experience worth it. That's all. Uh, as I said, we typically don't ask for subs or do subathons. This is just a one-time thing uh, I want you to do to, to do a nice thing for the mods because they get all the money from it and they're awesome year-round. <laughs> Still my joke. I'm sorry, Bakal. I had to do it. <laughs> I had to do it to you. Blam, blam. Oh, I feel a tickle in my throat and I hope it's me losing my voice and not me getting violently ill. <laughs> Uh, also, if you're just joining in, um, we're on hour 10 of 12 hours of King of the Castle. We're only on, can we talk about how we're only on decade three? These games are long, which is good because you like have the time to like establish a story and do stuff. But I thought we were going to blow through many, many, many more games. I thought that the first time we played this, it was only so long because I was like learning. But I think they're just actually this long. If you're like good at it and don't die immediately, a uh, low key compliment to myself. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna stop going off script. <laughs> I'm so tired. <laughs> blink, 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 blink. Okay. Uh, vultures, woohoo! <laughs> Count DVX runner, huzzah! <laughs> Okay, this pr will probably have time for one more, but if this if the last game doesn't complete, it'll st if so like okay rhyme okay hold on truth shut up <laughs> shut up okay hold on last thing I want to say before we play the game uh, we'll be doing a ton of giveaways to whatever region most recently won the game. There's two hours left. If someone wins now, there's probably time for a fourth game. However. If that timer hits zero and the fourth game isn't done, then the winners of the third game get it. So they're high stakes. This is probably the most high stakes game that we'll have because I have a sinking suspicion. Perhaps the fourth era might not conclude unless you guys are really efficient and really fast. There's a chance, there's a chance. Depends on when this one ends. But yeah, uh, high stakes, that's it. Congratulations that counts in the advance. <laughs> Also, I really love the partying sword art. <gasps> right, Bloody Lion? Right? I love it too. That was made by our graphic designer, Stepan, who is lovely and amazing. Um... <laughs> yeah, I basically said, can I get a partying mod sword emote or art? And that's what he gave me. I think it's really cute. All right. Count DBX Runner says, greedy marcher merchants are taking advantage of cheap Eastern labor. Your Highness, exploiting our natural resources and putting our training companies out of business. God, my voice is shot. They're vultures, vultures. Ooh, I like that that, ooh, yes! Baron feed me some wa underscore, underscore, underscore. Is it really such a problem? This is just business, ah. Uh, what should be done about the marcher merchants exploiting the East? <clears throat> A, kick out the barons and put trading companies back in Eastern hands. B, the queen will buy up the marcher trading companies. Or C, is just business, baby. <laughs> okay, option A would increase defiance, do some wonky stuff to wealth and do some wonky stuff to trade. God, the queen will buy the marcher trading companies. Jeez, that tanks our wealth. 
Mm, tanks are trade. That's terrible for me. I have to veto that. I have to. I have to. That's bad on me for me on so many on so many levels. I don't like that this increases defiance, but hopefully patricians and barons will help me out with not letting the counts get that. B was like it lowered our treasury, which was really bad for me. Um, and it all there was a lot of bad things involved in 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 B. We couldn't let that happen. That was really bad. That's why I saved my veto. Ray's officially snapped. <laughs> that is slander chicken. I'm not trying to do any. I'm just, I'm trying to do what I can do. This has nothing to do with faith. So it has nothing to do with the counts. If it did, this would be a different story. It should scare you that you all agree. It also should scare you that no patricians voted. Those are two very scary things. All right. It's just business, baby. DBX winner says, an utter travesty. I should have known better than to expect the council to be of any worth to anyone. Oh god, the east is so big, Angie. Oh no. And Baron, feed me some law, says, huzzah! My companies are safe. Glad the council sees sense for once, and they have no defiance. Good, 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 good. We like that. Love to see it. I don't like that the counts can rebel now, though. That's big yikes. That's big yikes. Congrats on your newfound wealth. Feed me some moi. Oh, jeez. I wasn't thinking they would raise the Count's defiance by that much. Somewhere in the march, Baron Alkali Metal sits at a banquet, gnawing on a greasy chicken leg. He and his fellow plotters discuss their scheme between mouthfuls. Uh, Alkali says, Some of our bribes have been accepted, but not enough. The queen is paying the balance watch well enough that their loyalties aren't easily swayed. Baroness Duchess says, so we have some of the watch in our pocket. Isn't that enough? Alkali says, no, not yet. We can't make a move until we're sure we won't be discovered. The Baron's aim for a lower treasury. Okay, you still need 1500. You are hard locked at that number. All right, we can add a new golden choice or iron choice. Raises authority. I don't need that. I will adopt the golden choice and get rid of the monarch's choice. Fabulous. All right, the counts can rebel if they would like, but you need 10 people in order to do it successfully. Um, let's do the planting. You, <laughs> yeah, Magic Moose Moo, I committed to 12 hours of streaming this game. <laughs> you will feel, oh god, it's Bloody Lion again. You feel relaxed and full of energy as Count Bloody Lion 666 strolls into the council chambers. A stray tendril of Planty McPlant face has curled around the arm of your chair. Oh, that's a little ominous. Wonderful day, isn't it, your majesty? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Are you guys gonna try to kill me with plants? Wait. I'm scared. I'm scared. Are you not happy to see me? <laughs> not particularly. Uh, perhaps a little too wonderful? Uh, Bloody Lion says, yes. A few of the scholars have been researching the properties of Planty McPlant Face. And the scent of the flower has a euphoric effect. But perhaps that's a good thing. If it makes everyone more cheerful, what's the harm? Look at me dressed up for you, Uwu. Uh, uh, is this delightful plant too good to be true? A, remove the planty McPlant face from the pla palace immediately. B, it's harmless. Keep it in the palace. C, keep it here, but make planty McPlant face illegal in the east. Um, 
I can't have it illegal in the East. Well, their, their defiance is already 10. Here's the thing, here's the thing, here's the thing. Their defiance is already 10. I can't do anything else about that. That 750 drops me below that wealth marker though. Not like they can be held nor defiant. Authority is fine. Stability, I do need to be careful about that stability. I don't know what, the thing is the chance ones always make me nervous. I don't know what that means. Oh, that isn't treasury. You're totally right, chicken. Sorry, thank you, thank you, thank you. I do mix up those icons quite often. Okay, then that's fine. I'm, I'm putting this to a regular vote then. I don't care that much. Uh, the East cannot possibly be more angry at me than they already are. So it's kind of, it's kind of moot. All right, go ahead and vote everybody on what we should do with this horrific Planty McPlant face, plant face infestation. Also, patricians, don't give up. <laughs> you keep voting, patricians. You can do it. <laughs> oh, all right. I'll give you guys a couple more seconds because people are still voting. All right. Three, two, one. Voted B for the gamble. We shall see. 12 voted, voted for, it's harmless, keep it in the palace. So this was the gamble, right? Hey, stability challenge succeeded. <gasps> Huzzah, defiance is now vengeful. You've gone down to nine. The count is relieved that their precious Planty McPlant face has not lost its good reputation. When you settle in your bed that night, leaves coil across your ceiling. That is so ominous. Oh, can you still rebel? Does it not change it? Damn, damn. Um, chat, what do we think? Panic in the council or unfolding chaos? They both sound terrible to me. Uh, let's do unfolding chaos. I feel like I've had a good run this game. I feel like I've done pretty well. There's an unusually large number of petitioners today, your majesty. Uh, ooh. Ooh. Let's, I'm not that it matters right now, but let's talk to Countess Giggles. Uh, tell me about your issues, Count, Countess Giggles, because that lowers farming. Which region is Giggles in? Yeah, uh, they're in the Counts, okay. Ooh, Giggles, you look cool. Your majesty, says Countess Giggles. Uh, 3888 to be specific. Someone has been burning my fields and raiding my villages. They're much too organized to be some petty bandit clan. By the blood, by the blood of the dead. Okay. I'm too tired to understand what that meant. <laughs> They're like ghosts in the night, in the night, always gone before dawn and covering their tracks. Um, oh, I, ha I get to deal with all of them. Okay. I will hear from the patricians next. Lowers military. Noble patrician Kit Kat says, a whole battalion of my soldiers have gone missing. Your serene highness. Uh, depths below, don't you think they're the ones causing trouble for counts? Do you? Huh? <laughs> I can't read anymore. Depths below. You don't think they're the ones causing trouble for counts, do you? Okay. Uh, and why are you here, Baron Headbanging Maniac? Baron Headbanging Maniac says, someone's been attacking trade uh, caravans in the march, your highness. And your trade is now opulent. They're not even targeting anything in particular. They're just looking to cause maximum havoc. It's those deserters for sure, the same ones going after Countess Giggles 38888's farm. So deserters are the root of your problems. Oh no! Oh no, that decreases my treasury by a thousand. There's more to it yet, your majesty. No, no! Oh my God, payment have been 
siphoned. Payments been, have been siphoned off from our tax collectors. A large amount of our expected income is missing. Why do I have zero stability? Why? Why? Oh my god. Someone has also been uh, convincing priests of the ninth god to preach against you, condemning your war in Tavalin as the influence of the seventh god. No! What do you mean? Oh my god. <laughs> Why? I was doing everything right. Someone please explain what's going on. Uh, Tavalin, do you think it's. Ooh, do you think it's related to Tavalin? Yeah. Oh, absolutely, your majesty. It is related to Tavalin. Oh, you sneaky sneaks. Queen Emmeline is a cunning woman. Oh, we... Chat, you wanted to go to war. You wanted... This was your idea. Oh, my God, high tech. Sorry for screaming. But you wanted to go to war. This was your fault. This was your fault, chat. We can win. I don't think we can. What's going on, <laughs> I don't... I don't have time to explain. We are playing a game called King of the Castle. It's a chat integrated game uh, where you can type exclamation point join and then a pronoun like he, she, or they. And you'll be added into the game as a character. You will then be added into one of three factions. You can see a list of chatters in various factions. We have the barons, the counts, and the patricians. I am your queen. Your job is to overthrow me by partaking in various schemes. Uh, looks like my demise is soon, but we will be starting a new game after my demise is finished. Oh, Duchess, you know I am. You know it. Also, hi, G. Welcome on in. Stop that, feed me. Not the zoomies. Uh, also, Tech, I've been streaming for 10 hours. I am a sleepy girl. A sleepy, sleepy girl. <laughs> all right. Um, this is all your fault for making Queen Emmeline mad. This is all your fault. Hmm. I advise caution. Anyone here can be on her payroll. Uh, I agree. We cannot go to a vote. It's too risky. Totally agree. Are you sure, your highness? The nobles will not appreciate this. They already hate me. They already hate me. <laughs> uh, you're going to type exclamation point join. And then whatever your pronouns are. So he, she, or they. Just one. So like exclamation point join she is what I would do. Um... <laughs> Perfect, Tech. Uh, let's see where you ended up. Tech got sorted into... Welcome to the Patricians, Tech. Good to have you amongst our ranks. Also, I guess we should probably maybe screenshot this since we're getting close to the end. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I've consumed at least eight Stroopwafels during this stream. I'm incredibly proud. Also, a bloody line, how are you still awake? Oh my god. Also, Alpha, what do you think about the Stroopwafels? I have so many questions. Um, also, yeah, three dogs in a suit. This is a very chatty stream. That's just how it is. It's not me stalling on purpose. It's not anyone in chat stalling on purpose. I talk a lot. That's just how this stream goes. Um, the giveaways are cool, but they're, they're not worth, like, you know, getting mad about stalling. What are Stroopwafels? Very important question, Bill. Very important question. I will let I will let Bloody Lion explain. Root out the traitors in our midst. That increases defiance, increases authority. I don't I'm not worried about my authority right now. Pull out of Tavlin while we still can. Second thought we should do this on a vote. Oh jeez. Defiance. I think. I think we have to pull out a tablet while we still can to increase uh, stability. Because if stability is zero, I'm going to be overthrown regardless. So I think that's what we have to do. Where's my where's my stability? Where 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 did stability go? The nobles are not pleased that you st uh, sidestep them. Of course, that's fine. But where is my stability above zero? Where's my stability stat? The baron sold the baron soldiers retreat from Tavlin giving up all the ground that they gained 
though not without a great deal of backlash and accusations of cowardice. Yes! Huzzah! We're at one again, thank God. The kingdom survives. <sighs> okay, all right. As long as we're at one, we are okay. And only seven counts have voted to rebel, so we move on to panic in the castle. Unrelated, my roommate um, has a date over and they're both in the kitchen deciding on what to what to drink. So I feel like I can't leave my room to get food at the moment. Oh, trombone Dalek, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. That's the worst. Hey, Lord Patrician Dragon King 77. Nice, like your fan. Your esteemed highness, I bring bad news from the coast. We are receiving reports of Studley Mary, yay! I am sure your news can wait. I bring urgent tidings from the march that demand the queen's attention at once. Wait your turn, you ignorant dolt. Ooh, nice. Uh, Lizzle Hyde, uh, Count of the East, says, why don't you settle your quarrels outside? Meanwhile, I have news from the East that is really urgent. Ew, human contact, me too. Me too, bloody lion. I feel you. <laughs> um, okay, God, you're all giving me a headache. Dragon King 77 says, The industries of the coast are in grave danger. The workers are striking. They demand fewer hours and higher pay. Uh, Studley Mayor says, Is that all? By the 9th, order in the march has broken down. Your Majesty, some battalions have killed their own officers and, be <laughs> and begun roving the wilderness, acting like common bandits. Lizzle Hyde says, My news is worse still. The Count's the counts, Eastern counts, are corrupt. Your Majesty judges are letting off the vilest criminals in return for the slightest bit of coin. Chancellor says, all these problems have arisen because the kingdom is increasingly unstable, Your Majesty. Something must be done. Um, okay, what would you suggest? Unfortunately, we have a lack of resources to tackle all these problems at once. We must vote on which matter to prioritize. Okay, everything increases stability, that's good. We have break up the strikes along the coast. We probably increase the defiance of the coastal people and decrease their trade. Hunt down the outlaws of the deserters in the march. That would decrease military. Probably increase defiance. Okay, it's going to increase defiance somewhere. It's just a matter of where. I mean, it would, it would increase the defiance of the other two places, right? So I'm assuming if we help out the march, it increases the defiance of the Patricians and the, uh, and the Counts. All right, I'm putting it to a vote. Actually, let's do this. Let's do reverse voting for this vote. So vote for your least favorite option. <laughs> vote for the one you don't want to see happen. Because I think that'll make this more interesting. Oh, Trombone Dalek, I hope, I hope you've got, I hope they have a good first date, but I also hope you get to leave your room at some point. All right. Vote for who you want me not to help. All right, give you a few more seconds. All right, I'm closing the voting in three, two, one. Break up, oh no, it's reverse voting. So that means reform the Eastern courts is what won. All right. The corrupt Eastern judges are stubborn. 
When you try to remove them from their post, they retaliate by enforcing the- Oh, I remember this. By enforcing the old forgotten laws that everyone had agreed to ignore. We've had this happen before. Uh, suddenly, merchants are legally required to wear blindfolds on weekends, and every coin must be passed under the nose of a cat before it is spent. Trade grinds to a halt. Oh god, you've got zero trade. Jeez. Once the stupid old laws are repealed, you enact crucial legal reforms. No more corruption in the East, at least less of it. <laughs> yeah, going down from 10 to 9 is not exactly substantial, but I'll take it. The crisis in the East has been quashed, making the kingdom as a whole slightly more stable. But the nobles of other regions feel that you are ignoring their problems. Uh, yeah, everyone else is big mad. Everyone else is very, very mad. But my stability is three! That's great! Huzzah! All right, that's the end of this season. Baron Alkali Metal says, luck is with us, my friend. Palace Watch are, the Palace Watch are in our pocket. They took our money gladly. The kingdom can barely afford to pay them a living wage. And Baroness Duchess says, music to my ears. Soon the throne will be ours. Is it gonna be another three-way rebellion? Oh God. Alkali says, indeed it will be. Uh, but now we must plan our next steps. All right, Barons, what would you like to do? Would you like to kill the queen and place your own claimant on the throne? That would be to lower stability. Or would you like to control the queen with the threat of assassination? Goal to be you'll raise your own military. All right. Give it a couple more seconds. All right, you wanna kill me again. Fantastic, awesome, love that. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, you wanna kill the queen and lower stability. Over the next few months, we'll have our troops, troops infiltrate the capital disguised as beggars. At my single, they'll sig, sig, good no. They'll gather and storm the palace in the dead of night. <laughs> really weird to see the captions empty just because Ray is silent, yeah. Uh, that very rarely happens. The bribed watch will open up the gates. Our soldiers will, soldiers will murder the queen in her bed and have our claimant on the throne before sunrise. Oh, jeez, Alkali. Okay, chill. Chill. Duchess says, ruthless, I like it. But what about the counts and patricians? They'll call us usurpers if we rise up in revolt. Mmm, oh no. Alkali says, not necessary, my friend. If the kingdom's falling apart under Queen Clovia's rule, we can persuade them to accept anything. When am I ever chill? Valid, valid. Oh, uh, okay. For the final stage of the Baron's scheme, they need to raise, they need to lower the stability to one or less. Thank God I just raised it, jeez. All right, starting a conspiracy on the coast in a dingy seaside tavern. Two patricians of the coast meet to plot their latest scheme. Ugh, my voice. Oh my God, the treasuries. You know what? Perhaps deciding to play a strictly narrative game for 12 hours with no voice acting was a really, really bad idea. <laughs> it felt fine in my head at the time. Noble Patrician Ready May says the treasury is practically empty and the queen is struggling to fund her ambitions. We're perfectly placed to offer her a loan. Lord Patrician Itri says, so help us, so helpful of us. Rennie says, indeed, these loan agreements will be, will be as friendly as a bear trap, absolutely loaded with hidden catches in the small print. Now watch me work my magic. Maybe I should get some tea. Maybe I'll make some tea after this game. The treasure says, good evening, noble patrician. What exactly is the purpose of this meeting? I heard about the queen's recent money troubles and I thought we could both benefit. Sign here, ends here. Mm-hmm. Mm, this agreement does seem fair. Very well, I'll sign. The queen will be pleased. Good night, noble patrician. And may the ninth bless you. All right, so the treasury is high. Uh, Renny May has got, uh, slightly less money, and so has Itri. <laughs> You're not wrong, Duchess. See, easy as pie. 
but not enough to bankroll the queen. The rest of the kingdom must be in debt uh, to us as well. To advance their scheme, the patricians must have the highest trade in four seasons. Okay. All right, everyone, both the Lord, both the counts and the barons are on the third stage of their scheme and the patricians are on their second. Uh, and the counts are currently rebelling. Love that for me. Welcome on in very fast. Thank you for joining us. You have joined. What team are you on? Welcome to the patricians very fast. Uh, opening strike. My heir. Oh, God. Okay, we're not doing rebellion. We'll save that for last. My heir. Your quest for an heir is finally complete. Huzzah! You stand before the council, holding a small child in your arms. Should I die, I ask that my crown be passed down to... The council hall is filled with nervous silence. Uh, my daughter. I like to play as girls. Uh, the assembled nobles break out into polite applause. By designating an heir, you've cemented the stability of the kingdom. Yes, yes, okay. Ah, noble patrician Eva Little uh, says, Your August Majesty, may I be the first to congratulate you on the birth of your daughter. What is her name? Mm, yes, of course, Clovia II. Excellent, your serene highness. I'm sure your little Clovia II will grow up to be a chip off the old block. Hey, the music is all excited again. Dun, dun, dun. All right, opening strike, Bloody Line 666 says, it's been a long time coming. Over 300 years ago, the East was conquered, but before that you were, uh, we were our own rulers with a lineage of monarchs stretching back a thousand years. Ooh, an Arth, Art, Arthresh? Arthresh? Arthresh. Says the glory days. Bloody line says, indeed, and that's why we must rise up by placing Del Delvira on the throne. We will reclaim what we have lost. But first, we must decide on tactics. My fellow counts, I ask you, how shall we first strike? All right, counts, time to, time to rally. We can launch a preemptive strike against the barons to cripple their military capabilities. If we suspect the barons may join our cause, we can call them to war. They'll be more likely to join us if the queen's authority is low. We could also call upon the church to condemn the queen. Or finally, we could send an assassin to nip this in the bud. All right, uh, counts. Time to vote. Option A, launch a preemptive strike against the barons. That is a 60% chance of something military happening. B, call upon the barons to join our cause. C, petition for the support of the church or D, send an assassin after the queen. So go ahead and vote on what you'd like to have happen to all of our counts in chat. Ba -da -dun, da -da -dun. Uh oh, someone's gotta vote. <laughs> D did work last time. I'll give you some time to, time to think about it. I do have an heir, I do have an heir. I officially produced a baby. I don't know how much that's gonna save me if you all take over the kingdom, but we'll find out. <laughs> all right, five, four, three, two, one. Call upon the barons to join our cause. This was our own baby, Alkali. Yes, we literally just, that was what the last event just was. Right before this one, we declared that I had a baby girl. Oh my God, Arliel, welcome back. Hello, hello. Y'all, thank you for bearing with me. The only thing getting me through this is energy from chat. So thank you for being here. Defiance challenge failed. The counts attempt to smuggle a secret message to the barons, but your watch intercepted and bring it to you. That was my high authority at work. Um, huzzah? You scan the letter muttering underneath your breath at the audacity of the rebels 
uh, to court your loyal barons. That's right, loyal barons. You would never have said yes, right? Right. Oh my god. We're so close. <laughs> We're so close. <laughs> uh, you scan the letter, muttering under your breath at the audacity. Uh, I'm absolute poppycock. Uh, absolute poppycock. That sounds fun. You read the message aloud to, at the next council session in a mocking voice. Oh, ho, oh, ho, ho. The barons laugh uproariously, especially after you shoot them a particularly stern glare. That's right, barons. You. That's right. That's right. You stay in line, barons. How dare you? This song is so good, though. All right, it's time to click rebellion. What fate ally, uh, lies for me? At long last, the counts have reached their boiling point. Oh no. You are confronted in the throne room by Count Bob's, Bob's your uncle 007. His smile is sharp as a scalpel. Oh no. The counts of the East will bring you down, pretender to the throne. We will rise up and fight for Delviria, uh, the one true queen. This is a formal declaration of war. The next time we see each other will be on the battlefield. <laughs> That's Robert, it's your mother's brother. <laughs> uh, all right. What should we do? Um, we can't have stability get much lower. So we'll, we'll do one day I'll see your head on the spike. Sure. There will not, not be, uh, there will be many heads on spikes before this war is over. Mine will not be among them, says Bob's your uncle 007. <laughs> Count Bob's your uncle 007 strides from your throne room without looking back. Um, the, our marshal says, I didn't expect them to move so boldly, your majesty. Uh, what are our chances? Holy moly, still a fawning. Welcome on in, Gator Dave. Welcome on into the last hour of our stream marathon. It was a subathon, but it's no longer a subathon now. It's just a run out the clock. One hour left a thon. Uh, feel free to type exclamation point join um, and then uh, a pronoun like he, she, or they, and you'll be put into the game. We might have time for one more quick one. We'll see. We'll see how it all shakes out. Um, also, welcome on in, Gnarly TV. It's nice to meet you. Welcome on into the Czech Games Edition Twitch channel. Uh, how did things get this bad? One hour's left of thought. Let's go. The leader of the rebellion is Count Bloody Line 666. As a reason for the uprising, he's citing your history of petty transgressions against the counts. I remember doing no such thing. I remember doing absolutely no such thing. Is it too late to apologize? It is. Now, now it's time for swords, not words. So this is it? Civil war? That's right, your majesty. The kingdom is divided. There will be a lot of death and suffering before this is over. I can't wait. I'll go dig, dig out the trebuchets. Oh, I can take a look. Uh, Gnarly TV got put on uh, the patricians. Farming, farming, demon, demons. All right, time to end the season. Oh, you guys get to buy buildings. So go ahead and you're gonna be typing exclamation point fund, the letter of the, the building you wanna fund and how much you wanna spend. And we've got um, a monument, a prison, a cathedral, an observatory, a fortress, and a grand bazaar. Reminders, you can vote for any building you want. It doesn't have to be of your color and the top two most funded buildings will get built. That's our battle chan farming, farming, demons, demons. <laughs> also, Squid Knickers, it's nice to meet you. Welcome on in. Uh, Squid Knickers for our mod mods got added too. Um, ba -bum -bum -bum. Oh, oh, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to find out. Where is it? Squid Knickers is patricians as well. Wow, we got a lot of patricians whole lot of patricians. Hope you're having a lovely Friday. You're tuning in to the last hour of our 12 hour King of the Castle marathon. 15 seconds left to fund. Looks like people want the Grand Bazaar. Uh, and they want the prison. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Someone stopped the Barons in their prison, okay? Oh, 
Bill. Wait, that sounds so good. Dude, that sounds delicious. Oh my God. Ooh. Dude, my my absolute favorite story about having the, the my Czech coworkers come to the US. Also, we got the prison and the Grand Bazaar are funded. Ray, I'm suffering. All right, the counts are currently rebelling. The barons and the patricians are on the verge. Um, was when I took um, Ursus and Atom to a restaurant in the US for the very first time and they saw boneless chicken wings on the menu and they thought that Americans raised boneless chickens. Favorite thing that's ever happened to me with the Czechs ever. Um, <laughs> that was my uh, highest favorite, favorite most, huh? <laughs> That was my favorite thing. That was my favorite thing. He was like, you have boneless chickens here. I do not understand. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, they just flop around like little meat sacks. <laughs> oh, I'm dead. I'm super duper dead. Oh, uh, fever. <gasps> An offer from the mercenary. Save me. I'll give you all my money. I'll give you all my money. Your majesty, a band of mercenaries from the tattered lands have offered to support you in the civil war. They call themselves the Iron Mercy. I don't know much about them, but we can't afford to turn away any help. Uh, how much are they asking for? We better run this by the council. Absolutely, we're not running it by the council. The council wants to murder me. How much are they, how much are they asking for? Whatever they want, whatever they want. <laughs> A thousand gold, done, done. Where do I sign? Where do I sign? Wait, I have to run it back? No, do I have to? Could be worse, right? I agree. Shoot, I don't have a choice. I have to, come on. I will remind you all. Will I remind you all? Maybe not. Turn them away, hire a mercenary. Yes, wait, wait, aha, 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 veto, veto. Hire an Iron Mercy to fight for you, huzzah! Huzzah, everyone vote for A! Welcome to democracy, baby! <laughs> Someone vote, please. <laughs> Someone vote to get us through. Please, one person. Hey, Squid Knickers, thank you for just joining our community tonight and subscribing uh, so soon. I really appreciate it. We are celebrating our moderators today. All the money that we raise from subscriptions and bits goes to my moderators. We're doing a little moderation appreciation day. Uh, so thank you so much for supporting that. Do I, what happens if no one votes? <laughs> what happens? Okay, no zero nobles voted for hire the Iron Mercenary to fight for you, huzzah. Yeah, thank you so much, Squid. Uh, welcome on in. This is the Czech Games Edition Twitch channel. We're a board game publisher, actually. Uh, we typically stream board games on this channel, but today we're doing a 12-hour streamathon of nothing but King of the Castle <laughs> to celebrate our moderators. It was initially a subathon where bits and subs contributed to the timer, but we maxed out the timer, so now we're just running out the clock. We have one hour left. Uh, but yeah, I really appreciate that sub. Uh, that's what we're here to do. We're here to... I love your games too! Squid! Oh my god, you're catching me at the dregs of my energy, but that is a delight. Thank you so much for saying that. We are glad to have you in this community. Love that you are a CGE fan. And welcome on in to the very end of King of the Castle. Oh my god. We have so many new friends today. Y'all, this, this has been an awesome stream. I've had a ton of fun. Um, she says is there's still an hour left. The Iron Mercy arrive on your shores soon after. When your marshal reports back from her first meeting with them, she can't hide a satisfied smile. Wait, why? Why? They're a very professional outfit, your majesty. Each, uh, knitted out of full plate, huh? <laughs> full plate metal. Wielding swords. Hold on. I need to ask my partner to bring me some tea. I'm literally die. I can't speak. Knitted, not what? Kited, kitted. Kitted? <laughs> okay, I'll take that. Uh, let's hope they're loyal, okay? As it turns out, they are loyal. <gasps> really? And effective? Huzzah! Huzzah! <laughs> they clash repeatedly. Uh, with the counts inflicting devastating casualties on the rebel army. 
The Loyalists have gained one victory point. Let's go. Let's go. I am sweating, chat. I am sweating. <laughs> this is having a real impact on the enemy morale. Sorry, my voice is shot. Oh my god. Oh, thank god, Alkali. You're back to green. Thank god. The world is at peace again. I couldn't handle Alkali in red. It was so weird. Good morning, Timothy Jackman. Welcome on in. Welcome back. We're still here. We're still, uh, thrive- I was gonna say surviving and thriving, but I ended up saying thriving. So take that as you will. <laughs> this is having a real impact on the enemy morale, your majesty. Money well spent. Huzzah! <laughs> Good morning, Timothy. What are you up to today? I'm um, assuming it's Saturday morning for you. Got any weekend plans? All right, let's deal with this fever. That would be very fun, Alkali. That would be very fun. The sparkling energy brought by the early, the early planty McPlant face blooms. Huh? <laughs> I'm so sorry. <coughs> My evil plants, Tony, they're not, Stop! No, I swear to God, if I die to Tony Galati the Second's evil plants, I'm gonna, gonna never forgive myself. Nice, you're going bouldering? Hell yeah. The sparkling energy brought by early planty McPlant face blooms has been replaced with a fever. Oh God, that hits the entire palace? What? Indoors, the air is thick with its heavy scent. Swim. <laughs> So it pours from your brow like a waterfall. What's happening? Yo, thank you for that follow, Jackrabbit. Welcome on in. Hello. Feel free to jump in chat and type exclamation point join and a pronoun. Uh, when the servants open the windows, leaves and stems crowd inside as though hungry. Oh, God. It's afflicting Zeno, too. Not my betrothed. Not my loveless marriage, by God. Both of you feel absolutely dreadful. The scholars of Quail University investigate the leaves and the flowers of Planty McPlant Face, and it becomes clear that it's a res that it's responsible for the sickness. <gasps> when the fever hits the marshal too, she's laid up for a week. The troops suffer in her absence, and the sh and she struggles to catch up when she returns to her duties. But it's a strike of good. F but in a strike of good fortune, the Planty McPlant Face is affecting the eastern troops too. Your scouts report that they're in a poor they're in a poor state as a result. Eventually, your fever passes and the tendrils of Planty McPlant Face die. Aha, Tony! There you go, take that, Planty McPlant Face. Die back in the palace. Ugh. Uh, hopefully the whole thing will become a distant memory. Eh. Oh god, I don't want to do a great battle, but it is all that's left, chat. It is all that is left. Dun dun, hold on one second. Bum ba da dun bum bum. All right, huzzah! And tears for Tony, Tony Galati the second, the gardener. This is only our third game, Timothy. Vast armies darken the landscape like shadows of clouds. Flags are dying, drums are pounding in rhythm with the marching of boots. The kingdom is gripped with civil war. Maybe you guys could just fight each other, right? Isn't that what a civil war is? You fight each other? You don't fight me, I'm just chilling. At least that's what you imagine. Most of your time is spent, oh. T, oh my, do you hear me? Thank you. My voice? Do you hear it? <laughs> what does that mean? He went like this and then left the room. I feel mocked? I don't understand. Isn't that a revolution though, Alkali? Isn't that a revolution? Civil wars are infighting within a country? Oh, it's too hot, Ash, it's too hot. <laughs> I think this is worse than the puzzle stream. I'm gonna be honest, I'll be honest, I don't know why, but I think uh, uh, in terms of physical and mental toll, no, that's not true, the puzzle stream was really bad. The 15 hour puzzle stream might have been worse. Anyways. Um. 
<laughs> I'm fine, I swear. Can we get a screenshot of the noblest? Absolutely. Screenshot. <laughs> I am fine, everybody. I appreciate this part. I'm genuinely fine. I've literally just been talking for 12 hours. All right, I'll grab a screenshot of the Baron lists for the mods. How does this compare to a full day of Gen Con? Um, that's a good question. Yeah, Gen Con has more breaks. Yeah, Gen Con in general has more breaks, but it also is like more technically challenging. Like my brain is working a lot harder when I'm at Gen Con. God, such a bop. Oh my God. Yeah, that's true, Duchess. Also, we have other people. Oh, poor gnarly TV with no monies. So sad. That's true. I think I'm more physically tired after Gen Con because I'm like physically walking around more. All right, there you go, mods. Ta-da. No, thank you. Thanks for keeping track of it. I appreciate it. Okay, um, ba 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 At least that's what you imagine. Most of the time is spent uh, in the safety of your palace, pouring over uh, a giant map with your marshal. Your majesty, says the marshal. The enemy of the East is advancing on the capital, led by that treacherous Kerr Count, Bloody Lion 666. I received word from the commander that our loyalist forces in the coast, what, huh? I received word from the commander of our loyalist forces in the coast. If they march now, they'll intercept the counts in a matter of days. Yeah, definitely, uh, j uh, I almost called you Gen Con. That's not your name, your name is Duchess. Uh, yes, totally agree. There's like a, there's an adrenaline, uh, that happens at Gen Con that, that propels you a little bit. The marshal says, alternatively, they could join forces with the army of the march. It's risky, but together they'd have a higher chance of defeating the accursed counts. What are your orders, your majesty? Oh, the television is to fight the eastern army oh, head on. Oh, I don't know. It's interesting that this is not, this is not a council vote. This is just me. I'm worried about colluding between the patricians and the barons. I'm worried about that. But I'm gonna, I don't know. People want the patricians to fight alone? Yeah, I know, Itriba. So I don't know what the move here is for me. Alright, I'm gonna... Yo, thank you for that follow. Welcome on in. Electros. Welcome on in. Nice to meet you. All right, I'm gonna let them fight alone. We are really, we are loyal, really we are. Mm -hmm. Very well, your majesty. I'll relay your orders to Lord Patrician Squid Knickers, the commander in the field. Hopefully they'll do as they're told. God knows, treachery can thrive on a battlefield. Yeah, I, mean, I think it's for the best to not have them together. Lord Patrician Squid Knickers says, we have our orders, but should we follow them? <laughs> All right, patricians, now is your time to vote. Option A, follow orders and send the coastal army to fight the rebels. Option B, defy orders and link up with the barons. Option C, hang back and let the rebels march on the capital without challenge.
Pam, 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 pam. Oh, okay. They want to follow orders and send the closer army to fight the rebels. You mean it? Oh my god. Huzzah! Follow orders and send the coastal army to fight the rebels. Let's go. Thank you, patricians. I will remember this, patricians. I promise. The whole city holds its breath. You stew in your palace waiting for your marshal's return. Finally, she bursts into your throne room, drenched in blood and in sweat of battle. Finally, she bursts, bursts into your throne room, drenched in blood and sweat. Oh, that's what I literally just read. Marshal, report. You look awful. I was getting nervous. Marshal, report. At dawn, we drew we drew up in battle formations. <laughs> there you go, Alkali. Alkali's cracked the code. It's because the patricians are the only team that don't have a moderator with them. I, You've cracked it. It's all very orderly at first, your majesty. But after the trumpets blow and the cavalry charge, it's nothing but blood and screams. The Eastern army smashed into our troops like the fist of the ninth himself. I've seen some battles in my time, your majesty. Oh no, but never a massacre like that. So much blood, oh no. The patricians didn't have high enough military. I should have I should have sent them with the barons, but I was worried that they would join together and rebel. All right, the rebels have three victory points. And the coast is now weak. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Day, I'm sorry, Bockle. I'm sorry. All I ever did, all I ever did was try best as queen. We were utterly annihilated. Some of the coastal forces may have survived by fleeing to the hills. I don't know. I had to get out there. Welcome on in, new friends, Allie and uh, Nate Unix. It's nice to meet you. Welcome on into the final hour of our 12 hour uh, King of the Castle stream. You're gonna wanna do exclamation point join and then a pronoun. I believe if you just do join, you'll be stuck with they, them pronouns, but you'll still be in the game and, and that's what matters. Uh, I had to get out there. Okay, how could this happen? We threw the dice, they came up snake eyes. These things happen in war. Enough belly aching. Oh, also let me, uh, for the mods, let you know what uh, kingdom they all ended up in. Ali got put in. Ali is in the Patricians. And Mate Unix. Mate Unix is a Baron. Enough belly aching, let's focus on the next battle. Yeah, finally some, some variety. We've had a lot of uh, pats lately. Uh, the coastal army was routed in, a in the aftermath uh, and, all scattered all, and scattered all over the countryside. It'll be months before they can regroup. We'll have to rely on the Baron's Barons. How we feeling? It'll all come down to the next battle, your majesty. The fate of the kingdom hangs in the balance. Either I'll lead the troops personally this time. Oh God, at least I could die on the battlefield. At least have a dignified life. I've died like running away twice now. At least if I die on the battlefield, it's like a dignified end, you know? Always rely on the barons. Yeah, that went so well. I mean, I've been tricked into accidentally blowing myself and I've been chased down the halls by an assassin. Neither of those are particularly dignified. <laughs> so do you want to do we will prevail are you asking me not to okay barons for the barons in the crowd what do you want me to do do you want me to lead the troops i don't know Le i feel like i should lead the troops but i also don't want to mess it up because i'm not a fighter lead by example oh geez Oh, I feel like I'm being, I feel like I'm being, I feel like I'm being led into a trap. Oh my god, I'm getting mixed messages, I don't know. I'll leave the chance personally this time, we will prevail. <sighs> Alright, you know what, I'm gonna, we will prevail. 
No, it will boost morale. You're right, mate. You're right. God, I don't know what the right answer is. Pokemon, wheat in a barrel. Uh, you just need to do exclamation point join and then just heat is all you need. Um, I think that's the only way it recognizes it. Um, and also, welcome to the game. Uh, let's see, wheat. Wheat in a barrel. I like your username, by the way. Uh, wheat in a barrel. I'm assuming it looks like you got patricians as well. God, we have so, why do we have so many patricians? Yeah, uh, wheat in a barrel is a patrician. Coast? All right, perfect. I'm just keeping track for giveaway purposes. I just don't want an undignified end. I will lead the troops personally this time. I'm going with it. Go in my gut. It's what I wanted at the start. It's what I'm going with. I must advise against this. Oh, you'll be in great danger and inspiring as your presence may be to the troops. Your death or severe injury would destroy the morale completely. <sighs> you must protect me then. Uh, Jack Rabbit. Uh, let me take a look. Jack Rabbit is a patrician, and they're both patricians. Uh, chicken. Very well, Your Majesty. I will prepare your armor and horse. We ride at dawn. Oh, let's go. That's hard. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, thank you so much for keeping track of a chicken. I really, really appreciate it. All right, end of the season. The only people, the only people who are still in my kingdom and aren't rebelling are the patricians. So, um, I'll just do a common tax even though it's technically the same. Um, cause they're the only people to tax. Ooh, the patricians strike a lucrative deal. Uh, with a, with a saw, I read that as with a seal. No, with Saul, worth, which is a country, worth 500 wealth, and other nobles gain 200 wealth. All right. All right, it's three to one right now. Rebels versus loyalist patricians. It's you and me. We're going, we're going to the end. More treachery. Final battle, opening strike. Oh, God. All right, let's start with the opening strike. Count Bloody Lion says, my dear barons of the marsh, march. Uh, thank you for joining us in our righteous war against the tyrant, Queen Clovia. Ooh, Mate Unix. Nice, you already got in the game. Mate Unix says, I never thought I'd be fighting alongside a count. And I never thought I'd be taking up arms with a baron. But before you join the fight, you must decide where to direct your opening strike. We can launch a preemptive strike against the patricians to cripple their military capabilities. If we suspect the patricians may join our cause, we can call them to war. They'll be more likely to join us if the queen's authority is low. You could also call upon the church to condemn the queen, or finally, we could do an assassin. All right. Open to barons of the march only. What should the barons' opening move in their rebellion be? A, launch a preemptive strike on the patricians. B, call upon the patricians to join your cause. C, petition for the support of the church. Or D, send an assassin after the queen. Oh, yes, fight each other, fight each other. <laughs> but no, 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 don't fight the patricians. I like the patricians, but also don't ask them to join. But also don't assassinate me. And also don't talk to the church. I don't like the church. <laughs> I don't I don't like any of these options. They're all terrible. They are all terrible. Uh, so, Timothy, if you rebel, currently, well, you've already rebelled. So, yeah, typically you have, like, um, a thing you're trying to do, like, lower stability or raise authority. You're trying to do a thing. Once you rebel, you've abandoned that. It's kind of like if you've ever played Root. Once you've decided you're going to rule by dominance, that's all you can do now. Uh, now your goal is to kill me. You have no other regular goal. Your goal is just to murder me, and you just voted on how you want to do that. Yeah, we're all going down in a blaze of glory. Launch a preemptive strike on the patricians. Oh boy. The barons launch a surprise attack on the coast, slashing and burning their way across the fields and farmlands. 
they catch a regiment of coastal armies unawares and spring an ambush, slaughtering them to a man. Ooh, common folk whisper that the battleground will be stained red for generations. Okay. The rebels now have four points. No. The coast, no, patricians, your military is officially pathetic. No. Uh, Baron mate eunuch says huzzah, down with the queen. The marcher soldiers return home in triumph, leaving the coast devastated in their wake. Dun, 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 dun. More treachery. It was always pathetic. Dire news, your majesty. Ah, uh, says the marshal. The march has sent a battalion of their finest soldiers to support the counts in the field. Uh, what does this, what does this mean? The barons have formally joined the rebellion, declaring you a tyrant. Oh god, they're treasonous now. I won't lie, your majesty. The odds are stacked against us now. All right, time for the final battle. Go Pikachu. It's the night before the final battle. The atmosphere in the coastal camp is subdued. Everyone knows the counts are a formidable foe. Oh no, patricians. You were so good, patricians. You were so good to me. I, I, hate, to, I hate to see y'all die like this. On the journey, you've had to leave most of the luxuries of a queen behind you but your marshal was good enough to ensure the royal command tent is always well stocked with wine. Oh, do I want to get wasted? <laughs> um, I will drink only enough to steady my nerves. Everyone shush now. You take a sip, your hand trembles only slightly. Tomorrow we fight, how are you feeling, your majesty? Um, eager for glory. Confidence all the way to the end, baby. Let's see if that feeling survives contact with the enemy. Now that you're here, you need to lead your troops. Otherwise, morale will plummet. Uh, of course. I'm glad you understand. The next day, at an ungodly hour, you climb onto your warhorse and ride out with your troops to meet the counts on the battlefield. The sky is a blood red. Flags whip in the wind, horns blow, drums beat. Both sides are in battle formations. With the enemy visible only a thousand gleams of so with the enemy only visible as a thousand gleams of swords and armor. Counts and barons are going down. Your troops are looking at you. They expect a speech. God, we've got a military of one. Oh boy. Um. Today we stand and we fight, brave warriors of the coast. Your soldiers reply with a half-hearted cheer. Their hearts really aren't in it. Oh, God. Um. Uh, thanks for this. Thanks, thanks, Feed Me. I really, I really put my heart and soul into that. Oh, God. Well, come on in, uh, Boz, Boz, little sheriff. It's nice to meet you. Um, charge? You want to charge? I, I'm debating the archer situation, because then that gives me at least a chance. I'm gonna die if I charge. They don't stand a chance, do they? <laughs> Your best chance is to charge, so please go back to the tent. Alright, we die as warriors, chat. We charge. failed. Your warhorse surges forward, sweat steaming from its flanks. You raise your sword, and for a beautiful moment, it catches the crimson light of the sun. The army roars and rumbles into motion behind you. When you reach the enemy lines, however, things get more complicated. It's pure chaos. Soldiers screaming and rolling around in the mud, bloods flashing and clashing, blood spurting. At some point, your warhorse is cut down. You fall with it. You're like trapped underneath the thrashing bulk. And then one of your own soldiers stamps on your head accidentally, you hope. Everything goes black. 
when they see you down there, the Eastern soldiers roar in triumph and fight, your, fight with renewed vigor. Your own demoralized soldiers let out a collective groan of despair. The battle's outcome will be decided while you're being trampled into the mud. Zero percent chance. When you wake up, you're swaddled in bandages and lying- Oh, I'm not dead? Lying in the back of a rattling wagon. Oh, the marshal says, Welcome back to the world of the living, your majesty. Don't get up. Your kneecap's shattered. You won't be walking on that leg anytime soon. I'm gonna say, Marshal, report! After you were knocked out, everything went south fast. Our troops were demoralized while the counts were emboldened. The battle turned into a confusing, drawn-out slog with mass casualties on both sides. In the end, uh, we broke first. Our troops scattered and were hunted down like dogs. Um, the coast military can't go any lower! Luckily, I fought through the chaos to your rest to rescue you. Now we're on our way back to the capital as fast as we can go. Luckily, I fought through the chaos to rescue you. Now we're on our way back to the capital as fast as we can go. Um, uh, this is all your fault. You're right. I humbly submit my resignation, damn. Oh, wait, no, I don't. Because you got us into this mess. And now the patricians. Oh. <laughs> thank, we, thank you, we panda, for that follow. Welcome on in. Uh, oh, wait, no, I don't. Because you got us into this mess. And now the patricians have slapped down. We both know I'm the only one who can get us out of it. Okay. Mate Unix, thank you for that follow as well. I really appreciate it. Welcome on in. I uh, hope to see you again in the future. If we want to see this, the year end, the years end, we must build up fortifications, stockpile food, and train up uh, citizens militia. The counts will be camped outside the city walls in a matter of weeks. I'm this isn't over yet. Oh my god! It's time to pray to the ninth, your Majesty, because apart from him, we're on our own. Our religions. Some people in this kingdom are religious. All right. Oh my god. All right. Um, I will spring in, I will swap out, um, reverse voting for a call for unity. <laughs> so good. All right. I, I believe I know what overwhelmed lies. I think I think I know this is not good. Your marshal staggers into the throne room, stinking of booze. She gives you a lopsided grin. Nine ab ninth above, you're drunk. No, just a little day hidden in courage is all. The barons have sent word that they're joining the rebellion against you, your majesty. All three regions have now turned on you. Do you know what that means? Uh, no. <laughs> it means we are royally, no pun intended, screwed. The capital garrison couldn't take on one of the regions single-handed, let alone all three. Historically, the queen of the kingdom has only survived by playing the regions against each other. To unite them all in a common cause, their hatred of you. Well, it's no mean feat. You are absolutely unmatched when it comes to blanking people off, your majesty. A world beater. Great. Um, it's not, it's good to know I'm good at something. Consider this my resignation. There's no fun in an unwinnable war. She strides out of the room without looking back. Sure enough, within a few days, the Baryans have turned up to this, to support the rebel forces already lay, laying siege to the capital. Against such overwhelming numbers, your walls can't hold. The ladders go up and the enemy soldiers pour in. Yup, yup, yup. Bad news bears. As dawn rises, Count Bloody Lions is Bloody Lions still did Bloody Lion finally fall asleep? He must have, right? There's no way Bloody Lion's still awake, I'm assuming. <laughs> we'll have to let him know in the morning. As dawn rises, Bloody Lion 666 strolls into your throne room, backed by soldiers from all across the kingdom. <gasps> You're awake, Bloody! What on earth are you doing? What are you doing? Uh, and grizzled veterans from the, uh, knights, let me try that again. 
uh, backed by soldiers from all across the kingdom, knights from the east, soldiers from the coast, and grizzled veterans uh, from the march. All right, listen, bloody lion, bloody lion. Let's talk about this. What's the point of speaking to a dead woman? Oh, damn, bloody lion, please don't do this. With a triumphant smirk, Count Bloody Lion 666 makes a sharp gesture. The Eastern soldiers step forward, swords at the ready. People say the Counts are ruthless, but we're not without mercy. For example, I will make your death, make sure your death is swift. We do not know yet, check it. I think, I think this means the Counts win because Bloody Lion is leading the rebellion. Uh, I'm gonna say, brace yourself. Or should I run? Try it? All right, turn and run. You're caught before you make 10 steps, damn. <laughs> wow, so I lost my dignity in the last moments there. Thanks, chat, thanks. Um, instead of killing you, the soldiers seize you and drag you down into your own dungeon. Your ordeal isn't over. While imprisoned in your tiny cell, you hear the guards gossiping. Apparently the counts, patricians, and barons are already fighting over your vacated throne. The counts and barons are the strongest, richest, and have the support from the church, so the throne will go to one of them. After a week of rotting in your own dungeon, you're marched out onto a public platform. Jeered at by thousands of peasants, you cringe under a barrel of rotten fruit and fresh dung. One faith, by the way. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, you can see Count Bloody Lion 666 in the front row, grinning. The rebels have won. The capital has been taken. You are a former queen. Authority is now spineless. The executioner waits silently, holding an axe bigger than you. If you have any last words, now is the time. Everything I did, I did for the kingdom of Maudville. <laughs> you place your head on the block. The executioner lifts his massive axe. Wait. You suddenly thought of a much of much better last words. You turn to the executioner to tell him, but the axe is already falling. Thunk. Your head bounces into Count Bloody Line 666's lap, and your reign comes to a gruesome end. Our Oh! Time to vote for a successor! Ooh! Okay. Would we like the bear the Johan of the Barons to win? Or Delvira of the Counts to win? All right, go ahead and vote for the successor. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, oh. The swing is gonna probably be, probably be some patricians. There's a lot of patricians. All right, I'll give it a little bit longer. <laughs> let's see how these, <laughs> let's see how these relationships shook out. Yo, Jason, welcome. Have a good lurk. Oh my god, it's tied. Oh my god, okay. Someone's gotta break the tie. Someone has to break the tie. Or you know what? We could we could do that and we could split the, the winnings amongst these two teams. That feels fun. Alright, we'll continue. Sixteen nobles voted for the monarch to be Johan. Oh, did it just default to Johan? Okay. Because they each got 16 votes, let's split the winnings amongst the counts and the barons. That's the only thing that feels fair, I think. There's also a ton of giveaways. Um, does that feel fair, mods? What do we think? Feel like a good... It's ra- yeah, if it's random, that's no fun. I think let's- let's split between the two teams. Um, because if it came down to a coin toss, that's no fun. Alright. The barons are victorious! <laughs> After the entire kingdom rose against her, Queen Clovia was dragged out of the palace and decapitated in the city square. Uh, the counts, led by Bloody Lion 666, 
uh, launched the rebellion that toppled the queen and devastated the kingdom. But when the dust cleared, they weren't quick or strong enough to seize the throne themselves. <laughs> the patricians joined the rebellion alongside the counts, but nobody considered them a true contender for the crown. Despite joining the rebellion only at the last minute, the wily barons had enough power and influence to snatch the throne for themselves. Johan was crowned to half-hearted cheers to the traumatized common folk. I'm so sorry, Tony. Y'all, everyone played fantastic. Oh my god. I think we'll call it there because we can't make any progress in 30 minutes, but I'll get the I'll do the giveaways in the last the last half hour. Alright, let's take a look at these stats. The wealthiest noble was Spitzka the the second with all that inherited embezzled money with thirty three thousand or thirty three hundred dollars. The poorest was Deadpan with two hundred. And these were our kingdoms of final stats. Oh my God! All right, GGs, everybody. I hope I hope you had fun, regardless of what team you were on. I hope I hope you had fun. I want my crab fortune to be on the marketplace in the last bidding off in the last building auction. <laughs> That's insane. You got so much money, June B. GG's everybody. Thank you so very much for playing with me. Um, congrats to the counts and the barons. I consider that a very even split victory. Oh, all right. Let's get back to our main title screen. All <laughs> about the unready. <laughs> yeah, was that my? Ooh, Johan will be our next successor eventually if we if we continue this save file. Uh, but thank you all so very much for joining me. It is time to do some giveaways. Um, we're gonna be doing. Let's do our biggest giveaway first, which is gonna be a copy of the Lost Ruins of Arnak, and this will draw from the counts and the barons as they were the winners, but. Thank you for participating, Patricians. We do lots of giveaways on this channel, so I hope you're not too bummed on missing out. Uh, we'll do tons more in the future. Don't you worry. Um... Deadpan, thank you for the 100 biddies. Bob, or boss, <laughs> boss will, uh, Sheriff, I have been streaming for 12 hours. This is gonna be the final one because we definitely can't finish a game in 30 minutes. Um, so this will be the last game of the night. Uh, this was all in celebration of my moderators. I just thought it'd be fun to do a ridiculous weird stream in celebration of them. Uh, so thank you for joining me for this subathon. Uh, if you'd like to sub or donate bits uh, as a final celebration, now would be the time to do so. I'm gonna get our giveaway counter working. They also, let me just remind everyone, I streamed for 12 hours, they modded for 12 hours, which is an incredible feat in of itself. They all sacrificed their Friday to be here and help chat function and have make sure everyone had a good time. Uh, so yeah, again, this whole stream was supposed to be a celebration of them. So if you have a prime sub sitting around or you have some biddies left over in your wallet, uh, that's what we're here for. We're here to celebrate them uh, today. Tony, thank you so much. Timothy, thank you. Kit Kat, thank you so much. All the money we make from this channel, regardless of what day it is, it always goes to my moderators. But today was just a fun day uh, to celebrate that. And can we also get some GGs for the patricians in chat? Thanks for being good sports to all of our patricians. Um, Y'all are the best. Thanks for thanks for being so much fun uh, and for putting up a good fight and sticking with me to the end. I appreciate it very, very much. All right, I'm gonna copy out. All right, so mods just confirming. I'm gonna take all of these names. I'm gonna ignore the game cutoffs because I want to take everyone who participated over the course of the day. I just want to double check that that is that's correct. Go for it. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Chicken, for being such a wonderful bookkeeper. Um, also, Wheat in the Barrel, thank you for that follow. Itchery, thank you for the 100 biddies. Duchess, thank you for the 100 biddies. Seriously, my mods, I'm gonna get, I'll do my little spiel in a second once I've got this going. Uh, but my mods are genuinely the only reason I can do these ridiculous long streams because they're in the back making sure I'm getting tea, making sure I'm doing okay, keeping an eye on chat. If something goes wrong, I 
to be honest, don't have the energy to handle it because I am dead and they are here to make sure, you know, that everything's doing okay. If anyone has questions, they're there to answer it. They're also just amazing. And they're here in every stream with bells on, making sure this community is such a fun time to be in. Yes, Lizzle Hyde, thank you for dropping that down that command. Our question of the day today, just as a general mod appreciation day question is, tell me about an amazing interaction you've had with a mod, your favorite mod on all of Twitch. It doesn't have to be one of mine, just a mod that you love and that you appreciate someone who makes a community that you're in like a better place i'd love to hear about it if you have like a fun positive um mod story also i think i got the did i pick the right did i pick the right names to be the one with bill F no i got the right ones okay and then we'll do all of these i'm not gonna take angie because she's staff <laughs> she's not gonna she's not gonna be winning a free copy of um <laughs> through the ages not today let me actually scan this are there any other staff in here Tony was a count, so Tony, I love you, but you're not gonna win a giveaway. <laughs> uh, I think that's it for staff. Bum bum, bum 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 bum. All right. <laughs> Big rip to Tony. All right, I believe I have all of our barons and all of our accounts from the entire day in this document. So anyone who is a part of the barons or part of the counts for the entire stream is now in a giant uh, list of winners. So let's go ahead. Uh, so we have, I need to do the math in my head. Let me pull it up. <laughs> We're gonna have one. Oh, Steven was, he was a pat, okay. So we have Arnak, then we have three copies of Galaxy Trucker. We have Through the Ages, three copies of Through the Ages, and we have three Boom Manias. All right, so that is, set. how many prizes is that? Three, six, nine, ten. We definitely have ten people listed in here. So everyone's gonna be entered only once for each of these. So if you win one thing, you won't be able to win another thing. So I'm gonna pull ten names, top to bottom, will be our winners uh, in the list that I have in the document. Uh... Oh, I guess I can do them one by one like this. All right. Nah, we'll do... Yeah, I don't know. I'm too tired to make any decisions. <laughs> I'm too tired. Okay. Yeah, Boomania is actually CGE's only, like, video game. It was made by kind of an offshoot of CGE. They're not technically... Um, I don't know. It's kind of a weird, weird middle ground. It was kind of made by CGE Digital, but mostly just by two guys... It was published by CG. It's a um, Bomberman inspired retro game that you can play on your phone. All right. We're gonna draw 10 winners. Okay. Three, two, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, we have our list of winners. Okay, so our winner of a free copy of The Lost Runes of Our Neck is brrr, Trombone Dolly. Congratulations, that is very well deserved, Trombone. I hope you enjoy it. If you already own Lost Runes of Our Neck, give it to a friend who maybe hasn't played it yet. Uh, our winner of a digital copy of Galaxy Trucker uh, is Cat Skills. Lizzle Hyde and Heelbot. Our winners of three copies of Through the Ages are Egyptfit, uh, Alkali, and Headbanging Maniac. And last but not least, our winners of three copies of Boomania, not three copies each, in this case that wasn't clear, <laughs> our three co a copy of Boomania is gonna be sent to Proud Slime Dad, DBX Runner, and Potter Boy. Uh, I'll let me make a note of all of those real quick because my brain will forget. We have Trombone, Dalek, one Arnak. For GT, we have Catskills. We have Heelbot. Catskills, I think, actually already owns GT. So if you actually own any of these games you're getting, give them, give them to a friend. Give them to someone who you would like to play it with. I think that's pretty cool. H. Um, if you are a winner of a giveaway, I will be reaching out to you on Monday. I'm going to go sleep tonight. But make sure you have your... Um, whispers on chat open to anybody because that's how i'll be reaching out to you if i can't get in touch with you that day that way i can't get you your giveaway so make sure you have that on um you have to like opt out of it so unless you've done that your whispers should be open wait how did i mess this up trombone caskills oh because i have healbot in here twice Udder. lizzle hide 
Isn't it fun watching me put stuff in a spreadsheet chat? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Could I have made this ahead of time? Oh, alkali, that's why. I skipped alkali. Sorry, I didn't mean to. Alkali gets TTA. Headbanging Maniac gets TTA. Proud Slime Dad. Well, too bad, Alkali. You're not getting your TTA then. You gotta turn on your gotta turn on your your DMs because I have absolutely no other way of getting in contact with you. All right, everybody. I have all the giveaway winners once again. Uh, in case you're here and you missed it, Arnak is going to Trombone Dalek. A uh, copy of Galaxy Trucker Digital is going to Cat Skills, Lizzle Hide, and Healbot. Copy of Through the Ages, one of our most popular digital games. Congrats to y'all is going to Each Fit Alkali, Headbanging Maniac, and then a copy of our um, app game, Boom Mania, is going to Proud Slime Dad, DBX Runner, and Potter Boy 0111. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. If you are here, if you are one of the people who I just whose names I just called, um, you can message me your info. Actually, if you want a digital game, you actually don't even need to do that. The only person who I need physical info from is Trombone Dalek, if you're in chat. Uh, message me. Oh, you're the one who said it. Brain is mush. Yeah, Trombone Dalek, I need name, address, email, phone number, and we'll get you your free copy of The Lost Runes of Arnak. Okay. Bill freaking Murray says, question of the day. I absolutely love the mods in the community the most. They are by far the most welcoming community I belong to. Such an amazing vibe here. I mean, it, there has to be, right? I spend 10 hours here. Bill, thank you for saying that. Everybody, if you're not a mod, say something nice about our mods, because I love them so very much. And I hope that this stream, I don't know. I don't know if asking y'all to pull a 12 hour shift hyped you guys up, <laughs> but I hope you had fun. Thank you to anyone who um, financially supported them through mo uh, mods, through bits and subs. I appreciate it. Olympian, if you're watching in, in Lurk Land, thank you for the 36 subs. Bill, thank you for 12. Reggie had seven. Those were our top three gifters for this stream. Thank you all very, very much. Or at least for this, I think for this month is how it works. I need to brush my hair. Oh my God, hold on. I've been all stressed and like, I, when I get stressed, I play with my hair. And the camera's too close to my face now, and you can tell. <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, DBX Runner, thank you for that gifted sub to Bockle. I appreciate it so very much. If you got a sub today, I hope you enjoy your ad free viewing and your Rat Jam, which is my favorite emote on all of Twitch. Uh, and if you followed the channel, thank you very much. It was super nice to meet you. Thank you for joining us for the very first time. I hope to see you back here in the future. Again, we play a lot of board games on this channel. Um, I really enjoy King of the Castle, so that'll probably be back at some point. But we are primarily a board game channel because we are clearly a board game publisher. All these games behind me are games that we make here at Check Games Edition. Um, but if you like King of the Castle, I guarantee it, you like board games and you might just not know it. And we've had a couple of King of the Castle staff in our chat and maybe we can cook up some sort of collaboration because that'd be really, that'd be really cool. Because you can just tell that this game was made by board game lovers. Like it just has... I don't know, especially with like, I don't know, it just has, it has board game vibes. Um, so I'm not surprised at all to hear that the devs are into board games. So maybe we can, maybe we can cook something up. That'd be cool. Um, but yeah, again, if you're here because you like King of the Castle, I really would love to see you back here in the future because I'm sure we can find a board game that you enjoy. Um, but yeah, we just hit the 12 hour uptime. This timer is slightly off because this was like when I started playing King of the Castle but I have officially been live for 12 hours and one minute. So I think, I think we're gonna call it there. Last words of wisdom from a very hoarse and sleep deprived Ray. I love, no, I'm not gonna cry. No, I felt that coming on. <laughs> I, felt, I felt it, I felt it bubbling up inside me. I love my mods. I don't know why they've stuck with me for so long. They're amazing. Uh, and they've put up with a lot of stuff. They've switched companies with me. They've um, backed me up on my personal channel. They've um, helped me when we've gotten, they've been rare, but you know, we've gotten hate raids of people who just are out trying to make people's days miserable. And they've been there uh, to keep me safe, but also to keep you safe, which is rad as hell. <laughs> Bummer of a week had COVID, Jindy, I'm so sorry. I'm glad we could bring some joy into your day. Um, genuinely, uh, I feel very, very lucky to have these four people uh, having my back all the time. Again, not only technically, but also also emotionally. Uh, they're there to make sure that I'm doing okay, that I'm, I'm having a good stream, 
They give me a lot of feedback. They give me a lot of fun ideas. We're gonna be doing a very cursed puzzle at some point that they made for me because that was a silly idea that they had that we all just ran with. Um, that kind of stuff doesn't happen without without them. Mod trivia was all them, all their help. They were keeping track of all these names all stream. So if you joined in at 10 a.m., they made sure to keep note of like which faction you were in so that the giveaway was like correct. They have been on top of this. I love them so much. Um, yeah, that's it. They're the best. C communities are uh, defined and by their mods. Like I'm here and if you like me, that's cool. Uh, but if you didn't like my mods, you literally wouldn't be here because they're who you're talking to more than me. They respond to your comments more than I do. They know more about you than I probably do because they're sitting there reading chat and I'm busy streaming. Um, yeah, and Alkali does crazy stuff with all these bots. If you enjoyed playing trivia, if you enjoyed playing Chatman, that's all Alkali. Um, yeah, no, <laughs> I love you guys so much. Um, this is how I sh no, I'm gonna cry. This is how I show love by doing dumb stuff like this. <laughs> so I hope. Sorry for taking your Friday up, uh, but I hope you had fun. This is this is how I I um, I show I care. Um, so yeah. This has been awesome. Thank you to all of our new friends. Oh, she's not crying. No, you have water on your screen. What do you, what do you mean? <laughs> um, yeah, thanks for our new friends. We got crazy new followers today. I would love to see you back in the future. But if you're just stopping by for today, that's chill. It was awesome to play games with you. Uh, congrats to all of our giveaway winners. Again, I'll be reaching out to y'all on Monday. Um, yeah, if you like me, I have a personal channel, twitch.tv slash raise retros. I stream there literally once a month. <laughs> oh, here comes the bright godly lights. <laughs> My key light again. I stream there once a month. Uh, I, I get mildly drunk and play dating sims and retro games. So if that sounds fun to you, uh, that my personal channel stream, I think should be happening soon for this month. So if that sounds like something you want to do, uh, hop on over to raise retros. Uh, we'll be back live Tuesday morning. I'll be doing something with my coworker Eleni. Tuesday is when we play two player board games, uh, which is a lot of fun. We got, a, I've got a lot of board games to catch up on. I played a lot of board games over vacation. So I have tons of stuff to chat about with Eleni and hopefully all of you. I've got hot board game takes to share with y'all. So if you're into board games, I hope to see you there. Um, playing Codenames on Friday with some amazing guests. I'm really excited for that, including Tony Galati, the one and only Tony Galati II, head of distribution and sales for the Counts of the, <laughs> the, Counts of the East. Um, yeah, I'm gonna ramble probably <laughs> if I keep going. So I'll see if we have any friends who are live that I can send y'all over to. Um, but yeah, man. Oh, I, we got to rate Olympian. <laughs> Olympian dropping those 35 subs. I think it's only fair that we sauce him. We sauce him a, a little raidy raid. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I need to say before I leave. Uh, I freaking love uh, my four moderators. That's it. I, I Again, <laughs> so I show love. I hope this was fun. I really hope we found some new friends who come back in the future. Do a senpai. Thank you so much for that follow. I appreciate it. Um... Uh, cheers to the Counts and the Barons. Well fought, well earned, um, and GG's to the Patricians for being wonderful sports. I'm gonna go ahead and, um, did you say name someone and only, huh? Did you just name someone the one and only and also the second? Yes. <laughs> yes, I did buckle. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get a raid ready for Olympian. Um, Olympian is amazing. If you don't know, he came in here super early. This was supposed to be a subathon. It wasn't because Olympian came in and immediately maxed out our 12 hour timer. So if you enjoyed this stream up until the very end, we only streamed this long because Olympian is a real one and dropped a ton of subs, which maxed out our timer. Uh, he does amazing board game content. It is meant for mature audiences. Uh, we try to keep things family friendly here. So if you don't want to watch a mature stream, now's your time to bounce. So that's your official warning. But he's awesome. He's a great friend of mine. They do a lot of like dungeon, uh, dungeon crawling D&D type stuff. Just a chill, chill dude all around. Please, please go follow his channel. This stream also only happened because he was here. Um, I, it was me, the mods, and also <laughs> the, the Holy Ghost Olympian and his amazing gifting of subs. Otherwise the stream would never have lasted this long. So please go support him and drop him a follow uh, if you can. Why didn't it let me start the raid? I know, Aline. 
the end. I know it says it's intended for mature audiences. There we go. You already have our rates. Rates have been broken on Twitch lately. Okay. I, it's showing up on my phone, so I'm gonna click it on my phone because it's showing up here for some reason. Okay. Rates have been weird lately, but hopefully this works. Everyone, go give Olympian your love, and I will see y'all later. Deuces.